John. What are we going to do next? Then? OK, so I've just left this at the stage where... So yeah. you left me when I was doing the first signature. I've got uh -huh. the last one in now. And you end up... Let me just tuck that under there to show you. When you bind this, you normally end up with two threads on okay. one side, OK? So you need to tuck one underneath mm -hmm. and then you give it a firm pull and just make sure before you tie it off that it's tight here because sometimes you can get a little loop there mm -hmm. and make sure it's a tight bind at the back, OK? When you're threading, do you go through the top hole, the bottom hole, the middle hole? So you, you start off, you go through the centre hole, so yeah. you, you start on the inside, yeah. so wherever you start is where you end up ah, as okay. well. So you go out through the centre hole, yeah. In through the top, yeah. then you skip the centre and go out through the bottom, uh -huh. back in the centre. Ah, so okay. this is what gives you the two threads in the middle. Perfect. Okay. So then I naturally go left over right when I knot, mm -hmm. which means the second knot you need to go right over left. It just helps to to keep the knot tight. Oh, that's a good. That's another really good tip. And then trim it off depending on how much wax is on the thread or how you heat it up with your fingers it will sometimes stick down you can tuck it under or i mean i just leave it i, yeah. I don't mind it, it. The handmade fill. Yeah. yeah okay so that essentially is the book bound together mm -hmm. now um i've left that one a little bit loose actually i didn't tighten that one up enough no matter um mm -hmm. So, if you want to see your bind, you obviously have the option that you, you have this fabric, but it is a little bit thin. It's really there just to bind it together. So, if you want to see the bind, what I would do is substitute this outside piece for your velvet, okay? Mm. So, then you'd stitch through your velvet if you want to see the stitches. What we're doing is, like I said, we're just using this to keep the book together, and then we're going to use the velvet for decoration over okay. the top, okay? So, again, it does give you the measurements um, of how to cut this. Let's see which way I need it. It doesn't make a difference. So, you just need to make sure that when you stick it, it's going to cover that inside fabric. Yeah. That it's going to wrap round and cover at the back as well. Mm -hmm. So, precision measuring will cut it about there. <laughs> um, There we go, like that. Okay. And then you can see you've got extra there as well. So if you did want to do that on the corners, like yeah. I said earlier, you could. You've also got that if you want to make embellishments as yeah. well. OK, so I'm just going to fray mm -hmm. the edge off a little bit. Yeah. And you don't have to fray it. So it will naturally try and fray, but once you've got it stuck down, once you've got the glue underneath it, it will stop it fraying any further, mm -hmm. OK? So if you want the pile to be a certain way on, on the book, um, yeah, so I would have it so that... Because you're going to stroke it. It's velvet. You're going to stroke it, aren't you? <laughs> well, I tell you, you've got beautiful papers to stroke, velvet to stroke. There's going to be a lot of stroking going on. It, it, this sounds a bit weird. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going in with the smooth stick again uh -huh. and just coating the back of the velvet. Nice. Like that. And then I'm going to place this centrally. Yeah. Like that. And again, you would take more time than I am just to make sure it's lined up. Okay. Then go in with this glue just down through the side here. I kind of get the sense, and I totally get why, but you, you take so much satisfaction from the process of building up the book. Yeah, so I get... Um, now the craft store are keeping me very busy, I get less time for my own crafting. Oh, okay. But I get the pleasure in designing... So I design everything from scratch, so from the papers... Yeah. That's all my designs, yeah. the concept of the book, the putting it together, the sourcing the items. Mm -hmm. And then when I make samples, that's my crafting time. Oh. So I get, there you know, you best of both worlds sort of thing. Nice. Right, so here is where I said you need to give that a little bit of time to grab, but yeah. it does mean you've got time to manoeuvre it a little bit if yeah. you need to. Wiggle room, yeah. So you've got the option now that you can cut this flush and fray, mm -hmm. or you can tuck it around, OK? So, um, let's pop a little bit of glue 
beautiful. I've got strands everywhere now. You should see this when I'm cutting it up in the studio ready for kits. There's like bits and strands. And <laughs> huh. Right, so we just tuck that under. Ah, nice. Oh, yeah, I think the tuck's the way to go. Like that. So, again, you know, as with everything, you'll spend more time yeah. than I can to get this right. And this is the other reason why we haven't put this, the covers on the insides of the boards yet, because it will cover that and just mm -hmm. neaten it up. OK, let's just cut those strands off there. Nice. So you just need to try and make sure that you tuck that without getting glue on the edge yeah. um, of your papers there. Round. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then what it gives you is that nice flush edge that's nice and neat if you don't want that frayed edge. Yeah. It's lovely. entirely up to you. And then the last Listen, thing can we I just need... say that looks so good. It really does. And the adding <laughs> the velvet is such a nice touch. I, I haven't seen that before. Yeah, well it's it's the first time I've used velvet on a kit. Yeah. Um it's a but good way to go. I must say, if you like this, yeah. you might want to tune into my show next month. Oh, you're a tease. <laughs> okay, that's it. Locked in. Do you, can you give us a date? Uh, I think it's the 26th of October. Okay. See, last time I was here, I was like, yeah, I'll be back on the 26th of October. Here I am a week yeah, later. <laughs> uh, by the way, do follow Janie on social media. I follow you. And uh, you great post on Instagram, Facebook, but also you give us a, a little update on what's coming up when you're here, what you've got, yeah. so it's worth following. Yeah. Um, so I've put the smooth stick on the board mm -hmm. and then just a little bit of the quick stick around the edge here. Um, it does grab quite quickly, so what I tend to do is hold the opposite corners so I can line it up because you want a nice, even, um, mm -hmm. what's the word? Not overlap, the opposite. <laughs> space. space. You want okay. an even space. <laughs> I, I, I was lost for words. Is that underlap? I don't know. <laughs> Joe Yanis, I always remember one of the first times I was here and I worked Wait, with uh, you. I thought you were going to say something. I thought you were going to say Frankfurter. No, but okay. my husband said he was going to email in and see if he could get you laughing that's again, in, but that's to say sausages. Yeah, that's a good joke. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, what you say? First time no, we week. did um, a pre-record show for America, yeah. and it was when I had um, I was here with a gramophone, uh -huh. and I was explaining how you can um, you know do all these different things with it, yeah. and I could not think of the word label. You know, there's a label yeah. in the middle of a of yeah. a record, so I was going. You can personalise the. Um, the, um, I'm sure there's a word for it, and you just looked up and went, label? I was like, that's the <laughs> one! <laughs> See how we remember things? Oh. <laughs> but it's just, I was like, I'm, I'm yeah. sure there's a word yeah. for it, and you were just like, label. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I had help in my ear, so I'll tell you. <laughs> It's just that sometimes, isn't it, just the, the simple things, they just leave your mind, don't they? <laughs> Was that, oh, yeah, especially when you... Well, the thing is, you're not just focused on... You focus on so many things when you're demonstrating yeah. and crafting it. Was that our first show together? I don't think it was the first oh. one, but it, it was, it was early days, yeah. 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 <laughs> Good times. Right, so I there always, we go. I always um, look forward to working with genuinely. When I see on the schedule, I was having a look last night at my shows for this week. And I think, oh, brilliant, I'm getting work with Jane. Well, it's funny, actually, because when yeah. I get my show sheet come through yeah. and I sent my husband a message and went, I'm working with Yanis. Oh, good. <laughs> there we go. So that's the, that's the bind of the book. Yeah. So it makes sense now why we didn't cover the inside yeah. until the end. So you're covering all the little gubbins so it looks nice and yeah. neat. OK. Um, so what you get yeah. in the kit as well, so we haven't even started on the print pack yet. Uh -huh. Wow. You've got more corners, so what I would do with those, I mean, normally I would do the back corners as well, but just for time. So what I would do is cut them out without the flap on there, mm. and then you can start putting them on the coloured pages as well. Oh, that's so that's nice a nice touch. decoration. Can I just show you the corners you used here, just yep. to give you an idea of the effectiveness of corners? So this is obviously a completed book. This is the Heritage Garden that is made now. Look at that. Beautiful. The, corner, the corners do make a difference. 
and just on the back, it's that lovely little finishing touch that elevates the book, makes it something special. And genuinely, that's what I love about you, Jane, is your attention to detail. Because you yeah. can bring out a kit, but it's these small little touches that make it special. And you know what? Sometimes when we, when I was saying like my niece was helping me cut all the all the stuff for the kits, genuinely sometimes when I'm doing all the packing, I think, why have I put so many uh, items in it? Because I many. I normally do everything myself. Yeah. So you can imagine the volume. It does wow. take quite a long yeah. time. And sometimes and I think, you, why yeah. have I put so many things in? Because they need to be there. And because you, it looks nice. That's why. Gen you are a crafter, <laughs> and you're very very generous. Uh, by the way, I know we got to, we were telling you about um, the stamps and. I'm conscious of the time, so we are just going to go down the counter and show you everything. Um, if you have any questions for Janie, please get in touch. Is that okay, Janie? Yeah. yeah? We are getting very busy, and I'm so pleased because Janie genuinely deserves uh, the shows to be busy. The, what you get with Janie is her business, Janie's Originals. She designs everything. Now, having a look, I'm going to be quick here because there's so much more uh, we're going to be sharing with you, but look at, say, this design here. Now, that hair was actually from an original painting, one of Janie's original paintings. So you can see how talented she is. But she creates such wonderful designs for us. So complete kit. You're not only getting the book binding kit, uh, you're also getting the print pack as well. Uh, and it works out. $9.99 for your book binding kit if you factor in the three pound saving as opposed to $12.99 uh, and then you've got $9.99 for your print pack as well. Oh, oh are we 40 percent? We are over 40 percent of the stock now for that. That's fantastic. Two four five five nine five, and the hidden garden as well. A quarter of the stock has gone here. There is no bad option. Genuinely no bad option for you and I will just leave you because we're moving on. I'm just going to leave you with this. This is the hidden garden. Could you see this in your home? Imagine that, and I would leave this out. I can imagine that by, by the bedside or in your crafting room. It's just such a beautiful handmade book. And the question I'll pose to you is, what are you going to be putting inside your book? You've got so many options there. Uh, it is just a blank canvas for you. $19.98 your price, print pack and your uh, book binding kit, that is your hidden garden as well. So options. Right, we're going to talk about the stamps. I mentioned them, I teased them uh, a bit earlier on. Now, the owl is at 30% of the stock. I told you we didn't have a huge amount of stock. Just from my own uh, experience, I was fortunate enough to be presenting a show when Janie first brought us this owl. It is beautiful. And the designs that you discover within the owl are stunning. I've actually got some finished examples here. Uh, firstly, it's, it's a big stamp set. You're getting such good value for money. Now, I'm going to show you this. All that wonderful detail within the owl. So a beautiful tawny owl in there. Uh, just having a look at the actual stamp set. I mean, you've got the owl, but then you've got so much more imagery in there too. Uh, 18 stamps in total, so we've got the moon. We can decorate our owl. I love this moon too. How cool is that moon? And then you've got all these other elements, the stump. And uh, Okay, now this is me dragging my, uh, the, my memory banks, but <laughs> the stump was brought in. Someone asked you to put the stump in. You've got right? a good memory. Have, right? <laughs> the silly things. When my wife tells me to remember something, I never do. But something here, I'll remember yes. that. She's watching yes, right so, now, she'll kill me. So, um... <laughs> I run a craft club yeah. fortnightly and uh, Julie, one of the craft club members, yeah. occasionally there's different people that I might send an image to and go, what do you think of this yeah. when I'm designing it? So I, I'd drawn most of it up and she said, well, it, it needs to have a stump or something to stand on. And I said, yeah, I was going to, but I can't really fit it in. She was like, no, no, you really need one. So then I rejigged the whole thing to manage to fit it in. So I was like, you better use you that when stump. you're stamping oh, that. Yeah, it's her favourite, her favourite <laughs> stump. Uh, fifteen ninety nine your price. If you do want to go for this beautiful A5 stamp set, so many stamps, 18 stamps in total. It really is stunning. Uh, 150361, your item number. Moving on, we've got... Uh, uh, I really like this. This is the this is Christopher the Crow coming through. I follow an artist on Instagram, and she was it's a random story, but it's worth it. She uh, there was a crow fledging in her garden, and it didn't quite make it, so it landed there, and I think it hurt its wing a little bit. So she took it in, and it just became just her best friend for She's a little got a while. Pet crow. And then well, no, now I think it has it yeah. has gone back into the wild. But um, crows are very clever. 
Very, yes, very, very, very good yeah, animals. Yeah. Apparently, they hold a grudge too. If you ever annoy a crow, Do they, really? they hold a I'll grudge. I try not to annoy yeah, a crow. They, they will remember you. <laughs> <laughs> but um, look at the amount of artwork that you're getting in here. And it lives up to, I couldn't name this any better, Janie's Originals. Look at the original artwork that you're getting in here. All these beautiful uh, components too. I think we could go steampunk. Yes. With this this yeah. would be a really good he, one He's for got steampunk. his top hat there. Whack the top so. hat on. <laughs> yeah, I think so. You've got the uh, crown in there as well, or you've got the keys. So you've got what? Well, it looks a little bit funny at the top. You actually have a pair of glasses, which look a bit strange, but because of the angle that he uh. is, they sit perfectly. But obviously, you could stamp just one side and have it as a monocle oh, yeah. as well. Cool. I'll just show you one inspiration. Well, show, do you know what? Let me let me show you a couple. We've got some. I like this, and it's something that we don't get to see very often. Now imagine taking these, I mean, obviously great for your cards, but for works of art, Janie, this, that's a little bit special. Why, thank you. <laughs> Love that. Yeah, so some collage in the background and just, just built it up and then obviously with the wing, yeah. uh, like, you know, stamping an extra one to, to layer it Pretty over. Up. Beautiful. Great. Fifteen ninety nine is your price. Two thirds of the stock really busy uh, for that option. Zero seven two nine seven four your item number. Okay, now. No, I told you we didn't have a lot of stock. Uh, this next set, I'm so sorry, I didn't even get to call limited. It's sold out, but. Good news is, and we already anticipated we were going to lose stamps, so we've talked to Janie. It's back on a two-week extended delivery. It's going to be uh, dispatched on the 11th of October. Now, we say two weeks. It's only the time to get it manufactured. Yeah, it has to be manufactured, yeah. come to me, and then I do the packaging myself. So, okay. yeah, just need to give me a bit of time. <laughs> well, that, look, two weeks, that is fair enough. Fifteen ninety-nine is your price, but what a beautiful hair. I've got to jump straight to... A couple of inspiration. Oh, all of these are amazing. I want to show. <laughs> I'll show you this one first. Look at this hair. I can see why, because you were telling me, Janie, that last time you brought this, it was very popular. It went, well, when I launched, yeah. this one went absolutely crazy. We, we couldn't keep it in stock. Wow. <laughs> I was with Haley, and every time she was going, we've got more stock. Oh, no, it's gone. <laughs> So, yeah, he, he has been uh, quite popular. It's great. I'll just... One more. I'm going to put this down, but this is worth seeing. Wait till you see this as an inspiration. Look at that. So he's got the top hat from the Christopher Crow set. Yeah. So they all uh, work together. And, and obviously, because I hand draw everything, styles always work together as well. Yeah. So if you build a collection, everything... Yeah, you know, works good. with each other. Fifteen ninety nine. your price. If you do want to pop this into your basket, um, then now it's time to do it. Now, I want to give you an update on the crow. The crow, oh, the crow's gone as well. So, uh, crow now is back on extended delivery the 18th of October. That's going to be... Oh, is it, did I say the 18th? 11th. I was so, you know you're talking about you remember stuff, and I was, that, that was karma, because in my mind I was being quite confident of it, I remembered the, uh, the, the extended and I got it wrong, yeah, the 11th of October, uh, 1599 is your price, 072974 your item number, okay, so we've got Melissa the Mouse in here, uh, this is Barney Bird, very cute, so Melissa named after our very own Melissa, Simply Vintage, yes. This is a really cute set, and I, I kind of get a sense with the crow, with the hair, uh, with the owl, and now this set, the proportions all work very nicely if you wanted to yes. use them for a larger piece. Yeah, and they all come from, so when they were originally launched, they all had a story that went with them as well, oh. which is the story of the characters within the hidden garden. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they all work together. They're beautiful. I'm just holding up. Uh, I'll show you one inspiration because I know we we got to be a little bit quicker. Look at that! They're cute. It's that good. is such a lovely little Melissa image. Melissa Mouse has got a little ladybird on her tail. Oh. <laughs> She's friendly. Uh, Fifteen ninety nine <laughs> is your price there if you want to put Melissa Mouse and Barney Bird into your basket. One nine one eight four one your item number. Now next we've got options for you, but nice, such nice options to have. <laughs> Can we just talk about lace elements? When, when you kind of venture towards vintage, one of the first things you think about is lace, Vin beautiful vintage lace. Yeah. The ability to stamp out your own lace, and you yeah. just don't see many lacy designs coming through. These are stunning. So, so and, oh, sorry, I was going to say another yeah. name check from Lissa, because obviously she does vintage. Yeah. Um, so some of the lace is hand drawn from lace that Melissa gifted me. 
Wow. So I then sent her an image, and she was like, wait, hang on a minute. Uh, I said, yeah, that's the drawing of it. I've, I've drawn it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But it means that you can do your continuous stamping, you can yeah, build yeah. your background, stamping on fabric looks really nice. That's nice. And it's just really handy for backgrounds in journals and things like that as well. Well, I've got, a, you've got some boards here. I'm going to show you these. So here, having a look at the boards. And again, the, the different uses, but look at the amount of imagery that we're getting. That is a beautiful, just white embossed. Yeah. Stunning. Yeah. Onto craft card. How good is that? Uh, you've got all of these lovely elements going through, but then if you wanted to go into fabric as well, you absolutely can. Uh, now here, what have you done here? So that's stamped into um, hot glue. So uh, from a coloured glue stick. Yeah. Um, and then what you do, so you stamp your image up, say, in the gold. Yeah. Put the hot glue out onto a non-stick mat and then put your stamp into it. Let it cool before you take the stamp out and then so you can do like faux wax seals and things like that. Oh, well, that's cool. So all of these from just one stamp set. $12.99 is your price. They are a DL stamp set. Uh, 535-904, your item number. That's your lace option. Uh, you also have your uh, filigrees here too. Yes, and unfortunately I forgot to bring the examples of that. There's just one in front of you on oh. a bottle, which also goes with Christopher Crowe. It's a beautiful filigree though. Lovely. Twelve ninety nine for your fat. I mean then, I'm saying filigrees, but I, I apologise, I should give it the full name. The fancy filigrees <laughs> too, and they do live up uh, to that billing. You can see beautifully ornate, and they, they look opulent. They yeah, and again, expensive. these go with, if you start doing the bookmaking, mm -hmm. you've got the corners and things in there as yeah. well. So you could stamp those onto the front of books in boss in gold, mm -hmm. and that gives you that kind of old-fashioned yeah, look. That's yeah, that's the way to do it. Okay, now, last stamp to share with you. This is your wildflowers. Um, beautiful collection. I like this, of wildflowers. And what I think is great about the wildflowers, and just showing it here, actually, Silhouettes, fantastic. Yeah. So think about creating your backgrounds and using those wildflowers for silhouettes, building up that beautiful depth to it. Or even if that's a nice inspiration too. So you're just adding a bit of the flower heads, so bringing those out yeah. and having the wildflowers behind. So it was done as a like you said with the silhouette, so you can you can build nice scenery with mm. it, but also it goes with again the other stamp sets to do your scene building. Well, how about here? That that is really atmospheric. It's so, you kind of yeah, get a sense of the moonlight that's glistening. That's stamped up. like overstamped several times, and then the top layer embossed, so it gives you that depth in there. Mm. And there you've got just another example. Twelve ninety nine is your price. Zero six zero six six four your item number. Now there is so much more to discover on the website as well. Do have a little look. Five star reviews as well now. All those reviews left by viewers who've purchased from us in the past. And I think Janie is worth every one of those stars. Something else that's been really busy is a glue. Can we just click on the glue for a moment? Uh, thank you, Charlotte. Sorry to sort of produce on the floor. I'll tell you why I wanted to show you this. It's, and Janie's described it as a smooth glue, but I just want to stress, and you can see it on the labeling, it is a paper binding glue and a specific paper binding glue. And, the thing is, with paper binding glue, it, it's a different consistency to just a normal PVA glue. And we were talking about this, a yeah. so lower water content, mm -hmm. it's archival, doesn't get brittle, doesn't yellow. It's just a very, very good blue, uh, glue. Great for your paper crafting and fantastic for your book binding. Really good. Yeah, and like we were showing with the fabric, it's ideal fabric to board yeah. as well as paper to board. Yeah. You, will, you will, won't... I, I promise you, you will not regret that as an investment. And you saw Janie, especially with the spatula, how sparingly she did use uh, that glue. Now, Janie, time has uh, run out for this it hour. It flies by, doesn't That's it? it goes <laughs> but the good news is we're back together at 11. 11, yes. What are we going to do at 11? Uh, well, we could either do some decorating of the books or maybe mm. use some stamps or a bit of both. Let's see, of, let's see how both. it goes. Go. Uh, I can't <laughs> wait. Please tune in because we didn't get to see the stamps this hour, but we will. Uh, we'll take a look at everything next out but we will be fo uh, focusing on stamps as well 
wait to see these stamps actually stamped out and you get to appreciate the detail. You're so good with your design. <laughs> thank so. you. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, very quickly, if you want to follow you on social media, how do we do it? Janie's Originals or so, Janie Burnett Bleach, yes. Please, please follow Janie. It's absolutely worth it. Right, uh, fortunately time has beaten us, but we've got our first look at the one-day special today, just around the corner. Oh, it was popular yesterday. Uh, so the one and only John will be up next. He's joined by the lovely Paola. After that, we have got an hour with Leone and the Happy Planner, and then we're going to get hooked on sugar buttons. Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest and a crafter. I got into crafting years ago, ever since I've been crafting since I was a child and I absolutely love it. I love my job, I love the presenting side because I get to meet loads of really inspirational people. I hope you can join me on my Let Leone Lose shows every Wednesday, 11am and 2pm. Hello, I'm Carol. And I'm Hayley. And together we are the Dreamies. Dreamies have been around for 11 years now. We started with CD-ROMs, we've developed into stamps, paper pads, dies. We've now got the Dinky Inkies range as well. On the Dreamies shows, we hope to further inspire you with all the techniques and tips that we can offer, hopefully getting you to use all of your inks, your flower making techniques, and really build on all the skills you probably already have. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Jo and I have the pleasure of demonstrating for That's Crafty. That's Crafty are a family run business that started online in 2005. I hope I can inspire you by bringing along my experience together with the That's Crafty products. So make sure you don't miss the That's Crafty shows. Good morning. Uh, well, if you are in for the one day special, I will say one thing. Just make sure to check out your baskets as soon as possible. Of course, we are talking about John next door, an incredible one day, uh, one day special and a complete collection as well. Very special, but also very, very, very busy. So if you want to do not hang around, please, uh, you know, it was very busy overnight. And this means one thing that is going to be, um, well, basically, if you want it, you need to check out your baskets because John, hello, yes. good hello. morning. Hello, good morning. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, this was an incredible lunch. It was very yeah. busy overnight. We are talking about limited stock, aren't we? We are, yes. We, you know, we, I said yesterday we haven't got any more. Yeah. There isn't any more in reserve. We have tried with Practical who manufacture it, and yeah. they were trying to scratch about, try and find us some more, yeah. and haven't been able to. So literally, this is it. I had to come in this morning at 6 and sit with poor Charlotte, the producer, and go, no. There is no more. That's what you've got. Just add up the figures and make <laughs> and sure we don't oversell it. Well, it's exactly. Um, or that's don't want to disappoint important. anybody. Absolutely. Now, that means one thing that before we get into the start of what you have got in the one day special, well, let me tell you that it is a limited stock. Limited stock means that 90% of the stock has gone. And there is, you know, if you want it, make sure to check out your baskets. Now, we are getting there. But it is, of course, a box magazine. But can you talk us through exactly what we are getting? Yeah. 
Yeah, so what you're getting is, I mean, I think this is the one thing that we miss massively. You get the big magazine. Yeah. Yeah. So if I turn this over, you can see you've literally got, and this is the great thing I think that you really miss is, in here, you've got, and I was turned to the wrong page, but so if you want to see what any of the angels look like, there is our Leslie. Oh, fabulous. Because a, a lot of the angels were able to step up and do this. So if you want to make that card, which again, doesn't look Christmas at all, yeah. There's the instructions. If you want to make that one, there's the step-by-step -step instructions. So for everything, you've got step-by-step -step instructions. Then you've got the beautiful papers, which are all matte, yeah. as opposed to in the complete collection, we've got gloss for the pads. So it carries on and carries on with 74 different individual project, projects you can make. There's even a section about the complete collection. Right, yeah. Because it was all designed together. Yeah. So if you get that, you can see the dies from that. So you get the magazine, yeah, which yeah. I think is the bit we always forget. Indeed. It's one of the best. You then get an A5 stamp set, or sorry, A5. You get a 5x5 five five stamp set. Right. And as somebody told me last night on social media, they they live in Scotland and they've <gasps> never seen a happy hogmany. Yeah. Sentiment. Yeah, I haven't seen one. No, well, I hadn't, and I didn't. I'm sure someone will have done one. Yeah. But she said it's really nice to see Happy Hogmanay because is. we've all got Merry Christmas, Absolutely Happy Christmas. Absolutely, we do. But you've got all those sort of drawn elements yeah. that match it. Then you've got the tartan embossing folder. Perfect, which is kind of clean, same very which well with that. It's the same you know, idea, absolute. the Highland Christmas. Yeah. But if you've got my tartan die from a, a few yes. months ago, this is the same design. Oh, cool. So it works together. So it works together. So you can, it's exactly the same. So you can m emboss this and then cut the tartan die and put it on top and offset <sighs> and get texture and depth. Ooh. So, and then finally, this is where I went a bit mad because you know the box yes, kits. Yes, I do. And you know you get that much metal yeah, to make a die. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and I kind of kicked off a little bit. Yeah. And said, I'll have a smaller stamp set. But yeah. But please, can I have the sort of die set that I would do? <sighs> And of course, what I've done is the tag matches exactly the with the tags, tags in the paper pad. That's phenomenal. And it matches the tags in the paper pad from the last yeah. box kit. Wow. So if you've got that one, this will cut those oh. out. Because to me, fun. it's always about building. You should never put something away. But you get the beautiful foliage, a left and a right, small and a large, in the pine bow, the berry twigs, the mistletoe, and also in the um, holly. That so you're is... getting all of that all within the one kit plus in the one day special oh yes you get the exclusive die to the what craft store it? which is the it basically that's a silent night oh wow but it's beautiful. tied together with the baroque snowflakes oh. from my collection this yeah. year so it matches and you get the three beautiful baubles wow. that cut the stars out as well so that's your sort of exclusive with it so it's all of that plus Full instructions. That's that's brilliant. And your papers. And so. your papers. I mean, all that is the one day special for just nineteen pounds and ninety eight pence. Remember, you are getting in this box magazine with this one day special. That special die said that you it will not. It's exclusive for the craft store. So that's very important to remember. Yes, the craft ma the magazine uh, you can see it as well, but this you will not. So this is why the one day special is truly special. You have got a three pound saving as well, so you're not even paying full price for the full bundle. And of course, it will have it will be dispatched from the 30th of um, September, which is Thursday. Is this Thursday? Three days. It's just it's just Thursday. 717-784 is your item number. Now we are very extremely busy. Remember, limited stock. We have got queues on the phones, but if you have got access to the internet, the website, of course, thecraftstore.com, will be the fastest and easiest way to check out your baskets. Now, then we have got that's the one that's special. But then we have got a complete collection, which includes every Everything we are getting in the one day special plus more of course we are talking about the Highland Christmas complete collection now this then suddenly has one of my favorite dice that is a brand new one that beautiful forest yes or woodlands this is the last of my full Christmas range wow. so there's no more John next door Christmas hidden away this is the last of it I love the forest frame again it is part of the Christmas collection, but you could use that all year round. As I keep saying, it's actually based on a lampshade in our bedroom oh, um, because I loved it. But you've got the detail in there. And as I discovered last night, there's actually four birds in it, not three. Oh. 
I thought there were four, I thought there were three. I drew this and I thought there were three and there's actually four. But you kind of get lost when you're merging images together. Oh, he's not But I you've got see. that beautiful tree, but that shows how it works. Um, the outside frame and how it works with my box die. So that's my box die. Yeah. So you've got that and last year or the year before's deer scenes. So they all work together. But again, you can change the colours. If you took Silent Night off that, that's perfect as a birthday card or anything. It and is. it's certainly got a masculine feel to it. It does. I or mean, again, change the colours. That looks yeah. so different. I also think there's a like a for thinking of you card as well. Nice. You know, when you want to say something, something that you can't say anything. Exactly. Yeah. yeah that's there has got the serenity and a peace to mm. it as well. It that really is incredibly, has. Uh, really gorgeous. I don't know. I just look at it, and the more I look at, it, the more I love it. But that's not all. You are getting, of course, lots more in here. Uh, the one, uh, of course, the complete collection also includes the beautiful holly frame in there. As well, uh, is it ho well? It, is, it has got the holly leaves it's in it. It's got holly and ivy twisted around it, and it's a really weird one because if you look at it, it yeah. looks as if it's very random, but it's actually fully symmetrical. Oh, uh, yeah. So it doesn't look as if it is. And I showed this link on the eight o'clock show last night. That's actually repeated in four aspects. So if you want to mount them up or layer them up, you don't have to work out which is the top. Which, which is to life to me is, is um, so it's too short it, it, for trying to mark T's yeah. on die cuts yeah. to work out which is the top piece. That is, but it, you can shade through that die. But if you show the the one with the um, the green and the red, yeah. what we've actually got included in that die is you get an outside line that cuts the little circles in, yeah. and an inside die, so you can make it like that, so you can have a flat frame with the holly and ivy going on it again without having another die set. So everything's included in one. Right, and then of course we have got that I love. I mean, there's so many beautiful elements in here and so many beautiful possibilities in it to make as well. Like, oh, and then, sorry, I just kind of, there's so much, it keeps on going. <laughs> sorry, I kind of went, I'm like, again. oh, it's just so beautiful. I mean, I love these dice as well. This, this, is, this is probably the simplest snowflake I've ever done and probably the one I love the most. It makes me think of um, sort of 1950s and 60s TV shows like yeah. Bewitched and I Dream of Jeannie. Oh, it's yeah. got that little twa twinkle to yeah. it. But again, this card is one of the video cards. So if you go onto YouTube, yeah. you can see step by step how to make this with it. But just putting it behind the panels from the Noel die to make it, doesn't it look quite, which is why I call it mm. Funky Snow Stars, because it looks funky. It does. And but it ties it. in and everything ties together and works and that's what Love I wanted that. with this. Love that as well. Yeah, Plus, really... you've got the paper pads. Oh, well, that's, that's true, actually. I mean, I've done... I mean, the paper You're going to have pads, to grab have... them off there, unfortunately, because those... Until Friday, these were the only ones in the country. Wow. And now you can have them. No, but... I'll grab it. I'll grab it. Uh, so then we... <laughs> it's going to go anyway. So this is a full t 12 by 12... Yeah, yeah, and it's 24 sheets, and it's on 190 GSM gloss art paper. Right. So we've not just had it made in matte, because yeah. they just don't shine properly to me. Yeah, because we it's Christmas. That, you it's need Christmas, that shine. It's Christmas, you need that gloss. But we've had it made in 190 GSM art paper, Two. so that it carries it really, really well. Oh, I think it's... Oh, it says Was it 200? Yeah. Sorry. It, has, it says here 200 GSM. Yes. So... It's it's me. We we just we went through so many different options. The one I've got is literally um, one of the very very early samples, and this is actually made on ninety GSM. Oh. So it's exactly the same on yeah. the front, but it's not as thick. Yeah. But this is what made me decide this one that I wanted it in the gloss, right. because if you compare to your um, there we go. If you compare. To your mat yeah. that you can ink on with the gloss. Yeah. You're getting so much in more in real life you see it so much better. Of it's so strange, but it almost looks foiled. But of course in here you're getting a twelve by twelve and an, an eight, eight by eight. eight. Yeah. That's, of course, now, if you want to go for the complete collection, you are also getting, of course, like, let's, let's break it down. You're getting the one-day special with that a special exclusive die set that is nowhere else but here at the craft store. Then you are getting three other die sets. Beautiful. Look at the Christmas, the last of the Christmas from 2021 from John. The forest. Then we have got, of course, that frame, the, foli, uh, the holly and ivy. And then, of course, those snowflakes, which are perfect for centers of flowers as well, I would they think. Would make 
perfect stamens for it's the middle exactly. of your flowers, wouldn't I? Never and, thought of that. And I also think, like, you know those um, those wild uh, flowers as well, that you can do it, you know, uh, you know what they are? Oh, cow's par parsley? Yes. Par you know, yeah, that sort of thing. They have that look. Yeah, they'd that be look. beautiful in black in the middle of, like, a daisy or something. Exactly. To give that pop of pop colour. Pop of colour yeah. as well. So then you are getting, of course, those dyes. Then you are getting two paper pads in 8x8 eight and a 12 by 12 all together, you, and of course the saving carries forward from the one day special, and then you're saving 13 pounds. So there is 64 pounds, well actually 16 pounds saving, and of course you are paying 64 pounds and um, 98, uh, 97 pence. Uh, now if you split the cost into interest free payments, you will only pay 32 pounds and 47 pence. That would be your first payment, and then of course the second payment would be next month. We are 80% of the stock are gone for the complete collection, remember, that that if you are a freedom member, the price is even better. Your saving actually is, tw is it 22 pounds and four Two pounds and 49 pence, yeah, as a freedom member. And of course, that means that you can also flexify it. And as a freedom member, you don't pay PMP. So 29 pounds and 22 pence would be all you are paying today. Now, we also have a happy hour for this hour. And of course, that is a selection, a lucky dip of five of the I zinc. And now, the content may vary in terms of what colors you are going to get, but for 9.99, it means that you are saving ten pounds, so better than half price by one penny. Uh, four five nine eight two four is your item number. Remember to check out your baskets because remember that uh, we have got uh, the one day special here. Oh, let, oh, oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm asking for the first demo to grab me three, three oh, randomly anyway. Well, so. you know, because it's true, actually, when we look at them, we think that they are the one inch, we but think actually, the these are not. These are the big. A a size. I think it's a two and a half inch to eight centimeter. I think they're, they're called. It's the large size pad, yeah. which is absolutely perfect. And of course, the pigment is perfect for your techniques, yeah, yeah. for your stamping, for your backgrounds, and also because it is pigment, it means you can emboss on it. Indeed, you can. So you wanted me to grab Pick your three random three, colors. Three random yeah, colors. Match, just three oh, random well, colors. I'm going to go in for the blue. I'm going to go in for the pink. And no, I'm, I'm not going to make it that difficult. Ooh. Ooh, shall I do, shall I challenge? Yeah, go completely crazy, which as crazy as you want to. Okay, so I'm going to grab these three colours, which are all be beautiful colours, but, you know, I don't think necessarily they go too well together. No, but they will work for this. Yeah. I hope they will work. No, they okay. will work for this. And that's the idea of why we wanted to put them together as a fibre, yeah. to give you a taster of them. Oh, for how they and work. sometimes we choose colours ourselves, and I do it, I'm terrible. I choose blue. Yeah, this and is I why I got the, yeah, the first blue. one was the blue one. Yeah, I was like, I I'm not going to be that evil. entire range of blues yeah. and having a completely random selection of colours. So, no go, I've just cost myself a tenner on these. Um, I'm going to make a card using the winter yeah. trees, right. but I want to show how we can get a real nice background. And again, I watch yourself and Leonie yeah. make beautiful inky backgrounds, and I genuinely do not have that skill level. Well, so I, I'm not the best at choosing sort of random colours to mix. Um, so I thought, well, what I'll do is I'll, I will just make one. Okay. So these work so well. So I'm just going to take some of the pigment ink on my brush. But you see why I love pigment. Yeah. It's just a Straight away. And we, you know at home that the overhead cameras have not got that intensity yeah. of colour. So you're getting quite a nice intensity of colour. And the fab thing about, if you look, I've used the same brush. Yeah about the eye zincs is because they are not a felt pad, they are a foam pad, oh it means that they don't, If even if I get some colour on top, it can't soak in, yeah. so you don't contaminate them. So literally, anyone can do that. Yeah. Yeah, completely yeah. random. Yeah. No skill at all, completely yeah. random. And I've used, because I've used pigmenting, what I can then do is I can add embossing powder. Right. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glitter embossing powder. Okay. Randomly over the top. So I'll just take, tap that off. You see there that's stuck. Right. 
So let's just put what's left back. I'm running very low on my glitter embossing pad. You can tell it's one of my favourites. Yeah, you could. but it's one of those ones that you can use it with so many occasions. That glittery kind of what? Uh, you can use it all all year round. I mean, I yeah. literally use it all year round. So I'm preheating my heat gun. Right, you're being good. I yeah. never do that. It, it's it's what you should do, right? It will it will blow less. It will burn your card less. And again, as I always say, you wouldn't iron your top with an iron that's just been switched on unless your power are looking at her face, she would. You let it come to heat first. You that's know. why I don't iron. I can't believe that dress is not ironed. Oh, that this is, is literally a wash hand. No, that's there's not a that's, crease yeah. in it. I, these that. shirts that I yeah. wear, I have to send to my yeah. mum to wash an iron for me. Oh, then no, this is a wet. But you can see now, yeah. but watch, because it's pigment, you would yeah. expect all that powder to be blowing off. And it's not because it's so heavily in the um, uh, pigment ink. So I'm just going to heat set that. This is why I heat the heat gun. Look how quicker that's yeah. turning. So work over it. I just love watching it turn. Oh, it's, just, it's just magnificent, isn't it? It's, it's the it first thing old. I remember watching on craft TV yeah. and just being completely mesmerised yeah. like it was yeah. magic. I remember seeing it the first time in the craft shop, and I, can, I think it's near the Bradford Tunnel, because I used to live in Kent at the time. Yeah. And then it was just like, oh, I need to do, look at this. But oh, for, already that to me starts to look as if I've spent hours yeah. on that. But I haven't. It's the ink and the colours that have made the difference. And again, you chose randomly. Yeah. We hadn't even set that up. Yeah. I'd not even told Power I wanted her to do it because I didn't. I wanted it to be fair. Yeah. So now I'm going to cut the well, winter trees. You know what? Very busy for the happy hour. 60% of the stock has already has gone. So if you want yours, do make sure to check out your basket. You have got that £10 saving. 9 99 is your price. So it's better than half price. So make sure to take advantage of it and take out your basket. Back to you, John. Right. So I'm now going to cut the winter trees. Okay, yeah. Now, this is the most delicate, the most detailed dye I've ever done. If right. you look yes. how much metal is on the outside, holding all those pieces in right, so yeah. it's, it's always been one of my bugbears um, that when you watch someone on TV and they right. cut a die and it comes yeah. out and it looks so easy yeah. and then you get it home and you find it's a real bother I use yes. a different B word at home but <laughs> you know Derek taught me last night I should say bother Bye, mate, but it's yes. a real bother and I end up throwing the die down and going no I'll not yeah. use it again so I'd rather say this is not the easiest to cut yeah but it's worth it. it worth so what you do is, and i got a little trick for this, is metal shim. Okay, yeah. Now, I believe we've got those on an end of call. Yeah. Oh, we do. If not, yeah. then well, Charlotte, Charlotte can, will look at it. Charlotte yeah. can add more. Okay. Oh, um, wow. Well, I know what came in on the delivery oh, you see on you Friday. See, yeah, well, if there is more, we want So more. I'm adding the metal shim in, yeah, and I'm going forward and back, yeah, yeah and we know that if we've got a complex die, we usually have yeah. to rotate it 90 degrees. Right, yeah. yeah? Exactly. So, but well, I'm going to change it slightly. So can you see there, look? Yes. See, there it's cut, but can you see paler shades? Indeed we can. Where yeah, you have what I call areas. the sleeping yeah. policeman, yeah. where it's gone quickly over it. So we rotate it 90 degrees, but I want all these bits to come out easily. Right. So I came up, found a new trick when I was doing this. Oh. Move your shim. Put your metal shim down and on the down, plate. Right. So we are cutting against so the you're metal. You're cutting against the metal, and that just seems to, with those tiny little bits, just finish it off. Finish it, yeah. um, and, and they it will pull really up works. Quicker. And again, every die in the collection yeah. will fit through the Kaleido Perfect. or other A5 yeah. machines, so you don't need mm. an and A4 the, machine for that's this. That's going to fall off again. Every time. Oh. Sorry. But if so you look an now, of cards. I mean, I've messed up the edges, but I'm going to cover it anyway. But look now. You see the difference? You see oh, how yes. that's all cut yeah. through. So when I take that out and give Hello. it the flip, yeah. that's all I'm left with. And I'm a die like that, anyone who has been long time die cutting knows that that, that would be an absolute yeah. bother. I nearly yeah. said the other word then. But watch the little <laughs> small pieces just come out. Hmm. And I have got another tip. I always say when you're pushing pieces out, yeah. you need some pressure behind, right, otherwise yeah. they just hang. But some people don't like to put their finger there. Well, yeah, no, you can get poked. So if you take your flour moulding or yeah. your stamping foam and just yeah. push yeah. against the foam, yeah. 
it takes every piece out. So again, even if you've got dexterity issues, all you're doing is stabbing down. Yeah. But it shows you that, look, how quickly that's come out. And you, that, I've cut that live. That is just It's fabulous, not pre-cut it? or anything. Look at that. But again, all that detail. It really works. So yeah. we get all the detail out. We get everything cut. Don't put that in the wrong yeah. place. So I've now got my background. I'm just going to... Can you just go through something a second? Just while yeah, I trim this I will give an update, of course, of the One Day Special. Make sure the One Day Special and Complete Collection incredibly busy. Uh, now, the One Day Special includes it's very, very limited in stock. If that's what you want, please make sure to check out your baskets. Uh, this will be the last hour to get it because uh, there is no more. The, the stock is going very fast. We have already made all the calls we could to make sure that we had all the stock we could have for this. And once it's gone, it's gone. If you want the one day special as it is, please make sure to check out your baskets. Remember that you are getting that exclusive to the craft store a die set in here included, which is the Silent Night die. And now, of course, you have got that three pounds saving as well. Nineteen pounds and ninety-eight pence is your price. Now, seven one seven seven eight four is your item number for the one day special. However, if you want to go for the complete collection, well, that is also very very busy. Over 80% of the stock has gone. You have got there an additional £13 savings, so it means that actually your saving with the one day special saving carries forward, so you have got a £16 saving. Or actually, Freedom Members has actually a £22.49 saving. You are also getting the exclusive die set, and additionally, you are getting three more die sets, including the beautiful forest and the holly and the ivy frame as well. And you are getting the paper pad, the 12 by 12 and the 8 by 8. Remember to check out your baskets if you want either of them. Now, remember using Flexi and remember that as a Freedom member, you don't pay PMP, so even better saving. Queues on the phone, so if you have got access to the internet, uh, the craftstore.com will be the fastest and easiest way to get your orders through. Right, uh, John? So right, so I've got my background. All I've done is just trimmed out the bit of right, mess yeah. I made around it and put some foam tape on. But now, look at it on the background. Oh. That's so this is a random background yeah. that I made using a brush okay. and some glitter sparkle that's embossing powder. That's it. So, you know, I can do that there and go, do you know what? I feel like it looks like I'm as skilled as Leone and you are. <laughs> and I'm not. And, I, and you know, and I, I genuinely, I think people, we sit there at home and I do sit at home. You know how much we watch. Yeah, you do, um, actually. Our freedom like account him. is yeah. terrible. <laughs> uh, we even spent last night. Spent really? on the Zuri show last night when oh, we came in yeah, yeah, because, because I wanted so. one and I convinced Sam. Oh, um, that's but we good. sit and watch in awe. Yeah. And if I can find an easy way for it. other people who sit at home like me in awe of these techniques. I think you undersell yourself. I think like maybe you, what you do is like you need quick and easy sometimes. I'm and lazy. Therefore, yeah, well, lazy or a very busy man. Yes. A very busy. No, I, I'm quite happy to go, I'm lazy. I want the easy way. That's my, my, my <laughs> you know, that's what I say about yeah. myself. No, <laughs> I want the easiest way yeah. possible. And I think we, again, we sit and watch a lot of these things and think, I can't make that. Yeah. Well, you can. You can. And I've not had to buy fancy ink pads and yeah. be trying to clap my hands yeah. over and stuff. So if I just block that out then, with a frame. So I, you know I frame nearly everything. Yes. But I, I do think it adds a professional edge to it. But now let's pop that on to, let's use for speed. Yeah, I'm going to just glue. Or just I onto a card that. blank and I'll put that one up so you can see it. But there to me, anyone could make that. That's so beautiful. But doesn't and, it, it looks as if I've spent hours yeah, on it. Yeah, it does. And of course, the, if you want to go for the beautiful die that you can see on your screen, that's included in the complete collection. Again, over 80% of the stock has gone. Remember that you have got your saving as a Freedom member is £22.49 and pence because you have got that extra saving as a Freedom member. And of course, you don't pay uh, P and P. Now, let's break it down again uh, in the one day special what you are getting here while John resets uh, for his next demonstration. Because you are getting papers, you are getting a stamp, you're getting an embossing folder, and of course you are getting those dies that are come in with the box set as well as just exclusive ones. But you are also getting the magazine full of inspiration. And one of the things I love about this specific um, you know, issue is the fact that you are getting to know all the ladies from the design team because they are from John's design team because they are in there. So you can see their faces, which I love about that. But you are also getting that beautiful tag. John 
makes sure that everything that he brings to the market works with whatever his design in the past and kind of builds on building better, more bigger collections, but also building the collections that are kind of interchangeable and they are complementary at the same time. You are getting papers in here that are beautifully designed. So again, they match the tags that you have got the dye in there as well. You have got that kind of highlight look, the deer, the stag, those beautiful tartans, the beautiful music sheet, the kind of vintage colors as well. And having the stamps means that of course you can emboss it as well. You have in here in the one day special, let me show you because the stamps in here are just fabulous. They have got that woolen effect, the highlands in there, the kind of the pine cone, the kind of a beautiful, uh, you know, cinnamon sticks and LM branches as well. But you also are getting, of course, the embossing folder and the embossing folder which coordinates with previous dyes from John. I love that. I love making an investment that is into something that kind of brings back things that I have got already in my stash. And of course, if you go for the uh, complete collection then you have got even more possibilities however if your budget is just for the one day special make sure to check out your baskets because we are single figures now now if you want it now is the time you don't, please do not think too much because otherwise you will miss out on the one day special uh, 717784 is for the one day special and it will be dispatched from Thursday so today's Monday in three days time uh, 30th of September uh, now of course this then there is another way. Now, maybe you are like many of us are massive fans of John and you want to have his latest dyes as well as the one day special. We have got that option for you with the complete Highland collection. That means that you are getting everything in the one day special, those beautiful papers, this embossing folder, the stamps, the exclusive die set, as well as the uh, box um, that is included. But also you are getting three brand new, gorgeous, the latest and the last ones in the Christmas 2020. 21 a range from John next so you are getting also those beautiful snowflakes in there which to me are like flowers they are salmon there are so many stars they are kind of that retro vibe as well if you wanted to do them they are fabulous in larger dyes smaller dyes perfect for sentiments as well and for me that forest is all about saying thinking of you uh, you know have a lovely Christmas or just any time of the year then on top of that, I mean, it keeps ongoing, doesn't it? You have got the 12 by 12 paper pad, 200 GSM, which means that it's actually technically speaking carved. And you are getting 24 sheets of that one on the beautiful gloss that kind of refers reference that luxury of Christmas, doesn't it? And then you're getting the tartan paper pad as well on the eight by eight. Again, having that quality of printing, that vibrancy of the colors. I'm gonna grab this one just to give you a, because that way you can see it, the gold just beautiful, intense, vintagey. You, you immediately are in the highlands, you know, inside one of those manor houses and just having a beautiful hot chocolate and looking at the snowy fields on the outside. And this is the sort of luxury that, of course, the paper it gives you. Now, the complete collection is approaching limited stock. If you want yours, make sure that you check out your baskets. 112469 is your item number. Now, become a Freedom member because you're saving us a Freedom member, actually. It's, it's it's bigger than what the cost of freedom membership now it actually the total of your freedom membership is 22 pounds and 49 pence 58 pounds and 44 pence would be what you are paying for the complete collection now that also can be split into interest free payments and that means that of course as a freedom member the delivery cost that you would be paying today is 29 pounds and 22 pence now we have got some news about the one day special the one day special is technically sold out. If you have it in your baskets and you check out your baskets right now, you will get it, otherwise you will miss it. So if you want it, it can be yours, but if you have it in your basket, split. if you don't want it, let somebody else have it. <laughs> I'll say it. Have, let's have somebody, you know, like live. You know, if you don't want it, let's have some. But if you want it, do check out those baskets. If I, uh, only life was so easy, isn't yeah, it? If only life was so easy, <laughs> yes. Oh, actually, we have got a quick update as well as the, the happy hour. It is limited stock. Now, remember that you are going to get five of those ones. It will be a lucky dip in terms of the colors that you may get, but it is better than half half price you're saving 10 pounds just paying 9.99 so make sure to check out your baskets for that as well 
busy. It is, yeah. Busy. I would say on the um, ink pads as well, what Peter and Jane have done yeah. is they've not picked through the nicest ones. Okay. They've picked out, that's the stock they've got. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, it's not a case of, oh, you're going to see these pretty ones and you're going to get yeah. something else. More than likely going to be five from that colour choice or four from that and something else. Well, there right, you are. So, um, while it lasts, I'm going to use the box kit. Okay, yeah. Which is um, included in the complete collection. Which is co still included in the complete stuff, collection, yeah. yeah. Um, and I want to put together, I'm just going to tie it all together, really. Okay. But I wanted to show you, because this is one of the things that I, I said about this, is if you've got an ink block yeah. and some ink yeah. and a die cutting machine, yeah. all you actually need to add is some glue and some card. Right. And you've got everything you need because you've got dies, embossing folders, stamps, paper pads, you know, other dies, stars. You've got everything you need to start your Christmas collection. And I want to show you how we can use and it to make quick and as simple. Well. It's a little bit different from other... It is, it, you know. It's time we were saying earlier yeah. that I'm feeling next year it might actually be a Spanish Christmas. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, oh I love that. I think it's a long time since we've celebrated. Um, if you think traditional Christmas these days, the first word pops into my mind is Scandi. Yes, it is, yeah. Because that's been so... Prevalent, yeah. And I just thought when I was looking at this, I actually found the tartan first. Oh. And I actually thought, isn't it time we went sophisticated, yeah. British? Yeah. Yeah. Mix, you know, the Scottish, the, the English element, the Welsh, the Irish. We actually celebrated our own highlands oh, yeah, yeah. and the beauty of our country. It is. Because we've been yeah. so sort of... Yeah, I know. Yeah, on, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, all that, you know, loving the Scandi chic and yeah. things. Let's let's celebrate what we've yeah. got. So what I'm going to do is I've just cut a piece of card to five inches right. square, yeah. and I'm using Crafts Two linen card. I think this is pine or olive. Yeah. So I'm just going to emboss it, but it just adds embossing is another one of those things that seems to have gone by the wayside. Yeah, and it's such a beautiful, elegant, and quick and easy way to add. It's a detail. fantastic way to add a level of detail. Yeah onto your cards and your projects. So, there we go, as per usual. So for this one, I need the two three mil plates. Right, yeah. So I'm not walking this way to the display at all okay. to borrow a three mil plate because I can't find one of mine. Again, then... I'm gonna have to, I'm just gonna cut, this show's gonna end up costing me a fortune. <laughs> have to buy you come cards, here to work, to not to spend money. I've never come in this building and not spent money, Paula. You know that. That's true. How much have you sold me in the past? <laughs> it's a, you the funniest see. thing is when I got a message, it's like, oh, you sold me that. That's the funniest thing. Yeah, it's, I, do, I do message yeah. Paula and say, you've sold me this now. Yeah. Um, but you can see there, we yeah. don't need to do anything else no. to me. So elegant. We really don't. I mean, what you can do is you can take something like one of the pigment ink I just pads. had a crazy idea. You know, you know, like if you have got a die or a stamp or cards, that could be like a grid of a city. So you could make like a little slider card, like, you know, you know what I mean? Oh, it could. That's really good. Because That's it's just clever. Like that, yeah. Now you pick these colours at random. So I'm just kidding. I'm, they actually match the box kit. But just going over, this is why I love pigment ink. Mm. But just going over roughly with the pad. Yeah. But can you well, see by the there? way, you're using, of course, the happy hour inks, but they have now gone. They are technically gone. Right. Well, I, I actually sec secretly know what's on the next hour. Okay, yes. So tune into the 12 o'clock hour if you like the pigment inks. Ooh. Oh, that's. Uh, yeah, that's so you, uh, nobody else, nobody I don't else know. knows. The producers I don't, know. don't even yeah. know. But I happen to sneakily know what's on the next one, okay. so tune in on the 12 o'clock early. Yeah. But you see that just pulling a little bit of an ink pad over the top how I've given that suddenly texture and colour. And that was the two random colours you gave yeah. me. So, I, mean, I mean, I can I say, like, I, I chose two colours that I knew work well together, but the third one, I really threw you a curveball. Yeah, ball. you did. Yeah, I did, really did. Was, I was, I was like, kind of hoping for the yellow, yeah, but I've got to I was be like, honest, no, no, no. And this it still is what works. we're like at home. Honestly, if you get five completely random, yeah. like I've got three there, use them you saw the first demo but even in this one how they work yeah and it's just so useful to have so we're just going to map that onto a bit of that and then of course now oh, yeah. i'm very lucky i actually do not own one right. of the part tartan paper pads really I, all i've got are the samples which aren't even the same which weight. is the 90 gsm yeah and exactly so yeah. i've got a lot thinner ones and um, so i've been able to be a little bit luxurious with it because i was able to go online yesterday and order five of each size oh, well, yeah. for <laughs> my, my order from crafts 2 is enormous yeah. it really well, is if you want to stock up yeah that's um, because the... i know that 
this is there's no more yeah we haven't got lots extra in stock so if you don't get them now the chances yeah, are they won't be back so but normally I would gut that yeah I would take a die and cut a panel out of that but I'm just gonna add it on you see how well that pattern works yeah. because it's gloss it yeah. just adds that little bit of class to it, it does. so now I'm gonna use this is the paper from the kit and again, because I put all these papers together, yeah. and I was saying last night, the really bizarre thing is, obviously, these, the music sheets, right, yeah. yeah, obviously, they have to be licensed. Yeah. So, of course. Um, and if, well, we've got licenses for that and for the tartan to wow. use, yeah. so that it's completely covered, so that you're mm. safe to use them at home so and you make, can sell make your mates. Sell, yeah. Yes. Um, but bizarrely, all these old traditional English hymns, I actually had to get the license from America. You? They're actually from America. That's where they came from. The English old hymns. Yeah. Wow. Um, Never. And I think it's sort of you know images that you were used because they were used in America ah, perhaps as much. But yeah, literally, I, they, they 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 had to come from an American oh, company. Hmm, Just couldn't find anything in the UK. That's why I say it's time we started celebrating a little it bit has, more yeah, our own. Absolutely. Yeah. But you see there how that cuts that out perfectly. But again, like me, if you're not best yeah. at inking around the edges, can yeah. you see the 3D? Yeah, I can see it. It yeah. looks as if you've inked it. No, I did that on the computer. <sighs> so you don't have to. That's I can it. show you on one not cut. To see there, yeah. you've got the 3D shading. Oh, yeah. Um, because, again, um, you know, I wanted people to be able to pick this up and make their first ever Christmas cards. Indeed. Because it's always, to me, this is the Christmas is, and I say this every time, Christmas is when you can get away with Absolutely. sending your first cards with confidence. Absolutely. People That's adore. how I started. Yeah. That's I'm, how first I started. cards yeah. I ever sent for Christmas. Christmas cards, yeah. I, That's I how my, own gran yeah, my grandmother hand, hand me a Christmas card and said, oh, you know, this is handmade. Could you make something like that you'd like to craft? And that's, then I, yeah. that's how it started. So, yeah, basically similar to my nan who gave me a yellow pages. <laughs> and said play with that and I used to cut it and oh. pile it up and make pages of it and that's make booklets oh, out of it and everything that's so sweet. literally I mean you know obviously yeah. I you know I, she thought it I, she thought she was just giving me something to play with for half an hour I, yeah. I got about six months of fun out of that yellow pages <laughs> get toilet roll we don't tubes get those and, anymore, no don't we, we don't you I know. used to paper folds and all sorts so I've cut one out of craft card yeah yeah okay so really simple now what I'm supposed to do now I'm going to offset them yeah and to do that and make them stay in the same place i always use a little bit of foam tape just right. on one edge right and it, i only tape it there but it, put them together pull it to one side because you don't want them to move but you want that little bit of dimension between them yeah. and then what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to use your cropper dial right um, and punch a hole through right but obviously or if you've got the john next door tag die set i did yeah. You could use the, the die from oh, in that, I and I think there's yeah. one in the Miss P, isn't there, that does a hole? Yeah, yeah it is. Yes. Yeah. See, I've got that one as well. <laughs> um, but if you're like me and you forgot to bring it, then you can just use a punky Absolutely, tool. Yeah. But be careful, I did it down into my yeah. glue eraser, okay, perfect, so it's yeah. not sharp and put it through. Mm -hmm. And I've got a little bit of, this is actually, you won't find this in the, the, the pad. This is Douglas Tartan oh, Ribbon. I love it. I love so, um, because I know when you yeah. come to buying ribbon, it's in tartan it's nearly always you won't find it unless you know the name right um but again this is a you know someone so we've, we've not got that but it just matches beautifully yeah i think i might need some new scissors yeah. oh well just that's another thing that you will have to buy when we are here you, you can, i already i already have the make it joe scissors oh, yeah. for fabric at home they're amazing oh, but they're i dare not bring them out because no, i know i, I know. use them for paper so what I've done is I've got my little tags, yeah, yeah, really simple. Again, a little bit more foam tape. I use two mil, right. And what that does is it means that it doesn't go too thick for postage, but it adds a little bit a of little dimension. Bit. I like two mil, yeah. Yeah, um, I, I, you know, I don't want it too thick. That card still looks relatively flat, but you can see there's a lip, yeah. And I think that's what makes the difference. So we're going to put him on straight there and then if you're not a stamper yeah or even if you're not a die cutter you wouldn't have to cut you could cut that out with a pair of scissors i've put matching sentiments in this set it, yeah. in the paper so all i've got to do is just trim that down and i will do my usual 
Yeah, a little bit of... Bit of um, a bit of spray yeah. glue. You know what I'm like when I'm out of it. I had to nick it off you last yeah, time. Yeah, last time you were like... And it's funny because I kind of remember that very well because I don't usually remember to bring mine, but that time I did. <laughs> well, I actually now, if you ever run out... Yeah. I, be, I, leave a, I leave some in my case behind oh, the patio doors. That's a good one. I should really have one anyway. I should have one. But yeah. just mount it, and I've cut it with scissors. Yeah. Because you can do that. And I say this to Sam, if you want to cut straight, don't look where you're cutting, look where you're going. Right. So don't look where, you, where, you, where that is, that bit there. Look at the end where yeah. you're cutting, and that will help you keep it straight. Yeah. It sounds weird, but honestly, try it. Yeah. You're looking ahead, it will help you get it straight, yeah. like that. And yeah, then a little bit of foam tape. But I've got a layer of, I've got two layers of foam tape on here, haven't I? Yes, on this you side. Yeah. So I need to just make sure it's bulked up. So I add an extra little layer yeah. there. there. So that is the, the four mil. And an extra little and layer more. there, because obviously I've gone yeah. up one layer, two layers. Yes, yeah just so that it's stable and we'll put that yeah. across there and we're done oh that's so nice and and again so achievable and you have got everything in the one day special well in the actually complete collection because the one day special now is gone and of course that was uh using the inks that were a happy hour also gone because of course it's very busy yes, You're, sorry. Uh, go, yeah. john, well anyway john thank you so much but also i have got some news and the complete collection now which you could do that card as well with it's limited stock. Now, I have got also some extra news. That eye on its own, it's now, the forest frame is now also limited stock on its own. So if you want anything, basically, my advice would be go ahead and check out your baskets. And uh, now, what you could do with the forest box is just such a gorgeous frame. It's just like, I love it because it's just, yes, it is Christmas, but it's also for me, this is the best thinking of you card, get well soon sort of card. The, look at that joy at Christmas. There is such a glorious elegance about this. Or what about combining those two dies, the holly and the ivor frame, those elements from the silent night. And remember, this is exclusive to the craft store. So you can only get it if you go now for the complete collection. You will get every die that you can see in here is on the one in the complete collection. And look at that. I mean, I keep throwing, uh, you know, beautiful cards with using this uh, book because it is just so gorgeous isn't it but the fact that you are getting also the tartan papers in here look how elegant looks just cutting a strip on the bottom and then you have got two of the forest as well and then that christmas sentiment also included and the bunch of leaves part of the box kit as well that kind of gives you that luxury that finished result and of course oh i done it again um sorry I, no there are samples everywhere there are there are, there are, there are. Well. but again that's a testament on how much fun the design team have had on using the one day special and the, of course the complete collection again the complete collection will give you that glorious uh, holly and ivy and of course you have got the tartan embossing folder now let's have uh, let's have a look exactly what you are getting in the complete collection you are getting of course the magazine box kit which is the magazine itself with those beautiful papers the embossing folder the die set that you can see in the uh, in the uh, image now and and of course, you can see as well the stamp set. That is your one day special, which includes also the exclusive die set here, Silent Now. Now, all that was the one day special. It has sold out individually. However, you still can get the components if you go for the complete Highland collection because that incorporates everything we have seen so far, plus lots more. We are getting the paper, tartan paper powered and the 12 by 12, 200 GSM, and as well as the gorgeous 8 by 8. So the same designs reduced in size then we are getting that beautiful uh, frame and um, with the forest in here that kind of is all year round think about painting it in greens in there to make a luscious spring uh, you know kind of leaves then you are also getting the gorgeous uh, holly and ivy frame in here with those leaves that kind of come in and then finally you are also getting those gorgeous snowflakes the Christmas gonna which to me are the stars they are snowflakes, they are stamens, they are flowers, they are just one of those really versatile die sets. All together, you have got, of course, the three pounds from the one day special 
carry forward and additionally 13 pounds so that's 16 pounds saving however as a freedom member the saving is actually in fact 22 pounds and 49 pence when you count the three pounds saving from the one day special and then of course you can flexify it and as a freedom member you don't pay PMP which means that today you will be paying just 29 pounds and 22 pence to have all this delivered from the 30th of September which is actually Thursday today we are Monday so it's just three days uh, for that extra standard one one two uh, four six nine is your item number a fabulous collection I just love the ways that you're using now that you're going to be using the papers aren't you yes I, I love this and I, I wanted to do is a quick demo as to answer the question why 12 by 12 yes because this was a discussion that we had oh, in the office yes. yeah. um, with, with Uncle Peter saying do you want a4 and me and Jane going no 12 by 12 okay. are you sure you don't want a4 it's easier for packing no we want 12 by 12 okay. and there are two reasons the first reason is that 12 by 12 we've got 24 sheets in the pad yeah yeah so if you cut it at six inches right and cut it at six inches you will get four six inch card backs wow. from one yeah. sheet so if you take that 24 and multiply it by four yeah. that gives you is it 72 Oh, no. I don't ask me. 48, 48 and 48 is, I can't remember. Um, um, but I, you basically get a lot. Yeah, you get a lot. He says, hoping the voices in his head might know what four times 24 is. But four times, two, oh, four, that six, would be eight, 80. Four, 96. 96, that's it. I so you can get from 12 by 12 pads, you will get 96, <laughs> six by six squares to make six by six or bigger yeah. Christmas cards. Okay. Yeah, which I love. But also, it allows you to make boxes. Yeah. All right, yeah. And it makes beautiful boxes. So while you're looking at that tart, and I'm going to scout off and no one will notice. So I'm going to make this. Okay, yeah. Now, to me, yeah. can you imagine making your own shortbread? Oh. And putting it in that. I mean, I kept thinking last night of Peppa um, in her pinny, but again, yeah. but that has cost you so it's little in, in so comparison. Little, yeah. So what I've actually done is I've actually already, now because I had, and I've checked my pad and it says on it, yeah. 128 GSM. Okay. Yeah, so it's too thin for a box right. but the 200 you get is fine fine yeah. so i've had to spray glue mine onto a piece of card yeah. to give make give me a little bit of a strength bit you don't have yeah. to but all i've done is taken for the base the 12 by 12. right yeah okay because most people won't have 12 by 12. um you won't have 12 by 12 card at home well, it's not many of them no. anyway yeah no I've, I've only got it because you did a happy hour deal with jelly bean of 12 oh, by 12 yeah. card my, my, better. So all I'm doing is on the 12 by 12, I'm scoring every two inches from yep. each end. Yeah, okay. And we'll just fold, fold. Oh. And it's bizarre because box mating, and again, this box will fit an eight inch card blank. Wow. So if you make an eight inch yeah. card and you really want to box well, it yeah. well. So basically cut into each piece. Yeah. 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 Cut a wedge out. In yeah. wedge. Yeah. Same on each side. In wedge. And I always struggle when I'm making boxes for the lid, or I used to. So I'm going to show how I cheat, or basically how to do it. So now, normally, yeah. people would say, don't use a tape pen for this. Right. You can use power tape. Yeah, you can. But it's just very strong, a wet isn't it? glue is always better. Yeah. Now, you know, normally with a wet glue, you have yeah. to peg it. Right, yeah. You don't with the craft artist. Right. Because it's that it's, high in acrylic. It's very uh, instant grab, it is, isn't it, it? It really is. And this is, this is what sort of, when yeah. I was testing all the glues, this is what sold it to yeah. me. Because there, look, that's the box. And all I do is widget. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Now, normally, I would do it the other way yeah. and put them in, but I've done it the wrong way. But that's all right. Yeah, but you know, you do as I say, not as I yeah, do. Yeah, so don't put them out that way. Yeah. F glue them in the other way. 
But I'll show you on the lid how to do that properly. See, this is one something a little bit or more original. I did, it? yeah. I wanted yeah. to have that yeah. sort of, you know, hold it that way. You can just about. Yeah. But you see, this is what I mean about the glue. Yeah. That's glue. And can we say that, of course, you are glossing, you are attaching it to gloss card, which is, a tr you know, very difficult to glue. So that kind of takes a little bit longer glossy card than actually car um, porous card to put porous card. Yeah, yeah, because it is got yeah. a gloss. Normally what you have to do is stand exactly. there and hold it like that. Yeah. Or you'd have to put pegs on or clips Absolutely, on. Well, yeah. I don't. Yeah. As long as I've activated the acrylic. So to make the lid... So all you need to remember for this right. is a 12 by 12, and yeah. then you cut the next piece down this to is 10 leather. and a quarter. A 10 and a quarter? Yeah. Right. Because we're going to score this one, I'm going to do this on the back, and score this one at every inch. Okay. Because, yeah. So that you see, because what's the point in using a beautiful tartan paper? Yeah, if you cannot see it. If you can't see it. Yeah. If you're going to completely cover it. Yeah. So at an inch all the way around and by making it ten and a quarter it will give me the same eight inch box and the lid will be slightly it yeah. will actually be on each dimension it'll be an eighth of an inch bigger so it fits over yeah so it doesn't go wrong so again fold those over i'm going to run out of time for decorating this aren't i but people know how to yeah. decorate them so again cut in yeah little wedge out yeah. cut in I did a craft cave live the other day right. all about um, making boxes and I said to people I'm really sorry it's boring and everyone came back and went no, no. it's not we want to know exactly we want to it's know. the fundamentals isn't it it is yeah it's fundamentals so do the same again go in take a little wedge out and this time you turn it over and put your glue and <laughs> On the right place. On the right side. <laughs> the right so side. always think glue on pattern. Glue Just on think pattern. at home, glue on yeah. pattern. And then you can um, tack it under. But bless that, the, the instructions for making the boxes, yeah. June Smith, one of our brilliant angels, has done yeah. some written instructions right. as well. So they're available on our Facebook group um, with photos yeah. and they show you exactly how to make it and put it yeah. together. Okay. So I need to make sure I've just got that fold. Make sure you burnish your folds. Yeah which I haven't done okay. and by that I mean fold it over yeah. and use you'll find this easier with the paper pad because you won't have got quite as yeah. thick because I've had to go a little bit thicker than I should do okay. so we just go on there and again wiggle it yeah wiggle it just to activate yeah. the um, acrylic in there yeah. Actually, why don't I use a little bit more like I should be doing? Every time you say something. Oh, never... well, can I, can I, well, I can say that it, remember to check out your baskets because very, very, very busy. Remember the one day special has sold out now on its own, but you can still get it part of that Highland Christmas complete collection. Uh, make sure do you do that because it is incredibly busy. Uh, you have got a saving as a freedom member of £22.49 when you consider that the £3 from the one day special carries forward and additionally as a freedom member, £19.49 pens is your saving now of course you have got an extended delivery but don't be afraid it's just next thursday is 30th of september this thursday not next week what next yeah, the oh, box is kit it? doesn't actually come out until thursday yeah, I don't know. That's when the box kit is due oh, to come yeah, out, so we will receive yeah. our delivery on Perfect. Thursday and we will start dispatching from then. And what I would say as well is, if you have ordered other things in other orders on the show, but you've got the complete Literally. or the ODS in your order, right. it will all come together, starting Perfect. sending out from Thursday. So. You know, it's one of those, and with everything with Petra at the moment, please be patient. <laughs> be patient, yeah. I've got Let's just, be... I've got enough to get us home. Oh, well. Um, but I don't think we'll be going anywhere yeah, else. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so definitely. there's my lid. I walked to work today. Well, not quite, but almost. Yeah, but I know why you walked to work, and that's because <laughs> you were drinking cocktails last night. Don't say young, that. Young, it wasn't last night. It wasn't last night. It was during the day. Yes, that's true, actually. Yeah. That's even worse. She was day drinking. <laughs> Paula was day drinking. With Leone. Let's with, with Leone, very, very yeah. clear. You only have to say that and everyone goes, oh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. right. Exactly. They will but you can see it, there. Yeah. yeah. I look at that. Look. But you've got, and again, everything. I say it works and then it doesn't, but I would then decorate up and wrap up because I was going to cut a tag anything. and all sorts of things, but using scrap pieces that are left over yeah. from that... Then I would add those onto the tag or put on 
the paint, yeah. put on some burlap ribbon, which again we just don't use anymore. Exactly, yeah. Um, I've got the bells. Now the bells I love that. were on an end of call. All right, so of course when you go to check out, check the bells out. Because I love yeah. the bells, the proper metal bells. Me yeah, so and again I would start to put some of the foliage from the dies in the box set on and everything like that and really decorate it and go to town. But again, to me, for something like if you're making shortbread or your own cakes, perfect. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you want yours, do make sure to check out your baskets. Remember that the complete collection is now limited to stock. And of course, the one day special sold out earlier. If you want yours, you know what to do. Check out those baskets. And become a Freedom member if you are not one, because the saving is bigger uh, by, uh, by becoming a Freedom member uh, than, uh, you know, like uh, if you just were going to buy it outright. 112469 is the item number for the complete collection. Two sellouts in this hour. Uh, John, you, we are going to be back at 12 o'clock. I, we are. Look, I finished it. You finished it. No, really. Is it full of I chocolates? It it's not. It was full of candles, and Sam took them all out last night. And went, are you stupid? Because <laughs> it all collapsed forward oh, and things like that. But it's good. Um, no, I'll be back on at twelve at with 12, more things yeah. to do with it. Hopefully, if it's last. If the if the last. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, oh, actually, I have got some updates as well. The forest frames individually, it has now also sold out. So the only way to get that, as well as the uh, magazine box kit and the exclusive uh, die set that it comes in right there, is to go for the complete Highland. And remember, you can flexify the means that, of course, uh, as a Freedom member, you will be paying a much less that you can see in there because of the saving of that 22 pounds and 49 pounds saving. Do check out your baskets. John, we'll see you at 12. But yep. also after the break, Leon is back with the Happy Planner, a good one ahead of us. It is indeed a Happy Planner hour. Oh, they are so lush. And then we are getting hooked on sugar buttons with Catherine and then Jenny's Originals as stamps and more. Did you know you can watch the craft store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player on Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the craft store channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how you do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select set up connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Craft Store app. Simply press your home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the Channel Store. At the top of the Channel Store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter the Craft Store into the search bar and this will take you to the Craft Store app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Scroll down to the Craft Store app and press the star button on your remote. You can use the arrow buttons to move the Craft Store to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your favourite TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us and crafting with La Blanche.
Hello and welcome. Um, cannot wait for this hour. We are talking Happy Planner. Um, and well, I'm a massive fan. I must admit, when you when you look at all the products, it is so exciting. You know, you get the box of all the goodies. Goodies. It's like, oh my gosh, I don't know where to start. Now, this is the launch of the 2022-2022. Oh, good grief. Um, the 2022 planners. <laughs> Molly's just said in May she'll be 23. Information we don't need to know. Oh, brilliant. And Mad is 20. Oh, these young people. Um, but anyway, who cares about age? Um, 2022, that's what we're launching here. Now, we have got our own Happy Planner shop here at the craft store. That means everything that we have got on the show is in the building. It's in the warehouse. It's actually here ready to ship. So you're not waiting for it to come over from America, which means you know exactly the price that you're paying. Um, it also means um, you're not paying any extra on taxes or anything like that. So it does mean um, you're going to get it uh, really quickly as well, which is really important. It also means once it's gone, it's gone. So if there's anything you fancy, please check your baskets out. Shop by brand because on the website you will see our Happy Planner shop and there's loads of goodies on there as well. So please do have a little look. Um, we are sorting out our um, L because at the minute those savings haven't been put on. Uh, uh uh so don't buy yet that's a great start isn't it don't buy yet because the savings haven't been put on well done team um but they're being sorted out well they're being sorted out let me show you what we've got okay now this is the first one this is mine as soon as i saw this it was like i'm having that this is a thing of beauty now what you've got on this one let me show you the actual planner first of all because oh my gosh i love this planner so this is one of your large planners um it's a 12 month planner as you can see for 2022 of course these will come off sorry i should have eased those off before and look at that i just think that is such a beautiful isn't it gorgeous it's such a beautiful beautiful cover now this is a really interesting planner so as ever what happy planner do they'll give you an idea of the layout so this is your working remotely layout so this is brand new um to the the planner system and obviously because so many people have been working from home that's why they've brought the working remotely um out and i think it's a lovely idea now i've chose this one i mean some of my work is at home some of it is in the studio of course so i'm all over the place quite literally um so for me it will work either which way you know it doesn't i don't have to be working from home for this planner to work um i love the golden green i mean that gold looks like it's foiled it isn't it's just printed but it's beautifully printed um as ever you have got um the the beautiful yearly layout so you've got 22 and 23 i think that's really important because obviously you can mark the dates that you know you carry over dates which are, are really important so that's your 20 um your your year at a glance you've then got your uh, your year in a slightly more detail. Um, this is quite nice. You, you look, yeah, you love the little index. So your your birthdays, um, things again that you're carrying over. Those dates that you know you need to remember. And then we actually get into the proper body of the planner. And this is where it changes uh, from our normal one. Um, as ever, ah, oh, beautiful. Do what you love and do a whole lot of it, which is fabulous. A quarter of the stock has already gone of this bundle alone. Um, you've got on this side you've got because it's such a big planner as well you have got a lot of space so it's brilliant for your notes it what i love about planners as well if you haven't got much to write on these doesn't matter let's face it we're all about the stickers so you can still fill this space with something beautiful we then come on to our month at a glance my favorite bit of the planner because this is the bit that gets really messy and filled up but then we get national sticker day whoop, whoop. then we get on to the new dashboard now this is interesting this is new so and we like this so setting your goals for the month how cool is this so you've got and at this this is me the things i should have followed up so you're carrying forward your list from the month before literally i'll carry forward lists from like a year ago that i still haven't done 
You know, it's like, yeah, just just move the page. You could do, if you wanted to. Don't bother rewriting it. Just move the page. Um, talking about taking the discs out, the discs in this one are beautiful. They're uh, gold discs, but they are metal discs. Beautiful. So that's brand new, and I really like that. I think it's such a good idea. It's, it's beautiful, beautiful. And then, of course, we get into our actual planner now the planner itself the layout again is different how gorgeous is this layout so your um your your do your your daily things that you need to put so these are your daily habits now this is lovely so it's got in mind that um that if you are working from home you still need to take time out you still need to you know do things to to give yourself a bit of a break because obviously working from home it can be a little bit samey you know not getting out of your pajamas and and work being there so it, it can be a bit same and it can be a little bit that is it it's just you in that room so it really is encouraging you to get out and make a break what i love about this one is your hour by hour now this has been brought down into a working day so it's presuming you're starting at 7 a.m and ending at 7 p.m so um, obviously you can and it is kind of accurate but you can tweak it you know it's a guide at the end of the day I do love this list format I really like how it's brought down I think that is fabulous they haven't put the time on every single column so it means that you can choose what you want this to be now already half of the stock has gone this is the one as soon as I saw this it was like I'm having this and it's these bits that are really cool because obviously you've got different artwork you've got some beautiful uh, sentiments and statements find joy in the ordinary I love look at that doesn't that just look scrummy isn't it beautiful if you believe in yourself uh, my um, any dream is possible which is quite fabulous and I like that they've put kind of a, a planner you know the the planner ones in as well but that one gorgeous now that's only the planner okay you've also got in this bundle and this bundle is absolutely flying out the door you have to check out your basket 60% of the stock has gone once it's gone it's gone now you've also got the stickers in this bundle um, and these match perfectly obviously you can can we get things spare our lovely moles you can get the planner on its own right you can get individuals, so if you don't want the bundle, you don't have to. Now, this is something they've started doing with the stickers, and I love this. All the little words. If you're a card maker, you'll love this, because this is a kind of thing, well, I've, al I've already done it in my collection, haven't I? Um, I just think that's well cool, just loads and loads of little words. Uh, brilliant, brilliant, not just for planners, but for cards. Um, you've got loads of gorgeous open spaces. It's a really, really nice set of stickers. Now, you've got seven... 737 stickers as ever tons of stickers you've got some beautiful green foiling as well in this one which is just gorgeous remember your stickers are acid and lignum free as well so if you're using them in your memory books um, then they're going to be absolutely fine to use with your photographs so that's your stickers you've then got um your extension pack now um, I know this is a classic so this is a classic extension whereas the planner in this one is a large however it'll still fit in because the the genius thing about happy planner is this system because it is a disc system all the planners are interchangeable so it means that this is the same uh, width as it is on every single planner so it's going to fit so that will happily slot into that planner however however um, because with this one what you're actually getting and you can see you're actually getting your your a mini planner if you will mm, this is genius idea so this might be something, say you get in one of your guided journals, okay, we've got a guided journal on the show. So if you've got a guided journal, which isn't necessarily a planner, it's more of a, a mindful thing, you could then get this and use that in your guided journal, which means your guided journal would do both things. It'd be a planner and then it'd be a guided journal. You might be using this, um, whereas that one is your proper day by day planner, you might be popping this in one of your notebooks um, and this is more of your your lists and you know 
yeah, your day off planners rather than working. It could be, you, you will find all your different reasons for it. But yeah, it's, a, it's really nice, is that? It's really, it's a good extension pack. Now, if you're loving this bundle, over 70% of the stock has gone. It's absolutely flying. Please, please check your baskets out. Um, you do need, I know what you'll be doing. You'll be waiting for me to show you what other goodies you might want to pop in that basket. Because obviously you've got a flexi. £31.49 this month. You know exactly what you're paying next month. This is in stock. Oh, even better Freedom members. Freedom members, 56.67. It is worth joining Freedom. You don't pay postage on anything for a month and it is a why not no way okay it's limited stock if you do want this bundle now you need to be checking out your baskets uh, please make sure you do that you can still get separates I think but the bundle is limited stock that means with less than 10 percent remaining that means it is absolutely going to sell out 884 318 next what has this gone Okay, this is a technical sellout. Right. So, if I take, which bits do you want me to show, darling? My left hand, gone. Wow. So, they've gone all together. Good. You. <sighs> okay. So, first of all, you can get the planner on its own. This is beautiful. It's beautiful. Just have a look at this planner. Um, that is just so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, and it's one of those, I, I just think it's, um, it's just got such impact, hasn't it? Um, this life is so lovely, lovely. Um, so then when we look through the planner again, now, um, as ever, they will show you um, the idea behind the planner. So vertical layer. I really like that they do this now because it, it kind of guides you as to how to use your planner, which I think is fabulous. Half of the stock of the planner on its own has already gone. This is a very busy show. Please check your baskets out. So, as ever, you've got your year in advance. You've got your year in a little bit more detail. Your your important um, your important bits and bobs. And then we come to our dashboard. Um, you are made of sunshine. Is that not just lovely? And I love that the flowers are on black. I think that's fabulous. Again, really nice big open space for us to write on. So plenty of space there as well. When we open it up, you've got your wee. Um, uh, you've got your month out, um, in, at a glance, so that's more in detail, which, yeah, my essential. And then let's get into the body of the planner. So this one, as it says, a vertical planner. Now, mine for this year is a vertical planner, and I must admit, I love the vertical planner. I love the space. I love the ability to, to fill it with all your stickers. I mean, let's face it, this, if you're into your stickers, this is the one. It's absolutely amazing. But look at the artwork. I adore this. Okay, if you want this on its own, it is now limited stock. It is going to sell out. Oh, it's at, look at that. How beautiful is that? Fill your head with dreams and, 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 oh, and your heart with wonder. <laughs> oh, I won't be doing poetry recitals. You'll be happy to know. Um, that has technically sold out. Oh, that is beautiful, but technically sold out, so I'll pop it down there. If any bounce back, I will let you know. Um, stickers are going to sell out as well. These are now limited stuff. Do you know what I did this morning when I got up at half past five? I did, um, I were filming these. I did walk the, you know, walk the dog after. I were trying to do a, a little film, you know, like um, a flip through for YouTube. And now it's all sold out, so it's like, that were, that were a good waste of an hour. Um, so... Glad I did that, and I didn't get a chance to edit it and put it on anyway. Um, now, these are beautiful. They are limited, but they're beautiful. What I love about these is the richness of colour. They look very sophisticated. They look mature, don't they? You know, they look really grown up, do these? Technically, sold out and gone. $17.99, sold out. If any bounce back, I will let you know, but at the minute, it is super, super busy. Oh, are you ready? These are nice. Now... This, again, is really different. So this is your recovery journal. And when I... Uh, I'll be dead honest with you, I've kept this as well. <laughs> so I'm having... <laughs> I'm having the big one as my day-to-day -day work one, but then my recovery journal. This is going to be more of a diary. 
This is going to be more of a memory keeper. Look, I love that cover. I just think that is beautiful. I think it's really modern. It's really fresh. It's something I'd like to recreate. Is that what you know for card making? But like, oh, I'm going to pinch that. It's just gorgeous. When you start looking through, um, and again, this is different. It's going to tell you about the layout first of all. So your recovery layout, which is again different um, for the planners. So. The recovery planner is designed to encourage self-reflection, goal setting and progress. That's all right. I'll try. I'll keep holding it up so I can read it. And progress tracking while staying on top of your daily and weekly to do's. Um, really, really like this idea. So as ever, it has got, it's got your normal features for your planner. So it's got your, and I won't show you every bit, it's got your yearly, it's got all that. But then, but then it changes because, and this is really cool, because look, straight away you've got your, your little lists. You can write your lists. So for the month, you can start writing um, your goals and your, you know, where you want to go to. Uh, so acknowledge, gratitude, forgive, nourish, rest and be active. Um, so that's on every month, which I think is really, really quite cool. We've then got our beautiful, um, and this is a, a really different dashboard, actually. And then when we open it up, your month at a glance. But then again, this is where it gets different. Bear with. I always have trouble opening them up when I'm stood on this one. So, see, this is why I've kept this one, because look, I adore this. This is such a cool planner because you've got straight away checking in. So it's, and this is why I want to use this one more of a, more of a diary because it's really making you, um, it's quite reflective, you know, and also it's making you go, okay, what's well, taking up too much space in my head? Delete that thing that's taken up too much space in my head and pretend it didn't exist. Um, have I been selfish, dishonest or afraid? And it's things like this that I think are quite um, good to, to be aware of. You know, have I been selfish and filled up three jerry cans at the petrol station? Uh, oh! Um, what have I done well? What victories can I celebrate? I only put half a tank in. Um, <laughs> how can I help others or be of service? Um, and this is it, you know, it's, and it can be little things. It can be little things like I let someone out of, you know, out of a junction. Do you know what I mean? Little things, but little things do help other people. And I like this because I think it's really important. One of my friends actually at the minute is, is going through, you know, sort of, um, looking into how, you know, they've affected other people. And sometimes that reflection can be, it can, it's not just for the other people, but it's good for you as well, because it makes you happy when you treat people properly. Um, you've then got your, your weekly. Now, this is lovely as well, because it's, it's really good for lists. I love your little faces. So you're happy, you're, mm, and then you're, uh. But then blank face for you to fill your own face in. So you can put whatever face you want in there. I really like that. Okay, 60% of the stock has gone. Yeah, I love this one. When, when I saw this, it was like, yeah, I'm having that because it's just such a beautiful, mindful um, journal planner is this. It's really, really pretty. The artwork is divine. I mean, all this is, is just beautiful. And they all change so every month. Isn't that pretty? It's another technical seller. I'm literally going to have nothing to show you. Okay, that is another technical seller. If anything bounces back, I will let you know. But it is another sellout. Okay, that first bundle, the whole bundle has gone. Okay, that bundle has gone. Um, is there any separates left? Okay, so the only thing on their own left are the stickers. We've got lots of these now. <laughs> I might just line these up so you can see the devastation. Uh, the stickers and then um, the planner. That's the only thing that are left now. Um, that's good. At least I've got that to play with. But I love metal, the metal. Okay, I need to be quick, she says. Dink. Okay, so next. Now. This is a guided journal. Three quarters of stock has gone. I love the guided journals. I've got one of these as well. Um, <laughs> there's going to be nothing left, my friend. This is beautiful. 
It is beautiful. It works with the planner. Now, because this is a guided journal, it works beautifully alongside the planner because it's different. Again, it's going to tell you um, about the guided journal and that recovery layout. And again, I love that because if you're brand new, it gives you a head start. Um, and it's just telling you about um, recovery journey, your recovery journey in mind. Uh, weekly and daily prompts help to explore feelings, track your progress and identify ways to nurture yourself. You can, um, you can toss out or keep any of the prompts inside and go at your own pace. And I love that because this one isn't dated. So it means you can fill it in as and when it suits. So first of all, you're beginning your week. So that's going to take through uh, your weekly check-ins. Um, so what's taking up too much space in your red? So this is like we had in our lovely planner. So that is really good because it makes you, yeah, it makes you sort of have a little look, you know, oh yeah, that's, that keeps going round in my head um, and things like that. So that's your, your weekly, but then you're going to have your seven pages um, and this is obviously you can do it day to day, but you don't have to. You can obviously fill this in as and when because your date is up to you. I like your faces again. Yeah, I bet you're mm, and then you're uh. uh so you've got your faces. Um, yeah, and I do like you've got your empty one. What empowered me today? What did I do uh, to add to my happiness, which I love? Uh, today's highlight. So it's, go on, has it gone again? No wonder it's 12 99 It's only 12 99 That is another technical seller. I am so sorry. Um, uh, and look at it. I mean, it is so beautiful. 12 99 that's all. And I, 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 love, I love Happy Planner. I love the Happy Planner because... There's such good quality, but also they're so well thought out. The whole system is beautifully designed um, and it's functional. Now, these are nice. Um, the new soft snapping covers and they're only $17.99 as well, which is a really good price. These are for your classic size, so they'll only fit on those classic sizes. Um, so yeah, not for your biggie, just for your classic. But these are lovely and they're soft. They feel gorgeous. Now this is your warm neutral, which is lovely. I love that debossing on there. It looks so expensive. Um, they just look really, really really pretty. I'll get you mine actually because I've already put mine on my journal. So that's your first one. You've then got your light neutral. Now it's a light neutral but look it's got again it's got that lovely gentle debossing on and these are beautiful. They're soft but only the the texture. They are actually can you hear that? They are actually a solid cover. Um, and again, this is really thick plastic. So that is really thick. So it allows you to take it um, off, the, off the journal if you want to. Um, and it's easy to snap on as well. And then this is the one I've kept. This is, I kept this. Um, this is your Born to Bloom. This is beautiful. It is beautiful. It's a lovely colour. You've got those gorgeous, gorgeous flowers around the side. And this is in the lead. And it's dead easy to put on. In fact, um, let me just get your mind while you look at that. A quarter of the stock has gone with this one of the Born to Bloom. And you see what you do with these. They're super easy if you've never popped one on before. So I've already got my planner. I've kept my planner page because I love the artwork. So I didn't want to take this off. I wanted to keep it on and just have this as well. Um, the, the reason you have this as well is just because it's pretty. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it stops you scratching your cover, but let's face it, we have it because it's pretty. There's just, I'd love to pretend it's for any other reason. It isn't. I wanted it because it's lush. Um, all you do is snap it. And because of the way it's been designed, it snaps off easy, but it then snaps back on easy. Genius. I mean, literally genius designs, the Happy Planners. Um, and it's lovely and it feels gorgeous. It's a really nice texture. Now, if you do want that option, half of the stock has gone. They're only $17.99. Cracking price for them. And they do look lovely. If you're buying these for a gift, it's just a really nice extra because it's it just looks posh. Um, now then, um, 091574 is your item number. Now, next we've got for you. And this is your black and white accessory bundle. I love the accessory bundles. 40% of the stock has gone here. Now, first of all, you've got your tabs. These are 
S. So these are to go in your classic. I love things like this because say it's your guided journal or say you're popping your extra pages in, your tabs, and I'll show you what I'm, I'll show you what I mean at demo. So you've got your live well, you've then got your, um, Hold on, hold on. Let go and grow, which is a, it's a good statement, is that? Let go. Um, and then you are enough. Absolutely gorgeous. I love these. So you have got your beautiful um, snappings. And then have a look at this beauty. So first of all, <laughs> these are always well cool. So first of all, you have got... There you go. Um, you've got your pockets. Now, your pockets are ace because they're just really functional. So you've got a pocket at either side. It obviously goes into your planner or your guided journal. Um, you've got your stickers. So you've got some little stickers in here. You've got another one of your... Um, your little tabs. You've got, and we love these, the little post-it note stickers. Well cool. They are all little post-it notes. Look, aren't they cute? I mean, let's face it, who doesn't like post-it notes? And why would you not? But they're the best thing. How much? 60%. And then now, this is a cracker. Because, look, if you love your lists, oh my gosh, this is designed for lists. Um, and you have got all double-sided, so you have got so much on there. I love the extension packs because your journal and your planners, they become, well, they are yours. And this is the wonderful thing about the whole, the whole system, is the fact that you design it so it fits in with your life, so it fits in with what you need it to do. These extension packs really allow you to do that because that, that will give you all your lists. So it means you can literally create your own planner. Now, £14 and £48 for that bundle, cracking price, technically sold out as well. It's another little gap. I'm just putting everything under there. <laughs> Poor Maddie, she'll be like, I'm putting them exactly where they are though, Maddie. I hope that helps. Uh, now, next we've got, oh, this is nice. This is lush. It was like, oh, I needed a new one of these. 70% has already gone. Now, these are the best thing ever because, look. Oh, and the pencil case. If you need the pencil case, when you're checking out your basket, it'll say, oh, do you want one of these? And we think, we think, uh, when you're checking out, just have a look because, look, it goes round your planner. So A, it keeps your planner closed. B, it keeps, oh my gosh, honestly, these are genius. And this one, this one's slightly better than the one I've already got because you've got your pencil case, which is beautiful because it's lined, but then um, you've got your, your little pens, um, your little rings for your pens, and then your little card holder as well. How cute is that? I love it. Absolutely. Has it gone? No way. For the bundle, technically sold out. That one's for your big journal, by the way, or your big planner, you do, and that will have to go in your big planner because it is bigger than your classic. I do want to point that out because that's dead important, but it has sold out. It's lovely, is that, as well? That's your mood tracker. Next. Now, this is cool. And now, this was the first thing I filled in, actually, although I then wiped it off in car. A quarter of the stock has gone. Now, this, for me, this is essential because um, t trying to, tr I'm terrible. I mean, I am the world's worst planner, if the truth be known. Uh, but this is essential because I have got so many planners. And I love it. This is ace because you're going to put it on your wall. There's um, holes in the back that you can put it on. Um, but then it's got the stickers, so obviously um, something for every day, every month of the year. But then you've got your extra little stickers. Clean, 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 clean. Errands, big day. Um, so you've got your little stickers, so you can still put stickers on if you want to. Use these stickers because these are the stickers that are going to come off easy. You know, don't use your regular stickers because um, that will be that. So use the stickers that have been designed for it. And what you will find is... Oh, there. Um, you're getting your pen. Now, I have wiped some off in the car, so do excuse me. But you get your little old pen, and it's like your little whiteboard pen. That's magnetic. You get your little magnet as well. So if you wanted to put something else on, you've got your little magnet. The pen, and I really like this because, look, you've got your rubber on the other side of the pen. 
which is ace. So it means you can clean it off really, really easy. Um, but obviously then, with your pen, you can write, eh? What am I doing? Holiday! Whoop, whoop, whoop. So you can just write on your board. So it's basically your whiteboard, but it's really, it's pretty. It's handy, <laughs> yeah, keeping track of what's going on with anything, dogs, definitely. I mean, uh, <laughs> well, now, Chris, why would I not remove men from my life? <laughs> Tell me why I wouldn't. Um, remove a man because I have to move. So it's, I need to book it in though, to be fair. I haven't booked it in yet. So that's, that's why it's got to wait. Had a question mark after that one. Uh, but this is fabulous. You are? No, I haven't put any bingo. That's the hours I'm working. Three, five, eight, and nine. Boom. Um, now, if you do, but thanks for thinking it might have been my pin code and showing it though, Chris. Thanks. Thanks for showing it before you asked. Just in case. <laughs> Um, now, 724967 is your item number. This is £16.99, pence. Um, really, really handy. And I like that it wipes off really clean. We are any scratches, it's just perfect. And obviously, it's Happy Planner, so it looks pretty. £16.99. Uh, pence. Now, there's actually other things on the show, which is good, because I think our poor Maddie's going to have to put them all out when I disappear. Um, we'll show you some... Hey, I tell you what, this is lovely. This uh, That is well cute, because you've got another the little uh, pencil case in there and let's face it we all love pencil cases um really really pretty it is another extension pack as well that you get with this one i'm just putting my board and i don't want to knock it off because i don't want to break it um You've got your little extension pack as well with that, which is really, really cute. Only £21.99 is your price. Now, we've also got your budget extension pack. Um, this helps you manage your pennies and keep a, keep an eye on what you're, what you're doing, where you're going and what you're spending and what you shouldn't be spending. I like that. I must admit, I need to get mine up to date, but I like the budget tracker. It really helps me organise myself and not let everything spiral out of control um, so it's a cracker is that one a really good idea and again all of these all of these extension packs really help you um, make your own okay sticker sellouts let's go through it shall we so first things first so on my own so the the let love grow on its own how's that gone that's the one that was in the bundle gone oh i'm so sorry folks because that is beautiful that has gone um hustle and heart on its own we've got it so we have got this on its own now this is the one that goes with this planner which is beautiful so um and again this is lovely so you've got that green foiling which is really pretty um you've got this today's a day make it happen you've got some really beautiful blue foiling as well in there which is stunning so i like these because they're a uh, clear sticker so they're gorgeous for layering you've got loads of different sentiments in here as well these are beautiful because they're a clear sticker again it means and you can see it means again the great for layering so i, I do love the clear stickers because it gives you even more possibilities payday um then more of the lovely little uh, sunshines which are beautiful time to write stay off i like all these your empty squares um they're beautiful for building of those but also of course they give you spaces open spaces to fill in if you need it so loads and loads of lists for you um beautiful again lovely good affirmations i like the the borders i think they're good and the blocks again but then let me just find it this one this is one of my favorites um because they're all teeny like look look if i just take one of these off work 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 so they're all teeny little oh see that that just that, that makes me super happy i love things like this um over two-thirds of the stock has gone so you've got loads in there and i wouldn't do what i've just done realistically i do that thing that I, I do with my stickers i like to remove that bit from the edge like this make sure you don't take your stickers with you but just removing this like this and then i'm just putting that back 
where it came from. Sorry, I am faffing very much now, aren't I? I do apologise, but I'm quite... When it comes to my lovely books, I'm a little bit... Um, I like it to be just so. But this, now you see, it makes it easier. I don't have to try and fit that exactly in its space. So if you do take one off and you've changed your mind, it, it just makes it a little bit easier. Right, OK, if you do want this one, it's a lovely sticker book, is that one. Um, it has been super busy, though. Just £17.99, 776421. Um, approaching 70% of the stock has gone. Now, what about our neutral watercolours? Okay, we've got this. Now, you've got 399 stickers in here. This is gorgeous. It's a very soft palette, is this one. Um, you've got some really beautiful, the, the, um, it's like a rose gold foiling, is that, which is gorgeous. Um, yeah, this is really, really pretty. That, that sort of, um, that soft watercolour palette, it really works with the, the mindfulness. And obviously, if you did manage to get one of your, your other uh, planners or journals on today's the recovery ones, this will fit gorgeous with the recovery. I like that they're using the circles. I think that looks really, really pretty. Love these big, um, these big spaces that you've got here. And again, that palette, isn't that gorgeous? It's just such a soft palette and dead easy to layer. I like this because when you look at that sheet, it looks like there's nothing on it. But when you fold it back, you can start to see that you have got stickers on there. But yeah, at first it's like, what's that? Has it actually got stickers on? But you fold it and you can see there are stickers on there. Um, but it's such a, yeah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful palette. Now, if you do want to get hold of this, and that foiling is gorgeous, because it's not a really shiny foiling. It's a beautiful, subtle foiling, is that? It's really, really pretty. That foiling is lovely as well. Now, if you do want to get hold of this one, please check your back. Baskets out. 399 pieces there. 1799. That is super busy. 704676 is your item number, but 70% of the stock has gone. Now, bright budget. Um, Obviously, if you are going for your uh, your budgeting planner, this is super handy. A third of the stock has gone. There's 1,089 pieces in here. Um, but it's just really, really handy is this one um, because it's it's not just about your, your money, you know. Um, Kind words cost nothing. Oh, you did it. Save now, spend later. New goals. Um, so lots of, lots of things to, to help you to save up. But then it's all about, yeah, this is all about the cash. Um, so brilliant for planning, brilliant for organizing. Obviously, if you've got, um, a planner that is dedicated to your, uh, to your budgeting, then this is just going to add to it. But what I love about this, if you've got an extension or you you're adding this to your normal planner. That means you break up your normal planner and you add um, an element in which will allow you to use that planner um, for your budgeting as well. Then there's some really good stickers in here, gorgeous bright stickers. So it might be one of your, you know, one of your blank pages in your planner is where you're actually doing your budgeting, where you're actually working out all your, you know, your finances. And I love all your little icons as well. I think they're really cute. Um, now, if you do want that, look, Aren't they sweet savings? Um, if you do want to get hold of that one, that is massive. Again, only 1799. That's 281098. Um, then the seasonal one. I love this one, the fall. This is limited stock, so if you want this, you have to check your baskets out. This is beautiful. The foiling on this is just exquisite. Can you see that gorgeous sort of copper foiling? It's really pretty. It's perfect, perfect for autumn. Autumn's my favourite anyway, because it's the colours. Oh, it's gone. Look, look, you're getting loads of them again. But it has gone as that one. Oh, it's lovely, is that? If you've managed to get that, look her jogs. It's a really beautiful one, is that? Okay, then family. Family, uh, so with this one, I'm just remembering to move the stickers. So a third of the stock has gone with family. So this is about family, of course. So you've got family day there. Um, you've got things like, um, so photos with mum, with dad, with brother, uh, with grandpa, with sister. Um, and I love that because obviously it might be what you're doing. It might be plans with them. Um, you've got, of course, I like this as well, vacation with and games night with i think that's really cool um and then obviously all about your your uh family there Mima. i love that 
When you were a kid, did you not used to do that for ambulances? Me ma, me ma. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it's more Nino, isn't it? I love it though. Go pa 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 pa. Me ma ma me. Oh, I'm saying that wrong, aren't I? Me ma no ma. Anyway, move on. Uh, so games night. <laughs> Honestly, every time I've looked at that one, I've tried to say that word. Um, isn't it cute? Isn't it cute? I think this is really nice, and I really nice, and I love this one. Moving out with mom, moving out with dad, with grandma. Um, I love it. So really, really cute little one tacos. I'm so hungry. I'm at breakfast. Um, but I think that is really, really nice. And again, you've got loads of stickers. In in there 631 stickers that's four two nine two two three right last but not least have we got them now these are little ones i say little in in relation to others 192 266 so i say little but there's still a lot but over 80 percent of the stock has gone look at this how cute all oh, the cats and the dogs so you've got loads and loads of different doggies in there um which are just super super cute absolutely love it i think this would have to be my indie and i think i think this would have to be lola but this is a lot cleaner than lola <laughs> And I love these with just all the little faces. I think this is super cute. Isn't it lovely? And I tell you what, I'd use this. This, I must admit, if I were a card maker, I'd be getting this. Because I think it's really good for card makers. It's brilliant for tags. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. You do get the dog one and you get the cat one. I love this one. Hello! Look, it looks like he's waving. I really like them. You're getting both of them. Um, only £10 and... Oh! It is both, yeah, it is both, isn't it? Yeah, gosh, for 10.98, but it's gone. 9.00325 is your item number. What can I use? Hey, I can use a big one, which is a good job, because that's what we've got. Okay, so this absolutely beautiful. Um, I must admit, this will still fit on there. I'm going to stop it. Um, Look, so if you are going for your bigger planner, it's got a really nice wide elastic band so it will still fit on there, which is good because I am filling it with my pens. Um, now then, oh, now we have got, it's okay because I think I've got that one. So that one's mine, isn't it? Mm -mm. Right, I just need to give you a bit of a heads up. That work in progress one some have bounced back okay obviously you don't get this cover it is still limited but some have bounced back so if you do want to get hold of this you need to be checking out your baskets and um, are any of the extension packs left or have they all sold out have we got the um the hand letter in practice one that's lovely is that oh maybe it's an end of call maybe it's as you're checking your baskets out um what about the have these all gone so good things are extension pack that's that's limited stock okay okay so literally uh, a, a bounce back but limited stock very limited that one sold out as well didn't it yeah oh, oh one didn't check yeah okay so someone didn't check the basket out right so with the extension packs, what you can do them really, really, really quickly, and this is something I've done with my actual planner that I've got. I'm gonna oh the planner has actually sold out now anyway. Okay, so that's gone. Um what I've done with my actual planner, and I'll show you the real one. So the real one, this is the one I use. So my real one this i have started it in january 2021 but i've taken some out and i've actually put them in which planner did i put them in i put them in this one so can you see or did i oh wait so i'm one of my other ones but i've put them in the other planner which means you don't have to carry around your full planner which then allows you to add your extension packing so with your and obviously i can still put them in this one so i can still put say as you're checking out your basket your hand practicing and i like this because this is my hand lettering so say i wanted to to use this one in my big planner i could decide where i want to go with it so maybe, maybe, you know, in January, I want to do a little bit of this. I want to do some hand lettering. I could easily slot that in. And I might only want to pop a few pages in there. So you can easily slot a few pages into there. 
and then that becomes again that becomes what I want my planner to be which is so important because this is the whole process the whole process is it becoming what you want it to be and that's where these really come in as well the and I'm not sure if I think these have all sold out, if the truth be known. But there, so even if I'm popping it in my large planner, they've been designed, these are for the classic really. And you will find these have got a coating on. Get rid of that coating. You'll see the plastic coating on the top. Um, I think these have sold out. But get rid of that because they're even shinier. Oh, 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 the black and white accessories, it is super, super limited. So if you do want the black and white accessories from, this is where this came from. If you want that, then please check your basket out. Um, yeah, we've got, as you're checking out your baskets, we have got some goodies for you. So, um, let's have a little look. Say, oh, look at all of these. So, oh, we've got, so you've got your page protectors, which are perfect for your photographs. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, you've got, and then oh, the extra disc now. Um, they're your medium disc, so it allows you to extend. So if you've got a smaller planner, you can extend it with your medium disc. Or, of course, you can just uh, put what dish you want. Um, your classic filler paper. So that one is your mil um, mil uh, minimalistic um, classic filler, which, again, really, really nice. Um, we've also got all oh, your gorgeous love letter fillers. That's the one I've just literally put into mine, which is beautiful. Um, we've also got, oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Um, some pocket cards. The pocket cards are well cute. I really like things like that. I love anything. Oh, 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 more of the pouches. Don't they look good? And that is a beautiful colour as well. Oh, I like that. Oh, more of pouches. What's that one? What's that? Oh, excellent. Your half page fillers there as well. Really, really beautiful. Um, and, and if you're really stocking up, you will get your flexi. If you're spending over 60, you do get your flexi. And look, so that's how that fits on. And what I love about that, it fits on there and that pops out the top then so you can see exactly and then you can put on there what it is but you can see exactly where it is so when you're doing your little extensions it's so so handy i am going to mention the um see i've had mine for ages you can tell because it's really mucky now um but i love my little honestly mine has lasted the whole time i've had my planner it literally i put that on my planner every single time because otherwise i would absolutely lose it um so i this this and i carry this around all the time i mean this is my at work i have to bring this into work with me otherwise i don't know what i'm doing in my life so they are really good really really good really nice quality and that is just beautiful i mean it looks gorgeous it's a really nice zip um it's really you know really nice and tough yeah love love these they're fabulous um so make sure you get them because they're gorgeous okay what should we do should we do some stickers what time is it 10 minutes okay amazing i can use my new Okay, superb. Right, what I will do, we've got the sticker planning guides on the show for you, um, which are fabulous. Now, it's kind of interesting is this one, because obviously with your sticker planning guides, we've got different planners now. So this one is slightly different. So you've got stuff for your vertical layout. Let me show you. So you've got your vertical layout, you've got a dashboard, you've got horizontal, custom and monthly layouts. So... Um, you want to get the, um, the the layout that corresponds with the size of the planner that you're going for. This is obviously for the large one because it's the large planner that I've got here. Um, the other one is a classic that we've got. So the idea behind these, and these are such a good idea as well. Um, when you get your planner right at the beginning, um, what I'd suggest would be go through and easy peasy put in your your you know the the dates that you need to remember you by year the ones that you carry over um and then obviously start just filling in all the birthdays and then of course um you're coming on to your your january i always this is a bit i fill in the most because i put my work days you know what i'm guesting stuff like that but then your um and this is different because obviously i've got these bits i'm not going to put my stickers on yet but then this bit 
it. And this bit you can put your stickers on, you can do what you want with this. I'm going to put my little stickers on this. Now, because it has got your, your times on this, you might want to break it up um, by hour by hour. But maybe you're not going to use it like this when you can absolutely fill it with stickers. So that choice is yours. And this is the way that you do it. Now, as you can see, the vertical one, can you see the vertical one fits perfectly? So you could, even though it's uh, designed for the vertical one, it's the same. They've, what they've done is actually use the same dimensions. The layer is slightly different, but they use the same dimensions. So you can use your vertical on here, or you can use your custom one on here, because the custom one is blank. So let me just find the custom one for you. So the custom one is actually a blank page, so you can use that on there. So the choice is yours. I'll go for vertical. And I'm only going to do Saturday, Sunday for now. You've got a left and a right, which is really handy. Um, these just fit into place. Now, what I love about these as well, not only is it good for when you're, you're actually planning your stickers but it's great for storage because you keep that in your planner which means you don't need to look for it every single time it's there it's in your planner it's ready for you to to work on and this stops you having to put your stickers directly on your page which sometimes can go wrong um and then let's have a little look see where did i actually put my stickers that i can use sorry i've hid my stickers from myself skills Oh, they're there, right in front of me. It's okay. Now, did um, the Hustle and Heart sell out? Oh, good, because this is the one I want to use, because I really like this one. So, this is my Hustle and Heart. This is the one that fits with this planner. So, that's why I want to use this one. Now, when you look at your stickers, you've got tons and tons of stickers. I love it, because the top of this, that's a nice big open space. space. That is absolutely ready for your bigger, beautiful stickers. Now, if you do want these stickers, they're really busy. We're approaching already 80% of the stock gone. Now, say I wanted to, to take out those, so I didn't want to see the lines, I'd cover those up straight away. So decide what you're doing with that. I'm going to pop one like this. Oh, yeah, we have got our lovely Yanis. We haven't said, hey, we haven't even said hello to Yanis. How rude is that? Hello, Yanis. Hello. I feel left out. No one oh, wants to speak to me. I'll put some stickers in and then I'll let you do some. All right, thank you. Uh, that's well funny. Okay, yeah, you'll go about two and a half minutes. Um, so, so let's have a little think. Now, I would, I would plan this a little bit more rather than just going for it. But because obviously a time, I might just have to go for it a little bit. See, now I love these blocks. I think these are beautiful because I'm going to put one there, one there, like this. And I'm just planning it so it sits within that. If you don't like it, you can peel it back off again, which is fabulous. So, pop that there, like that. Okay, and then what I want with this one, I want um, them to be connecting. So I'm gonna have that one there, like that. And then I saw one that I wanted to use for connecting. Oh, I love the words, the word, word. And then I love this one as well. I like that. There. So that's going to go there. So that's beautiful. And then... What else? I love emerald green. It's beautiful. Oh, jeans in emerald green will be gorgeous. And then... Um, nothing is impossible. Tell my friends. Keep going. Let's have a... <laughs> Let's have time with friends because it's a weekend. Weekend. So pop that there like that. See, I'm loving this already. I adore this. I get absolutely lost in this. I'm having a lovely time. Uh, thing is, it's relaxing. It's, it is mindful. Um, and I say it every time I do one of these programs. The beautiful thing about this is the fact that um, as your, your, your stickers, your stickers, it's easy crafting. It's clean crafting. So you're not making a mess. And I mean, I am a very messy crafter. But you're not making a mess. You can just do this in front of telly. You're not going to get on anyone's nerves with big light or anything it's it's one of those that it's just really quite joyful and it is it's the simplicity of it but it still looks really effective and i kind of like this i like 
playing with the the shapes. Do you know what I mean? I, I, I really like that. I like playing with the, the different variants there. And I'm going to put one more word on there. Word. Um, let's have exciting, because we'll do something exciting. Like so. And then, so remember, this is on um, that um, the planning guide. So what you do then is lift it off. So this one. I'm going to lift off as one piece. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to bob that there for a second because I'm going to take that one off because I need to put this one down first. So I'll move my planning guide and now I'm actually coming onto my page. So that one is going to go there. That's where I put that, which is beautiful. And then, there we go. And then I'm bringing this in here because that's exactly where I wanted it to go. And it's going to come on like that. And how beautiful does that look? I love this. It makes me so ridiculously happy. That planning guide, highly, highly recommend. It does save you a lot of heartache when you get your stickers in the wrong place, which is terrible because it's one of those. Repositionable. Leonie, Re I've got one word for you. Yes. Strong. 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 Hey, strong. we've had a strong hour as well. I know. Um, I can't believe this is the first time I've got to chat to you. We're literally at the end of the show. <laughs> I was so, sat in a corner. I was thinking, everyone, everyone's forgotten I'm here. What's going on? <laughs> I was literally just watching the show. <laughs> But how busy were we? Yeah, yeah, really busy. And the thing is, Happy Planner, I, I just think this is such a good company. Yeah, you know, the, the things they bring out, they make sense. Yeah. And it makes it dead easy. And, oh, they're just, it's lovely. When you start looking through things, it's like, oh, they're just lovely. Do you know the biggest endorsement, and you, you know it's better than anyone here, that how many of the team mm -hmm. have embraced Happy Planners, but Absolutely. most importantly, they use them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you see yes. it, because you know sometimes we get stuff and we, you, you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you actually, as crafters, we can get distracted. So many of the team yep. love the happy planners, use the happy planners, share with you. Absolutely. We've got a little club going yeah, on here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. I love it because Fee's our latest yeah. and she's so into it, you know. Oh. It's a nice community. Now, I'm just going to yeah. give you a really quick update uh, just on the large one for you. So the big planner here, the big planner. Uh, that you can see there, the happy planner, time to start a big vertical hourly January to December, two thirds of the stock has gone. I think it's one of the few things remaining. Uh, now, uh, the bundle unfortunately has gone, but Leonie's gonna be back later on. You still get the stickers, still got this option uh, in here too. A lot of the counter, I was watching it being taken, everything being taken off the counter. Very, very busy. And I've got another yeah. short one. Well, this, uh -oh. is my, this is my point. If there is anything on the show that you want, we've had 11 sellouts, please don't wait till later on. Get them and secure them. That's all I'm going to say, because I think we're going to have more sellouts. Leonie, thank you so much. Thank you. I've had a lovely time. Well, I have as well, watching you. Uh, <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it as well. Please don't go anywhere. We've got such a special hour coming up in just a moment. Is there nothing the Catherine Starrett cannot do? Look at this. We've got Claire hooked on sugar buttons, some amazing creations from Catherine. After that, Janie's going to be back, and then we've got Crafts 2, one day special. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue, and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue.
Hi, I'm Julia Watts from Fairy Hugs. Fairy Hugs are a small family-run company based in Miami Beach in Florida, specializing in high-quality photopolymer stamps. Our stamp designs include fairies, dragons, under the sea, animals, foliage, everything you need to make your own scenes. Fairy Hug started in September 2020 and was born out of the children's love of everything magical and mystical. On our shows on the craft store, we are aim to demonstrate how easy it is for you to create your own magical scenes. So please join me for the Fairy Hug shows on the craft store. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. morning well if you, i know so many of you have been waiting for this hour because of course it's yes, sugar buttons the brand new patterns very 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 busy and of course we are talking about Catherine Sturrock on creation how are you Catherine I'm very well thank you Paula how are you I'm very good very excited I love your shows because uh, you know you come in your day off and of course you create these amazing uh, creations that you know just crochet and then and then crochet and then suddenly <laughs> suddenly you have got these characters coming in. If you'd have seen me yesterday the day before as I was here for Zuri and in between the shows I was like still making some <laughs> Up and uh, things for coming in the future as well. So, oh, yeah, there's yes. a lot going on. It is a lot of going on. Uh, shop ahead because you know how it gets, how busy it is, guys get. And now, and also one thing once they're gone, they're gone. So, if you want yours, as soon as you make your decision, make sure that you check out your baskets. Now, it does have a little bit of an extended delivery, and this is because, uh, of course, our Catherine is the busiest lady we know. Uh, well, that, well Leonie, Leonie and Catherine are the busiest girl. Uh, and of course, that will be dispatched from the 30th with a of September, which is of course a Thursday, this coming Thursday. So if you want yours, make sure to check out your baskets. Right now, Catherine, let, we are going to start with our doll kits. Now we have got this is a brand new item. We have got three brand new options for you. Of course, we we do. Uh, now we have got um, so shall Amy, Arabella, and of course we have got the um, Amelia as well. So uh, can you talk us through? So the names of the dolls refer to the intensity of the, the, the color of the yes yarn? so for the first time and this was something I intended to do right from the start was to introduce different skin tones so that there's something for everyone now I've got Amy sat next to me on a little chair here I will lift her down in a second but Amy is the lighter of the skin tones and then we've got Amelia that's the mid and then the darker skin skin tone is Arabella they do have different color hair as well well, we have got some news. Amy is no. now gone. <laughs> so not even two minutes in, well, three minutes in, and already we have had a sellout. So Amy, it was a pleasure to meet you, <laughs> but off you go. You know, you're taken. <laughs> you're spoken for. But we still have got Amelia and, of course, Arabella. Arabella being the darkest tone, and then, of course, we have got Amelia, which is the medium one in here. Is that correct? Right. Amelia is Amelia the is, yes, the, the mid one. And I think she's kind of an olive skin tone. So I think Ooh. she would suit lots of people, yeah. actually. But she would be like a mini me. Yeah. yeah. And that kind of thing, you know, you can collect a little family here or friends. Yes. You know, Absolutely. so it doesn't matter which one you go for, really. They're all going to look beautiful. Yes. If I had more time i would have made a sample for each of them by the next time that we will bring amy back hopefully we can get the stock for next time but um yeah there will eventually be a sample for each but you, you know it's the same doll it's yeah. the same pattern if i'll take amy down she's she's clipped to this chair um Aww. simply because now that i've got to explain as well the doll kit it is a kit so you get the basic doll so that's the doll herself 
the yarn to make the doll, the yarn to make the hair, you get the accessories for the eyes and the eyelashes and all those bits and thing, bits and pieces, including the stuffing as well. There is a separate pattern for the outfit. Okay. And the idea of this is that um, each time I come, hopefully, they will have a new outfit. So next month, it will be winter and oh. there will be a Christmas one as well. So there's two next cute. month. So now, of course, if you want to go forward, uh, a, a, well, Amy has gone, so we still have got Arabella and Emilia. Uh, now, of course, £18 and £99 is your price. Remember that the extended is just from Thursday, which is, uh, of course, um, 30th of September. 573-797 is your item number, brand new today. This is what you will get. Uh, half the stock has gone of Emilia, which is the one that you can see on your screen. And then we have got 30% of Arabella which is the darker skin tones there as well now that of course is the instruction uh, it comes in with instructions on how it to does create full it. instructions yes they look a bit crumpled don't they <laughs> you'll get nice clean ones I promise um, yes so for the doll and of course once you've got the instructions you can recreate the doll in your own yarn as well the pattern itself which is a separate item number we'll talk through that when we get to it Perfect. but yeah all the instructions there and I will say because I know there's so many people have joined my group and followed the craft alongs there are so many beginners. You can achieve this doll as well. When it comes to the clothing, very easy to do, but there's lots of different stitches and techniques. So what I try and do with all of my kits, Paula, is um, do something that's not too difficult so everybody can achieve it, but it will teach you new techniques and yeah. new, you know, decrease and increase in different stitches, different ways of putting stitches together to form patterns. So it's a learning process as well as okay. having something that looks rather pretty when you finish. It does, it does indeed. It's so cute. And of course, you'd mentioned the clothes as yeah. well. So we have got those patterns as well for you. So we have got the clothes in here as well, which is a different item number. 620187 is your item number. But however, half the stock has already gone. And 9.99 is your price, and of course the clothes will fade any of the the, uh, the yes, dolls. Yes, yes, the dolls are going to be the same size regardless of which name you're going for. If I just talk through oh. the little outfit yes, for autumn, please. so we can see start. We'll start at the bottom because she's got shoes on, so they're part of the pattern. The little leg warmers, everything you can take on and off, of course, because you can dress her. All of this was actually made with scraps of yarn, so it's a great way of using your yarn oddments and your ball ends. The, uh, the jacket is kind of a mini version of a cardigan I made for myself, actually. So it's got the little peplum frill on it. You've got the little frill around the sleeves, um, buttons down the front. She has a scarf. She's got the hat. The little flower is included. She should have a pair of pants on it. It's included in the pattern and I forgot to put them on her. So we can't look under the skirt. No She's got no pants on. Like, I don't know how you keep your, ca your, your know, dolls, Catherine. I mean, <laughs> too much information maybe. <laughs> Anyway, so if you want your gorgeous doll, the accessories, the outfit, remember, uh, f already half the stock when uh, 9.99 is your price, it will be dispatched from the 30th, which is, of course, Thursday. So it's not long to wait at all. Very, very busy. Accused on the phone. So if you have got access to the internet, the craftstore.com will be the fastest and easiest way to check out your baskets and not miss out. Now, we have another bundle here for you, which is the glass holder, uh, glasses holder. But this one is a brand new one because it's the Santa. It is Santa. So we'll see this one in demonstration. We've got the originals back in stock as well. Yeah. Because they've literally gone within minutes. So the originals was granddad or grandma. You, you yeah. get you can do either. We've got Crazy Head who has kind of a lopsided face, but you can change that if you wish. And we've got the gnome as well. Santa is a little bit different because yeah. he is a glasses holder. Yeah. So you're obviously going to make his Santa hat, you're going to make his beard and his uh, facial hair, but it's in a different way to the others that we've already launched. But what I will say is, of course, the Santa hat you can take on or off. So after Christmas, you can still use it. Yeah. You could turn him into a gnome or it could just be anybody. But they're great fun. They're really usable pieces as well. They make great gifts. They do. They do indeed. 60% of the stock of Santa has already gone. So if you want yours, make sure to check out your baskets. We are a very fast-paced uh, show. So make sure that you do check out your baskets as soon as you may. You see something in there. And of course, remember that Santa, very, very busy. 169799 is your item number. But we have got more. 
more for you. We have got uh, characters for you as well. Of course we do because sugar buttons. Uh, we have got the glasses. So this is the glasses holder and this is the original. I believe that's the original yes, one. That's granddad. granddad. Yeah. Or you can make grandma. They're both on the same pattern. You've got the option. Fabulous. And so you can make them both in there. And of course you are getting the, all the, what you need. The yarn, the stuffing, the accessories and the pattern for $12.99. That is of course the kit there. And now you have got the granddad, grandma, the gnome and the crazy head as options. Uh, so remember to check out your baskets. $12.99 is your price. Now we need to do an update on Santa. Is Santa is limited in oh, stock? No. Oh. Uh, so Santa we, may not, get, we yeah. may not get to demo then. I don't think you are <laughs> going to demonstrate that one. Ooh. Uh, right. It's, I mean, eight minutes and two sellouts already. Make sure that you check out your baskets. I know I'll keep repeating myself, but there is a reason we do not want you to miss out. We have got three minute queues on the phones. Uh, if you have got access to the internet or the, 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 the app on the phone, that works really well as well. Uh, anyway, another one uh, very popular is, of course, the Cuddle Pulse Unicorn Crochet Kit. Uh, the yarn, the stuffing and the uh, accessory patterns. And we have it in the lavender option. Uh, you do have have the, uh, the uh, unicorn over there with another color, right? Yes, this was Candy. Candy sold out, <laughs> we've brought up twice before and she sold out within minutes. I wasn't able to get hold of the color yarn for Candy this time, so I've introduced a new color. I don't know if there's any stock left for floss as well. That might be on the no, website. Just, oh, lavender. just lavender. We've only got lavender, but it's very, very pretty. And you can see you've got that lovely sparkle that runs through the yarn, that beautiful soft chenille that forms the base of the cuddle blanket. If I just pick this up. Now, I will mention this now as well. It will tell you in the pattern lots and lots of times. With the unicorn cuddle pal, you will get the eyelashes and you will get the eyes. But if you are giving to a baby, I always say embroider the eyes on. It will tell you in the pattern, but they're there provided because I know there are older children that love these as well and some adults. Okay, well, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Indeed. Now, of course, if you want yours, uh, look, I mean, just kind of open the contents because the, I love how you have, love that you take every feedback that you, the, your customers have given you and you have then do, done the packaging with the yeah. organza bags. Love that. It's such an eco-friendly as well because it's easy to reuse. And the yarn is just so beautiful. It, it, you so know, it's soft. gorgeous. I choose the yarns very, very carefully. Um, I don't go with budget yarns. You know, I use quality yarns and, um, yeah, this is why whenever we bring the shows, I buy as much as possible. But it, when it's gone, it's gone simply because if we just put extended on, yeah. I can't guarantee no. being able to get that yarn exactly. back. For instance, with Candy this time, out of stock on the pink, so I couldn't bring it back. So if you like something and you love it, do get it now if indeed. you possibly can. Well, indeed, that's uh, £25 and £99. It will be dispatched from the 30th, which is Thursday. Uh, remember to check out your baskets as soon as you make your decision. 056-804 is your item number. Now, and then we have got the unicorn crochet kit. Uh, we have got two different options for this one. Uh, now, of course, that one is two brand new options, actually, in fact. Uh, £23 and £99 is your price. Again, we are getting the yarn, the stuffing, the accessories and the pattern. You certainly are. Now, my little unicorn I've got has got a witch's hat on. There is a Halloween version, um, which I'll show you the curls is of the that Halloween the one. Is the end of cold offer? Um, there is something else at the end of oh. cold offer. So, if you're going for any of the unicorns that aren't Halloween, yeah. if I just take the hat off for a second, and you do get the little hole that's poked the horn through there. So, this is the unicorn pattern itself, if I turn it around. Um, available in different colour options. This particular colour option was Sherbet and it was the best seller and I'm gutted because they've discontinued the colour yeah. that I've used in the curls. So again, I've reintroduced new colours today. Um, if you go for the Halloween unicorn, you will get as a bonus a pattern for the witch's hat. Right. But for anybody, because I've had such demand yeah. for the witch's hat, anybody that has previously bought or is buying the regular unicorn, there is an end of call pattern. It's not a lot of money, it's, it's there really quite cheaply. It will include the pattern for the witch's hat, but also a Christmas hat as well. Ah. So you're getting two yeah. extra items. Yeah. So if you want, uh, let's have a look at the end of call offer, because I know many of you will want to go. There it is. When you 
you go to check out, for instance, a Unico crochet kit, it says free delivery add-on, how about? So then you kind of select whether you want a Halloween uh, unicorn and Christmas hat, or whether you want the witches and autumn accessories crochet pattern. Both of them are $2.99. There's no extra other PBMP, even if you're not a Freedom member. So then you add it to your baskets, and it will come with your main order as well there. Now, the talking about the unicorn crochet kit, there is two brand new options, which is the lemon drops and the midnight. So those ones are the two different options that we have got for you brand new. But of course, there is the previous options as well available should you wish to go for those ones, which are the vintage rose, the violet, and of course, the Halloween that comes with, with the hat. 179469 is your item number. Remember to check out your baskets. And this is the contest that you have got in here with all the stuffing. And of course, you are getting the safety eyes as well. Now, uh, Catherine, I know that some, some people may want to crochet these your characters for as a toys. Yeah. Uh, so if we don't want to use safety eyes, could we just knit it? I uh, just kind of uh, yes. stitch I, them. I or? provide some black yarn in all of the kits to provide you to embroider the features on if you're not using the toy eyes. The, the toy eyes do have the washers on the back, but they're not classed as baby safe. So, yeah. you know, the warnings are there. I'll just say, just be careful with that. Um, th I've never, fa you know, on most of my patterns, and I do go through this, and I'll show you if we get to it in demonstration, but I actually glue the eyes in. Right. Use a really, really good strong glue. Again, not for babies. The reason I do that is because I like to sculpt the faces, and I find it much easier to sculpt the faces and glue the eyes in. Um, and that's the way that I tend to do it. But you've got options. All the parts are provided. Perfect. So you have got options in there. So, and of course, I love the organza bags as well. Of course, everything now comes in. Uh, now, of course, uh, we have got the beginner's crochet kit in here, which comes in with the yarn, the stuffing, the accessories, patterns, and so much more. I mean, they are so fully packed. I mean, when I kind of open it up, it's just kind of everything is in here. Of course, the instructions. I've forgotten to put a crochet hook in there. Uh, the, if it's the beginner's kit, you get a crochet hook. Well, in this one, there is. There isn't, yeah. So this is with the key ring. That one has there's, got the key there's ring. There's new key rings as well, but if it says beginner's kit, you will get the crochet hook. Okay, so it has got a beginner's kit on the name, so yeah. in this one also you will get the crochet hook in there as well. Uh, so you have got the unicorn key ring, and then of course you have got the other option, which is the whimsical head uh, key rings. And you have them there. Actually, you have got one of the non-beginner's kits there, that's why there isn't a crochet oh. hook in. So if I show you this one, whichever version you're going for, these are the key rings that you will make so this is a little unicorn if you're looking for the beginners kit this is the color option you will get and you will get the crochet hook if you're looking at the two new options which aren't classed as beginners kit it's exactly the same ah. uh, method you make three of these as well not just one you've got enough yarn to make three but the new options are the turquoise and the pinks the as pinks, well yeah. so you get the variation of color running through those curls with the right. yarn that's provided but yeah each kit will make a minimum three so a minimum of three for just thirteen pounds and ninety nine pence. I mean, think about Christmas presents. Give, give that divided so fourteen pounds divided into three. I mean, I'm not going to do the maths, but you know, it's it's very little money for for a beautiful present, beautiful literature. Uh, four pounds and sixty six pence. Of course, I did that in my head. I didn't. <laughs> Charlotte did it. Uh, now, of course, if you want yours, remember that you have got the two both options: the pink and the blue in there. Uh, now, if you want yours, uh, check out your basket. Seven zero eight one two four is your ID. Number. Now, our dolls, we have got some of the. Now, both, uh, so we sold out uh, of Amy, but Aravella and Amelia have followed suit. The whole three are going to. I think they're having lots of That's my brunch. second demo out way, then. Run to you. Yeah, they are having a lovely time, all three together. Uh, so £18.99 pence was the price, but that was gone. Now, the patterns for the outfit is now, they are now limited stock. Already have, I don't know how many sellers we have had, and we are not even 20 minutes in. Uh, now, if it is limited stock, so if you want yours, please make sure to check out your baskets. So, now, we have got more. We have got Pocket Pals uh, next. We do. Uh, so, shall I open? Uh, we have got two different options here for you. And I love how packed they are. One, this one is the white and brown. And you can see it here, the gorgeous yarn there. And of course, we have got the brown. And then we have got more in there as well. And then we have the other one, which is white and black. 
then. Yes, yes, that was the original, but it sold out, and it, it, I didn't get the yarn back in stock straight away, but we've managed to get it back in now. I know quite a few people have been wanting the black one. We have got a sample behind me on the shelf, actually, the Pocket Pal. Oh! And the green yarn makes the little pal that goes in the pocket, and it makes a little caterpillar. Oh! But it, it keeps wiggling away. It's, well, that's what a caterpillar <laughs> does, doesn't it? It's wiggles its way. The brown one is actually a new version. It's a dark brown. We've had the light brown before, but the dark brown is the new one today. Well, if you want either of them, so of course you have got the dog in the black and white, you can see that he's so adorable. I mean, I love him. And of course with that green yarn for the caterpillar, which is having a lovely time somewhere else. Maybe it's <laughs> having a nibble on the tree. Uh, now, of course, if you want that, 24 pounds and 99 pence is your price. 346-163 is your item number. So remember that that's the finished piece. And then you imagine how it will look in brown. And of course, if you have got a beagle, for instance, one of my favorite breeds of dogs is a beagle. So it has, they have got that kind of that brown and white and they kind of that would look yeah. so cute in that one. Anyway, we have uh, then, oh. We're so busy. This one's anyway. We have the whimsical snail uh, crochet kit. Two different options for you here. Uh, so we have got the brights, and then which is that one I would imagine, and then we, and the wind. We have got the earth. Love this yarn. Catherine. It's beautiful. That's one of my favorite favorite yarns. When you see that crocheted up yeah, it looks gorgeous. absolutely amazing and then of course we have got the all i mean I, I like to unpack them because there's just so many elements into your kids so that it makes sense to show everything that we of course getting in those bags seven six seven five four one is your item number the two different options and of course is the bright and this one is the earth one which is the one that i'm having in my hands and then of course now, let's Paola, have a look. The, at the snail pro has proven to be remaining, you know, right through from the very beginning. It was one yeah. of the very first kits, very, very popular. So they're two new okay. colour options today, brand new. We've not seen okay. those before. Just to let you know, if your crochet <gasps> isn't too loose, you can actually find enough in the kit to make two snails, not just right. one. And there are other instructions to make the smaller version if you're running out of the yarn a little bit, because everybody's tension will vary. Um, just to come back to an end of call, <clears throat> there is the other witch's hat and the accessories for autumn as an end of call as yeah. well. It's a pattern, so that will include... It, do, the one for the unicorn is the Santa and unicorn, and it has the little hole where the right. hole sticks through. The autumn one doesn't have the hole in the witch's hat, so you can put it on various different characters. But it has little pumpkins and leaves, autumn leaves in there as well. And I did think, if I would have had the time, how cute the snail would have looked with a little witch's hat oh, and a few pumpkins yeah. and leaves. I would have stitched oh, them to the so shell cute. or, you know, so uh, unfortunately time was against me and I just can't crochet any faster than I okay. do. Well, £19.99 £19 is your price. Remember, you have got the earth option and the bright option there for just £19.99. £19. It will be dispatched from this Thursday, so which is uh, 30th of September. 767-541 numbers. Uh, right, Catherine, you know I know so little about crochet, but these characters are amazing. Could I do, you know, could I start with some of the characters? Which one would you recommend? Yes, you certainly could. Well, we've got the beginner's kits with the key rings. There is the little whimsical heads available as well as a beginner kit. Uh, they've sold out previously. We've also got a new kit that is in the three skin tones as well. Oh, so watch out for those. The new kit isn't the begin plus as the beginners. It's a different item, so it doesn't come with a hook. So do look out for those. So they're a great way to start. Um, but yes, the characters start really with your basic stitches. I would say the most tricky would probably be uh, Bunt is a little bit more difficult because of the way she's put together. Can I just say as well, anybody who's been waiting for Bunty to go in the pick and mix, she's now in there as a pattern only. You can still get kits, whatever's available left on the website, but the pattern itself Perfect. is in the pick and mix. Um, I would probably say if you're looking for a full character, the, t the bear is a good one to start with. That's right. a really nice, easy one to do. And the unicorn isn't difficult. Okay. In fact, we will we will do a little bit of one of the unicorns well, because it covers lots of shall options. Shall we have a look at the pick and mix? Because it's 19 pounds or 99 pence uh, for uh, any three. So you're choosing whichever three are your favourites. So there we have, for instance, characters like the dragon, the elephant, the monkey, the bear, the bunny. Oh, then we have got the monkey, the elephant. Uh, I love the. Uh, oh, some of them are repeat. Oh, they, some of them are disappeared to be repeated on there, or is it me that I'm seeing things? Uh, 
they should. Yeah, they are. So just make sure that you select, if you select one elephant, and that's it. Uh, whimsical snail, and of course you have got, oh, the kitty cat. That would be my favorite, obviously. But do have a look. Uh, so if you want an elephant, just don't press two and the different elephants. That's what you want. Uh, right, now back to you, Catherine. Okay, right. There is another new item that we've not mentioned today, and okay. I've got parts of it here. Now, the cuddle blankets remain to be popular. I think these are wonderful for new babies because they are so, so tactile. Um, there's two different versions of the cuddle blanket. It's the bottom bit that is different. Now, the last time I brought a new one was the unicorn who's fallen asleep. And the new version is actually a doll, so it could be like a first doll for a baby. I've got parts of it here. This is the colour option that you will get. So yeah. it's the pink with the white trim, and then you get the pieces to make the doll's head, which will have a little bonnet on it. It will have a dummy, its little arms, and, and so on. But I did have a couple of messages from people who bought the Unicorn Cuddle Pal saying that they were a little bit unsure about how to make the start of the base, the blanket bit itself. So because this covers the unicorn and the doll, the new version, we're going to go through this. Um, so we'll, obviously we can't do it all, but we'll get it started. Okay. So I will just borrow a pair of glasses from my glasses keeper, okay. uh, because I do need them, and I will find a hook. Um, ideally, for this one, I suggest on the pattern using a five millimeter hook for the base of your blanket. Now, right. I believe this is the color I've put in with uh, the new Unicorn it, cuddle yeah, pal, it does isn't look it? Like yes, a unicorn one, yep. Yeah, so. Now, if you look at the beginning, we'll start, well, if, I'll start on the front cover. Obviously, you've got an image there of the finished item. In this case, it would be the unicorn with the doll. You'll get a picture of the doll on there. On the front cover, it tells you what yarn is in your kit and the recommended hooks to use. You can change those hooks depending on whether your, your tension is loose or it's tight. If your tension is loose, try and drop down a hook size because if you're making your, loose, your stitches looser, you're using more yarn. So in that case, then, if you start to run out of yarn, that's why it's because your tension's too loose. So if you find that, drop down a hook size. Now, mine, mine is quite uh, tight, the tension, when I crochet. So I'm sticking with the sizes I've suggested and with the chenille, which is so, so soft. It's the five millimeter. Right. Now, it also tells you what stitches you're likely to be using within the kit. Um, or the main ones anyway. And there's also a little conversion chart because UK terms and US terms are different. The stitches are the same, but they're called yeah. different things. So we do, I have sent out to America, I have sent out to Europe. So if you need to convert, there's a little chart there as well. Perfect. Now, when you move to the instructions, what I've done, there are pictures at the back of all the instructions. So you can see those. So if you flick to that, all the pictures are together. Now we'll start here. Cuddle Pal Blanket, and it tells you to use Yarn A, so I'll put little labels on the yarn if it does specify which one. Some of the patterns, you've got a choice. You can use whichever ones you want, depending on the pattern that you've bought. Now, it does tell you here to make four chain stitches and slip stitch them together to form a circle. Now, usually I start with a magic circle. In this case, I haven't, so we're going to make a slip stitch. There's two ways of doing it. I can either create a loop, right. and I do apologize for my nails. I've still got resin down them from Zuri. <laughs> Zuri uh, shows, and then this out. one. Yeah. <laughs> so I make a little loop. I'm right-handed, so I'm holding the yarn in my left hand at the moment. I put the yarn around the loop, so you can see I've got a second loop at the front here, and thread that loop through. Actually, I've got the wrong end of the yarn. Let's go with the tail end. Yeah. So you wrap that around right. and through the loop and pull. And then when you put the hook yeah. in there, it and pulls tight. And that would tight. be for any any of the kids? How um, you it, it depends. Some of them okay. start with a magic circle, but if you still can't get to grasp with the magic the circle, circle, you can actually work this Perfect. way instead. Now the other way of doing a slip knot yeah. is an, with your finger. So you put the yarn around your finger once and then again twice. Don't do it too tightly. You take the loop that's at the back of your finger over the front but not taking it off, right. just cross it over. But then you take what is now at the back and right then, off your finger right. and you're left with a loop that then will slip onto your crochet hook. Ah, that makes sense. Okay, so that's is, is that another way of starting. Is that how we the unicorn as well? Is the unicorn that way? Yes, 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 of course, yeah. because that's the yarn that you're using for the unicorn, right? That's, that's. Sorry, it is. Just, I know, yeah. I'm such a novice when it comes no, no, to crochet. No, no, you ask the away, Paula. Honestly, you ask away. Yeah. So, how you hold the yarn is entirely up to you. 
There's a con what I would class as a conventional way, and I don't hold it that way simply because I have a bit of an issue with right. my left thumb, and I find it more comfortable the way that I hold it. If you want to use the yarn like you're knitting, lots of people have asked me this, you go ahead. Whatever's comfortable to you, if it works, go ahead with it. So we're going to do four chain stitches. So to begin with, I'm just holding the tail end in between my thumb and my finger. I've got the yarn wrapped around. If I just show you how I do it, I go across three fingers yeah. there and around my little finger and what that allows is when I pull the yarn here you can see that it will move right. on my finger yeah. and I can pull it back the other way as well but it doesn't allow the yarn to sort of run away with itself it keeps it quite taut so to do a chain stitch you simply take the hook with that loop that's on there you go under the yarn picking it up and you pull that through the loop now don't make i've just pulled that really tight there don't make the slip knot too tight let me just loosen that off so i can pull it through there we are so that is a chain stitch so that's one we'll go again round and through that's two round and through that's three round and through that is four so that's our four chain then it tells you to slip stitch together and what I do with the patterns and this is mainly for the beginners or for those that are very new to crochet I'll put the full wording and the abbreviation to start with once you start getting through the pattern it will revert just to the abbreviations so where it says slip stitch and then in brackets SS that is the full wording and the abbreviation that stands for slip stitch. Now a slip stitch is very, very easy. Yeah. I'm going to go into the first loop that we made. So that okay. was actually the slip knot yeah. that was on the hook to begin with. So I've now got two loops on the hook. I put the yarn around and I pull it through both of those loops together. So what I'm left with is a little circle. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now probably the chenille isn't the easiest to see on camera, but because it's in the pattern, hopefully you can follow mm. this. So the next line, it says chain three stitches. This forms your first treble stitch. Now when you're starting a row, very often this is what you do. You use chain stitches to form the first stitch. So we've, we've already done a chain stitch, so we'll do that. So round and through, that's one. Round and through, two round and through yeah that is three stitches okay. so that counts as a treble stitch then it tells you to do one treble which abbreviates to tr now a proper treble stitch is where you put the yarn around the hook we're going to go into the hole that we've made we're going to pick the yarn up again and pull it through the hole so that you've got three loops on your hook we're going to go round with the yarn again pull through two loops round again yeah. and pull through two loops and that is a treble stitch and that will match the height of the three chain that I we see. did so because there's kind of three stitches in a treble that's why we did three chains so what we've got there obviously we've done the chain we've done the first treble then it tells you one chain so we'll yeah. do that very easy round and through then you've got a little asterisk now these are important why? because you will find that you will get repeat areas of patterns and usually they start where you've got little asterisks so we'll watch out for the instructions on that following from the asterisks it says two trebles and a chain repeat from the asterisks so that's where we've just pointed out four more times so we'll do that so we've got two trebles so remember with the treble you go round the hook with your yarn first into the hole pick up the yarn and pull it through so you get those three loops Perfect. round with the yarn through two round with the yarn through two so that's a treble we want two of those so I'll just repeat that stitch so I'll speed that one up a little bit so two trebles and then a chain then it tells me to repeat that four more times so I am just going to do that very quickly another four times so it's two treble and a chain four times now the whole We'll get fuller and fuller with stitches so it's almost closed off so i've just done two trebles and a chain that's once more we'll do this a second time so two trebles and a chain that's okay. twice yeah. there's the chain now we're on to the third time so a treble a treble yeah and a chain so we're on the fourth time now right. go in again so a treble a treble okay. and a chain so we've now repeated that four times and so you can see quickly. how that hole is yeah. closing off and you can also see how quickly this is going to come together because of the thickness of the yarn yeah. so when we've repeated that it tells you again to slip stitch 
to the top of the three chain that you made at the beginning. So remember that three chain made our first stitch. So slip stitch into the top of that stitch. So you just go in with your hook, pick up the yarn and you pull it through both loops. And that has closed off that hole. Yeah. So it's closed that circle together. That is your first round completed. Now we'll just move on to the next round because it's important to show more than the first, I think, really here. So um, where are we up to? We've just done, yes, we've just done row two, haven't we? Now it tells you at the end of the row that you'll have 12 stitches. You have if you count the trebles. I've not counted the chains there. So you should have six sets of double trebles. So you check that, count as you go along, it does say somewhere in here, counting is key. Now the next line says three chain, again this will form your first treble. So we're going to do three chain stitches, one, two, three, okay? Then it says, um, this method continues at the start of each round, so you know every time you, you begin, yeah. you can start with three chains. Now we've got another one of those asterisks, so we need to make sure that we're watching out for that because it will be a repeat. Make one treble in the top of each stitch of the previous round to the chain space. Now that sounds confusing, but it's not actually. Remember we did two treble stitches with a chain in between. And you can see where the chain is because you've got a little gap. So it's telling you to do a treble stitch in each stitch right. before you get to the chain. Well, we've got two treble stitches on the previous round. So we're going to go round with the hook into the first stitch, pull it through so it's just a regular treble. So we'll do one there and then we'll do one in the next stitch. So you're working into the V at the top of the treble. Yeah. Now we're up to the chain. So we've got that little gap there. Right. And what you're doing there, if you look at the instructions, it tells you into that space to do yeah. one treble, two so, chain, and a treble. So it's all going to go in the same into space. that space. Right. So we'll do that, one treble, yeah. two chain, yeah. one, two, and then another treble. Now what this actually forms are the corners to your blanket because we've got a hexagon. You'll start, I'm going to speed up as we go around here now, repeating that, because that's what it tells you to do. Repeat that process right to the end and then you're going to slip stitch together, together again. Now we've gone into that chain space, we're back to two trebles. So we know we've got to do a treble stitch in each stitch. So it's two trebles, one in one stitch, one in the other. Sorry if I keep flying my arms out, I'm pulling the, <laughs> the yarn and it gets caught. So two stitch and then we're back to that chain. So one treble, two chain, one treble into the space. So that's one treble, two chain, one treble. And we're back to the regular treble stitches again. So we repeat again. So it's a treble stitch into each of those stitches. So one, two, and then we're back to the next chain. So we repeat again, one treble, two chain, one treble. And so it goes, so one treble, two chain, one treble. And that's halfway around now, and you can see you're starting to form oh, the hexagon. I can see it, yeah. Okay, so I'll get to the end and slip stitch it together. Yeah. I don't know if you want to do yeah, any, well, yes, any numbers absolutely. while I do because it, it's perfect. just repetitive, and then I'll do a quick, a very quick sort of indication of what comes next. Perfect, so we'll go that, and we'll do that then, Catherine. Thank you so much. Uh, one of the things I'm fascinated is how quick it goes as well, especially with the, uh, you know, the amazing uh, kind of chenille yarn, because that is one of the ones that you are going to get with the cuddle pals uh, that we are looking at now. 24 pounds and 99 pence. Remember, you are getting the instructions and of course you are getting the uh, stuffing as well as the appropriate amount of yarn for every single aspect of it. £24.99 is your price. This one of course it has got is the pink, uh, the pinky one uh, and of course we are going to put it inside the uh, organza bag so that everything comes in and then of course there's the cuddle pals 8468008 but then also we have got the unicorn which of course is lavender which is the uh, 
Uh, it is the one that uh, Catherine was using the, the the yarn for her demonstration. Although the pattern was the for the cuddle pulse, if it makes any sense. Uh, now, of course, limited the stock now for the uh, cuddle pulse uh, unicorn. So if you want that one, make sure to check out your baskets. Twenty five pounds and ninety nine pence is your price. Uh, now, of course, you can see it with the yarn in here and the stuffing, the constructions, the safety eyes as well, and everything you need except of course the crochet hook because it is assumed that you will have uh, one. And now of course the uh, pick and mix patterns for the uh, of course that one is the crochet pattern with the accessories. Now oh uh, yes I know it was my I'm a stupid a bit I'm a confession here because you can see that cuddle pulse elephant character elephant hence is that difference now and I was just so blinded by my own ignorance like elephant elephant yeah but one is character one is cuddle pulse that makes perfect sense <laughs> so if you want the character in elephant and the cuddle pulse in elephant you can have them both and they will be two different obviously projects because one is a character one is a cuddle pulse uh, 452340 is your item number 19 pounds and 99 pence now the glasses holder the granddad has now sold out, well, granddad and grandma, or grandma, depending, has, have now gone. The gnome is limited to stock, and crazy head have the stock. So you can see there an even one, that is the crazy head, right? Yeah, can I just mention crazy head, actually, yeah. because... It he is rather crazy. He, he had very curly That's hair mean, and he got left out in the rain. I went and left him outside. Now, with crazy head, the instructions will tell you, because he is a bit of a fun character. So his ears are lopsided, his eyes are lopsided. Yeah. So you can put his glasses on lopsided. Right. But if you don't want him lopsided, of course you can straighten him up as well. So you've got that option. So if we do sell out of other options, yeah. you can still go for crazy head and you can ch you get loads of yarn to do the hair. So you can do a female version, you can do a male version, you can have long hair, short hair, pigtails, you can do all those different things. But yeah, uh, just good fun. Absolutely good fun. Uh, <laughs> 860893 is your item number. 12.99 pence is your prize. Uh, back to you, Catherine. What are okay. you going to show us next then? Right. Well, I'm, I'm almost at the end of that round and I've just left the last little bit on purpose because it's a little bit different. Remember at the beginning, we do the three chain stitches which create um, your first stitch. Well, when you get to the end of the round, you are going to slip stitch to close that together. So I've got to the last point here. So we are going to go into that final gap with a treble, two chain, and another treble. Yeah. Okay. And then you slip stitch again into the top of the stitch where right. you began. So you always close off that round as you work it and you can see now you have got that hexagon Perfect. now I won't do the next row because I want to do other demonstrations but just it does tell you here you will repeat that row that you've just done and if you count in between each of those chain gaps which are your corners on this row we've got four the next time you go around as you do a treble stitch into each of those and you're increasing in the corner you will find that these the stitches themselves in between those gaps will increase by two every time so do keep a count do watch out for that and you can see what happens you can see where the gaps are, yeah. they come down in an angle, and your stitches are extended by two every single time. And that's how you get your blanket. It's very, very easy oh, once I you see. get going. It's just that starting point, and once you're going with it, you're away. And it, it really does work up very, very quickly. It, and it's just, I mean, I'm looking at the blanket, I'm just thinking, I just want one large, you know, full <laughs> size, so I can wrap around in the mornings. Because do you know, you, you could do that. If you've got more yarn, if you want to reuse the pattern afterwards and you want to extend that, you could make a, a really large one if you wanted to. Oh, that would be so cool over the bed. Yeah. Well. Like, you know, so there are possibilities like that. So once that you have got the pattern, you can repeat it. Uh, but now, by the way, the cover pass, the unicorn kit, has, is a technical sellout. If you have it in your baskets, do check out your baskets. And and then, of course, do make sure to check out those baskets to get it. Twenty-five pounds and ninety-nine pence is your prize. Uh, zero five six eight uh, zero four is your item number. Now, the pink of this one, which I showed you before, uh, of course, that is the Cuddle Pulse Crochet Kit. And now, this one, twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. Very busy for that. Eight four six eight zero eight is your item number. And of course, you are getting all the yarn, and you are getting, of course, the safety eyes that yarn that. Should 
vinyl yarn that is so nice and soft and of course then the other ones uh, the yarn the smaller yarns as well or the thinner yarns uh, I love the way that it also feels super soft as well it, nothing feels you know everything feels yeah. super quality that's what it means I've, it's important to me Paula that it is good quality because if it's not you won't get the results that you deserve and and I think sometimes you, especially if you're new to a craft as well if you don't get something that looks good at the end of it you're not as likely to persevere with it and certain yarns if they're not such good quality you will find harder to work with also the quality of your hook does matter you've probably heard me talk about that yeah. in the craft alongs before but it does matter um, so this is why the, I do try and introduce beginners kit for anybody who does want to start so you've got the hook appropriate to the size for the kit that you're buying and then you can sort of expand from there as well Fabulous. Now, of course, if you want the, uh, of course, the crochet kit, the color piles, uh, £24.99, 846-808 is your item number. We also have got the unicorn key ring, the uh, look at that. Again, you are getting everything you need except for the crochet hook. Uh, we have got two different options for you. The turquoise, which is the one that you can see on the screen, 70% of the stock has now gone for that one. And then or the pink, which is the one that you can see in there. And now, with the key ring, am I right to make them make three of them, right? The key yeah, ring. you get three key ring components, and as long as your tension isn't really, really loose, so you've got big gaps in between all your stitches, you've definitely got enough to make three. Yeah. And 928-391 is your item number. Now, Catherine, we want more demos. <laughs> so that's what we want here okay. at the craft store. Do you know, we are going to look at the keyring, but the keyring actually covers lots of other things as well. So, I've done this before, but because we've got new items as well, the curls that are on the unicorn's head, and there's two different types. The curls on the keyrings, they're done in the same way, but a different size. Um, the Santa's beard and the facial hair of Santa would have been done in the same way as well. I've got parts of Santa's beard here. Uh, when you lay these together you kind of get a full beard so we'll, you'll see that when you get your pattern home but we've, we've sold that Santa, I do know that. Um, so we are going to just go over that again. I have done it before but I think it's important because it's, it's in the beginner's kit. So for the curls themselves Oh, actually, this also covers parts in the bags because there's yeah. the details to make the curls if you want to use them as accessories on your bags as well. Oh. So with the curls, it's very, very easy. And I know Santa's sold out, but I'm going to go through the process of his beard as well because it, it, it is covered here. Now, I've got the collar here, which is turquoise, which is in the new kit, which isn't the beginner's one. Right. Uh, so it won't come with a, a hook. So the pinks and the turquoise doesn't come with a hook. It's only the beginner's kit. Right. Okay. The beginner's kit. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to start with a slip knot again. That's the way I'm going to go. So no magic circle here either. And again, I'm right-handed, so I tend to hold the yarn with my left hand and the hook oh. in my right hand. Can, can I interrupt you? Sorry, uh, Catherine. It's such a busy show. I wish you could hear the, pen, well, the, the things that are going in my head. Poor Charlotte <laughs> is like trying to do a million things at the same time, trying to. But basically, we have had another sellout. Uh, oh. uh, the unicorn key ring for beginners, the one that includes the crochet hook, now that has now sold out. So if you have it in your basket, so you might get it, but make sure to check out your baskets we still have got the unicorn key ring not for beginners which is the one that doesn't have the the yeah. crochet hook right so That's if right. you want that project and you can source your own crochet hook just go for this one and then of course that I will recommend a size three but three. if you want to change that you can depending on your tension again and just to let you know you do get three sets of eyes three sets of eyelashes and the key rings in those kits regardless of which one it is it's just the hook that changes so to make the little curls I'm going to go through three options here because there are there are many different ways of doing it now in the pattern I will give you a suggestion of how many chain stitches but you can really make this your own because you can decide how long you want the curls so right. I'm not even going to bother counting this I think I'll give you something like 15 then 20 then 25 or 20 25 or 30 I can't remember what I put in there now but seriously you can make a difference and you can make yours your own so the same process would be on the cuddle pal and also on the unicorns themselves including the Halloween one um, I'm using the turquoise at the moment which oh, is one of the new which kits is, it's now gone has it 
Yeah. Oh, now it has got a technically gone, so if you want yours, you know what to do. Check you out get your basket. to me, Paula, the pinks. The pinks. Out of the new kit, because I've got some pearls made up one, in the turquoise, no. and we haven't oh. seen the pink. So we'll maybe, if we've got time, just to switch. Okay, well, we'll do that, but okay. of course, uh, if you want yours... I'll start, um, I didn't get far, so we can start again. All right, is this one that you wanted? No, no, no. it's... Um, Okay, let's show it the style a little <laughs> because we're so busy. Oh yeah, that's the one that is multi-variegated. Um, so is, I uh, will find it, Harry will find it somewhere. Oh, this is like a treasure hunt of, <laughs> for finding anything in stock. This is how busy it is. Make sure that you check out your baskets at home. Uh, it, it's a little bit of money, and I do apologize for that, but it's just, you're loving the sugar buttons. You are loving, absolutely loving the amazing, uh, the sugar buttons. You know what? I think I will give up finding the pinks because the pinks is now limited to stock. So if you want the pinks, do check out your baskets because Ooh, the beginners, the whimsical key ring, it's limited stock. So that's the one. All right. Uh, I think the whimsical is the blue and uh, blue purplish colors. I think it is. Oh, please refer oh. to the website. We are kind of, if you could see, I, I mean, I was going to say we are like swans. <laughs> we are not like swans. Like, like, we are like hippopotamus in the, in the, like, just like elephants in the, in the, in the, in the. The pink is gone. Henry, is the pink is gone? Yeah. What we've got left in unicorns? We've got cuddle, we've got what are anything? You? We've got the full bodied ones, have we? Uh, we have. What well, we have got left, Charlotte? That would be easier. <laughs> Midnight. Midnight. Have midnight. We midnight. We've got midnight. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm yeah. going to move to midnight then. <laughs> My question, Catherine, midnight is. Midnight is the full bodied version it's and it's a new colour option. Right and you get this beautiful, beautiful pink and a, a grey, a dark grey with a glitter in there, silver glitter. And of course, you get white for the body of the unicorn. So, okay. But it covers the curls. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll carry on with the curls. But right. yeah. So if you've just got the key rings, don't worry, we'll still do yeah. the demo. If you've got Santa, it's all covered. Yeah. Uh, right, so let's go with the slip knot again. So yeah. as soon as we've moved on to the large unicorn, it's the same process. Uh, I will give you a suggestion of how many chain stitches to do, but you can adapt this. Now, the length of the chain that you make is going to shorten as you make the curls. Remember that because you are making them curly, so it's going to pull them up a little bit. So you want to make sure that your chain is a little bit longer than you probably think you're going to need. Um, I would vary these so you get a different look and the tail the tail as well oh, for the see, unicorn yeah. he's got this one's got quite a long tail you see so you can change that around now if you're going with the larger curls on the main unicorn we've used treble stitches on the key rings we've used double stitches and on the smaller curls we've used a slip stitch so I'm going okay. to do all yeah. three okay we'll start with the easy one we'll start with the slip stitch now what the pattern will tell you too is once you change your stitches it will say start in the second chain from the hook so if we look where the hook is the first chain is there and the reason you don't start in that is because if you go in there you're almost unthreading oh, what you've I just see. done yeah. because you've just pulled a loop through there plus it makes it a little bit harder to manoeuvre right. so you count two away so first one you don't go into it's the second one so you just put your hook into there we pick up the yarn and we pull it through okay. and then we take it straight through the hook that was already on the stitch okay. and that is a slip stitch and that is all you need to do so I into see. the the stitch itself of the chain pick up the yarn pull it through and pull it through the loop that's already on there and you just continue doing that this will start to curl automatically I'm not going to go right to the end because I want to unpull this and show you the other versions as well. But you can see that will start to curl on its own. That makes those thinner curls, as I mentioned, regardless of which version you're making. Okay. Okay. You'll also, this is the way you will do Santa's beard. That is done with the slip stitch technique. And um, also, I think you use that technique a little bit on some of the bags as well. Now, I'm just going to unpull what I've done and show you the double. Okay. Uh, crochet double or double crochet. So I've still got this, you start with the same chain, right. you start in the second from the loop, so you go into the mm -hmm. stitch, you pick up the yarn, so you've got two loops on your hook, yarn around and through the two loops. Now you're going to go back into the same hole, pull through, round and through, and you're going to repeat into the same stitch. Now I think on the key rings I've said do three stitches 
in each stitch. So in each hole that you've got there, you're going to make three double crochets. On the larger version and the cuddle pal, where you use the treble stitches, I ask you to do it five times into oh. each stitch. The more times you repeat a stitch into one hole, the curlier the result. I because see. you're almost making a fan or a shell into each of those stitches. So the top of the stitch is fanning out. Where you're going into the stitch itself, it's keeping it close together. And that's what makes it coil. That's what gives it that curl effect. And you can see how that's oh, working already. Right. Yeah, we're going to see it perfectly. Okay, there. so remember this is with a double crochet. So into the stitch, pick up the yarn, two, yarn round, pull through. And remember, repeat into that same hole three times. Now, if you miss the odd stitch or you miss um, you miscount a little bit. Don't worry too much with this one. Crochet is very, very, very forgiving and you probably won't even notice. If you do it a lot of times, then you might start to notice. Yeah. But if you miss the odd one, don't worry about it. There you can see how that is curling very, very quickly. Okay, yeah. So now we've got the double. Yeah. I know we haven't got long left, but we'll just go undo and again to the end and we'll do the treble just to remind everybody how a treble stitch works okay so you still make the chain in the same way now i'm going to do five stitches into each hole so a treble you put the yarn around the hook before you go into the stitch then yarn around again and pull through yeah. so you've got three loops yarn around through two yarn around through the last two so your treble stitch is a larger stitch than the double so I'm going to do five of these into each hole. So that's three, four, five. These can get quite addictive. If you are tuning in this afternoon at two o'clock when we're back, I did promise somebody on my Facebook group, my Sugar Buttons <laughs> Facebook book that, uh, group, that I would go over some of the frills and flowers for the bags as well. They will also cover demonstrations in, I know she's gone, but in the Amy pattern or the Amelia and yeah. Arabella as well. We have had an email from Linda, uh, who is the same question as I think, uh, like I had at some point. Uh, she's a beginner, uh, Linda, and she, or, or she wants to know what would be the best project to start off as a beginner. Have we still got the whimsical head beginner case? How did that go? Oh, we are uh, trying to check in. We've got yeah, that. Yeah, we still have it. If you it. want to start small, the whimsical head would be a good choice because it will give you the basics. And Linda, this afternoon, although I've just promised to go through the frill and the flowers, we'll go through the basics of any of the heads as well. So that will cover that. And also how to apply the hair because it covers lots of different kits. So I do try and demo so it covers lots of things all at once. Perfect. So, That's yeah, nice. if you're tuning at 2 o'clock, Linda, but I would yeah. say that if you don't want the whimsical heads, if you want a full character, I'd probably say the bear is the easiest one. Um, yeah, the glasses holders have gone, haven't they? Unless you go for crazy head, you could go yeah, with one of the glasses holders. Or the gnome. Or the gnome. Yeah. Or the gnome. They're, they're very easy to do as well and Perfect. really useful. Right. So, now, of course, if you want yours, you know what to do, Linda. Check out your baskets now for the whimsical <laughs> ahead. It's been very busy. It's been an incredibly busy show. You have got the three color options, the light, the mid, and the dark. Our 973-737 is your item number. 12.99 pence is your price. And, of course, the whimsical ahead looks a little bit like that. that look at that. You can change the hairstyle as well. Really? I give you loads of yarn to do the hair. So you can have short hair, long hair, pigtails, plaits. You can do whatever you wish. And you do get three sets of eyes, eyelashes, a little bit of felt to put around the eyes if you wish, and the key rings as well, of course. Fabulous. And so, all the stuffing. Yeah, and the stuffing, of course, yeah. you, for the head. And uh, no, of course, if you want your student details on the left hand side of the screen, incredibly busy show. Remember, everything will be dispatched from Thursday, which is the 30th of September. To please allow Catherine to actually do her work, you yeah, know, her job. Like, yeah, I'm here. I'm here, you're here. <laughs> and now, of course, you're going to be back at 2 o'clock with Richard, yes. and you? So we'll look forward to that. I don't know what you are going to be doing, literally, <laughs> because there is not much left. Oh, well, thank you, everybody. And uh, the dolls stock, honestly, the stock's there. I will 
get as much as possible to bring Amy back next um, month mm -hmm. and Amelia and Arabella because they all went and the new outfits do not miss the winter and Christmas outfits well indeed now of course if you want yours you know what to do check out your baskets for anything Catherine a pleasure as always we'll see you, you at you, two o'clock and of course we'll see you on Wednesday and Thursday as presenting and yes. all, you know and, and Friday for Viva Decor oh yes oh, sure. actually you in the morning as well no, I mean. uh, right we'll see you tomorrow well I'll see you in an hour's time but stay tuned here at the craft store for more lots more We have got another beautiful hour ahead with Janine's uh, original stamps and more. Uh, then we have got, of course, the Crafts 2 One Day Special. Well, that's it's allowed, but still there's a complete collection, so tune in at 12. Stamperia are an Italian company. Uh, they launched in 1995 with stamps, stencils, paints, and an incredible product, the world famous rice paper. They were actually the first company to print on rice paper, and they're now absolutely renowned for it. The product range that Stamperia offer is really diverse. They bring us incredible stamps, obviously uh, the world famous rice paper, but they're always trying to bring new techniques as well. So they'll bring different mediums, um, beautiful moulds, so there's always something for every type of crafter. They will definitely have something for you to craft with, and everything you craft with will be top quality and beautiful. So make sure you don't miss the Stamperia shows. I'm Hayley. I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. I'll even be bringing some items from my own Handmade by Hayley range. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specialising in traditional crafts for the modern maker. I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B. Silkworks shows. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. So do pull up a pew and join us on the shows. We can't wait to see you there. Well, hello everybody and a warm welcome. We have got another fabulous hour with the incredibly talented Janie. And I couldn't, as companies go, Janie's Originals, I think, couldn't sum you up any better. Because you are wonderfully Thank you. original. There's only one of me. There is only one of you. Janie, I had such a good hour earlier. with more. <laughs> we love what, no, you no. are perfect. Um, Janie, I had such a nice hour earlier on. By the way, I know it was early because Janie was on uh, earlier on at seven in the morning. So if you did miss that hour, you can catch up via, via the rewind option. We were exploring how to put the books together. Yep. Watching the process, there is something so satisfying about binding your own book. Yes. You know, uh, building uh, up papers and you, the little details you have in the kits. Yeah, I mean, what I've tried to do is we mentioned earlier that when people hear book binding, they think, yeah. oh, because, I mean, it can be really in-depth, mm. but I've simplified it. Really and, yeah, and all the instructions are there. So, yeah, people, people are enjoying actually building collections yeah, of the yeah. books as well. Anybody can do this. Now, I've got to point out, and this is breaking news because we were busy earlier on, the Heritage Garden option is limited stock, and I want to put that into context, we are in to single figures. It's going to go. Uh, it's going to be a question of fastest fingers first. I'm going to put a prediction. This could pen potentially sell out by the time I've got through to going through, uh, going through everything that you're getting in here. 
So uh, what you've got is your kit, your bookbinding kit. Now with the bookbinding kit, you get absolutely everything that you need to make. If I just drop this in, is that right to drop that in, Chris? Or shall I hold that? So this is the completed book. You get everything. What I'm holding in my hands, you will recreate down to the beautiful velvet spine. You've got the lace in there as well. The uh, little um, elements. How would you describe those? And they're not like keepsakes. How would you describe? Charms. Uh, yeah, charms. Yeah, embellishments. Bell embellishments. Why? How? I forgot the word embellishments. <laughs> I don't know. It's like it's my first day. Uh, and then you've got look, these little touches here. The corners you get in the kit as well. Beautiful papers. You get all your signatures of paper in there as well. So that is just an absolute thing of beauty. But then you're going to get the printed pack as well. Now with the printed pack, I just want to show, when I, I describe Jenny saying of Jenny's originals, I think um, sums her up so beautifully. It's because everything that you're seeing here has been designed by Janie herself. I mean, that is such a beautiful background. Thank you. <laughs> but it is, it really is. I'm just saying, I think the viewers at so home. So I, I use a combination of antique imagery, yeah. my own imagery, so the... the um, my story there. With I, I keep going to call him a hairy bunny because that's what, that's what Melissa calls him and that's who bunny. I paint him. So that's from an original painting. And Melissa's and very fond of a hairy bunny. <laughs> she is indeed yeah. extremely fond. Let me explain, because <laughs> Janie painted an original piece of artwork yes. and yeah. uh, of the hair yeah. and that's what we've used in here. Yeah, it's because, and a hairy bunny is because I had a yeah. stamp previously that was a hair and she kept calling it a bunny. I'm like, it's a hair. And then she put the two the together. The hairy bunny. I the like the name. Bunny, that should yeah. be the name of a new stamp set. <laughs> As we go through. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're just wonderfully lavish in detail. Beautiful colorways. Now, you're going to get 40 sheets here. But as I start going through here, it's not just these wonderful background papers. They could be toppers, whatever you like. Wait, there is more in this. Have a look at this. Now, that is an envelope. Tell us the story behind this. So yeah, I was saying that I've got a little collection that's building of like Victorian ephemera, old letters, yeah. uh, pictures, and this is actually the the template I've taken from an actual Victorian envelope because I thought that the shape of it was really cool. Like that, but th this is what you get with Janie when we say a printed pack, and you're getting this as part of the bundle. Going to stop. I said it was going to happen. It's a technical sellout for this option. I'm so sorry. So it is in your basket. Now I'm going to speak to everybody right now because I say we're into single figures. So those few who have got it in your basket right now, if you want it, please press checkout. And I don't normally say this, but uh, if anything jumps back, I can't guarantee you'd be able to get that back into your basket. You can get hold of the book binding uh, bundle and the print pad as individual options. But once again, we are really, really low in stock for the heritage option, and they're not going to last. Uh, okay, now another option for you is the hidden garden. So, tell me the tell me the inspiration behind this, Jane. Well, it's where I live in the hidden garden. Yeah. <laughs> We've often spoke about the fact that I grew up in. I'm so jealous so of your life. <laughs> well, even now, you you, know, you just live in such a beautiful part of the world. <laughs> I do. Yeah, it's not yeah. beautiful in the winter. I'm I'm dreading oh. the you know the wet days, but um. Yeah, so I, I grew up on a farm where yeah. my dad was creating what is now a huge garden, um, a, a nature reserve. So I've been surrounded by it all my life. So, I mean, it had to influence my work, really. Yeah. That's why everything is nature inspired, really. And your dad's so cool. I mean, that is... That is <laughs> he is a cool guy. He is a cool guy. What a legacy to create your own sort of reserve. I love yeah. that. Um, okay, so look, once again, you are getting your bookbinding kit. And one thing I didn't go through with your book binding kit, the amount that that comprises within the kit. So you've got down to the simplest form of, you've got your uh, thread that has been wax coated to make it easier to work with. You're getting your needle in there as well. You've got your hard covers for your books. You're getting your skeins. You've got your felt fabric in there as well. Your lace detail. Velvet uh, fabric. Did I say, what did I say? Felt. Oh, velvet. It's velvet. Sorry. Velvet, yeah. Do you know? <laughs> I, I was worried about saying that earlier on. It's finally come out. Velvet. I apologise. It's not felt. It is a beautiful, beautiful soft velvet. Uh, you've even got your cotton. Now that, Janie was showing earlier on, so cotton, that's just to get your signatures in and you cover it up with the felt. You get your charms in there as well, so your metal charms and your beads. And I will show you the completed one because, as you see on the front, it is true beauty. 
Isn't that lovely? I, I, I think you've done so well with just the colors of the felt, the green and the, it's sort of like an autumnal uh, harvest yellow. Yeah, I was trying to pick the colours from the stash that I had, and a, and a pink nearly went in there, but I thought, no, that golden yellow yeah. really picked out the roses that were on there. Oh, yes. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, I'll go through the uh, paper pad in here, too. Uh, one thing you're getting, sorry, the print, um, the print pack that you're getting. So with the print pack, 40 sheets, and we talked about how wonderfully original Janie's backgrounds were, which are stunning. Uh, which are stunning rather you're also going to get as we start going through this those statues on the first one they're actually yeah. from my garden <laughs> oh really <laughs> yeah they're photos the statues are photos of statues that are in the garden yes, all in. <laughs> wow look at this uh you're so good with your colors too i'm just going to whip through now have a look at the tags that you're getting in there so this is what I'm saying with the, the amount of resources at your fingertips but it's that I'm gonna keep on harking back to the originality what you're playing with here uh, there's another wonderful Victorian envelope that you can add into the mix now breaking news with regard to the print packs you can get them individually the heritage garden or the hidden garden both have sold out both are now back on extended delivery uh, they're gonna be dispatched from the fourth of October. So that's not long. You're waiting, what, a week? Uh, and these are going to be sent out too. So the print packs, both options, are on extended delivery. Okay, now, uh, once the, the book kits are, I've got to stress that that and Joni said, because you know, we're keeping you very busy. <laughs> Joni was like, look, I'm sorry, with the book kits, once they're gone, they're gone. So book kits you can buy individually, uh, but when they do sell out, they are gone. Okay. So now we're going to move on to some stamps. Sold out last hour, back on extended yeah. delivery. Now, it's two weeks. It's going to be dispatched from the 11th, but a quarter of the stock's already gone. And can I say the reason why it's the 11th is it needs to be manufactured. I want to just talk about how this has all been hand-drawn. Yes, yeah. Janie, I mean, that's... Hand-drawn the old-fashioned way, pen to paper, which is why it's called the pen to paper range. <laughs> See, I'm not imaginative with my names. What? It's just, it is what it is. <laughs> say it how it is, I like that. Now, look at the amount that you are getting in one stamp set, an A5 stamp set. Everything wonderfully hand-drawn, so it's original, it's different, it's usable. You've got the flower heads in there, you've got the little bottle, the key. The raven is incredible. Crow. A crow is incredible. <laughs> well, it could be well, either. It could be either. Well, I mean, the, the clue is in the name, Christopher Crow. Uh, there, yeah, there is a clue there. What's the difference between a crow and a raven? A raven is a lot bigger. Oh, really? There is a slight difference. Like, I could see differences when I was drawing it. When you're researching But, yeah, if, yeah. You, if you see them in real life, yeah, it's a, it's a lot bigger. Uh -huh. Yeah. I was saying with the, the crow's bigger. No, the raven's, the raven's bigger. bigger. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because yeah. crows and ravens are very clever. Do you want to know another fact? Go on. I don't know if it's a raven or a crow, but let's just, <laughs> let's say both. So in Japan, scientists, this is a really good fact, uh, scientists noticed that crows or ravens, one or the other, would pick up walnuts and then they'd fly over zebra crossings, drop them on the zebra crossing because they knew that cars would go over <laughs> to crush the walnut, but then there would be a period where they'd stop to let obviously people cross and they'd fly down and then eat the walnuts. <laughs> that is clever. That is clever, yeah, right? That is clever. Uh, okay, so... This is your beautiful Christopher Crow uh, stamp set designed by Janie, drawn by Janie. So uh, it's original artwork. I love the fact we can put the top hat onto Christopher Crow. He's even got a set of glasses, which you talked about last hour. We yeah. could turn that into a monocle. Yes. yes dapper, you could. A dapper crow. <laughs> Why not? Would you like to see some artwork? Let me just show you this. I mean, this is good. <laughs> This is good. I love the background papers, which I'm sure we can find in your collection. But then you've got your crow in there. And tell us, earlier on, you were saying you used a uh, glue, glue, glue stick for this. Yeah, glue gun. So um, coloured glue instead of clear. So obviously yeah. I just used the black. Um, ink up the stamp with some gold. Put the glue out, put the stamp into mm -hmm. it, leave it to cool. And then the stamp will peel straight out and leave the impression in there. Beautiful. So you can do like faux wax seals and, and all sorts of things. Good technique. Uh, 15 99 your price there, 072974, your item number. Someone else has been very popular, sold out last hour, but is back on extended delivery. Uh, this is your hawk and your hair. Uh, hawk and hair, sorry. Hawk and hair. Hawk you and not hair. had your coffee this morning, Yanis? 
I'll, or was I'll, it the gin that you had last night? <laughs> 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 so, yeah. Well, a bit of both. No, I have not been in, uh, drinking any gin. Uh, now, half the stock of the extended has gone here, but uh, your beautiful hair, um, and again, original, hand-drawn. I love the fact that you've got, uh, they could be ears, they could be wings if you wanted. You've got the, could you use, I mean, I've seen them wings, but could you also put them in the ears? Uh, you, you could do, yeah. I mean, I, I put them on there because... All the stamps will work together, so the wings can go on. So why not have a hair with fairy wings? Because, you know, it's, it's a magical place where I live. Oh. Um, but also they will go on the watch as well. So you've got a dandelion clock, and so the wings could go on that as well if you wanted them to. That's really pretty. Gra I mean, this is a beautiful inspiration. Thank you. <laughs> then we can go from here. The next one I'm going to show you, you're going to want this. Look at that. Please talk me through this work of so art. So this is using um, papers mm -hmm. from the Heritage Garden. Yeah. And then stamped over the top. He's got the top hat on from the Christopher Crow set. So that's what I mean about they all kind of mix, mix and match, match yeah. together. Because um, I know when people buy stamps, they do like to have collections from, from the same artists as well. So, yeah, they, they do work together. But I'm going to do something similar to that for the first demo. Jenny, that is... That's so good. Put it, that, <laughs> put it in a frame. That's a work of art. Uh, okay, so our beautiful hair, fifteen ninety nine. Your price is going to be dispatched from eleventh eleventh uh, of October, and half the stock has gone here. I know the first two items are on extended delivery, and that's only because the time it takes for Janie obviously has to get them manufactured uh, and then out to you. But worth the wait. Seriously, for something this original, for two week wait, I'm all in. Seven four seven zero nine six. Your item number. All right, now we're going to move on. Uh, we have got news on the owl. The owl's gone too. <laughs> uh, back on extended delivery. This shows you how busy we were uh, earlier on. So we're going to bring the details in a moment. Wonderful owl. Should we tell people the story about the stump again? <laughs> it's just art. So there was, well, there was going to, I wanted to put a stump or a tree trunk in there. And I yeah. thought, oh, do you know what? It's taking up space. So I just can't really fit it. Yeah. And then my friend Julie saw it. And she's like, no, you need to put a stump in there. So it's like, right. So I rejigged the whole thing. Because when you design a stamp set, you have to have so many millimeters between, between each design. To, yeah. So I had to rejig everything. And then it's like, right, I fit it in. <laughs> you fitted it in. Well done, you. I will just show you. The amount, just, that is the stamp. Obviously, they're clear stamps. It's not the easiest thing to see on TV. But um, there you've got, I mean, a full stamp set. That's a stamp, uh, the stump, rather, we were just alluding to. So that's Julie stamp. Yes. Julie, as we're affectionately <laughs> called. I'll pop that down and just show you some inspiration. There are better things you could have named after you, but, you know. <laughs> Julie stamp. I think Julie's proud. <laughs> Look at this. I mean, the detail you a you're able to put in, and what blows me away, all of this hand-drawn. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're very good. And I, I'm always amazed as well when I... It's normally the same email that goes off to the manufacturer saying, tell me if I need to take some detail out because there's a lot in there and I don't know if it's... And they always do it. Mm. They always manage to get the detail in. See, and that's what we want. We yeah. want that detail. Fifteen ninety nine <laughs> is your price there on extended delivery. Again, the eleventh of October, one five zero three six one. So, just got a couple more sets to show with you. Uh, this is Melissa Mouse. And Melissa Mouse is not alone because she's joined by Barney Bird. Uh, Melissa Mouse, named after wonderful Melissa, Melissa Simply from Vintage. Simply Vintage. Yes. Yeah. Over 70% of the stock's gone here, proven very popular. I really like the elements because you can tell a story here and it's the scale too. So look at the size of the flowers and the mushroom with regard to uh, Melissa Mouse and Barney Bird. Uh, got two different aspects of Melissa Mouse as well. So she could be alert or she could be grooming her feet. It looks and like. also they're drawn in such a way so the, the Melissa Mouse that you can see now on screen that's just above Barney Bird. Yeah. She can sit on the back of Barney Bird to go off for a little ride around the garden. Um, she can also hold some of the flower heads in oh. her front... Is it paws or feet? Paws. Paws, yeah. Paws. yeah. Um, and then you've got like a ladybird that can fit onto the tail or the caterpillar can go onto the tail. So it, it's buildable. Oh, I love... Uh, now see, and the caterpillar fits that. on the top of the mushroom as well perfectly. So, yeah. 
It is limited stock, so well designed. I'll show you one inspiration because I know we've got to move on. But there is Melissa Mouse and she's offering up a flower. How cute! And there's a ladybird on her tail. I love it. And the fact that she can sit on Barney uh, Bird's back, come on. $15.99 is your price. One nine one eight four one. your item number. All right, now we've got some DLs for you. These are options. You're picking one or the other. You've got lace elements or fancy filigrees. So I'll be quick here because I know we want to get to um, our demonstration. So there is your lacy elements, but beautiful lacy elements. And some of these designs, ha they're all hand drawn, but have been taken inspiration from uh, Victorian or vintage lace. Vintage, vintage lace, lace, yeah. Sorry, vintage yeah. lace in there. Stunning. Imagine adding this with a gold emboss onto, oh, gold emboss onto some vellum. How opulent would that be? And speaking of opulent, the fancy filigrees, half the stock has gone there. They're proven very, very, very popular. But I love the lace. The lace, I think, is different. Uh, twelve ninety nine is your price. I mean, come on, twelve ninety nine DL stamp of this originality, but they are options. So lace or your filigrees. Finally, we have our wildflowers, and I do love. I love wildflowers because you can build up a whole meadow and we we're talking about it's nice because they can make a silhouette with these. Yeah, so you can use this standalone, like you said, silhouettes or, you know, stamp them in colour, build a scene, but as well, they fit with all the other sets. Yeah. So it's just a nice set to have to fill in. It is. I'll just show a couple of inspirations. Actually, this is a nice one. I'll show two. I'll show day and night. So, for instance, create your backgrounds, and you have so many lovely techniques. It could be a mop-up technique, uh, blending technique. So, create your beautiful backgrounds or stamp onto your uh, papers if you've got home. There's your day, and there you have your night. Now, isn't that clever? Just with the emboss, black and white. Uh, so, black embossed, and then you've just got it stamped out in white with the silver moon, and it really looks like you've just... It, at night, capturing that moonlight. Isn't that a stunning scene? Twelve ninety nine. your price there, 060664, your item number. Okay, so that's it from me. We've gone down the counter. Uh, I am going to tell you, though, as we head to demonstration, about our glue kits. This is a very, very good glue. I want to stress, it's a, it is a dedicated book binding glue. You can do more with it. But this was a glue developed for book binding. Obviously, it's great for paper crafting as well. Uh, and the smoothness to the finish, and it's a number of things. So with um, a book binding glue, the properties and virtues of a good book binding glue is it's got a really low, well, it's got a lower water content in there. So that means it doesn't make your papers bubble. And uh, you're also, it's uh, archival. It doesn't get brittle. It doesn't get yellow. 1098 is your price. You're getting, uh, oh, it's over half the stock and you're getting both. So you're getting the fine application. You're also getting the tube with the spatula in there as well. Uh, got an update on Melissa Mouse and Barney Bird back on extended delivery. Uh, so most of our stamps selling out and coming back. I think all our feature stamps are sold out and back on extended delivery and that is a huge compliment to the originality of designs that you get with the one and only Janie Originals. Okay, I think enough jabberwocking from me. Should we <laughs> start? <laughs> should we start having a play? Okay, so I'm going to use some stamps, but in conjunction with a print pack as well. Yeah. So just going to show, I know you've gone through the print packs, mm -hmm. but you've got everything from complete scenes like this. I mean, you could just put that in a frame. You really could. If you wanted to. Um, you've also got repeat patterns in there, and then you go through to tags and things like that. So you really have got it's loads awful. in and there. Do you know, I've seen so many people using your papers for journals. I know we were talking yeah. about books, but yeah. they are perfect if you want to use journals, put them on MDF, you can multi multitude of projects. Yeah, and, and I'm going to use them now for, mm -hmm. like I said, in conjunction with stamping. Yeah. Um, so I'm, although I do all the detailed drawing and paintings, mm. I'm not a great colorist, okay. as in the patience what? of it. I was is... going to say, I think you're being modest. I've seen well, your work. I think you are a very, <laughs> very good colourist. Well, no, but what I mean is when it comes to crafting, I like things to be quite quick. Yeah, okay. um, so I can spend hours and hours on a painting, mm -hmm. um, but then there's certain other things that I'm like, right, let's just get it done, get it done. So the idea is we're going to use the prints um, to do a lot of the work for us, basically. Yeah. Well, just um, one thing I want to, you heard me talking about how good this glue is. Did you see how sparingly Janie applied that glue? You do not need to use a lot. And that to no, me is such don't. a huge endorsement of the quality. 
That is the one thing that, um, <laughs> going back to, she's going to be laughing when she watches this back, talking about Julie again from Craft Club. Yeah. Very often she'll, she might use too much glue. Okay. And she'll look up and I'm just like glaring at her. Oh, she's like, much, what much. am I doing wrong? You're using too much. You don't need that much. <laughs> but that's something that actually most people, I think, automatically do. Yeah. Automatically put more on. It was, I was um, guilty of it. When I, first, when I first joined the channel and started crafting, I'd slab it on. Well, I think sometimes as well, from when we start and you're using cheaper supplies, yeah. you maybe you need to use a bit more. Yeah. Whereas with this, actually, you're better using less because it's kind of tackier. Yeah. And like I said, it's, um, you know, it's got the low water content uh -huh. anyway, but you don't want it soaking into your paper too much. You right. don't want those bubbles. Okay. Right, so let's just mop that up a little bit nice. right so we're going to use this for the background and mm. i'm just going to poke through the holes okay. and because we want it as a background yeah um i'm going to do what we call knocking it back a okay. little bit now i'm going to try and use a sponge i normally just get my fingers in it but then i'm going to be a bit messy for other things <laughs> so i'm just going to so get a bit in, of gesso if you're at home in your craft room you can, you can work out your I, I would just normally smear this with on fingers, with yeah. my fingers. So I'm just getting a little bit of gesso and just smearing it over. So you can see already, that's what we mean yeah. by knocking it back. So thing, you can still see the pattern, yeah. but you're just pushing it back a little nice. bit. And you can build that up as much as you like. Mm -hmm. Also, depending on um, what products you might want to use. So the print packs are laser uh, printed. Mm -hmm. So um, a nice quality. Yeah. There may be some things, you know, depending on what you're using, water-based products that that may not go onto it perfectly. But you can get a clear gesso. Oh, so yeah. if you go over with a clear gesso, you can then use whatever you want Perfect. over the top of it. But that's the same with with any papers, like if they've got a coating or something like that yeah. on there. But the beauty of the papers, then, it means that we can stamp onto them yeah. if we wanted to. Yeah. They allow you that. So I'm. I'm focusing and putting a little bit more in the centre. Mm -hmm. Now, I was very silly and I actually forgot to bring my paints. What I would normally do is have a watered down green mm. and start dripping it down from the top. A bit of so, drippy. Yeah, so we're going to improvise because I forgot my paints. Okay. So I'm going to use some Peeled Paint Distress Oxide. Mm -hmm. And let's see what it's like if I just start going in from the outside so this is we're experimenting now because yeah. like i said i would normally use paint didn't but bring any so this is what improvise. crafting is all about there's always there's always a solution there is and if it all goes horribly wrong we just put another piece of paper over the top there of it <laughs> so what i'm doing is kind of creating a bit of a vignette mm -hmm. so you see you can still see all of the pattern through yeah so we'll just work around like that and I might put a bit of a yellow in the centre um, to suggest sunlight coming through. So just a little bit lighter in the centre. And then let's go in with the old faithful walnut stain just to darken the edges. And then that's going to be the background pretty much done before we do some stamping on there now. Uh-huh. Okay. So I'm going to go in with yeah. some of the wild flowers. I so think. you're using your hawk and hair? I am going to use the hawk and hair. Okay. Oh, the only reason I say that, sorry, yeah. I... You, know, you just said, I'm using wildflowers. I said, oh, use your hawk and hair. Well, I'm going to use it, both. Because <laughs> there is some wildflowers in the hawk and hair, and I just wanted to share with you, hawk and hair, really, really busy. Two-thirds of the extended delivery has gone, and I've got to stress, once that uh, extended delivery has sold out, I'm afraid that is it. You, will only, you won't be able to get a hold of this. Mm. Very popular. You're good with... You're so good with your stamps, and it's an absolute pleasure, as a craft and a presenter here um, at the craft store, for me, it warms my heart whenever we see um, like original hand-drawn art coming through. Yeah, I would have um, 
we mentioned earlier that this was a last yeah. minute show for me. What I normally would have done was found out all my original drawings yeah. and, and brought them with me. I did that last week with the museum show right. that I had. Um, but yeah, I, do, I mean, you can't, can't, can't beat the hand drawn can't images, do. really. Um, I've just got to say, sorry, you guys won't, won't hear this, but I felt it's worth. Uh, I wanted to say thank you to Molly, our producer, because she was saying. Uh, it's kind of you to say, Molly, but she was saying I'm a very talented crafter. She's seen a lot of uh, what I've done in the past. Now, I haven't crafted as much now, obviously, being a dad, but that was very kind of you to say that, Molly. I appreciate that. I haven't seen any uh, of your crafting, oh, If you go onto my actually. Facebook page, you'll see the stuff that I've done. There you go. Uh, yeah, see, I, I normally look on your Instagram, I think. Oh, there you and go. And you've been a little bit quiet and, uh, on there. You know, I mean, feel free to follow me on Instagram. It's just uh, <laughs> at Yanis Morgan. <laughs> right, so... I'm quite a quick stamper as well. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I think the thing is... Jenny, that looks great. I think the thing is, is to not think about it too much. Yeah. So when I've done workshops before, mm -hmm. I've had people that, that try and be precision and put it in a line, yeah. and it doesn't look natural. So you can see how quickly I did it and just stamp at different levels. Don't think about it, just go yeah, for it. Just yeah, just go for it. Um, because the point I always make is, in nature, you'll have two of the same seed heads, but they're not going to grow in a perfect row. They're no. not going to be the same level. Some are behind others, so they'll be lighter or darker. An angle so, and... Yeah. Let's say, up until this point, if you think about what Janie's done, so we used some of the beautiful paper designs. We've knocked it back a little bit and we stamped over it. That is it, but it looks fantastic, Jane. Yes, so that's... That really yeah, does look good. That's quick. So, can I use Hawking? Of course. Still, yeah. yeah. I will tell you if he sells out or goes limited, though. He's very busy. So, what I'm going to do, and I'm going to use my stamp platform. Why did Hawking come from? Hawking here. So, I was going to mention earlier, you've got pretty much my whole family on the show because Hawkin yeah. um, is after my mum, whose maiden name was Hawkins. Ah. Christopher Crow, Christopher is my dad's name. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. And Tessie Tawny Owl, Tessie is my sister. <laughs> so, it's a family show. <laughs> well, you, you need to create a character with yourself in there as well. Oh. Now, um, <laughs> we did, I don't think, do we have a picture of your dad? Do we? Oh, we can't. Oh, we can't, we can't show him. But thank you, Martin. You did send in a picture. Oh, of Martin's Dad in there. the green room. <laughs> yeah, OK. Well, that was nice. I'll have a look afterwards. I thought your dad was going to make an appearance. Well, he could do. I'm sure he wouldn't, um, he wouldn't disagree to having a photo. Well, it depends what the you photo is. You might, you might have to show it to me first. You've got to put, yeah, never <laughs> My dad is quite a character. He will be watching now and probably shaking his head and laughing at the moment. Um, he's done many jobs. When I was younger, he used to be a DJ. Oh, wow. Um, he as sounds well like as, such a cool dad. Uh, yeah, he's, he, he's a real character. That's where my sense of humour comes yeah, from, I think. He's a good um, guy. <laughs> right, there That's we go. beautiful. So you can see what I was saying earlier about not colouring everything in. Mm. Hawkins now got pattern. In there, yeah, okay. Like so, you can look, you bring the kind of feel I get from your artwork. It's like the artwork you would find in a beautifully uh, drawn or illustrated book. Well, there mm. is a story that goes with a lot oh. of these characters, so there may Never one know. day You've got to do it, Janie. Be a book. One day. <laughs> Right, all I'm going to do now, you can see the way that she's drawn, she yeah. or he. Um, you've got more shading where shading would naturally be mm -hmm. so all i'm going to do is i'm going in with two what colors have i got gray tint and brick beige these are the clean colors mm -hmm. and i'm just going to go in with a little bit of shading where the stamp set suggests yeah it would be darker okay a little bit around the nose right. and then blend that out so as well as the pattern now, you're just giving it a bit of that shading. Yeah. Now, I was going to also do some highlights with um, a gel pen, but none of my gel pens seem to be working. Oh, no. I have a nightmare with gel pens. <laughs> so just putting some flex in, again, where the drawing suggests. Uh -huh. And then had I had a gel pen that was working, yeah. I would then go over with some white flex as well, just to give it even more depth, okay? Jane, you're, you're, uh, you've not had an easy trot today. 
We forgot the paints and uh, with the gel, <laughs> but you're showing that you don't. There's always a way around it. There are ways around yeah. it, yeah. And so every time I leave for a show, uh -huh. I have that feeling that I've forgotten something. In yeah. this case, I was right. I had forgotten things. It doesn't <laughs> Sometimes matter, it's just though. like it doesn't matter. You know, like when you're packing to go somewhere, you think, what yeah. have I forgotten? Right, I'm cutting her out now, okay. and I'm not going to worry about the whiskers. Let's cut the whiskers yeah. off. Back. I think when I did this before, what I said was, ain't nobody got time for fussy cutting whiskers. Yeah. <laughs> it's very true. Molly, <laughs> Molly, our producer's agreeing with me. Well. So more than a night out. <laughs> Okay. Right, so, and as we said earlier, these are my fussy cutting scissors. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. so, the reason I'm not worrying about any of the whiskers is yeah. because we're going to stamp those on the background. This is going to go over the top, so it's going to look like it's all one. Yeah. So, there we go. Lovely. Like that. So, now I just need to think about where I want him to sit. Well, that's so now, I can't really get this in the stamp platform, mm -hmm. so, and my, oh, this one isn't quite big enough, but all I really need to concentrate on is the whiskers, yeah. the eyelashes, so I don't need to stamp um, the whole of the hair. Okay, right. so just all these wispy bits. Yeah. Just need to make sure we get those, so I'm not even going to stamp up the whole thing. So, line up where we want her to sit. Oh, that's a good. Get that's the whiskers a good down. Trick. Crafty hack, yeah. There we go. So what we've got there are the whiskers and the eyelashes, yeah. and then when that sticks over the top, it looks like it's all. Jenny, that is thing. a very good tip. I love that. <laughs> well, it's the thing, sometimes when you see stamps and, and you think, you know, you'd like to do this sort of technique, but you yeah. think, well, I'm not fussy cutting all of that out. Well, there are ways well, around really it. Way. Now, um, I'm just going to talk to you about the glue that Janie's using. I'll be honest, I'm talking about this glue now because we need to talk to Janie about stock levels and if we can get a hold of more. Uh, I'm not meant to tell people that, I didn't realize. So just having a little look at the glue that we are getting. So this is uh, Janie, it's over 60% of the stock, but Janie's glue, it's a, it's a book binding glue, but so much more. You are getting your applicator and you just use such a sparing amount uh, with the applicator in there. And that's why Janie was conscious of that. It's exactly the same glue, but you've got your pot that you can use your applicator with, and then you've got your fine application with your nozzle in here as well for ten ninety eight. I will just hold all the elements on there. It's a very good glue. And things to note when I um, watching glue, if I just pop those down, what as a as a presenter here, you're looking at glue. So when Jamie was putting the papers on, there was no bobbling whatsoever. And the, one of the natures of that, the reason why, is because it's got a lower water content and it's usually the water within the glue that causes the bobbling. But also, as an adhesive, it will, it's great for your uh, fabrics as well. So if you wanted to put fabrics onto your books too, you can uh, do that. It works multitude of ways. It tends to work bookbinding glue with anything that's porous, but Janie has used it with non-porous items as well, so it absolutely works. It might take a little bit longer to grab, but it will work. It's just a good glue, and it's popular. Okay. Right, okay, so yeah. she's on there. Right. Now, in the stamp set, we do have um, a mushroom yeah. as well that could go, well, we've got a couple of mushrooms, mm -hmm. but because I want to use it in conjunction with the print pack, you also have mushrooms printed okay. as well okay you can get a hold of our print packs and i'm so sorry i don't want to be talking right now but i've just got to let you know that the hawkins stamp is now limited stock our hawkins here limited stock uh, of the extended delivery that's going to be dispatched on the 11th of october and once that has sold out that is it and we are into single figures so it looks like it will sell out for a second time sorry jane it's all right well i'm talking a lot this hour <laughs> well if we need to do updates yeah, Hawkins always been. Um, you said when you first brought Hawkins, it absolutely flew. Yeah, it did. I was I was with Haley, and it was my first um, stamp launch on my oh. own. Oh. So um, and I was still. It was. 
I think my second show with Janie's original. So, and like we said before, it's just me. Yeah. Um, and you know, we put on the figures that we thought and it, it just went crazy. So I was like, yeah, okay, you can have some more sold. I was like, wow. okay, you can have a few more. Wow. <laughs> and well, then before she'd finished talking, they'd gone again. So it yeah. was, I'm really thankful to, you know, people are supporting a and small business it well, is, and that's it is it. just it's me. important and by the way hawkins has sold out for that second time now it is gone uh by the way we had a an email in from susan oh susan what i think this is a great you're really going to like this janie so susan bought hawkins stamp i'm so sorry hawkins has now sold out but she's going to embroider her or him yes that would look great it, it does look great because yeah. one of my craft club ladies did it and I couldn't get hold of the sample again to bring it, but uh. she put it on a cushion. Um, and I've done the embroidery of um, Christopher Crow behind oh. as well. So, yeah, it, that's another reason for them being the size that they are. Oh, Christopher Crow then, looks amazing yeah, too. You can then do soft crafts with them as well. That looks fantastic. So, obviously, this is Christopher Crow. My goodness, you've done a good job there, Janie. <laughs> I love that. So yeah, I, I did the crow and then my sister attached it to the bag yeah. for me with the with the border around Brilliant. it. There you go. All right, but same technique. Also, oh, there we go. Sorry, uh, same technique you can do you can employ with any of the uh, feature stamps. All right. Right. So all I'm doing is just putting a little bit of ink around the edge of the mushrooms that I've just cut out. Pop those on. Now this looks really nice as well if around the tops of the um, grasses you put um, glitter. Guess what? I didn't bring any. <laughs> well, bless you, Janie. I'm worried about you, Janie, uh, because... Um, no, not because of that. Just generally. No, no. There is more to this sentiment. Uh, I'm, worried about you. I'm worried about you getting home. Because you've got... How, how many hours drive back? Three and a half, four. Well, probably four. Four hours drive? Yeah. yeah. And how... Would that be a full tank of fuel? Almost, yeah. Okay, I've got a quarter of a tank. You've got a quarter of a <laughs> well, tank. Well, actually, less than a quarter of a tank so now, you, so, yeah. You, you, you'll make it a quarter of the way home. Yeah, maybe. Okay. But if I make it to the factory where I get some of my supplies, I'd be quite happy there for Just a week. Just stay there for a week to get more fuel. <laughs> they don't happen to produce fuel there, do they? No, they okay. don't. Oh, I just dropped the string. <laughs> right, so all I'm doing is... Yeah. Yeah, I really hope we'll be we'll be okay. Be I've got to get back to my doggies. Oh, I bet they're missing you. They always get very excited when I get home. I must say. Now remind everyone what breed of dog. I've got Springer Spaniels, mm -hmm. and they are crazy. I've got mum and daughter. Oh, that's nice. They are my studio companions. Everyone needs a studio companion. And they. Um, Daisy's quite funny. She's a young one, so she's really attached to me because obviously yeah. I've had her. She's Purdy's daughter. I've had her since. Puppy. I literally held her in my hand just after she was, she was born. born. Oh wow! Um, so oh, yeah, we're, nice. she's really attached to me, and she'll yeah. come and sit behind me on my chair, especially if I'm working late. She looks at me as if say, "Mom, Bedtime. it's time to go to the sofa now." Oh. <laughs> right there we go. I'm going to leave it there because you can see. Actually, we've not done a massive amount. It's you know we've kept it quite simple. That's but a work of art. I think. But then you could put a sentiment on there if you wanted to. You could do this in card form rather than obviously I've done it on a plaque. Yeah. But you could do it on whatever you fancy. I love that. It could be the front of a, a book as well. You can no, nothing to stop you putting the characters onto the front no, of books. No, not at all. It's proving to be a really popular hour, and I love the fact that everything Janie brings is name of the company suggests it is Janie herself with this so she is the company and it's Janie's original so she tries to bring you something that's original that she's designed stamps that she's hand drawn now you'll notice there's a lot less in front of me on the counter so oh we've got news hidden gone we're approaching 80 percent of the stock and I've got to stress that once this bundle has gone it's gone we did have the heritage gar uh, garden that I'm afraid has sold out but this as a bundle it's a really good price too because I was showing you earlier on the book kit. Now you can buy the book kit individually but I want to put this into context. So the book kit, everything that you are seeing here 
and now only the hidden garden is available as a book kit but everything you're seeing here that would be 12.99 you can see that at the bottom of your screen but with the deal with the bundle that effectively comes down to 9.99 you get your hard covers in there you get your beautiful velvet fabrics there's the charms as well the lace you've got your uh, signatures of papers so every component for this kit and obviously your templates uh, to bind your books you also get if i just drop that down for a second uh, you also get your needle and your wax covered uh, thread as well so i'm when i say everything everything barring the glue you get included in this kit uh, and all the other components so that is 1998 for both but it works out 998 for your book kit and then we have our printed pack now the printed pack once again you can get individually but uh within the kit it's just such a good price and look at the amount that we are getting within this so beautiful background papers that you can use oh, upside down there we go but equally as you start going through i'm just conscious of the fact I'm, i've been showing you the same ones every time so i want to show you something slightly different so we got individual elements that you can fussy cut you got beautiful a4 background papers in here as well we are approaching limited stock i mean look at the amount that we are getting so if you wanted to put one of the characters say uh christopher crow or if you're lucky enough to get hold of the hair imagine just sticking the hair here how beautiful that and we are approaching limited stock with these this pack just keeps on going on and on and on. oh we've got the corners as well if you want to add the corners into uh the pack too let me just straighten that up i could see our floor manager maddie was getting worried i was making a mess so like, what is he doing uh now before you do check out your basket, I did mention the only thing you, you, that is uh, not included in the kit is the fact that you, um, you don't get... I was just trying to, I was trying to tease you with the glue. Do you see, it's not easy to do that, to reveal it at just the right time. Uh, so you have got the glue kit and 80% of the stock's gone for the glue kit. I understand we're shopping TV and obviously you're going to hear me and think, well, of course the presenter's uh, going to be singing the virtues of the glue. But genuinely, this is a very, very good glue. So originally designed as a book binding glue. It is a book binding glue, but please don't feel. And the reason why Janie was conscious to uh, call it the, um, so with this, it was your suit, you called it smooth stick, right? Yeah. So paper bindery smooth yeah. stick. Yeah. So not just bookbinding glue <laughs> no you didn't want people if you if you called it bookbinding glue you're worried yeah. people think that's all i can do with it yeah. you can do more yeah. but as a glue and just things you need to know as a crafter so it's archival it won't get bristle in time it won't yellow but also it's got a bit of flexibility uh in time that's what you need and it goes super smooth so if you want to lay it on with the spatula you need just to, basically if you can see it you've got too much on there that's how little you're going to use okay now we've got more uh, let's look at the car uh, characters. I'll be quick here because I know I'm just conscious of time to get back to uh, Janie. So there's Christopher Crow. Look at all the elements. A5 stamp set. So this is a representation of the size you're going to get. You get Christopher Crow in there. You've got your kind of like medallions with the sun and the moon, which is great, sort of yin and yang. Uh, I, I'm seeing, I don't know why it's just me, but Christopher Crow put the hat on or the crown or the glasses and the key. We could go really steampunk with our Christopher Crow. Love the detail in here. Every Look everything hand drawn and this is hand drawn with Janie from pen onto paper and that's why it's called the pen to paper range 072974 your item number there uh, now we got the tawny owl equally beautiful equally uh, original and lavish in detail and it's what I love about Janie whenever she designs a set you can see Janie is a crafter first and foremost because she is so conscious of the fact to give you the components you need to build a full scene so you've got your sort of feature image in the in the tawny owl but there is so much more going on there so there's sprigs there's ferns there's the log you can put the crown the wreath of uh, sort of foliage onto your uh, owl. You've got the moon in the background, that crescent moon with the star. It's just lovely, lovely images. Uh, 15 99 your price there. 150361 your item number. Now, we've got the little mouse with Barney Bird. So there's Barney Bird and our little mouse. But again, it was just an absolute joy and pleasure to listen to Jamie talking about how this could be used. For instance, the Melissa Mouse here could be sitting on Barney Bird. You've also got the little caterpillar that sits perfectly onto the, um, onto the mushroom stump. Uh, you can also put 
the ladybird onto the tail. Look at the sense of scale with the flowers. You've even got the little grounding verge on there as well. It's all thought through. Oh, and the little bow that goes around the neck as well. I forgot about that one just above the mushroom. Oh. Again, it's something that looks a bit like, oh, what is it? But yeah, if, so you stamp that in red yeah. and it's a little bow that fits around uh, Melissa Mouse. You have <laughs> thought of everything. Uh, 15.99 your price there, 191, 841 your item number on extended delivery. So all the stamps I've shown, I've shown you thus far have been on extended delivery from the 11th. Now we've got here are DL stamps. So these are two different options. Wonderful lace detail. I am really backing the lace because think about being able to stamp out your own lace effect onto your cards, uh, onto your, I think, home decor. It would look absolutely stunning. And there is a lovely provenance and a story behind this because I know that uh, Janie, when designing these, she did a lot of research uh, examining old vintage lace, and yep. you've got to thank uh, Melissa, yep. Simply Vintage, <laughs> gave you some old lace. So using that as an inspiration. So all I will say, if you've gone for this set, and look at the detail you get with this lace. Imagine that as a gold emboss on some vellum, or cr a white emboss onto some craft card. Absolute win. Then you've got your, uh, I know these are really busy actually, the fancy filigrees. $12.99 your price. They are options. So I've got to stress, you're not getting both for $12.99. You're either choosing your fancy filigrees, which is here, or you're choosing your lace. 535-904, your item number. Wildflowers, and we saw a little hint of the wildflowers being used in our previous inspiration with Janie. And they're just such a lovely array of wildflowers, beautifully detailed. You do not need to do a lot with these. And I would imagine, Janie, this is the kind of stamp set that sits on your desk all the time because you will just yeah. use little bits for all, yeah. all variety and of projects. If we've got chance for a couple of minute demo, I'm going to use that and show you how quickly well, you can build something. <laughs> we are, we have got time. We are going to do that. Um, who was it that messaged in saying they were going to uh, embroider? It was Susan. Thank you. Going to embroider our uh, hair. How about building up your design with your wildflowers and then embroidering around those as well? Yeah, yeah. Very like nice. I said, all of it because. I do so many different crafts. I do think about things as in how they could go into yeah. soft crafts and embroidering and beading. Because I, I make um, free motion embroidered brooches, which I then hand bead. Uh -huh. So a set that I brought out last week with uh, large butterflies yeah. and things like that, that was selfishly because I want to use them. <laughs> Well, for beading and, yeah. and, and embroidery, yeah. So. Well, <laughs> speaking of crafting, we're going to head back to Janie now and have a bit more of a play. Just want to let you know about a hidden garden, so our complete bundle with a hidden garden. Single figures. We've already lost our heritage garden. This option, once it's gone, that is it. We cannot give you any more stock. We are into single figures, and I'm going to say in the next, the next minute, we could have uh, sold out here. So the next person, really, this is gone. Uh, two four five five nine five. Your item number. It is about to go. Don't miss out there. Okay. So what are we going to do, Jane? How long do I have? Oh, you're not too bad, actually. You got about eight minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't think I time. had as long as that. But I was just going to do a simple, um, just showing you how you can just lay down some colour. And we were talking about using these stamps as silhouettes. Yeah. So just going to go in, and I'm using the Pink Frog Super Smooth, I think okay, it is. Yeah, it's a good one. Uh, by the way, Hidden Garden has technically sold out now, so well done. If it is in your basket, do check out. You can only get them now as individual options. Uh, print Pack, though, is on extended delivery, just to make you aware of that. It's the 3rd of October, so it's just a week. Uh, sorry, apologies, 4th of October, so just a week. And uh, the book kit, though, not a lot of that. And once that's gone, that's gone. Yeah, I said earlier, didn't I? No, I have to be strict. You can't have more book kits. No, fair enough. There's <laughs> only so much one me. person can do. <laughs> That's what I was saying um, to Hubby, I think. And, and, you know, people don't... Although, you know, I always say it's just me. I don't think people have a concept, actually, of how much goes into yeah. it and, like, you know, the behind the scenes. Uh -huh. um, oh, yeah, so it's, imagine. It's a good job we love it. Yeah. <laughs> it's that moment, though, you think just got to the end of all the orders and then another one pops up uh, you're like, really no. <laughs> yay um, but no yeah. and martin sounds like a good guy he's come with you today so he is he he drove me yeah because i've been quite tired and it's like to go home now i need to go home today to start packing orders but it's too tiring really oh, to concentrate on the road the yeah. yeah that's the plan okay. right so i've just done a simple blend there 
just basically yeah. mimicking sky, sun and the grass. Yeah. OK, yeah. and all I'm going to do is stamp in black. So <laughs> simple, simple. Um, so using our wildflowers now? Yeah, so, well, we call them uh, wild flowers, but actually I've called them flower wild. Flower wild. Because we flower wild. Ah, <laughs> nice way of looking at it. So I'm going to ink it up, take a bit of the excess off, because to start with, I'm sinking Well, you background. really do go for it, don't you? Yeah. Like I said, you're better off just to not think okay. about it. Just, just do it. Um, I tend to go, I naturally go lower in the middle mm -hmm. because it's almost like as you're looking through a scene, yeah. um, you know, it, it creates, creates a nice shape doing that. Nice. And you see, I don't um, re-ink between every stamp and I'm not yeah. too fussed if I miss little bits because, yeah. like I said, this is background. And it's so, it's so easy to build up such yeah. dramatic background. Now, yeah. the wildflowers, they are an immediate dispatch, but we are approaching limited stock. So it uh, looks like they could potentially be selling out as well. So now I'm going in. You can see I was blotting it off yeah. to start with just to get, um, you mm -hmm. know, more of a grey shade. This time I'm just going straight going into strong. the black. And it's so those tones that are important because that gives you a sense of depth. Yeah, exactly. So the, the darker elements mm -hmm. would be closer to you. And I'm going to go in with a bolder one as well now. So this one you might want to keep giving me time checks, Janice, just so I don't get too carried away. About four minutes. OK, so one more on the bottom mm -hmm. and that I'm well, that happy with good. as the base. It really does draw your eye in there. Yeah, um, but what we can also do, mm -hmm. so I've got hair sticking on my face. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Right, so what I'm going to do, let's go in with a slightly smaller stamp block. Nice. I'm now going to go in from the top. Ah. Oh, no, that gives the illusion of a tree. You're just yeah. sit, sitting under the bough of a tree. Like that. And, it, I mean, obviously you could join them up yeah. if you're taking more time than me to, to trail that down further. Jamie, this already looks fantastic. It's... So it's so much uh, going on there. Detail. Well, it's. I like to show how quickly you can build something up yeah. without actually thinking about it too much. That looks great. Um, and I think sometimes that's what holds people back. Yeah. You think about it too much. Yeah. If you just go for it, and also I think when you first get a stamp set home, mm -hmm. just play. Have just play. play with it. Words to live by. When you get it back, literally do have play. Don't overthink it. But one thing I've got to tell you. Uh, is that the wildflowers are limited stock. So if you do want to get hold of the wildflowers, they are not going to be around for much longer. So limited stock on those wildflowers. Six, uh, 060 664, your item number. So I'm just going to trim it down because automatically, once you trim it down, you see the scene yeah. a, lot, a lot easier. And then... Yeah, Jane, that's looking good. I'm just going to put... A little vignette around it. Not too much. Uh, the, I've added the fingerprints as extra texture. Ah. You know. If it's your fingerprint, you've just added extra value. Well, there's value to uh, it, yeah. Philip has <laughs> messaged in just to say how much he loves you. Oh, thank you. That's nice. <laughs> I know you've got a lot of fans out there. <laughs> and while we do this, there are two ways you can follow Janie on social media. So. Jenny, it's just uh, Jenny's Originals or Jenny's Originals or Jenny Burnett Bleach. Yeah. Um, if you want to see, people are very shy about showing their makes, but I did start yeah. a group which yeah. is still very new, um, crafting with Jenny's Originals, and yeah. I would love if people join share. that to share what they've done to yeah. inspire other people. I think it's so nice to be able to share, and the yeah. crafting community is so warm. Please do share your makes and join the group. What was the name of the group? Crafting with Janie's Originals. Crafting with Janie's Originals. Now, I've got to tell you that the Wildflower has technically sold out, so I told you it was going to go. Wildflower. How many sellouts have we had today? <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> so, I, I know earlier on, just in our first show, we had 11 sellouts, and we had a number of sellouts this hour. It's been very, very I'm busy. I'm going to be busy. You are going to be busy. And then you're back in October. Uh, 26. I think it okay. is, yeah. And I yeah. said, because last week I said I'll be back 26 and I was back a week later. Yeah. Um, but all I can say is it's going to be magical. 
Oh. And you gave us a tease. You were saying something would go work well with... Mm. What was it? It was mm. at the... <laughs> Oh, you can't say you were saying about the velvet covers, yeah, and I was go. like, that if was you like velvet. that, I think you're going to like what's coming next. Yeah. So just watch your space. That was all I will say on that. Janie, thank you so much. It's flown by again. That's what's going on. I don't know. Well, now it's a time thief. Yeah. Oh, it is a time thief. <laughs> well, you've got to drive home. So uh, yeah. safe journey. I thank really you. hope that you manage to find some fuel. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Literally stop off at every station. Yeah. Oh, please. <laughs> Just a cup of fuel. Uh, drive safely. We'll see you soon. I love working with you. I Thank really you, do. Andy. And so please follow Jamie on social media. Now, if you have just tuned in, there are certain hours, obviously happy hours, you won't want to rewind a happy hour, but there are certain hours here at the craft store you absolutely would want to. So if you have just tuned in and you've missed Jamie's hours, she was on at 7 this morning and then, of course, 11 today. So all you can do, really simple, uh, two ways you can do this, go onto our website or use the craft store app. Just go to the rewind feature you type in the date, so today's date, and then go to the hours, 7 in the morning, 11 in the uh, morning as well, and you'll be able to rewatch and revisit those hours. I personally use the app. It's the easiest thing in the world. If you do have a smartphone or a tablet, it's such an easy way uh, to catch up and watch all your favourite shows. Jenny, thank you. Thank you. I love working with you. <laughs> uh, and thank you. We've got plenty more coming up here at the Craft Store. Wow, the legend that is. John Lockwood's up next with a one-day special, and he's joined by another crafting legend, our one and only Paula. After that, we've got the happy planner with the pooge, and then getting hooked on sugar buttons. Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest, and a crafter. I got into crafting years ago, ever since I've been crafting since I was a child, and I absolutely love it. I love my job, I love the presenting side because I get to meet loads of really inspirational people. I hope you can join me on my Let Leonie Lou shows every Wednesday, 11am and 2 p Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. At Daisy Chain Designs we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel, and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand-illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. On our shows, we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Jo and I have the pleasure of demonstrating for That's Crafty. That's Crafty are a family run business that started online in 2005. I hope I can inspire you by bringing along my experience together with the That's Crafty products. So make sure you don't miss the That's Crafty shows. Uh, 
Hello, good afternoon, and of course it's 12 o'clock, and that usually here at the craft store means one thing. It's another look at the one-day special. However, the one-day special, well, it did sell out at 8 a.m. Now we are looking, of course, at the, the amazing complete collection, which incorporates the one-day special, but then it's a lot more as well, including, of course, the, uh, two, three extra die sets, two paper pads, and of course the one-day special, as I mentioned, that box magazine with the dies. And of course, the exclusive die included as well here uh, for the craft store. Now, we are extremely uh, limited to stock, so if you want yours, do make sure to check out your baskets. And with all that said, well, John, how are you doing? I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm a bit in shock still. Yeah, because it's been <laughs> a runaway success. Yeah, and I, I mean, and I know how many we got, and I knew we couldn't get any more, but I... I we was tried. definitely convinced that this would last through and past four o'clock yeah. and we'd have some left and we haven't. I've no. got a couple of the angels who wanted a couple of the dies on this that might actually struggle. Oh, Sorry, no. June. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, well, if you want it, like I want to say, and it's like, well, maybe you are one of the angels. If you want it, you need to go for the complete collection. The inspiration of that Highland, color, you know, it's just such a beautiful rage and very evocative as well. It, it is. I think it's got, it's very... Um, I, I said it's almost we're going back to us yes and I know that probably sounds a little bit jingoistic and I don't mean yeah, it that way yeah. but we we've always celebrated bright modern Christmas and jewel yeah. and we've gone very much Scandi Christmas has been the whole thing you know the red and white and when we think traditional we think that and I thought it's time we had a reset and went back to more of to me this yeah yeah, that is back just to what we do best, the beautiful traditional colours. You've got the papers here from the paper pack. You've got the, um, so if I just move that one out of the yeah. way, that might help a little bit. But can you see that you've got those papers that are coming from the paper oh, pack? You've got the tag, you've got the foliage. But it's such a great base for things like the orange slices. And I know that Art Angel who made this, this is potpourri she got left over from last Christmas. Wow, isn't that pretty? But it just really really if you see it gives you a base to pull all those beautiful traditional things we loved as a kid out mm -hmm. but we didn't or you can take it a really modern so this is using the um, 12 by 12 um, tartan paper pad to make the whole box a little bit of tape there just to hold it down but again you can see that foliage the silent night which is the exclusive die here on the craft store the funky snow stars on there but tying it in with this burgundy the green with the beautiful sort of burlap Absolutely. It's like resetting back to country cottages and stuck oh, in the yeah. highlands and Absolutely. roaring fires and, yeah. and it really is make, making samples for this yeah. have really made me feel Christmassy and normally you know yeah. we're on Christmas from January. It, we are, yeah. And you kind of get a little tweak and things but I actually found myself on Saturday walking back into the house singing away I saw three ships and <laughs> all the bits, yeah. the old songs yeah. and I really felt and I didn't want to stop making samples, I really really did Well talking about uh, you know kind of that vintage feel to it, the papers as well in here that you are included uh, are of course in part of the magazine kit and then of course die cutting them with uh, the elements in here you can see that beautiful kind of element of reminiscent of the past and of course those gorgeous uh, kind of uh, foliage as well there is so much more to do, to talk about it because of course the complete collection also includes uh, two of well absolutely stunning favorite dies in here let me put it uh, the right way sorry it's just that way and you can see it here uh, that Christmas that holly and the ivy yeah again it, it almost harps back to and I think I did this a few years ago where I used songs but it is like the holly and the ivy yeah. you've got that frame but you can cut that in you can cut that out you can really frame it beautifully um, I've got one. Oh, I haven't I thought I had one here I haven't I've got one of the other ones but I'll show you but you've got that beautiful holly and ivy and and with the other one it, this is actually how it works together I've got to show you this one so this one's a lighter oh. Oh, we like but if the you can of... see, <gasps> oh, I love mixing that. together, so we've used here, this outside frame is from the forest frame, then the holly and ivy, but if you use the forest frame, yeah. the holly and ivy, actually you can't tell it's on a frame, it looks like it's yeah. loose, so it looks like you've glued all that in. Then I've put the lights in, and if, if we actually drop the lights, sorry, if we can do that, Mr. Marcus, yeah, all... yeah. um, what we can actually do you can see inside there is a hidden yeah. winter trees. Oh. 
It's so you can see how both of those die sets are designed yeah. to go together. So you get that winter trees poking through the vellum. But again, they were designed all to work with the box kit, but to work separately and to work together. I love that. Uh, very, very busy, extremely limited to store. Make sure to check out your best buy. We are approaching the final 5% of that stock, that enormous stock. And make sure to check out your baskets. Look at that. Look at those beautiful, uh, gorgeous uh, kind of tree. This is the only way that you can get the exclusive dry that was included. Remember, this, the, the one day special, for instance, had that exclusive die set, the Silent Night. Now, that has gone on the one day special. However, the complete collection, uh, you get that exclusive set that you cannot get anywhere else. Of course, we have sold out of the magazine kit on its own. We also have sold out of that beautiful wintry frame, a forest frame as well. So we have got, like here, this is the time that you need to make a decision. Do you want the complete collection? Do you want the box kit? Do you want that exclusive uh, die set that you cannot find anywhere else but here in the complete collection? Make sure to check out your baskets. You have got there the three extra die sets that you are getting part of the complete collection, the tartan paper pad, 12 by 12, as well as an A by 200 GSM, and of course printed into beautiful glossy paper. That means that it gives you that luxury for Christmas. Now, if you want to go for the complete collection, well, it carries forward that three pound saving that has the, the had the one day special. So it would be a 16 pound saving. However, if you are a Freedom member, you have got a 20 22 pounds in total, 49 pence, because that is a an additional three pounds on top of the 19 pounds and 49 pence that appear here. And of course, if you want to flexi buy it, you can do that as well. As a flexi, um, as a freedom member, you would be paying only 29 pounds and 22 pence, and that's the delivered cost. Now, the one day special on its own that come in with the, um, the exclusive die that is also included in the complete collection was 19 pounds and 99 pence for 10 pounds more or less than 10 pounds. More, you are getting everything delivered, of course, from uh, the 30th of September, which is actually this Thursday coming. So, only three days to wait. 112469 is your item number, but we do have also a happy hour for you, uh, which of course this one is the set of Ising five small pigment ink pads. Ten. Uh, 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 four, ten. Ten. You are getting ten. Sorry, it's I ten do, small pigment pads. It's the ten pads. small ones. Oh, oh. So then it's ten nineteen ten pounds saving. Nine pounds and ninety nine pence is your price. Zero eight zero six zero six. I know why the error is was because the previous hour it was, was five there, large. large and this one is 10 small so if you missed out on that one or if you got that one you will get you're not guaranteed to get completely different colours, but you will get a range of ten yeah. of the small ones. Uh, Everything you can do. So these are some of the colours that you can get. It is a lucky dip in terms of colours, but you are going to get ten of those glorious colours. Zero eight zero six zero six is your item number four, and that happy hour. And remember that happy hour. Well, there was another one at an eight a.m. It sold out halfway through, so do not miss out and check out your basket. Uh, but well, John, take it away. Right. So I've completely changed one. I was going to do in the last few minutes because everyone seemed to love the white card with the lights in it oh, and everyone's yeah. always asking me how to do that so I'm going to use a mix of the forest frame right and with the um and the um holly and ivy frame right so I'm going to alter this a little bit and just show you how they match together so I'm going to start I've got a piece of this is the vintage gold mm. mirror card that we have got on the show in the pack so right, yeah. and what I found is and the reason I'm saying this and that we've got it is because a lot of the packs we've done in the previous yeah. have been the craft artist new yeah. gold. Right. Now, I don't want to put anyone off that, but that was designed to go with the sort of the more modern yeah. ones. For going with matching with this collection, I'd really recommend the vintage. Okay. Because what you've got is one is brassy and bright, yeah. which is what you want for, for modern. modern. The other one, and I've got a, if you can see here on the, you see this oh, is the satin yes. at the back. Yep. I grab a piece. Actually, no, I, got, I, I did have some of everything somewhere, but there we Somewhere, go. yeah. And the only reason I'm going on about it is because that is the vintage gold. Oh, I see. And if you can see, that's a lot, that works a lot better with things like the tartan. Yeah. 
whereas the other bright gold would be a little bit bright. So I just wanted to explain what I'm using, and yeah. I don't want people to go, well, hang on a minute, so, that looks really that looks really brassy, John, against you. So against is yours. that that's the traditional? That's the traditional. Yeah, yeah. So that's the vintage. It. That is a honey gold. It is. That's that's I like that. Honey gold, yeah. So there you can see that sort of warmth tones of the, the honey. And then, of course, we have got the reds and the greens in there as well. Perfect. Uh, right, that will be details of that at the bottom of the screen for that one. Uh, you can see there, uh, it will appear. At fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence is your price. Nine five zero 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 five is your item number. We are getting thirty sheets in total, not just the three that I'm showing you. Yeah. Uh, back to you, John. Yeah, because those colours, the red and the green, will match in with everything oh, as well. Yeah, so it all I've done is this is onto the vintage in the mirror. So I'm going to go forward and back. And this is a symmetrical die, so it's always worth just checking yeah. you haven't had the sleeping right. policeman. Yeah where it's missed a little bit, so I'm going to rotate it just in case, because I'd always, it's always worth just spending that little right, extra yeah. second, Absolutely. just in case, um, so, okay. but it's really easy, and the way I design the dies, um, I'm hoping to show you a next demo, is a different way, can you see how you can see through yes, this? Yes, we can see it, yeah. yeah, the idea is of course, that what it will do is it kind of quilts it, so when I take it out, you'll be able to see that the yep. actual, can you see that the ivy is, is like 3 d it's quilted? Yep. It does. So you don't have to emboss it to do that. So we've got the frame, just going to grab the little bits, any extra little bits out of it. So just take these out. And what I did was, again, to add to that almost embroidery quilted look, I put, you see, large slits in the holly. Okay. Again, because you know when you do satin stitch, you get that, it's a wider, it does, yeah, and I like want wider, it to yeah. look almost like, like it was quilted. Yeah, it so does just look good. So check each piece. I know exactly what you Sometimes mean. Sometimes it's more look than skill, to be honest, it really <laughs> yeah. is. But well, on that one does, I did go, I want, if I go for those a little bit wider, yeah. will that work? And it did. Mm -hmm. So we've got that on its own, so you can see on its own, it's, yeah. it's a beautiful, but you can see how it's held as a frame. Right, yeah. Whereas, what I've done here is I've cut the outside of the forest frame and, you see, yeah. and the inside die yeah. and the pattern into a piece of black. Okay. I've then mounted it on a piece of the vintage gold satin right. and put that in the middle to make yeah. myself a frame. And again, there's a video on how to do this okay. on my YouTube yep. channel. But now, when I place this over, this was sized so that if you look, you lose the frame. So if you can yeah. see there... <gasps> So beautiful. You've I love lost, that elegance, though. You've lost all of that yeah. that's holding it, yeah. and now it looks as if you've taken individual pieces of holly and ivy and stuck them in. Yeah. You can even sort of release, you know, you've got Do movement. a little bit of flower arrangement. Yeah, yeah arrangement. it's really close up. So that's my birth first frame. So what I need now is I need to... I'm going to put the trees in. Yeah. So I'm going to go down into the trees. So I know I've explained this on most shows, but I really don't and anyone... Yeah clean my die, sorry. <laughs> You're so, a bit honestly, like... they don't put me in any other set because I've kind of ruined this one enough. <laughs> no, that's, that's what John said. Like yeah, did you all... actually have, have you ever felt under the bit table uh, here? It's not pleasant. No, it's not. And it's all me. <laughs> Bits of tape it, there is no sorts. gum. At least there is no gum. There is no gum. No, it's no. just pieces of, of yeah. you know, it's, this is not school. This is just pieces of tape and things. But I have to say, I remember because I'm, when I did, I think it was either the Miss P or another uh, one day special, or it might be having, um, anyway, I, I literally needed low tag tape and I kind of thought, well, John may have left some here. And there was Did you some. find some? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know where I've been because yeah, you find exactly. low tag tape and double side and oh. foam tape under the counter. Well, sometimes it's the typical thing that you kind of um i used to live in a street that there was like nobody would pass by because it was the end of us now i still live in a cool suburb um the first like one of the first houses so anytime that i go outside there's always people and i always have got low tack tape <laughs> hanging out you know? i've been to the shop with low tack tape and foam tape stuck oh, down my t-shirt because wow. that's yeah. what i do so you can Crackers. see here this is actually cut it through almost perfectly and this is yeah. into the black satin wow but, great tip so yeah. i cut it that way yeah. yeah, just like that. But this is the tip I found, was to make sure everything's finally done. Yeah. Rotate it 90 degrees, but when you do yeah. that, cut it down onto, onto the metal the coat, ship. Yeah. What that will do is it'll make every little piece yeah. fall out. It's just yeah. so clever. 
that that only goes through once because I know how well that's cut on the first time. If I take this out now, you can see. Yeah. 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 Please, there, all of those pieces will come out now. Is there something you can cover for a minute just while I prick yeah, these absolutely. out? Absolutely, sorry, I, I did actually. I did. Sometimes I get mesmerised by John's thermos, but anyway, you know, and I went like, I want to see how it evokes the elements. But no, but maybe better uh, to remind you to t check out your baskets. We are so limited. It, it is most definitely going to go this hour. And so if you want the box kit with its exclusive die set that you cannot find anywhere else, this is the only way to get it is to go for the Highline Complete Collection. So now let's break it down onto what the components are. Now the one day special, which you cannot get anymore because it has sold out, it was is the box magazine box kit, the latest from, of course, John in collaboration with Practical Publishing. Now Practical has got an experience of decades of how to put a craft magazine, but then on top of that you put John's, John's input, John's, of course, angels creating articles with the components of this one day special, which delivers you the inspirations, the know-how to, and then of course those dies, those embossing folders, those stamps that are exclusive to that magazine kit. They are not something that you can buy outside of the magazine kit. You can see there the tag that, that had, the John designed it, so it matches with the papers included in this magazine, but also it will work with the previous box magazine, the print out papers there. You have got the stamps with that kind of happy hug money. I mean, how special is to have the tartan embossing folder that coordinates with a previous die from, uh, of course, John. So what you are investing is also into that exclusive die set, Silent Night, that's exclusive to the craft store. The only way to get it is to buy the complete collection now here at the craft store. That it was the one day special, which was £19.99. £19. It had a £3 saving, which of course carries forward. And additionally, you have got a £13 saving when you go for the complete collection. Because not only you are getting that, but also you are getting a full 12 by 12 paper pad in here, the tartan paper pad, which is absolutely glorious, isn't it? You have got in here that gorgeous paper with 200 GSM, 24 sheets in there. I'm going to flick it through if that's okay, because that way you can have a more of an idea of those. I just don't know how to do it properly, but you can see there. Look at those beautiful patterns coming through in there. And I love that gloss effect because, of course, Christmas to me is rabbit paper. Is that kind of glorious? But, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, that's it. No, oopsie, oopsie, is there, seamless. Oof. Once in my lifetime, seamless. Anyway, 24 sheets in there that you are getting from that paper pad. Uh, and remember that you are getting the 12, 12 by 12, but also you are getting the 8 by 8. Then you are getting more. Of course, you are getting three of the three latest dies from the Christmas collection 2021. After these ones, there will be no more Christmas from John. And of course, you are getting the absolutely glorious snowflakes which are actually flower stamens they are the stars they are retro flowers as well then you are getting the gorgeous holly and ivy frame with a kind of element with a crappy christmas and then the forest frame which has sold out individually so the only way to get that is of course going for the highland complete collection all that uh, of course you have got the price there however it's one of those ones that we call a why not deal because if you are a freedom member, you are saving more money by going for the complete collection than it would be if you were not a freedom member and you, if you were having to get freedom membership. So if you are not a free member, become one, seven pounds and 97 pence. It also entitles you to free PMP during the, uh, the duration of your free uh, freedom membership. And then also on top of that, you have got that additional saving. Let's have a look at the saving because remember, 13 pounds is the saving for non-freedom members. As a freedom member, 19 pounds and 49 pence. Additionally, you have got that three pounds saving from the one day special. As a freedom member, that's a 22 pounds and 49 pence saving there. And of course, you can flexify freedom members, 29 pounds and 22 pence. That's the delivered cost, will be dispatched from the 30th, and then you will be able to craft to your heart contents. I adore, I mean, one of my favorite dies has to be this amazing uh, kind of woodland uh, frame. Now, this one is one of those ones that you can use all year round. It's not just 
for Christmas. I mean, this is a, just a perfect thinking of you. Uh, take care. Uh, you know, even it's kind of a kind of a, a gorgeous art journaling as well. And you can see here it's combining. I love this sample because it combines, of course, the woodland uh, frame, the, the holly and the ivy. But then, of course, the one day special, the magazine kit, dies in here. And that exclusive die that is only available in the craft store, the Silent Night. I absolutely think it's beautiful. Uh, who's made this one? This one is one of yours. Uh, um, it is, yes. Well, this one I know, it's favorite. unusual. Oh, it's thank not you. unusual. I love your sample. I know you know I know. Uh, well, my usually overworked. 469 <laughs> is your item number. Do check out your basket's extremely limited stock. Back to you, John. Right, okay, so I've cut that out. Everything has pricked out, and I wanted to show that. So I wanted to show that everything has come out of it, even on this coated satin card. In fact, actually, I've missed a little bit, so I, can, I, I want to make sure, right, see, everything literally just falls out. Right, yeah. So to do this next bit, what I've actually done is I've already yeah. spray glued one. It says bring right. one in to show I've done it yeah. onto a piece of acetate. Right. And then I've put foam tape all the way around it because yeah. I, I watched someone making um, a shaker card the other day. Right. Um, and they put and they poured the glitter down into the middle of the card where they yeah. were going, and then went and stuck the top on. Okay. And I thought. Oh, please, it, they do it this way. It's so much easier. Okay. So I do it faux glitter cards. Okay. So I'm just using some beads. These are La Blanche. Oh, well, it, you it, know it, I'm like with yeah, Blanche glitter. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just because they're like little glass bugle beads, so they'll add a little bit of light refraction. And because they're bigger, so they're quite actually not. They're big, long, but they're sh they're they're, they're quite thin, flat. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, quite so thin they're, and narrow. Yeah. But what you do is to make any shaker card. Put another piece yeah. of acetate over yeah. the top. Make yourself a faux shaker. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. So then you can place that wherever you want because what I want to do is I want to reflect that by putting a gold version of the right, trees in. Yeah. So I've cut the trees again in gold. In the, again, yeah. this is in the vintage. So I'm going to give the back of my card a little bit of a spray. Okay. Just a light spray, and then I can look through. Ah, I see. And I can offset. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. There you go. Can you see now? Yeah. So that I've got those gold. It's a gold tree yeah. offset against that, and then we're going to add lights because okay. yep. I'm always being asked about lights. Right. Yeah, always, yeah. So, I mean, I think you've got them, you've usually got them on the website yeah, somewhere. Yeah, we do, or, sometimes the Seven Day Savers and yeah, something there, somewhere there, yeah, around. Yeah, Crafty Devils usually hence got some as well. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think I, I, got, I got a load yeah. from the river, but... <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a little walk down the yeah. river. It's a we, long all, walk. we all do it. Yeah. So a little bit of foam tape because, again, people have hot glued. And if I tried hot glue with lights, I would burn myself. Yeah, I don't Full use stop. hot glue. Yeah, no, I, no, I, I, do I stick from, away yeah, from it as too. much as possible. So I use more foam tape because I only use two mil, all right, so yeah. it's not too thick. And yeah. all I'm going to do is literally. And that allows you to do like lots of different layers if you wanted to. Yeah, you, know, you yeah. can put so many more layers in. But yeah. all I'm doing is I'm I'm going really random. Yeah, you are. And I'm putting all of the lights. For such a lover of symmetry, you're going it's random. It's strange for me yeah, to do this. Like, oh, John. But the thing is. You've got to think, this is like stars looking through it. Yeah. So they're not going to be in a set pattern. Yeah. And all I'm doing there, we go, okay, that last one, let's put in there. They're all at the top. Yeah. Yeah. Because, number one, you can see through here, but they, they, I want them in the sky. Yeah. So all I do then, finally, is take another piece of card. Right. I'm using the satin because I've got a scrap, but you could use just normal black card. Right. Stick that on. Then my lights are sealed in. Yeah. So it's everything sealed. The everything beagle, sealed. Beads. Yeah. The... Um, and nothing's touching each yeah. other. I don't have to worry about cutting or trimming anything. So let's just trim out the gold yeah. there. Yeah. So when I light that, you'll see then. Oh, the diffused light. light through the two layers oh, of acetate. Oh, I love that. So all I need to do is finish you it know, off. I so. just love that dye so much. Uh, you know what? I think it's, it's the main reason for me now to go for the complete collection is that dye it's that, that yeah. is not available anywhere else, uh, you know, any other configuration, uh, but of course on the complete but collection. Then when I frame it up, this is where we take it almost Look at that. to yeah. Christmas and we make it. That's a card, that's nice. You could send that. Anytime. This is your family yeah. one. Oh, 
This is when you pop the frame on. This is yeah. when it goes to, Real. you know, th this is yeah. where it goes to your mum and your yeah. dad and that sort of thing. So let's just take... It's like, uh, you know, uh, one of our producers, our Charlotte, which, by the way, is setting up for another show over there. Uh, I remember she wanted a very special card for her grandmother. and She was uh, her queen. And uh, one of the things was, like, black and gold and make it very, very regal. And, and, we kind of, and that was the thing. This is the card that for, you know, that person in your life, like the queen of in your life, that yeah. you send her a very beautiful card. And Charlotte is going like, yes, that's <laughs> So all I've done then is just basically put it onto a little bit of a mat and layer yeah. of more. Let's turn the light on and we'll put that one up oh, for you. And, and you can I see love this there. so much. And go. you know what? It's like it's all good to have inky backgrounds and things like that. But when you want something classic that is going to be like something that you're going to display uh, display every year. Yeah, you want this you it. want this to have this the batteries like, in it I love that. that actually work so that you can the so you can actually change the yeah. batteries, which is why I never. I'm very rarely do I actually sort of glue a battery or hide yes. it in somewhere. I almost leave yeah. it out because you want to do it. But to me, I can actually see a path with street lights. Absolutely, I was going behind a the, the trees. I think it's a snow falling, and you kind of have almost hear the pity patter of it, and then and then you kind of think, yeah, and then look, and you know that at any point a beautiful star yeah. is gonna come in. And look at you, look at. The, and again, the, it's been sized so if you got my deer scenes from. <gasps> two years ago you can use they it. will fit within there well, so you the deers are actually in, in aspect ratio to work with it I um, think so it's been designed to fit with everything else well I need to tell you that a less than a handful of the stock has uh, is left uh, this is I think what you were talking about the deer that's in there yeah, that's, the that's from my deer scenes of about two three years ago but it fits exactly um, mm. And it's inexact because it was because it's just you know what it's like when you design it yourself. Yes, everything sticks to a same size palette because mm. I'm really lazy and want everything to work together for me. I love, but that. I love this one. I think I don't know if this is a Leslie, but she's coloured in the birds it's with a silver Rashan. pen. Rashan. Yeah. Oh, I should have known it was a Rashan. It's got a stag in it. <laughs> um, that's going to be a Rocky, but she's coloured the birds in individually with silver pen. Just to make those pick up. I love out. that. Yeah, you can see the the birds in there as well. So that is a, such a beautiful thing. And then there's another one over there as well. So if you want to go for your complete collection, remember this is the only way that you can get not only the exclusive die set but also the amazing five winter frame. Uh, remember, you know, before we re rejoin John for another demonstration, let's remind you of exactly what you are getting. You are getting the magazine box kit, box kit the magazine itself with the contents, the papers that they have been designed of course with John uh, like kind of making sure that everything is the right size in there you are getting a tartan embossing folder a five by five which means that even if you have got the smaller die cutting machines you will be able to use the embossing folder you are getting the tags the printed tags which I by the way you can feel the shape is a little bit unusual and that's because well it's a tag shape because you are getting the matching die in there and makes it so easy but also it will work with previous magazines from magazine kits from John then you are getting the stamp set as well with the gorgeous happy harmony which is such an unusual sentiment that to see into the stamps but you are also getting the season's greetings so if you are thinking something unique this is perfect something usable this is perfect not just for Christmas but also the whole winter time time and I also think these papers are very much a masculine feel not just for Christmas but all year round now here at the craft store we also you have got the exclusive die which is this silent knife now that is an exclusive die set included if you get the of course the what well, it was the one day special or if you are getting the complete Highland collection because everything that we have seen so far it's included in the complete collection but then on top of that you have got loads more you have got two paper pads the tartan in 12 by 12 24 pages 200 GSM and of course you have got two design a two E of each of tw uh, 12 designs so that's your paper pad then you are getting your 8 by 8 as well which again 200 GSM you are also 24 sheets two of each design of 12 designs then we have got our dice three brand new die sets from John next door I adore the Holly and Davy. We're having the 
die cutting into the card, cutting out with those holly as well, as well, ready to decorate them. Then we have also the snowflakes. Those snowflakes to me are funky stars. They are retro flowers. They are stamens. They are the most beautiful snowflakes if you layer them up as well, or you can create kind of a, an array of them, a flurry of a snowflakes. And then you are getting that amazing frame die as well here, which again, you have got the inner detail and the outer dies. And then you, of course, you have got the winter scene in there as well, the woodlands that walking into the forest as well. Now that has sold out individually. So here at the craft store, the only way to get it is to go for the complete collection. But look oh now that's it it's gone so I don't need to do anything more than tell you to check out your baskets because if you have it in your baskets then you will get it oh it's a busy show do make sure to check out your baskets also for the happy hours oh I almost felt that would have been so oh. funny uh, this is reality it's like this is Instagram this is Instagram reality this is actually reality you know, that's a little like. like I, want to, I want to try that. I want to see oh, what it's like to be tall. Can yeah, I, yeah. Now you've gone out. Can oh. I? Oh. Ooh. <laughs> I is tall. Oh. This is weird. I like this. Let, let, let's have a look. Oh, I feel like like normal. <laughs> normal I'm, people, I'm tall. yeah. yeah. I've, I always, I've always wanted to stand on your podium. Yeah, Thank exactly, you. Yeah. Sorry. So, that's all right. I move out the way now. <laughs> it's, it, I love the podium, but when, of course, when it comes down, it's a little bit of down anyway uh, right so we have got a happy hour now in here you have got a better than half price because of course you are saving uh, 10 pounds and you're just paying 9 pounds and 99 pounds 60 percent of the stock has gone now what you are going to get is 10 small ink pads that they are pigment they are via the ink now we are it's going to be a lucky um, date of color so you and we cannot tell you exactly which colors you are going to get but you are going to get 10 colors in there it might be an array like the ones that you can see now or it might be something different all of them were pigments are water-based so then you can blend them in together if you saw the show that uh, of course John did at 8 a.m. what he did it was just banging blending brushes and blend them together I picked myself three random colors that don't match oh you didn't let me pick them no no no, but no, these no. Ones are even you, you worse. tried to fox me last time yeah, no. but actually I you gave said... me two that were too close exactly, really yeah. so I've gone for three random this is what I love about pigment ink. So yeah. the great thing is I'm just using the Craft 2 blending brush. These right. will be back at four o'clock. Right. Because they are, they arrived back in the country Fabulous. on Friday. That's good. So these will be back on uh, hopefully at four o'clock. So to take some off you see the intensity of colour. Yeah. Straight away. Wow. And this is my way of basically cheating um, a really posh background that Leo, you or Leone would do, well, or someone who's really yeah. into your bed or into somebody. Bed, yeah. um, but the great thing is, watch me, I picked up one that I've broken myself. Yeah. Look at that. Even on there, yeah. because they are made of foam and not ink, you I know it sounds weird, yeah. they don't contaminate. Yeah, they don't. Because they can't, because of the foam. So I'm just going over, and I'm making an absolute mess yeah? yeah so you would think I'm making a, a real mess I'm not trying to do anything skilled I'm just going on so I get first of all a really nice you know you would think oh yeah John but that is a bit of a yeah. mess inky background but because I've used pigment I've got intensity of color so you can't tell on that that it was white yeah and this is textured card this is linen right so this isn't a flat super smooth card that's easy to do on but the amazing thing I can do on this as well is I can because it is um, pigment, um, a pigment you can embossing. emboss on it so exactly. I can have this it's is what well I did dry. earlier so you know how I describe pigment that pants now it's like dye think about wine and then pigment think about the smoothie now you see I always go pigment inks a bit of a pig oh because it because it's, it's, it's low, smears right, yeah. and it's slow drying uh, and it can be a bit of a pig and it can go everywhere. So I was, that's how I think of it. But yeah, you're right with the wine. Because then the, the, you think the wine immediately soaks in through the fibres. Like if you drop a little bit, whether the smoothie, you would have always that kind of the pulp in there sitting wet for a long time. Yes, you will entirely. Yeah. So, yeah. what I'm going to do is, and I know everybody loves to see this. Yeah. 
magic. So I'm actually just heat setting. So all I've done is thrown on some glitter embossing powder yeah. from Izzy. But if you can, can you what, look, see how it's not been wow. blown away? Yes. And it should be, but it's because it's a pigment ink, so yeah. I don't have to worry. So we're just going to cut that through. I know everybody could sit at home and watch this for absolute hours. I know I could. Yeah. To be honest. But <laughs> yeah, we can. It's one of those we were saying that just day, day go and through. How? Do it as quickly as I can. Yeah. So we're just covering it completely, and then I'll give it a wiggle. There we go. Yeah. But can you see there yeah. then? Right. Yeah. Ooh, we're not picking it up, are we? Let's have a look. There you go, it is, yeah. There we go. Yeah, we're starting to get that sparkle. So, again, it still looks like a mess, but it's what you do with it. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab from one of the packs that I got prepped, because I've got lots more demos yeah. prepped that I'm going to be taking home again undone. Because, of course, it's the one that's sold, sold, sold out. That is what happens. So, yeah. I'm going to take the winter trees and just show you yeah. what happens then when you move it over. Right, yeah. So you're getting, because we did it completely random, yeah. you're getting oh, almost like, that like the northern when, lights. When it's it's like a head, sometimes it looks like a northern light, sometimes it looks like there is a forest, uh, there is a um, fire, like a campsite. Oh, it could, you go to there, yeah, because if you're, you've you're got a campfire glow yeah. going from that bottom corner. Absolutely. But you see, that's easy to do, and all I've done is use three random colours Colours. that you would never normally put together. Yeah. And that's why and the one happy hour. Brush. Yeah. Um, and there's another little trick we can do, which I wouldn't normally do with these colours, but I will do. This is using, because um, I'd prep this as a demo as well. So this is actually using the um, frame, the, um, oh, get the words out, John, Holly and Ivy frame. But if you notice, I'm not taping it down. Yeah. And there's a reason for that. And this is one of the major benefits that I love of having my Kaleido. Number one, yeah. the Kaleido base is magnetic. Right. Now, normally, as you know, with a die cutting machine, yeah. an A5, yeah. you have got to buy a separate magnetic Indeed. base yeah. if they make them. But it's really useful for this. So that's straight away that's cut. But what I'm going to do is just take that off yeah. and put that onto and look. Yeah. Okay, onto my yeah. base. And what that means is that I can now ink through this. <gasps> of course, you can. Really easily because have you ever tried holding yeah. a die down yeah. and trying to ink through it loosely and everything falls out? Then put it on a magnetic base, and then yeah. shall we go with the? Um, we go with the purpley colour. Right. So I'm just going to go with the purpley colour. This is not the colours I would normally do, but look how much easier it is on the base, because it's held by magnet, so it's not popping out. And I'm going to go purple to blue. And again, I love the brushes, they yeah. just make such a difference. So you might think I'm making a mess, but how many times would you be able to do this on your, the base plate yeah. of your machine? Because it needs to be held in place, it slips yeah. absolutely everywhere. So I'm working the colour in, I'm going to go with a little bit more purple because I feel like I've lost some. Just okay. on the edge, and yeah. again, I've made a mess. I know I have, but yeah. when we take that centre out... It has got the nice white edge, doesn't it? It gives you the nice white edge. So, there we go, let's take that out. When I take that out, you'll get to see oh. there. Oh! That is if just I gorgeous. If I frame that and just put that on white and I'll just check if I can hold this one up Mr Marcus okay if I'm allowed to yeah well but can you see you that look I love that love that that crisp so white edge you've yeah. got because we've used it but you've got purple going into blue but imagine you know if you get a yellow or a green in your pack or something it will really it's really so work or grab something yeah. similar to that you can, you know, really, really go to town. I mean, this is what happens when you use a yellow and a green. Indeed. I look at that. And I've mattered that on using the pieces in the die onto the things. But I might show you how to make that frame in a minute. That, that would work absolutely gorgeous. And, of course, that is... Uh, now, there is lots of different possibilities with that. Uh, now, of course, we are going to uh, have a look. Oh, we are going to say, well, we have got a returning favourite. Of course, John has been using the Kaleido machine uh, for the complete bundle uh, as well. So you can see them there that you can get it with the machine, the starter kit, ink, magic, medium, uh, the pad, uh, of course, 
the foil rolls and of course 10 of the uh, foils as well. So you are getting all of course those ones as well. The, John will explain everything, how everything works. You have got a 10 pound saving, one four pounds and, and 49 pence in there. You can see them all, everything in there that you are going to get in there. Um, and it's a huge bundle and of course John is going to explain exactly how it's going to work everything. It's not I would say it's a die cut, manual die cutting machine, but it has got some power in there, and that power is, to, of course, to foil as well. Right, uh, I believe John is ready. Uh, there's going to be, be, be you know, like a little bit of uh, you know magic happening here at the craft store, and of course now you can uh, go. I still feel tall because I'm still kind of in the high up. You're know? also like, tall. It's you're it's always like, tall. Uh, tall to you're the, taller than me. I'm taller to the one-year-old kids. Yeah, that, <laughs> you that, know, that, that's, that's about all I can claim. Anyway, John, now the Collider, it, it's such a popular machine. Uh, can you tell us why you were so passionate about bringing this to market? This was the, the, the first thing on this machine to me yeah. was this is a, um, I'm trying to think of the right phrase that you can say on TV. Yeah. It's an amazingly good die cutting machine. It is, isn't it? It really is. If you've seen how I've been cutting through those really different um, if you saw me cutting a really intricate die, yeah. so I was cutting that die earlier, and again, I, you know, I don't want to, I'm not dissing anything, but yeah. I've tested every machine that I can get my hands on, yeah? Yeah. So I genuinely have. So let's start with it being a damn good emboss, uh, die cutting and embossing machine. Yeah. And what we do is, and what Crafts 2 did was, we made sure everything on it was high spec. Yeah. So we high spec to everything. Right. So your base plate is an A5 base plate. Look at mine. Yeah. Yeah. I've had this now yeah. for well over a year. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's still so, but what we actually did was instead of giving you a normal plastic base plate, yeah. we gave you a magnetic one. Okay. So, the top spec in your base plates is having right. a magnetic yeah. one. You buy a die cutting machine normally and you have to buy a separate right. magnetic sheet or a magnetic yes. base or a special plate. So we did that. We also put in yeah. three clear plates. One at five mil, one at three mil, another one at three mil. And, yeah. and the plates are gold dust, aren't yeah. they? So, yeah, we, we are waiting on an order for more of the three but. We're not worried, but can you see, look at these plates and then look at them side on? Oh, yeah. wow. Okay, now yeah. these they are, not... are over a year old. And they are flat. Yeah, and that is the big difference. Now, somebody actually said to me the other day, said, oh, well, A5 machines don't warp their plates. Yeah. And I said, well, they oh. did the first one I had. Oh, I, yeah, oh I the first one, the second, and the third yeah. one I have had. <laughs> uh, three in really different, completely manufacturers. I'm sorry, one of them was like, like a U-shape. Yes. And I used to keep it to showcase that it still would work, but it was a pain to store. Yeah, it really, really was. It and was. so that was the main thing. So you've got a really good A5 die cutting yeah. machine, one that I've used for well over a year yeah. constantly, not replaced the plates and not broken it, which is always a plus because yeah. I break everything. I remember a machine is now out of service, a calibre. Yeah. I broke six of them in six months. Wow, you put them through the spaces. I do put them through the paces. So that's great, yeah, yeah, fab. But the question is, why is it, you know, why is it on the price yeah. it is? And the reason is this bit here. It's the and power. I apologise to anyone who knows the machine and yeah. knows it. Because this is a manual die cutting machine that turn, plugs on and has... A switch. A switch. Why? And the reason is... The magic that it's magic. Basically, the rollers inside are heated. Yeah. And you might say, well, what difference does that yeah. make? Well, for a start, if you're wanting to melt wax crayons yeah. <gasps> for backgrounds, yeah. Yeah? yeah? So you want to get some wax yeah. crayons, and you want oh. to make a wax back crayon yeah. background, and the thing is, it heat sets it into the card, Yeah. and you can then stamp on top of it. Like a wax of seal? Yeah. No, it completely pushes it into the oh. card, so you can use a normal versafine oh, and see. stamp on top of wax. Ooh, that's even I knew that would get yeah. you that one. And that's I don't have fab. any wax crayons with me at the moment, but yeah. But you can do that. You can also press leaves into paper with it because of the heating. Oh, so you know cool. the trick you used yeah. to do where you get the vinegar and boil yes. it and the leaves? No, you put the leaves and leave them for about an hour to dry from the garden. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Put them on 
yeah, yeah. between a piece, two pieces of watercolour paper, yeah. run it through and it will put an impression of the leaf into the watercolour oh, paper and all the colour and the leaf peels off yeah. to get a perfect print. So lots of techniques and trips, yeah. melting, melting um, straws and yeah. anything like that. If you do freezer paper stencils, yeah. You can, don't have to have an iron anymore. You can use this to set your freezer paper stencils ah, onto your paper. I see. So instead of having a separate iron, wow. yeah, melt the wax and everything. Yeah. But the main thing we designed it for was the foiling. The foiling, okay. oh, that's so, the key one, isn't it? The idea is, you know, and I know, if you want to foil, yeah. yeah? So if you want to foil an image, you have to buy either the something like the Mink machine, yeah. and you have to get a laser printer Absolutely. and the foil. Or you have to buy a separate foiling machine and then a separate hot foil Doesn't stamp and die. Yeah. No. Kaleido was designed with the ink and the medium so that you can foil anything you can do with ink. And that's the genius, yeah. isn't it? So any stamp you've ever bought, yeah. any stencil, yeah. any ink technique, yeah. anything you can ever do, yeah. you can do with this. So, the so first for thing instance, in... brayers, like I love the brayer effect into like, so you could ink with that. Ink with the Kaleido ink. Yeah. The Kaleido comes as a liquid ink, it's a chemical ink, yeah. but we give you 60 mils. Not so 15. Yeah. You so know how much the yeah, inkers exactly, are. Yeah. You know the quantity yeah, yeah, that's in them. You know, yeah. You're the ink queen. With this, so anything you can do with ink, yeah. you can do with this. So wow. jelly pray. Yeah. Anything you can foil. It's amazing if you do the shaving foam technique. Yeah. Because you put some of that through, and of course, then you foil it afterwards, and it will only foil where the black yeah. is. And it came from the pen, so I can use the pen because I haven't used mine for yeah. a while. So I just want to make sure it hasn't. Yeah, sometimes you need to re... The, you you, know, you that need to thing. sort of yeah, almost yeah. re... There we go, re, you see? So yeah. I haven't used him for a while. So now I can write... So is it... It's it's P, isn't it? <laughs> well, it depends what you are writing. <laughs> is it an A? Oh, yes, it is. Because I can't spell. Anyone who knows me knows oh, I can't. Oh, I'm dreadful. Are you you? You, you. Yeah. Even though we, we spell it, uh, you know, like the English way, but N L A. Yeah, but it's Unless not Paula, it's Paola. Paola. Yeah, Paola. Paola. Yeah. I yeah. should really have written hola. Hola. Hola, Paola. Hola, hola Paola, que tal? Como oh, I said this morning, hola, jefe. Jefe. <laughs> oh, that means hello, boss. But I'm not the boss of anybody. If I mind, I'm... Oh, look, with a little heart. So just get it flowing, so yeah. with the heart I remember now. I still have got when I, you know, ages ago when I was not yet a presenter, I remember I was demonstrating the same day here as you, and you left me a little something like that as well, written like, you know, and I was like all, oh, that's so nice, Brendan. Well, the thing is, I know that people watch at home, and you, I mean, you know how much Sam and I watch, yeah. we are terrible. And, people, and we always go on about how everybody gets on, yeah. everybody's friends, everybody. And the thing we is, actually do. do. Yeah. It's a genuine. Yeah. And it's thing. the thing is, like we have been to weddings together. We, we have, been, you know, that's you know, that's kind of. Oh. And then we, have we went to Lottie's wedding. You know, uh, yeah, we all do with Katie yeah. from Sizzix yeah. and absolutely. Leone yeah. and Charlie, and literally, ever we all do get on. So. Yeah. There we go. We've coloured that one in. Now, my ink's not flowing very well, so yeah. I may not get the best response. But did you hear the beep? Yeah. So I turn my machine on, yeah. and between seven and nine minutes later, yeah. it comes up to temperature, yeah. and it beeps. Like a hair straightener or something yeah, like that. Literally, yeah, yeah like, like your, um, well, straightener. yeah, your straighteners. Yeah, straighteners. It's just looking at your beautiful straight hair. <laughs> yeah, I need to this morning. I was like, straighteners. My hair looks like a mess. So I've got a small piece of card, so I'm going to add a shim in. Yeah. I'm going to put my five mil plate. Right. I'm going to put my three mil plate. Right. And if you can, keep one of your two three mil plates Nothing. clean yeah. to be your foiling I on. Because it's yeah. just so much easier. And then inside your machine, you will receive. So with the starter kit, you will get the foil. Right. And this is a brilliant trick that I got taught by a lady Do Not Health oh. Wells. We do the Craft 2 Mini Trimmer. Because it's perfect for that size, isn't it's it? It's absolutely spot on because I struggle cutting the foil. Yeah. Look. It is such a I cut, get such you know. a neater piece. And, and all you, pick, you need to yeah. do... Can you use a paper as well in that mini trimmer? Oh, yeah, no, it is for paper. It's oh. a proper paper trimmer. But um, it, but it works really well. For taking props yeah. and things like that. But um, it it's, works it's perfect, perfect for your foil for, as well, for, yeah. to be honest, which no, is no, why... Yeah. 
There's one always, because this, I should show you this, really. Yeah, you should show us. Yeah. This is my Kaleido box. Oh. I have, as anyone who knows me knows, I have a box for everything. Yeah. <laughs> Mac here. So this is my Kaleido box, and it, it has got little stands to hold everything yeah. up. But in there goes my stamp cleaning mat, and in there goes one of the mini trimmers. Yeah. Because it's so useful for the foil, it really is. And all you do is, I fold it under. Right. The instructions tell you a little bit differently. Yeah. They tell you to use the metal stripe on the magnetic base, and I find that's just a faff. Okay. So I fold it under, I bring my machine in, and literally we just roll it through. And you put the foil under touching the rollers, foil right? Foil touching the rollers. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So then the heat can apply. And then... And then Golden powder. That's the light. Look at that. I love. And the thing is, I'm thinking. So you, for instance, there is a stamp image that you have spent time coloring in. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And you want to just add those little tiny gold details in there. You can do that with the pen. But you can also do. So you can select what areas are gold. You know what areas. You don't have to have everything in gold. No. You can you can touch different areas and you can multiple ring it through. Okay, so you could do so, different foils. What I could do is I could take a piece of let's take a piece of, of card yeah. here, okay? Because I want to show you with the paints. A lot of people go, yeah. you know, they might not want to stretch to the bigger deal with the ink and the pad and the magic medium and all the colours oh, of foil yeah. to get you started. But let's just say, you know, here let, let's let's draw right. This is one of my favourite things to do with the pen, yeah. is to die cut and then draw around it. Yeah. To give it a really nice edge in the foil. But let's just draw around this. It will probably look a bit weird yeah. at the moment. But let's go around. And again, my pen really does yeah. need to. Oh. By the way, it. can I, while well, you are kind of drawing around those lines, uh, can I give an, an update on the uh, happy hour? Now, it's a, now you're getting 10 of those gorgeous uh, pigment ink pads. Uh, it's now limited to stock. That means that 90% of the stock has gone. If you want yours, you know what to do. Check out your basket. 080606 is your item number. And remember, they are icing, pigment uh, base, uh, water base. So you are the perfect inks to blend in to create those easy backgrounds that John has shown how to do it with those blending brushes that they will be here at four o'clock. Now make sure to check out your baskets because the, the deal with the happy hour is of course they, the price jump up at the end of the hour. However, that is if the stock lasts, which looks like it's not going to last. Uh, now of course it's going to be the stock before the clock goes. So there you go. If you want your set of 10, remember it's lucky dip in terms of the colors you are going to get, but absolutely beautiful. Uh, right. Remember that we are looking at the Kaleido machine, the complete bundle, it includes uh, the machine itself with a plug. It has got, it has also the ink, it has got the pen, it has got the kind of Let's say it, the blank, the version pad in there that you can re-ink it time and time again. And of course you are getting the magic medium as well, which we will see what it works. You have got the plates included in here. You can use it as a die cutting machine, as an A5 or a six by six inch machine. And I know John, when he has to use a six inch machine, he goes for the Kaleido. It just has got all the possibilities of having a foil machine there, but it's also an excellent A5 die cutting machine. And then you are getting 10 10 rolls of those foils as well, those gorgeous colors, including holographic. We have included, of course, pinks and reds and those blues there as well. Now, this is a fabulous bundle. You have seen the possibilities uh, with the demonstration by John, but you also have got a 17 pounds and 50 pence saving as a Freedom member. And to, you can flex it as well, which means that you are going to pay one third of the price today as a Freedom member. That means that you will be paying not the 142 pounds and 46 pence that would be the one payment today but of course you would be paying uh, one third of that today 47 pounds and 49 pence as a delivery cost and of course the same amount in the next month and the final one uh, 545390 is your item number now the happy hour that we were talking about before is a technical sell out that set of 10 which the colors may vary you know, if you want it, if you have it in your basket, check out your basket. If you don't want it, let somebody else have it. That's it. That's going to be my new thing. But I love that. I love the yeah. way you do that. So, nice. while you were talking, I made a complete mess. Yeah. 
Um, so I thought I'll get a little bit of ink out and right. I managed to spill it onto my desk. Yep. Um, and I managed to drop my pen. Okay. So what yep. I've done is, I'll just to show you, all okay. I've done is taken a brush yep. into the ink that I've spilled and literally... Oh. Okay, oh. so I've just... And that will work. Hand... I love that. Very quickly and nervously oh. because I'm on you TV. Just, you just sold me the, the collider. This is so anything you can do with the ink you can foil. Now yeah. normally we say on a on a smooth card yeah. you well, certainly when you're stamping, yeah. which I'll try and I will show you how we do that at four o'clock. Okay. But when you're stamping, you need to let it settle. Yeah. And sometimes twenty minutes, sometimes yes. over, an yeah. hour overnight. But I'm gonna try it. But again, we've said about that, so now I've painted that. Yeah. A little bit of foil. This time I'm using foil. the silver thing. Yeah. On top of the two plates. Yeah. Yeah. Bring my machine yeah. in, and then and right just roll it through, through, and hopefully this has settled long enough. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So when I peel it off, then there we go. Yeah. So I haven't left it to settle long enough. Yeah. But it started to. There we go. Oh, look at that. So it started to pick it up. Yeah. Oh, I lovely. should have left it to settle a little bit longer. So basically, we need to let it set a little bit longer. We need to let it yeah, settle because we and have less like than a minute. With the yeah. pen. Um, but what I was going to do is, um, so that hasn't picked up all of it. Yeah. So I'm going to try very quickly, take a different colour. Yeah. So that's a good way. So if we want multiple colours, if we do one straight away, so it will not go all over it, and yeah. then one we wait a little bit longer, yeah. then it will pick and up. And I'm going to re-shim it yeah. just to increase the pressure. We we'll have got uh, seconds to go. Just to remind everybody to check out your baskets. Some of the dyes are still available individual, including the Holly and the Ivy, but of course the Collider now is the start of the show. And look at that. Oh, it started to push too much on. Oh, but you can see that. It started look. to get it. But again, you can do any ink technique, but just on a smooth I card. I actually love leave that. It to, I like that. Because then it's kind of a like distress effect look. That is. Uh, anyway, John, a pleasure as always. We'll see you wonderful. at 4 p.m. Uh, and uh, that would be the thing with either Leone or Richard. Do stay tuned here because there's lots more. Uh, now we have got the happy planner. The lady herself, Leone, is after the break. See you later. Indeed, it is the Happy Planner with Yanis and, and of course, Leona. Then getting hooked on sugar buttons with Catherine. And then Pretty gets gritty. Uh, there are three. And of course, I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps paper crafting products and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us and crafting with La Blanche. Tula Pink is a fabric designer, a quilter and an author. She works closely with Free Spirit Fabrics to develop multiple fabric collections every year and is best known for her dark sense of humour, a flair for hiding animals within her designs and her bold, unique use of colour and pattern. I will be bringing you a wide selection of wonderful fabrics at fantastic prices. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping.
you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Hello and welcome. Um, it's lovely to have your company. Now, we had a super, super busy hour um, when we had um, the launch of this at 9 a.m. So if there's anything you want, get ahead of us. Um, the things to remember are, for starters, this is Happy Planet. I mean, Happy Planet is a huge company, um, American based, and oh my gosh, they're amazing. They're, I, I love them because uh, they think about what they bring us. You know, it all makes sense. It's all, um, it, it, it all works together. So it allows you to create what you need from your planner. Um, so really good system. But normally, of course, it has to be shipped from America. We've got the stock. So if you check the website, We've got our Happy Planner store. The Happy Planner store you can buy any time. It doesn't have to be just when the live shows are on. So if there's something you need, always have a little nip on there, see if we've got it. Because that whatever's in that store we've got in the country. So it means you're not having to wait for a, uh, shipping from America. You're not having to pay any extra taxes or anything like that. You know exactly what you're paying. You're either paying what it says on the screen or if you're a Freedom member, you're not paying any postage. So that's an option as well. So that's a big deal for us with the Happy Planner that we've got it here. However, it does mean once it's gone, it's gone. So it does mean that we can't just keep bringing things back because obviously we'd have to wait for like a two week extended delivery and all that malarkey. Um, so once it's gone, it's gone. So it is a first come, first served. So <laughs> earlier on, 9 a.m., 11 sellouts. Uh -uh. Um, We've got, we've still got a lot of goodness left and, and, um, we're talking about some of the things that we have got in our shop as well. So get ahead of us, have a look what you see, but otherwise, chill out. Um, I tell you what though, if you've got photographs of some of your layouts, and I, I forgot to mention this in the first hour, but I love seeing your layout. So if there's, um, you know, maybe you've got a planner, maybe it's your photograph or maybe you've got one of the, uh, the memory books, then do share, do share photos with us. It's studio at thecraftstore.com. Okay, and now the first one, and this is mine. 70% um, of the stock has gone. I was so excited. I did really need my planner for next year. This is the perfect time. It's mad, in it? I mean, what, what month are we in? It's nearly October. Oh gosh, it's nearly October. So now is the time to get your planner for next year. So the first one, this is a year planner. So um, it's just giving you the year, but oh my gosh, look at that front cover straight away. Is that not just gorgeous? I love the way it kind of goes pow and just shouts at you. It's so beautiful. It's a perfect day to start. And what a wonderful way to start your um, your wonderful planner. Now, this is one of the large planners. So if you're thinking about planners, this is one of the, the large ones. And um, when we look in this one, it's going to tell you, first of all, about, yeah, I love this one. It's a beaut. Um, it's going to tell you, first of all, about um, the actual layout. Now, there's some new layouts. Uh, that Happy Planner have introduced into the, the wonderful collection. And um, this one is your working, um, your working remotely layout. Now, that's really interesting. Obviously inspired from so many people working from home, you know, uh, because of the pandemic and that, and then realizing it's really nice. <laughs> um, so, um, so we've got this layout. I really like this layout. It's different. Um, and I love that, you know, let's face it. We all like it, don't we? When it's something a little bit different, it's like, oh, that's exciting. But it's a lovely layout. Don't think just because this is where it's aimed at that you have to be working from home. Obviously, that's not the case. The thing is with planners, you use them as you want to use them. 80% um, of the stock has gone. So it's going to give you an idea. So first of all, of course, you've got your years at a glance, which we always have. And then you've got um, the first year, 20, uh, the next year um, in more detail. So you can put your birthdays and all your, you know, anniversaries and stuff like that in there. Then we come into the actual dashboard. Um, and this is where it starts to change. So for starters, you've got a lot of space here. You know, loads of space for um, maybe writing notes for that month, maybe doing your, you know, your, your prompts for that month. Maybe you're incorporating your photographs in here as well and you want to put photographs. You can really mix it up with um, what you want it to be. So that's your first one. But then we actually come in to the, the, um, the first month. Now, obviously, January, you've got your month in a at a glance as ever, which I find vital, but then 
this is where it really changes. This is your first um, couple of pages of your month, and it's really different. And I, I really like this. I love the layout. For starters, you've got your prompts again. So, for this month, and if I just put it back a bit, I'm going to be able to read it. So, we've got things like um, three ways I expect to achieve this goal. So, what is your goal? How are you going to achieve it? Um, and then, um, the, uh, what, what, was la what worked last month? Now, I think that's a really good idea because actually uh, reflecting on what went right last month. And let's face it, your goals don't have to be massive. You know, this doesn't have to be about running a marathon. This could just be about I managed to wash the car. Do you know what I mean? I'm not being funny. That's a goal I've had for quite some time. My goal, do you know what I've done with that goal? I've actually now lessened that goal to buying some shampoo and putting it on the roof when it rains. I still haven't done that either. <laughs> I thought, I'm never going to wash this car, so if I just buy some shampoo or wait for it to be really heavy rainfall, I'll just put shampoo on roof, that'll do the job. <laughs> but I still haven't done that either. <laughs> so this will be the goal I carried over. This is a page for carrying over. Hooray! So, and I really like, I mean, this is designed for me. I am the lady of the list that carries over. I mean, I've got lists that are probably about 20 years old and I've still not ticked them off. Do you know what I mean? This is, this is for me. I really like this because it's, it is one of those that you can carry it forward. Then it's great because you've got loads of different lists there. So four good size lists. And let's face it, it, lists are great, aren't they? Even if you forget to look at them. Now, and which I do, which I do. I forgot to write the very, very important things in like, you've got a show first thing in the morning. Uh, now, the next, this is such a different layer. It's a gorgeous layout um, how they've worked this one is they've split it up into your hours of the day now because they're, they're thinking about working from home they've sort of tried to prompt you to remind you to look after yourself you know you might be working from home but try and do you know some walking up and down stairs a few times and you know try and remember to get away from the computer screen whatever you do do you know what I mean so don't be don't be glued in one in one space to the the monitor for hours it is a it is a prompt to, to remember to look after yourself. Now, I like the way they have broken it down into hours. So they have broken it down into the working week or your, your working day, I should say. So seven till seven. Of course, that's up to you. I do like doing this. When I'm feeling super organised, which I'll, I'll admit isn't very often, but I do like planning my hours because it really helps me structure my day. Doesn't happen a lot at all. Uh, but it, it, it actually works for me if I structure my day like that. Um, of course, you don't need to do that. This is going to be your book. You use it as you want. These are just ideas. They're just prompts. Um, and it's just a way of using it. And at the end of the day, what you've got is a really nice space for loads and loads of lists, you know? It's a, a really nice planner. What I do love about this planner as well is the artwork. It's got some, and I'll turn, I'll do some um, there. See, I mean, there's some beautiful artwork um, on these, on your dividers. And I, I love things like this. You know, that green that they're using is just beautiful it's really rich and i like this yeah this sort of four gold it's absolutely stunning and the blue that they're using is beautiful and as ever of course they've got some good sentiments your potential is endless and then we've got on this one uh, the time is now <laughs> <laughs> to remember that record. Um, anyway, um, I love this one. We are approaching limited hour. Oh, I do need to point out as well, the rings, um, gold and the metal. So the posh. Yes, we love the metal rings. Very posh. I really like that. That is the one that I have kept. This is mine. Um, my planner. Mine. I've already put my stickers in. It's mine. Now, £34.99. Absolutely love this planner. If you do want it, please check your baskets out. Remember, you do not need to wait for delivery. It's coming from here in Andal, uh, so obviously you're not paying any um, weird and wonderful extras on top of your normal postage. So that's your first one. I think that might be the only planner that we've got left, truth be known, of the 2022 um, series, which... Uh -oh. But we did expect it to be busy because this was the launch. We have, however, got some gorgeous um, stickers. Now, these stickers do go with that planner, but they are approaching limited stock and they are gorgeous. Again, you've got such a good collection here. They've carried over that beautiful colour palette. So the greens and the blues. Obviously, you've got some great sentiments in here as well. Uh, really, really nice to work with. And obviously with these, 
Um, don't think just for your planners. They're brilliant if you've got one of the memory keeping albums. They're brilliant for card makers. I mean, Ara Parola for my birthday, she made me a lovely little book, a photo journal, uh, with loads of uh, memories, you know, of me and Paula's adventures. Now, she used loads and loads of stickers, and honestly, they look great and things like that. So never think your stickers are only for your planners. I love these because these are see-through. So it does mean, yeah, whatever, you know, the white space, that's actually clear. So the clear stickers are ace for layering up. You've got some beautiful stickers in there. Really, really nice um, collection. Now, if you do want those, only 17 dollars but they're limited. 776-421 is your item number. The... Um, the planner that it matches is also limited stock. That means less than 10% remaining. Once it's gone, it's gone. So please do not. Um, if you're thinking about it, just get those baskets checked out. Get it delivered to your door. And remember, it's coming from us. You've still got your 14-day money-back guarantee and all that malarkey. So get them home, have a little look and see if it's for you. <laughs> you'll get it home and be like, oh, that's lovely. Because they're always better in real life. Yeah, and then you'll want the other one and the other one. and the, mm, It becomes so addictive. Oh, it's great, though. Um, okay, next. Now, this is Lush. For starters, I do like um, the Happy Planner little... Um, the, the, the little cases. I just think they're adorable. And this is well cute. This is great for your washi tape. It's got that beautiful, um, sort of satin inside and then that really nice chunky zip. And the, the actual pattern's really pretty as well. The little peacock feathers. Really, really gorgeous. So yeah, great for your washi tapes, I think, that one. Or photographs even. But lovely for your washi. This is such a good pack, actually. Um, and we, oh, we love the, the sort of little, um, your companion accessories because there's all sorts in here. So let's get let's get showing you what's there. So for starters, oh the wallets. Now when the first time I ever saw planners on the wallets, it was like that is genius. For starters, this will fit into any of your planner. Um, I think it's even skinny enough for your skinnies. So that is going to fit into your planner. The way all the planners are designed is this is the same um, the same width in between uh, in between the punch holes which means they'll go in all the planners. You've got, look, the little envelopes. So you can put your, maybe your photographs, you can put um, receipts in there that you need to keep, little notes that you're keeping. I mean, they're just so ridiculously handy. And obviously, they're, they're stylish. You know, as is everything Happy Planet, it all looks good. So you're getting three of your wallets. You're also getting in here your papers now these are classic size so of course they're going to go in your classic planner or um you know any of the the, the beautiful guided journals etc but they will go in your big planner they're just going to be smaller of course so you've got your notes um double-sided and then you have also got let me show you i'll do that instead of faffing um your little errands and things as well so it's a really nice little um a nice little pack is that because obviously the extensions are always handy they allow you to personalize all your planners that, that's such a good idea this is the thing every time we see a planner show it's like genius the genius um, over half the stock has gone and we didn't see this live in the first hour we've then got two sets of stickers which are lovely really pretty stickers we've also got for you in this one um, some of your extra, these are your pages, but they're thicker. So they're more like your divider pages, if you will. Um, and they do look really, really beautiful. Bit heavier, bit thicker, um, and obviously they'll, they'll feel nice and weighty. Um, you've also got, and I do love these, you've also got one of your little tabs, which is beautiful. These are so handy because they'll pop over the edge of your papers, so it allows you to put additional things in. However, this is fab. So, say you have got your um, your whiteboard. I'll just show you. So these, you can actually, Monday. So put Monday the 17th, say you want to do that. Okay, so say you've got your whiteboard, you've got your pen on your whiteboard. However, these work in the same way. So then you can just clean it off, which is very cool. But these fit in your planner. So use um, my pen, I put it on, the one I use for mine, I put it on 
I let it dry and then it doesn't rub off but until I want it to. R these are super handy. They're super handy. I really, really like them. I've got them for my um, the, the finance side. And then this is lovely because it's made out of it's Actually, that's quite shiny as well. But it's a pocket and it's a double-sided pocket. So you've got your pocket, you've got your whiteboard, and you've got your extra cardboard um, inserts in there. Two lots of your stickers. You've got your extra papers. And then you've got three of your wallets. And then you've got that lovely little pack pouch to put all your goodies in. Now, all of that only $21.99, really good price. And it's, again, absolutely beautiful is that one. Um, if you do want that one, $21.99, that's 894-857 is your item number. We've got an email. Yay. Um, this is uh, lovely Michelle, and she says, happy days. She said, dear Leona, I only got into Happy Planner last year based on your shows and ended up with three planners. <laughs> um, I write daily. See, I love this. I write daily into my calligraphy planner um, due to learning a, um, italic. Oh, see, attached. Uh, oh, this is lovely. Oh, see, that's really good. And that is such, and how it looks amazing. It's lovely to look back on as well and see your progress, isn't it? Oh, that is wonderful. Um, please, can you confirm you'll be having more shows with 2022 planners and when they will be? Yes, we will. We've got another show booked. I can't do it, so our lot is doing it. Um, I'm not sure what's on it, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be some 2022 planners because what they do, they bring out ones for the beginning of the year, but then they always bring out the ones that are mid-year as well. So anyone who sort of missed out, so they always do that as well. So they'll definitely bought bin more, Michelle. Um, as soon as I do know the date, but I can't remember the date. But it is we are lotter. But we will let you know, and I'll put it on Facebook and Instagram when it's going to be. But Michelle, I love that. Thank you for sharing. And it's yeah, I started doing the writing ones. I need to get back on with that. The brush lettering. I've got the brush lettering one, which is beautiful. Anyway, thank you. See, email in studio at thecraftstore.com. We'd love to see what you've been doing with yours because it is really inspirational. Um, now, next, um, we've got sticker books. We did have quite a lot of sellouts actually. The sticker books but we have got a few left over so the first one and this is lush this is the watercolor one now only 17.99 as well there's 399 stickers in your um neutral watercolors and this is gorgeous but over 70 percent of the stock has gone now i love this because that palette is so soft it's gentle it's very mindful it's got that really really um i don't know it's quite a forgiving and you know it's not intense i love that page because you can't tell the stickers on it there absolutely is but you can't tell until you get it on um but and same with that one there is stickers on that it just looks really pretty doesn't it it's a beautiful beautiful sticker book it's quite sophisticated as well quite Quite, um, quite grown up, isn't it? Beautiful. Now, only $17.99. You've got some lovely sentiments. You've got your, your blocks as ever. And a really nice, soft, gentle palette. Only $17.99. That's 704-676. Next, we have got for you. And this one, um, where is that with gentle and calm? This is all about the family. So it's going to be bright. It's going to be bright and cheery. Now, you've got 631 in here. So, again, all about the family. So it's all about your mum, your dad, um, your sister, your grandma, your your best oh, best friend. I like that as well. Um, so it, I love this one. Brother, brother, <laughs> brother. Um, so, uh, honestly, this one makes me try and say everything different. Yeah, games night, popcorn, movie night. Um, I love it. Picnics, food. So it's really, really nice. It's one of those that's just all about the family. Um, only seventeen ninety nine. That's four two nine two two three. And then we have got the budget. Um, the budget is really handy. This is limited stock, however. If you've already got a budget planner, it's handy to pop in the budget planner. But if not, this is really handy for your normal planner. And it's one of them. It sort of encourages you to to remember when your bills are going out but it encourages you to to take track and to watch where your pennies are going and let's face it when you're sort of aware um because do you not do that thing where you sign up to stuff forget you've signed up to it and then wonder where that 5.99 has been going out every single month mm. 
Tell you what, it happens all the time, doesn't it? And this is the thing, it, this helps you, and it does help you. When you keep track of your budget, you keep track of those silly little payments you agree to and forget. Um, so it is really handy, and it has got some cute stickers in it as well. Yeah, they're really sweet. Um, 17 dollars limited stock with that, though. Less than 10% remaining there. That's 281098, your item number. Next, now, these are... Lovely. I've always bags it. I've already bags of mine. Mine's that one. <laughs> Ovs. Ovs I did. Ovs. Mm -hmm. I'm allowed. <laughs> um, and these are beautiful. They're beautiful because they feel really nice and soft. So it's it's got a gorgeous texture to it. They look lovely. I was saying before, you know, the, the excuse we give ourselves for, for needing a cover. There is no excuse. They're just really pretty. <laughs> it's not that they're going to protect it. It's not that they're, you know, easy clean. They're just really pretty and they feel gorgeous. Now, that's got a beautiful sort of deboss on it. It's a lovely colour palette. Again, that really soft grey. And it's got the deboss circles on that one. Um, the next one, and that's pretty. Look at that colour. So that's got that debossing on as well, which looks really, really effective. Um, and I love the, that they've colour matched the actual spine as well. And then the last but not least is the one I went for. Love that colour. And I adore the little florals on the side. How pretty is that? They're just beautiful, aren't they? Dead easy to use because it's Happy Planet. They make it simple. They just literally snap on. You can use them. I've used mine on top of the cover that's already there. Um, however, if you wanted to, you could take the cover off. But I really like my cover, so I wanted it as well as. Just just wanted it as well. Uh, 091574 is your item number. Of course I did. And they're only 17 99 Of course I did. Because it feels nice. It's posh. Um, okay, next we've got for you. So one of your accessory bundles. I am a super big fan of a limited. Oh, my gosh. This is another limited stock. Another less than 10%. We didn't even see this live. I'm a massive fan of these. Um, this is a cracker. So, again, you've got your little envelopes. I love the way that they go into your planners. It's genius. So, I mean, this could be, yeah, paying the bills. So, that might be your receipts. That might be invoices waiting to pay. Brilliant if you've got a little business as well, to be fair. Um, pinch those pennies. So, this one, this could be saving up. I mean, you might be putting notes in there. You know, that could actually be physically saving up. Um, or, of course, ways of saving up. You know, what are you selling? What are you what are you sticking on on your auction site which i'm doing at the minute i'm trying to get rid of everything and then and then uh, receipts receipts in here very good idea that's le not leaving that to chance is it um they are a really good size as well so they'll fit into your classic planner but of course they'll fit into the big planner as well love the wallets there is you've then got now these are genius because again if you haven't got if you haven't got your um, your uh, uh, sort of money tracker, these are perfect because you can add this to your normal um, your normal journal. So this might be going in your normal planner. This might be going into your. Um, it could even be going into um, uh, the one we had on earlier. And this is the thing. It's gone. Gone anywhere. Gone. That's another sellout. We have had so many sellouts to do have earlier. Wow, so, okay, we've actually, so we've sold out of that one, so that's now 12 sellouts from our Happy Planner. We've also sold, sold out of that first planner that we showed earlier, and the stickers. So basically, is that 15 then? What did I say? 15. 15 sellouts. I'll just leave the empty stands. There they were. Um, so, yeah, if there is something you want, you know what to do. Right, moving on. This is Ace. When I got my parcel of goodies, I obviously started filling this in immediately because this, I just need to, I'm moving out still, so the minute I can't put it on the wall, but as soon as I move out, this is going on my wall. This is essential for me. This is, this is why Planner works for me because if I put it on a phone, it might be on my phone, but I forget to look at it. The Planner... It's a bit easier to look at. If it's on my wall, I'm going to look at it. Do you know what I mean? I can't not look at it. It's on it. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Or, or, yeah, I might put some over it. Yeah, I might put it, yeah, behind a door. Um, so, I won't. 
I won't. But look, dead easy. So your pen is obviously magnetic. Some of mine has come off. Um, your pen is magnetic, so it's going to sit on there. You've also got a little magnet if you want to put paper and stuff on. I love that this bit wipes it off again. And it wipes it off really clean. I love that. I love that. Your stickers, your stickers are brilliant. You do get stickers that work properly on this. So don't use your normal stickers for this. Use the stickers that are in the pack. So you've got little extra stickers. You've obviously got your sticker for the month as well. Um, it's just really handy. And you can see, yeah, you can see what I'm doing this month. I'll fill the rest of it in. See, and they peel off and go back on really easily like so um what what does that keys yeah i need to hand the keys in because i'm moving house oh da, da, da. and i have to rem remove men from my holiday uh, from my life holiday yeah holiday um we're taking charlie away yay um so and little charlie that is obviously not charlie hopkins that'd be weird <laughs> um so <laughs> um but what did you say so I'm not going to get to play with it. Okay, limited stock. It's limited stock. If you want this one, again, please check your baskets out. You look at that while I put mine back on my shelf. Um, it is now limited stock. It's less than 10% remaining on that one as well. Literally a handful left and that's gone. I really like that. I think it's a cracking idea. Um, that's 72469. It's gone. All gone with its stickers. All gone and its stickers. Did that, that sold out as well, didn't it, I think, earlier? Did that sell out? Yeah. That went out. Holly's like, what is that? Holly, this is beautiful. But it's sold out. It's, it's pencil case. But it's got the elastic so it fits around your partner. Genius. Genius. Love this company. I love this company. They're really clever. Okay, now, this. This is a really good idea, your sticker planner. Now, we've got two different sizes of your sticker planners. We've got the big and we've got the classic. This is the big. So, obviously, you get the one that fits in with your planner. So, how this works, and while you're looking at that, I'll just get my planner. How this works, in fact, I've got mine already open, but um, it actually sits on your planner. So, you'll take your planner... And can you see mine is there on my planner? So it physically goes into the planner. I love that noise. So it physically slots into your planner and it allows you, it's got, this has got your lines on it and you can hopefully just see those lines, they're quite faint, but the lines will allow you to see where you're going. So it allows you to put your stickers down on there before you actually put them on your page. So then when you're doing your designs, it means you do your designs on here without actually sticking them on your page and then that being it. Because as soon as they're on there, that's it. They're on there, you know. Sometimes you can peel them off, but they're pretty much stuck. So that's, these are a genius idea. It allows you to plan. It allows you to, to see your layout. Because let's face it, I mean, Happy Planner, yeah, a lot of it is about the actual planning your life, getting organised, making, you know, making things happen happen not just hoping they're going to happen um however a lot of it is about the creativity it's about that taking time out and that mindfulness and creating something that looks beautiful and so you want this to to help you do that quite frankly i, I do like these i think it's a lovely idea and they've got the different types of planners in there. So you've got your vertical layout, the dashboard, you've got horizontal, monthly, and then you've got the custom. The custom is brilliant because that's blank. So that allows you, if there's some of these other layouts that are a little bit different, the custom is perfect. Now, that's only 10 99 That is for the large one. Please check the website because we have got the classic as well. 409-795 is your item number. Now, um, we'll show you some pictures. Now, we've got a mega sticker bundle. Oh, now, this is interesting because we didn't have that last time we were on. So that's very exciting. I've got that somewhere. Now, this is lovely. 
Um, only 89. Oh, no, and happy hour prices. So get it while you can. Now, these are lush. I'm rummaging because I know I've got these. Um, it's a cracking, cracking bundle is this one. So 499703 is your item number. Um, 18 pounds and 42 pence is your price. And you've got some really, really cool stickers in there. Um, and that, look at your price. You're saving 11 99 That's an absolute deal. Uh, 499703 is your item number. Now, we've also got for you... Oh, what else have we got? I'm hoping. <gasps> this is lush. I've got some of these as well. Um, yeah, it's proper nice. Isn't it? Those washi tape sets are ace. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll show you that. Um, that's 657. 389 and remember happy hour prices for this hour only you're saving six pounds and 50 pence on that one they're well cool oh i've even got that as well um we've also sorry i'm rummaging again um Oh, we've got the photo journals. Oh, now these are delicious. I love the photo journals. Um, they're just, they're just exquisite. Um, Thirty-four ninety-nine. But I tell you what, they've, that one, that one is beautiful. It feels beautiful. It looks beautiful. Um, and it's a lovely way you get in your. That's mine. It's a lovely way you get in your photograph. That's. <laughs> It's mine, that. It's mine. Um, it's a lovely way of getting your photos, and that is beautiful. It's really, really pretty. But it's getting the photos off your phone, get them printed, you know, get them off your computer, um, and actually enjoy the process. Stick, getting all your photos organised is just so, so beautiful. It, it's just a really nice way of, um, of mem you know, of getting those those memories out. And it, oh, it's lovely. Um, n oh, I can't read. Nine seven six nine zero two is your idea. Item number. You're saving five pounds on those currently, so please check your baskets out with that. And then now the papers, these are lovely. Uh, your car stock photo pages. Um, it's a really nice way to paper. These are such a good idea because obviously you can put your photographs on these. Acid, obviously, they think about the acid and lignum free with these, um, and you are saving three pounds. You've got your beautiful uh, colour palettes as well, really, really nice, and the pre punched. So you don't need to worry about having to punch these. Um, they're really, really pretty. Oh, I'm chuffed we've got some of those. If you want any of those happy hour deals, please make sure you check those baskets out. Um, because obviously, <laughs> because obviously once they're gone, they're gone. I've got so much stuff out now. I've got, because I were like, oh, I've got some of that. I've got some of that. Let me show you, first of all, um, you know them ribbon stickers? Because they they're they in one of them bundles, aren't they? Look at these, they're well cute. And that because they're in the same bundle that you get your washy ones, aren't they? Look, look, look at these. How cute are these? So with these, oh, I can use it in my new planner. So you've got your new beautiful planner. And you can just, I mean, to be fair, you're going to be using these just because they look pretty. But you could actually, you know, when you don't need your pages anymore, you could actually put them on your, your pages when you're not using your pages. Do you know what I mean? Or, of course, you could put, the, the, at the end of the day, they're really, really pretty paper clips. So you could put, um, obviously, if you've got uh, bills, if you've got receipts, if you've got something you need to do, you can always put that there. Maybe, now we can all go, you know, the theatre and stuff like that again. Maybe it's theatre tickets, you can put them there. You know what I mean? So it's just real handy, but at the end of the day, they just look really pretty. Um, a quarter of the stock of that bundle's gone, and I need to show you this. The washi tape stickers in that bundle, These these are lovely, really lovely. I was gutted last time because I thought they were going to be on last time short and they weren't. Um, but honestly, these are so pretty. So they're, they're washi tape, but of course on a strip instead. And they just, let me just see. I don't. I, I need to keep my page nice. It's one of them when, when you're demoing, Happy Planner, you want to demo it, but you also everything has to work so you can't just stick your sticker in because it all has to go properly you know what i mean it's like oh, yeah but i need it i need it to be beautiful but 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 look they're just even these tiny little stickers just be careful how you rip them off make sure you get the the actual sticker not the paper underneath got you so got that one and then because that gold will match beautifully with this gold here see oh that's oh oh this is when you have your guide you see and don't do what i'm doing there 
<laughs> I love it. I love it. I, I've used the tiniest. This I get so very particular with my planner. You know, it's I, and the other thing you'll get particular. I haven't brought my scissors, but can you see this leftover bit? Oh, there's one here. This is the leftover bit of the washer. You'll even use a leftover. So I can't quite get it off the backing sheet. But that bit there, I will get it because I'm stubborn. See, see, see. So you'll use the leftover of your washer as well. All the scraps, all the scraps. Because that, that's another, that's a bit of a cracker is that one. I don't, I can't use it on that because it doesn't fit and I'm not doing. But um, if you want that bundle, half of the stock has gone. Oh, I'm so pleased we've got that. It's a cracking little bundle. Um, one of the other bundles that we've got that I noticed were the other stickers, which are these ones, aren't they? These are really cool. So let me just find something. There we go. That's my lovely cover. Look at that cover. I mean, you could put a sticker on that cover, but I'm not going to. It's lovely. See, these are gorgeous because these are dimensional stickers which are really, really pretty. So you've got dimensional stickers in here. So happiness is you and me. You are my sunshine, love. You rock my world. Um, oh, a true friend is always there for you. These are gonna be beautiful in your in your books, but they're great for card makers as well, are these ones. And then you've got some of these big stickers. I really like these. Obviously, I've started using mine already, but the big stickers are lovely. And I think those are in that bundle as well, but I know I saw the big dream one um so yes and the the uh, the smile i love this one i think that's really cool you know your little photograph one i think that's absolutely beautiful and that one's in there as well really really nice if you do want to get hold of that sticker bundle it's a cracking price a really good deal you've got the whole lot there for just 18.42 that is saving 11 pounds and your item number is 499703 um now our lovely Shaw said, you what, love? Okay, so funnily enough, I've got one right next to me. So these are the little pens that are in there as well. So let me just make sure I'm using it the right way. So you'll have your little refills, like a show. And that one, can you see, that's the design. There we go. So I just need to remember which way around I'm using it, because I can't remember. So yeah, it's like a tape pen, but look. Ta-da! So you get, yay. so it almost looks like, um, it almost looks like washy, doesn't it? It's really, really cool. Easy to change it as well. So you just pop that out, pop that back in again, like so. And that will just bob in. Hoping I'm doing this right, because you know me, don't read it. Yeah, that's right. And then, oh, that's right, of course. So you pop the little thing out. Oh, that's it. So you pop the little thing out and then... Roll it. Have I done it right? Uh oh. Yay! There it is. Isn't that good? That one you see, that one will match my planner. Well, that one. I don't, because you, you need it to, you need it to match. I'm not going to talk. Oh, 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 I've broken it. Broken it. I quite like that. I'm leaving it. I'm not going to faff. She wants to faff. Don't faff, Leone. Don't faff. I like that it does that. I didn't know that. Isn't that cool? I didn't know that. I mean, I should have read the instructions. I didn't realise that. Um, they're quite cool of them. I do need to have a play with that now, don't I? I like that line, though. I think it looks really cool. Uh, Two-thirds of the stock has gone. If you do want to get hold of those, two-thirds of the stock has gone. So, um, my new plan, that's sold out then, hasn't it? I'll just take... <sighs> That's so satisfying. Um, okay, actually, someone didn't check out the baskets in time. So we have got one of my planner left. So if you do want, <laughs> if you want my planner, um, then you can get hold of this one now. Uh, the reason I love it is this dashboard. Well, I love this. I love the lines. I think that's really nice. But I do like, um, I do like that. I think that's a beautiful layout. Really interesting as well. I can't wait to get um, get stuck in with this one. Obviously, something like this, it's up to you where you put your stickers. I, I like this top bit because I can go mad with the stickers. See, I might just have the top bit full of stickers and then do my list. Depends what's happening on that day, though. You know, it depends how you decide to use them. Um, the beautiful thing about this is it's yours. You do what you want. You know, you do you. Um, so if you do want to get hold of this, please check your basket. I know because we've only got one left, 
Um, oh, it's all back in baskets. Check your baskets out. Oh, it's lovely. Just check your baskets out. It's funny because you want to get writing in it. Um, you know, you want to start making your mark in it already, even though it's brand, brand new. OK, so photos. So this is a beautiful photo album, and I love this. I think it's fabulous. Um, I tell you what as well, I've put my photos, I did get them out actually, let me just find them. So I've got all my photographs, but I was keeping my photographs in one of the pockets. Where did I put my pockets? So, there we go. So you've got your beautiful pockets, and some of these pockets are going to fit your photographs. So if you've printed your photographs off um, small, because you want to going to print them off at different sizes to go in your book, see? So I've got lots of different sizes, but it means, I think even this size will go in here as well. Oh no, that one won't do. But no, that one's a bit too big. So it's just my little ones that are going to go in my pockets. And I think that's really handy because these pockets will fit not just your planners. Obviously, they are going to fit in the photo album as well. So in your, your memory keepers. And I, I think, oh, there you go. There it is. My pocket is there ready. Um, oh, obviously. Um, see, organised. And I, look, I, isn't it genius? Isn't it fabulous? It, they, they so think about it. Anyway, mine. So I've actually put some of the extension pack in here. This is my, because I've got one of the pockets as well. So it means my bigger photographs, I can pop my um, my bigger photos in there. So I've, that's from the extension pack that they had. Um, but this is the actual album that you're getting. And it's just exquisite. What I love about this are, the again, the prompts. So it's going to take you through. See, I love this because it's proper retro and cool. It's going to take you through and it's going to give you the, the sizes. You don't ne need to stick to the sizes, obviously. This is up to you. Um, but, and this, this is actually the cardstock. So that cardstock, the, the extension pack again, that's the cardstock. Um, look at little Charlie. He's in his face. You just want to squidge him. You're only five. Oh, um, but... Oh, his little haircut is so... Oh, my haircut. Yeah, my hair. Look at that. I know, right? Sheesh. Right before lockdown. Um, um, now, on this one. So, you can see you've got loads and loads of spaces. I'd really like it because it really is encouraging you to put your photographs in, but then it's all your journaling. So, you're remembering everything. Write down your stories, write down your memories. And <clears throat> this is something I was chatting about the other day because I'm trying to get rid of stuff now because I'm trying to downsize. But I have real trouble getting rid of stuff because of the memories. You know, I hold on to things because they mean so much. And I've decided to take photographs, put them in my photo journal and then write the memories. And then let go of the physical thing because I don't need... 500 enemies so get rid of those but do the do the photos apart from the nirvana ones they're staying for a bit but do the photographs still can't let go of some things um but i think it's a really good way of being able to to declutter pass things on to people who are really collectors and will really appreciate it and give me a bit of space but keep the memories so that's what i'm doing and this is lovely so You've got your dividers, of course, so it's up to you. So this one is going to be, when I finish it off, this is going to be when we went to the Budapest. Um, our Rachel and our Jackie, and I talked about our Jackie last time because Jackie's on proper telly. <laughs> Jackie's on proper telly. Well, she does one of the breakfast shows. She does the, um, what are the other ones our Jackie does now, Yanis? She does the um, the makeover show where she gets stuff out at Skip and actually makes it over. And then she does a house show as well now, does our Jackie? I'm telling you. And her brother is in Thingy. <laughs> yeah, I've forgotten what it's called. It'll come back to me. Submarine one. Vigil. Her brother's in there. It's the captain. There you go, that's our Jackie. She's my mate. I know Jackie. <laughs> huh? Yeah? It's great. I love it. Every t literally every time I show that photo, I bang on about Jackie being my mate. Terrible. T I tell you, if I knew an A-list dude, it'd be horrendous with this show. And it'd be just the photograph. Anyway, um, so what you do with this, I mean, it is easy. Um, let's see what photographs, Crick show, dogs, 
But so this one is um, when I went away for the weekend. Did I go to the boat show that weekend? I did. So I can put it in this one. So when you're sticking these down, and these ones I haven't completely stuck down yet, um, this is when you use your stickers or your washi tape because um, me and my big ideas, who, of course, I say, oh, it's limited stock. Oh, that happy hour bundle is limited stock, so please check your baskets out. Um, me and my big ideas, who basically, um, uh, the happy planner, that's the, the company, basically. They were me and my big ideas, and then they brought in the planners. Um, they used to do the stickers, and they still do the stickers. The stickers were always um, photo safe because they were for scrapbooks, and that's what I love about these stickers. So you can use them for your wonderful um, memory books. So you don't, you know, if you're worried about how to stick things down, get your stickers out. Use your stickers because things like this, you don't need to worry about it. It's like, oh, okay, I can just use my stickers. Unfortunately, I don't know which ones I use, so I'm going to have to use different ones. So. All you're doing is just deciding where you want to actually place your sticker. You're having to think about your sticker, but you're also anchoring that photograph down as well. So it allows you to, to do two things. Not only are you decorating, but you're also being quite practical because you are actually sticking down the photograph as well. I mean, I remember this one. This one was quite funny because um, Lola refused to walk. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> It was horrendous. I had to carry it. And this had been at the end of a very long walk. And it were really, at the other side of this, a really steep bank with loads of nettles and everything. And Lola went, in fact, it's here, really. And Lola was like, yeah, I'm not going to walk anymore. So we were like, brilliant. <laughs> oh, well, it's OK. I can carry it. I can carry it. Um, that happy hour bundle, that has technically gone. Um, obviously, if you do want something, you know what to do, but that has technically gone. Um, let's put adventure on this one, because I think it was a bit of an adventure. So I'm going to adventure on the bottom like this, um, which is lovely. I'm not, I thought these were from that other bundle, but I think they're from the Mega Sticker. I'm not 100% sure, though, but I think they're the Mega Sticker bundle. I like them. I think they're really cool as well. So that's how you can stick your stickers in. Let's have a look at, sorry, your photographs in. So, again, uh, keep your... Let's just have a see now. Where am I going with that one? So that was the one's going to be Days Out We Are, Charlie. And then this one is just going to be photographs isn't it beautiful that's um the tree near where i live at the minute and this is just going to be because i take five million photographs of just you know just things just nature just pretty things so that one was going to be my nature one obviously then i haven't sorted my photographs because this is kind of um just throwing it in really so now it's trying to find have i got any nature ones Oh, look, um, I've got, a, yeah, I've got a little printer, actually, so I print my own off um, or just send them off as well. It's nice being able to do both. It's nice being able, um, if you've got your own printer, that's great because you can just, you know, when you, you want to um, just have a, it's like, oh, yeah, I've got that photo. I want to stick that one in so you can print off straight away. But if you're ahead of yourself, you can get them all sent off and get them printed, which is really handy. So, oh, I've only got 10 minutes. So let's have a little look-see. So, so that weekend, was it that weekend? It was that weekend. So that weekend I did the vegan show and I did my boat show. So it were all the same weekend. As usual, you can move your pages. So you can if you want to. So say I'm decorating that page, but it doesn't follow after that. It's okay, because as long as I don't put the... You know, as long as I leave that blank, I can move the page. So it's not a it's not a big deal. Um, so say I want to put this on because this was a crick show. OK, I have already punched this, so I'd trim that off, but I haven't got my trimmer with me. But that's OK. So let's find some more um, stickers. See, even your big stickers you can use. You know, you can eat, and I love that. See, living the dream. Boat show, living the dream. Should be that set way up, really. So that's going to go there. So I've got good times and then living the dream. So what I'm going to do, because I'm, use your stickers practically. So make sure that sticker is anchoring down to your photographs. So plan it. Plan where you're putting it. Do you want to cover this bit up? No, because that bit is the bit that I'm looking at. So it'd be daft to put a sticker on it, Leona, not self. So you put it on this bit. I know I'm not bothered about covering the, the sky, so that's okay. So, 
And I do like this again because it's not just sticking your photographs in. You're thinking about it. You're you're creating. You know, you're you you're making something beautiful and original, and it's yours again. And also, it's thinking. You know, you're taking yourself. You're taking yourself out of out of everyday life and just getting these um, these beautiful photos down. And it's so nice to actually look through and see your photographs as well. So with this one, oh yes, sorry, I didn't tell you that. Uh, the watercolour ones. Now, this is such a pretty palette again. There's some really nice stickers in here. I am taking my time. I'm looking at the stickers properly before I, I decide what I'm going to use. Because I do, as ever, I do like it to, to be balanced. You know, you want it to look pretty. You want it to be proper. So just have a little look through. You'll find, when it comes to your photographs, these are really handy. Because they're plain stickers, they're, they're super, and these ones, they're super at actually being anchors, but then building on on top of so for instance you could if you took one of these so you're gonna have that as your little corner piece like that or you could cut it down oh I didn't bring scissors that's frustrating isn't it I chop that down and have a corner piece quite frankly in fact I'm, I'm not even gonna put it on because I'm too obsessed with not having it I want it as a corner piece um, I've been seeing if you can get me some scissors because because you, you, you can't, if you, it's in your head that that's what you have to do, you have to do it. Otherwise, it's like, oh, no, that'll bug me. Um, now, what's on this one? See, these are quite pretty. We've got a few different bits and bobs. With something like this, when you can't see what's on it, if you take that off, you'll be able to see the stickers in. Got in it. So just taking that and look, look, there's little stickers there. And they start coming through. I won't do the whole thing for now because I know we haven't got tons of time. And Yanis will, we'd need to have a bit of a, of a Yanis, don't we? Scissors! Thanking you! Right, look, look, look. I'll just stick this on and then I'll let Yanis do a bit of a rem reminder. Where's it gone? Where's the sticker gone? There it is. So, with these ones, cut your corners. Don't rip them out first. You can see them better if you leave them in situ. And then, boom. So you're making your own little photo corners, which are really cool, aren't they? So then I can have one there, and then one at the other side that matches. See, like that. And I'm just making sure they line up properly, like so. Aren't they cool? And then obviously you build on it. So you've got like little circles. So you end up putting your little circles on here. And it's just playing now, but it's making your page look pretty. It's making it about the photos, but also you're using those gorgeous stickers. So it's it's something that's it's more than just photographs. It's also something really creative and really gorgeous to look at. You know, when you look at this, it's it's oh, a full experience, which I absolutely adore. Now, shall I carry on playing and our Yanis? Um, it's just there, love. Oh, Yanis could actually say something rather than it just being me babbling on. Oh, I, I didn't know where I was going to get on air this hour. <laughs> um, I thought I'd better let you have a, have a look in. The team said, come and have a chinwag. I didn't know whether they meant here or I was going to go to the gallery <laughs> and sit down with everyone in there. I thought, I just know I'm going to have a watch. Um, we have been very, very busy and you can see why. And we were talking about this before, but there is a sense of community with the Happy Planner. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, there is the um, the UK Happy Planner group, mm -hmm. um, UK Happy Planner Addicts. So have a look on there on Facebook. Yes. But Happy Planner itself have, um, I mean, they've got YouTube. It's interesting, actually, because there's people and I, need, I tried to film one myself this morning huh. um, at six o'clock this morning and literally just flicking through planners mm. before they've even been decorated. Yeah. I mean, there, there is a community. They are lovely, lovely planners. Mm. I, I know I mentioned this earlier on, but it's always a really good sign when a lot of the team here buy a product. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So many of the team have jumped on the happy bandwagon. Uh, the wagon. The happy, the happy bandwagon. Ban happy bandwagon. Hey, we'll just go with the happy bandwagon. Uh, Fiona is <laughs> yeah, the latest alumni. Fiona's the latest and she was loving yeah. it. She took her home to Scott and it like, da, 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 look what I got. <laughs> what, what is it about the happy planet? Because they, I think they get it right, don't they? Yeah, there's a few things for me. The disc system for me is yeah. big, because I'm not. I, I've never even as a kid the the the, the ones that go clink. I don't because yeah, yeah. 
because I get nervous opening them and fingers? shutting them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, fingers. So uh, this system is genius mm. um, because all of them interact. Yeah. You can, you know, you can mix and match them. So it allows you to personalize the whole mm. system. Yeah. This is what you want it to be. I also think the design is beautiful. They've mm. nailed design. I mean, let's face yeah. it, me and my big ideas have been around for years. When I first started the craft industry, when I worked at Dawn's shop a long time ago, we used to sell me and my big idea stickers yeah. and oh my gosh beautiful stickers yeah. so they've been around for a long time and this is just a natural progression mm -hmm. but all that style that skill that craft they brought it to happy planner yeah. and they've done it well they they look good but i like the prompts because the prompts are things that you don't necessarily think of mm. but um <clears throat> especially the ones that are you know what did you do that were good today and stuff like that and i heard this at the start mm. of the show and you you so it's such a good point here, and just to reiterate, if you missed it, when you're saying, what have you achieved? Yeah. You're talking about what have you achieved? Doesn't, you don't have to change the world. You don't have to write, I, I, I finished my novel, or I, no. It could be something as simple as washing your car. By the way, Leone, I've got to say, I don't think putting shampoo on the top of your car when it rains will make much of a difference. I'm just saying, I, you, if it does, please tell me, because then everyone's going to be rain, doing it. You know, it comes, it's a lot of rain. I've got a lot of rain. I'm Look, absolutely going to try it. It'd be hilarious. Please Stop. tell me. Look outside and see me sooty car. Do you know what would be, be a good test? Everyone, you'll know other people who watch the craft <laughs> store. Because if you just see people outside the night before heavy rain pouring <laughs> shampoo on their cup, yeah, they will. <laughs> they watch Leone. It'd be well for them. I mean, they'd have a shiny roof. Yeah, well, you would. <laughs> you would. Yeah, I can imagine you selling your idea. It's a good, it's a good idea. <laughs> but the point with the happy planning, you can structure. And it's nice because we've all had, not to harp on about it, it's been a rotten sort of, what, a year and a half. Yeah. We need stuff to look forward to. So it's yeah. being able to plan, it's that aspiration, looking ahead to brighter times, but even just planning your life. Everyone needs to plan. We've got enough time. You gotta tell your story today because you really made me laugh. So you had a happy planner show, which is all about being organized and planning. What did you do this morning? <laughs> I've forgotten I've had a I forgot I had a show. Yeah. I, I only realized I had a show. This is terrible. I only realized I had a show because yesterday I'm in Bowler in the pub. And um, I, for some reason I had we we call them poem sheets where we there we have the list of the products. My phone died. And I had that in my, my bag, and I yeah. thought, oh, I'll have a look at that now while I'm sat in the pub, and I realised what time my show was. And not only that, this morning you were listening, what were you listening <gasps> to the radio? And then this morning yeah. I was listening to the radio, but I paused it, because I listened to the radio before while I'm getting ready. I paused the radio, I pressed play, but I forgot it had it went it's from the time it played yeah. from when I paused it. So I thought it was only half past. Oh no, ten to. And I still had to walk the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I lost 20 minutes of my life. The quickest walk they've Happy ever had. Happy planning. Like, literally out the, out the door, straight back in. There you go. Uh, unfortunately, time has beaten us. I really hope you've enjoyed the hour as much as we have. Uh, I feel I've earned my money this hour. Worked hard. You've done well, well Yannis. I need a cup of tea. It's been a tough <laughs> can hour. I, can I tell you something else we have for plans in the last few seconds? When you get them, they're a joy. Yeah. And I think that for me, when we first, the first planner shows were at the beginning of lockdown. Yeah. And I thought, how do we do happy planner shows? It's been, no anything. one's got a life. Yeah. But, but the whole thing of putting stickers in a book is joyful. Joy. You see it on it's, your face. Oh, I love it. And the stickers yeah. are gorgeous. And think with Leone, if she loves something, you see it. <laughs> it's if she doesn't, obvious. you see it. Uh, <laughs> Leone, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for your time. Plenty more coming up here at the Craft Store. Well, we've got the newest addition to the Craft Store family. Richard is up next, and he's joined by a family favourite, our Catherine and her sugar buttons. After that, Pretty Gets Gritty, Lynette will be here, and then Crafts 2, One Day Special. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue, and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I 
I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue. Hi, I'm Anthea. Uh, I'm from Quilting Antics. Quilting Antics started around 2011, 2012, I'm never really sure. At one point we nearly became the cushion company because we churned out so many different cushions. But we'll do bags, we'll do cushions, we'll do book covers, we'll do things for your sewing room, anything. If it pops into our head and we can physically make it, then we'll go for it. As I say, the buzzword is all about fun for us. On our shows we always like to have lots of fun, there's always lots of laughter and hopefully you'll learn a few things that you didn't know along the way. So don't miss the Quilting Antics shows! Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Good afternoon, it's Richard here on the Craft Store. Hello! Um, wow, another exciting hour for me, another exciting day, a voyage, another voyage of discovery. Literally, everything I'm seeing is for the first time. Everything. Uh, I've been wheeled in and I'm looking at this and what a fantastic array it is and who's behind all of this? Well, blow me down, if it isn't actually Catherine, who I thought was a presenter, turns out she's actually a crafter as well. Hi, Catherine. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet, Richard. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. OK, so, <laughs> Ka Catherine, um, great to have you on the hour with me. Thank you very um, much. And I, I, I did tune in this morning, actually, and I saw you sold straight out of those dolls. Fantastic look. Lovely looking dolls. Oh, I've got a sorry to say, because I had lots of messages about the dolls, saying, when are they back? We missed out. We had, you know, we thought we'd got them in our basket. We weren't quick enough. They will be back. What it is, I have to secure the yarn from the supplier. I can't say I can give more until I know I've got the stuff. So it's the supplier's fault. We blame the supplier at all times. Yeah, and I do work here as a presenter as well, as you've so kindly yes. pointed out. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's a busy time. Well, you were on on Friday. I, I go away for the weekend, <laughs> I come back, and all I of a sudden you're in the guest seat. What's I going know. on? You'll be on cameras I next. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you never know. So this is your this is your business then. This is your company, Sugar Buttons. It, it is. Tell now, me about it. Lots of people do know the background, but lots of people won't as well. Yeah. So Sugar Buttons first evolved in 2012 as a paper craft kit. Mm -hmm. um, yes, it launched on TV. Obviously, we were existing there, so it wasn't here. But yeah, it was a paper craft kit, and we did rubber stamps as well. Well, polymer stamps. Um, that was very successful. Then I kind of got involved with another company and started designing molds okay. under the Sugar Buttons brand and they still exist today. That company isn't actually here with us but they do exist. We still make sales with the Sugar Button molds. So really Sugar Buttons could be anything and I kind of fell into the crochet by accident and that was by being a presenter here because mm. I had one of the happy hours with the yarn and the books and there was crochet books on there and I thought, Do you know, I've dabbled in this a little bit in my time but I didn't oh, really wow, take to it. because you were on this and you'd, you'd yeah. never done crochet yeah, properly I before. didn't really take to it the first time That's round amazing. and then I thought, Do you know, as I'm going down the counter, I might as well just have a little go. And I really enjoyed it, so I went away and continued and thought, do I really find this quite therapeutic? And yeah. it, it de-stresses me when I'm feeling a bit stressed. And I wonder if I could do sugar buttons, not really expecting it would happen. Yeah. And lo and behold, well, here we are. So what you're saying is, Catherine, by the time I get to the end of the counter, I'll have my own range of dolls. Is that what it is? Because we're like, you, oh, I'm, I'm into this. It. Hang on, hang on. Yep, I'm there. Um, I was talking to you this about this earlier, and this I, I love this because they're, they're, it's not just a, a beginner's uh, crochet pattern because it could be anything you were making. It's yeah. making something that would be a fantastic gift for, for children, for, for anybody yeah. really, but it's also something that it's almost like a collectible aspect to it and mix, mixing and matching the outfits. 
And I just, I know, I was saying to you, you'll, you'll, you'll have your own Netflix series soon, <laughs> won't you? Because they'll, they'll want to make their own franchise. There'll be movie spin-offs. There'll be the T-shirts. The whole, the whole. You work. never know. There could be children's books. Who knows where it will lead? Yeah. Sugar Button's character could be anything. And you, you, you actually warned me as well that you were going to make one of me, which I don't know. Is that a warning or is that a promise? Is that, what is that, a threat? If or? I've got permission, you will see a Richard doll. Should I give permission? Let me know. Please email in. I know nothing about this. Maybe I'd be making a massive mistake by saying yes. Is this the sort of thing you could just have in the studio, just stabbing with a, with a needle thing whenever I was messing up? Do you know, if, if I get permission, yep. if, there's, if you've got any sort of hobbies or sports or anything like that, you say, I try and work something of your personality into the doll. So you'd could have to Could it be propping up know. a bar, holding a bottle that, of spirits? That could, that's achievable. Okay, that might work. That's achievable. Um, thanks, Catherine. Let's have a little look at what you have <laughs> on offer today here. So the Sugar Buttons range, obviously, with a little less than we have this morning because it's been that busy. But we do still have some of these. The Sugar Buttons Unicorn Crochet Kit. You get the yarn, the stuffing, the accessories and the pattern, of course, and you have three options to choose from. Halloween, uh, this is the one we're looking at here because what we've done is we've... Um, put the witch's hat on top of the unicorn here. That comes as a separate pattern that comes with it. Uh, we also have uh, lemon drop as well is another one. And midnight, actually, I think I have, I do have those colors. Here's, so we can see the colors. Presumably that's lemon drop. That's lemon there, drop. The, and this one here is midnight. So yeah. there are three different options for the color scheme, but the same pattern unicorn. Yeah, yes. it's the same. You'll be getting yeah. exactly the what you're seeing in front of you here. And just to make it totally clear as well, the unicorn. You can pick that one up as well, Rich, if okay, you like, you. because you can show the tail and the mane. Take the hat oh, off well. if you like. I don't mind. Oh well, I like if the way the hat so, goes yeah, over it's got the, a uh, hole where the horn goes over through. the horn. I like that. Like nice touch. There we now, go. Now this was sherbet. Sherbet um, was the best-selling color, but unfortunately, the pink yarn that was used is discontinued. So I can't oh. bring sherbet back. That's why I keep introducing new colours. Well, they just decided one day, no, we're not doing pink anymore. They did, unfortunately. Forget pink. So, that's so yeah. yesterday. It's all about, you know, it's all about orange yeah. and, and black now. Well, the orange and black, of course, is from the Halloween one. Yeah. So if you are going for the Halloween kit, that's the colour yarn you will get to make those curls. I do like that, actually. That is You get good. all of the stuffing, you get the eyes, the eyelashes, the full pattern, of course. Um, and yes, and if you are going for the Halloween option, you do get the extra bonus pattern for the hat. And does it come, it comes with instructions? Yes. Yeah. But if you don't have, if you can't, if you're not following that very well, is it, is it quite easy to sort of look online as to how to get into the basics of what you're doing? There is loads yeah. and loads of help online. And also yeah. I've got a group on Facebook, which is Get Hooked With Sugar Buttons. So you can always contact us that way. And if I'm not available, if I'm busy, if you put a question on the page, usually somebody else will answer for you as well. Great. So I just went into my sort of puppetry days. <laughs> Not that I had any puppetry days, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, so there you go, $23.99 for that. That's one seven nine four six nine for Catherine's fantastic unicorn crochet kit. There are three options to choose from, remember. We have the Halloween one, which uh, you get the, the witch's hat. and pop that on, back on top of it. Does the unicorn have a name by any chance? That one was sure, but the one that you've got there, the Halloween so, one is just Halloween, so you can give it its own name. Ne that needs a bit Lemon more work, I think, Catherine. the other two options. Yeah, Halloween... Unicorn needs a maybe different name. Yeah, Next well, time. we're open to suggestions. Have a look. Pumpkin. There Brilliant. We there we go. Thank you. Just sign me up. <laughs> uh, one seven nine four six nine is the item number. Okay, moving along, we have and I this. This is brilliant. This is brilliant because I was thinking, what 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 is this? First of all, it's a fantastic uh, character, um, but. The glasses are not included, I should say, but the glasses are an important feature here because the reason we have the glasses is because this is a glasses holder. It is. Which <laughs> is speaking my language because as I was just saying to you a few minutes ago before we did the, uh, started, went on air, Catherine, I've just started wearing glasses recently, oh my God, and th well, this, this proves it. I can't put them on to save my life, so let me just use well, these on, as an example. Well, crazy head, the way yeah. it's been designed, they are meant to be lopsided. His ears are lopsided, his eyes are lopsided, but if you want to put them straight, you can do, and you get loads of yarn for the hair, so it could be a female, it could be a male, it could have long hair, short hair. Be because this is how I actually <laughs> wear glasses, because I put them on and no one tells me, so I stand there, yeah, yeah, looking, feeling, feeling good about my glasses, and then eventually someone just goes, you just need to 
straighten those up a little bit because you look like an idiot. Crazy head was um, meant for you then. Yeah, Richard. exactly. This will yeah. actually be perfect for me. <laughs> and we've got have we got different uh, colours for this, or is it is it what we're seeing here is what we get? Crazy, we have different it, options. The colours that you see there, what you get in the kit, but yep. you can change it around however, however you wish. And then we've got, oh, we haven't got many of these left. I don't think the gnome at the bottom there. You can switch the glasses over if you want. And put them on the gnome so we can see how it looks. So we glasses like. will hold your sunglasses and everything. Um, <laughs> you see, I told you I've got Whether you want them one. lopsided or not, yeah. there he is. And his hat does come off. Oh, should we try that? I do like these. He hasn't got much hair under there. <laughs> but you get more than enough yarn. They're like little tea poses, aren't they, almost? Yeah. Like, if I you want to put lots of hair on the gnome, you can do. So you get tons of yarn to do that. Full of characters there, crazy heads. They're like those bobble heads a little bit, aren't they? <laughs> um, one of these is sold out. Which one's... The, the, the gnome is technically sold out. There you go, already. So... See you later, Gnome. There's no, there's no place like Gnome. Shall I, <laughs> shall I boot them off the counter? Uh, there's no place the like Gnome, love it. I'll leave them for the moment. OK, so you've got a stay of execution there. Um, we've still got Crazy Head, though, still available. It's like the younger version of the Gnome, isn't it? It's like these fresh-faced, <laughs> youthful it, it days. Is, but again, if you, because you get so much yarn in there, if you want to turn it into a Gnome yourself, you could do. You can True enough. Extra, almost like you could know, add the beard. You've got the, the basic face yeah. here, and you could just add whatever you wanted yeah. to. And, change the position or, of the yeah. eyes, change the expression. It's entirely up to you. Colour of the hair. I mean, that is such a, a sort of generic look that you could change the hair to suit the person you're giving it to exactly. so it could you know you could put dreadlocks in you could put very little hair that's, you can make you know, bold. That's you exactly could, yeah. what why i give the materials yeah. i do because i want everybody to put their own stamp on things yeah i love it thank you very much catherine 862893 is the item number for that it's the sugar buttons whimsical glasses holder and that crazy head still available although the gnome has gone uh Right, the lights are on, but no one's gnome. No, I'll just stop with the gnome puns. It's not happening. OK, let's move on now into the middle of our counter here. We've got the Sugar Buttons Pocket Pals Crochet Kit. This is 24 99 It's all on extended delivery because presumably it's been very popular. Uh, it's because I'm at work. Ah, so... <laughs> so I'm not at home. To so you, should, you need to go home right now, I and then we, we don't have to have it on extended well, delivery. I won't get the orders through until tomorrow, but okay. then, yeah, it's... Yeah, busy, busy, busy. Dispatch from the 30th, I'm yes. being told. OK, yeah. so uh, on extended delivery, but 346163. It's not long, really, is it, at the end of the day? 30th, what is that? It's just a few days away. Uh, two options for you on this one. We've got the black and white ones you can see here. And we have white and brown, which I believe, yes, I do. There you go. White and brown. That's the colours for white and brown. Now, you'll uh, notice in there, Richard, there's a little bit of green yarn as well. Oh, yeah. And you'll notice the name says Pocket Pals. Well, our little dog did have a friend in his pocket. Oh. But he's wiggled away. Oh, uh, it, was it was a caterpillar. A, a caterpillar. Oh, that's good, because I thought for a second it might have been something coming out of his nose. <laughs> <laughs> so what is that? <laughs> uh, oh, we've got a picture. Let's have a look at the caterpillar. Let's have a little... There, there you go. The so what happened to the caterpillar, Catherine? <laughs> Do you know, they get moved around so far. It's somewhere around. It's probably still somewhere in the studio. It's crawled off somewhere. It's, it's escaped. If we see the caterpillar, could somebody <laughs> return it, please, to Catherine? It's going to turn up in some really bizarre hour that I'm doing in probably, about five weeks' time. Probably. Like, oh, so that's where yeah. it got to. Uh, 24 99 for this. 346-163. Black and white is already on limited here, so... Only 10% of the stock left on this one. Feel free to pick him up as well, Richard, because... Do you know, he's, the yarn is so soft and cuddly as well. And look, look at his legs. Oh. He's got nice long legs. It's like me. Um, I've got long legs. And his tail as well, of course. I haven't got a tail. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I've got, the rest of it's like me. Um, oh, I like it. Little rosy cheeks as well. And all of this comes with the bobble eyes and... Yes, you yeah. get all the accessories with it, with it as well. And how long does it take to make something like this for, for, for your average crochet <laughs> beginner? I would say you'd probably do that over a couple of days, that oh, one. Okay. If, you start, if you start for a few hours each day, you'd get that finished. Yeah. And so it's quite can, an enjoyable process. You can make it last as long as you like, but if you really want to get something finished, then yeah. just stick at it and uh, you'll be surprised how quickly some of these come together. I, I just love the idea that you get to, to make it, which is a pleasure in itself, and then you get to gift it to somebody, yeah. and, it's almost, and also you've taking care of Christmas or a birthday, like you've, it's just ticked a lot of boxes, hasn't it? It, it has, and also the packaging now yeah. as well. Once you've made the item, use the organza bag to gift, if you are gifting it as well, or you can keep it to keep all your scraps of yarn in. Yeah, OK, there you go, 24 346 uh, Black and white is now technically sold out. Bye-bye. Um, we haven't got a brown <laughs> and white one, have we? 
That's Joe, the if you problem, get the yarn it? out of the bag, so you can see the colours, of, it's kind of a dark brown with the speckled brown. Oh, let's have a um, little look. For that kit. OK. Oh, we did yes. have a lighter brown version out before. So this you'd be is a getting, darker one. You'd be getting the same thing that we just technically sold out of, but, but brown instead, which is which yeah. is nice, just a yeah, different colour. exactly the same pattern. So all of the ingredients, as I say, in there. I found it. You got a little bag with all the accessories. Yeah, the caterpillar doesn't I look found, very caterpillar-like. I, I found the caterpillar. There you go. <laughs> so all that, you get the stuffing with it as well. As you can see here, it comes in a nice little bag, collects it all together, and uh, it comes with the instructions, which I can show you here as well. Full instructions inside. There are uh, images at the back as well. Yeah. There are, there are pictures at the back, yeah? Yep. Excellent. Thank you very much, Catherine. 346163 for that. I am going to bring our little doggy back up again because I just like him. Um, although he has technically gone. The black and white version. Brown and white, still available. Okay, moving on. We have our whimsical snail crochet kit. Um, now, this is 19.99. We have two colour options here. This is new today as well, isn't it, Catherine? Yeah, two new colours. The snail has been very, very popular. If your tension of your crochet isn't too loose, you can actually get two snails out of that kit. So this um, is the... is this the multi... Earth? That's the, that's, no. no the, that was one of the original colours that we haven't got on today. So the uh -huh. two, you've got the brand new colours. I've got it. So this is, is this the multi-earth or is this the multi-bright? That's the multi-earth. Multi-earth, there we go. That's, that's the colour scheme there. As well. that so we just, pop that oh, next to... Oh, it works together beautifully. Oh, there you go. You get, the, uh, you get the general gist of what that would look like. And then we have the multi-bright yeah. there. That's... Continuing with the Sugar Button Saga as well, there will be friends joining the snail soon. Oh, really? Mm. Do tell. Let me guess. Hmm. A uh, giant... Uh, a rabbit? No, no. It's, got, it's similar to a snail, right? Might be something kind of fairy-like. Mm, butterfly? Toastally. Butterfly? Toadstool? Mm, butterfly mm. may be included as well. OK. Spoiler. It's a butterfly. Uh, 767541, <laughs> 767541 is the item number for that, 1999 for our Whimsical Snail Crochet Kit. Two options, you have the uh, Bright and you have the Earth as well. Those are the two colour options and that's what they look like, those two colour options there. Can so, I just say something yes. as well, Richard? Andrea, I don't know if she's watching, because I know one of our customers, Andrea, and she, she sent me some pictures and put them on the group. Because you can make two snails from the one kit, mm. she put uh, a little top hat on one yep. and a veil on the other and turned oh, them into man. brides and grooms. You wouldn't believe she's had lots of orders from them. That's because brilliant. you can make and sell. As long as you don't copy the patterns, if you create something, you can sell. But do check out all of the standards. The It's important that you check, you know, about selling conditions and yeah. uh, selling I mean, toys. Because there are, if you can make two, it doesn't patterns. have to be husband and wife, does it? It could no, be, it it could be, be just two lovebirds, it could all be yeah. to siblings or to, you yeah. know, to twins perhaps. But, yeah. I mean, if you've got a, a his and hers, you can make one look, you know, more feminine, one, you know, put, add a little something can. on to make the other one yeah. look more masculine. And you can make them face each other as well, or yeah. have back to back. Depends how they're getting on, really, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it does. Uh, <laughs> we've all been there. <laughs> 767541 is the item number there, 1999, uh, for the Sugar Buttons Whimsical Snail Crochet Kit. Now, we move on to a key. So we're shrinking down in size now to a key, to a key ring. It's a crazy, crazy head. Is it whimsical head? I should say key ring crochet kit. It makes three. It's not. Don't be crazy it, about this, Catherine. It, well, there was, actually, it wasn't casting be. aspersions. It, it could be crazy because yeah. again, you've got enough to make three of those. Yeah. And you can do the hair however you wish. So it could be long hair, short hair. Um, as you can see, bunches. It could be crazy hair. You can curl the hair. True enough. You can and we've do got, whatever you wish. We've got different skin tones to, to choose from here. So light, yeah. mid and dark. Do we have all of these still available? Uh, you've got the other couple of kits underneath. So if anybody was watching earlier and saw the dolls that absolutely flew out, they were available in the three different skin tones as well. So this works in the same way. There you go. There's the, uh, the light options gone. So we have the uh, mid option available, the dark option available. And this is what you'll be getting here, the um, whimsical head. Key ring, yep. and this is twelve ninety nine 
Twelve ninety nine. How, how do you see people using this one? I mean, you literally just it would really stand out, wouldn't it? If you're like adding it onto your Add bag, onto your bags, or your... onto your phones, yeah. onto your pencil cases, mm -hmm. just hang them randomly wherever you want, really. But they they're a nice little kit for somebody that's maybe quite new because it's basic stitches. But you've got the fun of doing the hair. But they make lovely little gifts as well if you want to give them to anybody. I think like my daughters would love this. This is the sort of thing for on a school bag or something. Or, exactly. Yeah, I, that's fantastic. how I see, Yeah, school yeah. bags would be Perfect great. Perfect age, maybe like nine, yeah. ten. And if they have a uniform longer. and ribbons in the hair and things, you can make them look like Once again, personalise it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Loving it. Um, seven, uh, sorry, 973-737-1299 is the amount there. That's the item number, 973-737. Now, we've got a couple of other items to show you. On the website, we've got a pattern pick and mix bundle. That's 19.99, and you get to choose any three, choose any uh, any three of that range there. So have a little look through that, and we have uh, elephants, dragons, monkeys, bears, bunnies. The list goes on. How many of those we got in total, roughly? Oh, I think there's about 30 patterns available. Wow. Is, is there? Oh, it's not quite that many yet. I'm not sure. Monkeys, elephants. Yeah, some of them might have sold out. I don't know. But the new one that's been added in is the Bunty, which is the crochet accessory holder, which yeah. previously has been available as kit only. Now she's in the pattern pick and mix. So you don't have to go for the full kit. You can choose your own yards and your own accessories. Can we click on that and have a look at a close-up of Bunty? Or is that... I've got a bunty next oh, to me. Just, I've just completely... Oh, because, you've got one? Yeah, on the oh, pattern this? she's in pink, but I've got the blue version. Oh, let's have a look. So here she is. Even better. There she oh, is. Oh, it's almost as if I queued that up and yeah. we had it all and rehearsed. This is <laughs> another one where you can change your hair. You can do whatever hairstyle you want, but you can see she's got little pockets in her apron so you can put all your crochet hooks and your pins and bits and pieces in there. But obviously not just crochet hooks, you no, can put no. anything in Actually, that, pens, I give, I, Yeah, I anything. gifted one of these with a notebook yeah. and a pen yeah. in it, yeah. Yeah, you can have that, that on someone's desk, can you? An office desk. It's yeah. like, it's so many options, so many things. You know, it's, it's all about using your imagination, isn't it? Of course it and it's is. It's looking at something and going, here's the basic version. What can you add to that to personalise it and make it special to yeah. the person you're giving it to, or to yourself if you're if you're giving it to yourself? Uh, four five two three four zero oh, for that. Uh, pick any three bundle of crochet patterns. And I believe you're going to show us a little something now, Catherine. What have you got? I certainly am now. Because we've had so many sellouts this morning as well, it left me with a little bit less that I could show. But I have had questions on my group. You did say if you get stuck with anything. There was one lady, Julie, I do hope, I think it was Julie, I do hope you're watching. And we've also got the bags on the show. Now, these were very popular last time. I've got all three versions because we only had one sample last time. So these can be changed around as well. If I just pull them all in just to explain. They are all different in the sense of you've got different stitches involved. So this is the Pico bag, the Pico boho. Now you don't have to be fussy with it. You don't have to put all these flowers on and do all the frilly bits. The way I've designed these, Richard, is that there are different stitching techniques in there. So if you've never done certain stitches before, you, you can learn them as you go. And then you can take mm. those techniques and they lend themselves to many other projects. In the kits, you get raffia which is like, it's almost like a little basket at the bottom. Okay. And then you work into the cotton. Now, each different design has a different handle. Some might be longer than others. One's got a wrist strap, one's got a short strap, one's got a slightly longer one. And you get different flowers and embellishments. All of the kits include the yarn, the uh, beads there, the faux suede or leather to put through, to pull it tight at the top, and the full instructions. So that one was the Pico. The lace one is this one, so you can see straight away the stitching is very, very different on there. Mm. So you can see almost like that shell effect. Yeah. And you've got a different frill, you've got different flowers. The flowers are similar, but they are all different. And then we've got the textured one, which is a little bit less open. You know, it's, if you want something less fussy, you don't have to put any of the flowers on. Again, I give you the different sizes to make. So I've just included everything on the sample so you can see what you can achieve. But you can easily make them taller, shorter, do whatever you wish. Now how but, functional are those, uh, Catherine? Are they, are they more decorative bags that you'd only use occasionally? They are very functional, actually. Yeah. yeah, what you could do, if you can sew, you could line with fabric, especially, yeah. I'd say, with the lace one then that would look quite nice because you'd see the fabric so My worry there. would be just get, getting something caught in it and then creating a well, bit of a hole. Well, at the bottom, if I just turn that over so you can see the basket area at the bottom. It's not a basket, but it's made of raffia. Uh, uh, it's, so it's it, kind of like a crochet with... It's a cellulose. Which so it's is like it, it looks from, from a distance like it's lots of holes in it, but actually there isn't at all. It's, uh, there's, an under, there's an under layer. Yeah, yeah. it's what's in there. And the, obviously every time you stitch, 
you will see little gaps in between the stitches. Depending on the stitch, you'll see yeah. bigger, bigger or smaller gaps. Yeah. And this is where tension comes in, because if your tension is loose, you'll see bigger gaps. Mm. So you can definitely line them if you wish, but you don't have to. I know some people are keeping their yarn in them. I've got one, actually. It's a different colorway to this one, but I do use it for everyday use. I put my keys in there, my phone in there, um, and it's got a little wristlet strap so I can keep it tight on my wrist so nobody can sort of snatch it away from me. So you've got the different options. Now with the lace, the lady that actually posted on my page was a little bit stuck on the frill on the lace version. So I thought we'll cover that and we'll try and do one of the flowers as well, at least part of a flower, because the flowers, once you've got one, you'll be able to understand them all. So I'm like you, Richard, I need the glasses as well now. You make me feel up. a lot better, Catherine, thank you. Carry on. <laughs> Unless you put them on correctly. It's like... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, right, okay, so let's have a look at the front. I did make a start because I know it was line number four or round. We're going to call it a round. It's either going to be a row or a round. And there is a difference because a row would mean it's flat and it's straight and you'd work one way, turn your work around and go back the other way. A round is where you create a hoop or a circle or a loop. Now, if I start at the beginning, Obviously, this is a much smaller version than you're going to make for your bag. It tells you on the instructions to chain 84 stitches and then join together to make that loop. I'm not going to do 84 stitches because we'd never get through the demo. So I've done a mini version. I've also completed um, round number two, which I think Julie had done. It's quite straightforward, so we don't need to go over that. Round number three um, forms the little gaps in between everything. If I just unpull a bit just to show you part of that, we don't need to do the whole thing. But basically what you do, um, and this is going to be really alien to you, Richard, if you because you didn't even know what crochet was the other day, I don't think, did you? You weren't uh, sure what I it was. I thought it was something you play on a lawn with some mallets. <laughs> You're nearly hoops. there. You're nearely yeah. there. Yeah, it's close. So, I was quite close. Well, I'm going to talk chain stitch, double crochet, treble crochet. Okay. If you don't know it, it'll sound double dutch. But for those that do, or especially those that have been following the craft along, because we've got so many people on board who have just started, who are now picking up the kits and achieving them very, very easily, they'll understand this. So, um, on number three, we've got chain four stitches, which counts as your first stitch. We've got past that here. You're going to work through it. You're skipping stitches in this row. Now, what you're actually doing, you're making treble crochets, uh, two treble crochets, then a chain, and then you skip. Now, I've started that. So what we've done here, we've got two treble crochets already in place. That's these two taller stitches there. So that's the first part of that line. Then we chain one. So to chain, you just, let me do that slowly, just in case anybody is new to this. So I've got that one little loop on my hook. We pick the yarn up we pull that through the loop and that is a chain stitch that's all it is then it tells you to skip a stitch so you look at the previous round and each stitch looks like it's got a little V at the top so we can see that is the next stitch so we skip that one out and we go to the next one and we go back in with a treble stitch so a treble would be wrap the yarn around the hook you go into the stitch you wrap the yarn around the hook again and pull it through so you've now got three stitches on your hook yarn around through two, yarn around through two. So what you've actually formed there is a little gap in between the cluster of two stitches to the end. Now you start off the row or the round with three chain stitches which acts as a stitch. So when you get to the end, you only do one, but you slip stitch these together. So by slip stitch, all we do, we go into the top of the chain that we did we pull through the yarn and we pull it through both stitches and that closes off the ring and it keeps that pattern neat. So all the way around, if we look, we've got two stitches together, a gap, two stitches together and a gap. So this is the lace frill. All the frills are different. Um, so I'm going to go to round number four now because this is where uh, the lady was stuck. Now what I do in the patterns is I give you the full wording. This is again aimed at beginners. Slip stitch. When you read a pattern, SS means slip stitch. So I give you the actual wording and the abbreviation in brackets. The further you get through the pattern and you get the hang of it, you'll just see the abbreviations. But I always start off giving you both. So it tells you slip stitch to first treble stitch and then chain three stitches. Now it does sound complicated and I think probably 
if it was Julie, she's already confused at that point because she'll think, slip stitch into the, to the first treble, what does that mean? Well, all it is, if we look at the start of the round, this is our first treble stitch, but we've got a gap before it. So we don't want to jump straight across to that stitch. We need to get there. So all we do, we go in to the gap, we pick up the yarn and pull it through, pull it through the loop that's on the hook, and we've basically jumped a step over to our stitch. And then we're ready to go. So that's all that means. Then it tells you to chain three stitches. So a chain is yarn around through. One, two, three. And it tells you that that will make your first stitch. So we've now made the first stitch of our fourth row. And we're in the correct position because we were over here. We're now in the right position. It then tells you make two more trebles in the same stitch. So where I've just been, we're going to make two more trebles. So yarn around into the gap, pick up the yarn, pull it through, yarn through two, yarn through two. So that's one more stitch. So we'll do that again into the same hole. So we've now got essentially three stitches together and it forms a little cluster or sometimes we call it a shell. Then it tells you once you've done that, if we look at the pattern, we've just made the two treble stitches in the same, same stitch. Then it tells you to make three in the next stitch. So we're still keeping with the trebles. So the next stitch is right next door. So we'll do three stitches in there. So exactly the same method. One, two, three. So now what we've ended up with is a shell of six stitches. So you've got three in one stitch, three in the other, but the, because they're close together, it forms almost like a little fan or the shell all together. So if we move to the next bit, it tells you to chain three stitches. So that's simple. We'll do the chain. One, two, three. Skip chain space and proceed as follows. So first of all, before we proceed, Let's find that chain space. There it is from the previous row. Remember, we did the two stitches and we made a chain in between. So wherever there's a gap on the previous row, we're just going to skip it out. So now you are going to jump across. You'll notice the next instruction. You've got an asterisk. Usually you see that when you're going to repeat something a number of times. So if we read the instruction, three treble in each of the next two treble stitches, chain three, skip chain space, repeat to the end. You're basically repeating that the whole way through. It's more or less what you've just done there. So there we are. We'll go into the next stitch with the three trebles. One, two, three. The following stitch is the same. So it's three trebles again. One, two, three. Then we're up to the three chain. So one, two, three. We skip the chain underneath or the gap that's there and we just keep repeating. So we're back to the stitch again where we're going to do the shell or the cluster. So three trebles into the first one. Three into the next one. So that's two, we'll do one more. And then we're back to that three chain again and so on. And what actually happens, if I just lay this down, where your chains are in between the shells that you're creating, they actually fold so it forms a frill. So if I bring the bag back in so you can see it more clearly, can you see how it sits? So if I open that out, you'll see that it's the little chain stitches in between that allow that frill to sit so it gives you that edge like a lace edge and it's once you get going once you've got those stitches you just repeat that right until the very end and it's so simple once you get going it's just the hardest thing about crochet is picking up the basic stitches and just mm. getting going and once you're going you're flying that was absolutely amazing, Catherine, and it was so clear to me, and I thought at first it was gobbledygook, and as the, the longer you went on, the more I got into it, I started giving it a bit of a go myself. I mean, it's a rough, it's very rough, but um, <laughs> this is what I've come up with so far. I just, I mean, I took your pattern. Wow. It's a bit around the edges. I know there's work to be done, but what do you think? Any good? Uh, I'll give all you right? four out of ten for that. It's all right, isn't it's it? It's missing a caterpillar. But, 
You could have yeah. had that Sheffield points. Oh, all right, all right, OK, OK. I'm <laughs> getting perfect, can I? I've done, my, done the best I can. We've had some emails that have come in. Good afternoon, Catherine and Richard. Uh, say yes, Richard, to getting your own doll. You can trust Catherine. She's a very talented lady. A bit of a wonder woman, really. Would you just go mm. spinning around in the... Post mm. in the telephone box and running off. You've not seen DIY yet, have you? That's the mm. thing. Oh, right, OK. <laughs> uh, I haven't learnt crochet. That's something for the future. But a Richard character would be brilliant. You should do a crafty Leone character too, Catherine. Enjoy the rest of the day. That's from Terry I Kim. I have a book full, full of what I want to achieve. This could go on for many years to come. I can't wait to see all the designs for all the presenters yeah, on this, you know. Oh, so no, is this... our Charlotte was producing. Yeah. She's got her own one, hasn't she? Mm-hmm. Wow. What's Janie that? from this morning, one of our guests, Janie, she's now in the book as well. Really? What's the Charlotte one like? Just uh, She's not listening, it's fine. She's cool, yeah, she's trendy. That's all trendy. I'm going to say. That's not what you said a few minutes before we, <laughs> the show started <laughs> at all. Um, right, uh, some thank you very much, Terry Kim. We've got some more, more emails. Should we read another one out? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Catherine, says Penny. And she signs it oh. off by saying thanks again, so she really is... Quite grateful. I have tried so many times over the years and until now have never managed to crochet. Here is my bag. Let's have a little look from the craft along. I nearly finished and started my unicorn key ring as well. Oh, Loving brilliant. it. Brilliant. There you go. Brilliant. Oh, Penny, thank you so much because Penny has actually purchased lots of kits and um, she was genuinely new to this. And this is the thing, you've, you've joined us with a craft along coming up soon. If you end up being presenting one of my craft along shows, for actually, you get, will I mean, be having what, a go. At what point are they going to allow me to do something? That because you will if you're crafting along. Because, because Charlotte said in, in, in my ear during that, she said, you're, you're on next, you're doing a demo, Richard. And I was like, yeah, yeah, you're joking. <laughs> oh my God, she's not joking, is she? I just, just, panic! Um, but, yeah, I'd like to have a go at some point. It'd be quite fun. Yeah? We will. We'll, we'll have to make that happen. Stick, sit me on the craft along soon. Uh, we could all do with a laugh, couldn't we? Um, afternoon all, and Catherine. Please, can I ask, I have never done crochet before, says Linda from Bath. Thanks very much for emailing in, Linda, but would love to give it a go. Can you tell me, please, which kit would be best for a beginner? If we've still got any of the key rings left, I would probably say go with the key ring. Um, what else have we got? The crazy head would be a good one, oh, if you know yeah. anybody who wears glasses. Ooh. That's a really good one to start with, yep. because it's basic stitches. What time is it? We might may, we maybe run over a little bit of that one, yep. uh, if we can. I've got a couple of demos I'd like to try and get in, but we'll see. Um, if you're going for one of the full characters, I would say the bear. The bear is probably the easiest one. Why is that? Because there's a lot of it and it's... It's There's not too many different colours. Is this the it's doll? It's one stitch. There's yeah. a little bit of shaping, but yeah. it's just a double crochet. Okay. Uh, there's a little bit of shaping, but that's easy to do. And there is tut a tutorial on my Facebook page. There's quite a long tutorial that covers lots of different stitches, mm. but it will go through everything you need to know. The way you'd explained it before, it's like, it, obviously, if I was to look at the instructions, that just looks really intimidating. Yeah. But, but when you break it down, each thing is actually, in and of itself, a very simple yes. movement, isn't and it? And once you know them all. Yes. Yeah. And that is something I picked up from the craft along, that there were so many people out there that can follow uh, videos or, you know, tutorials that you can watch, but when it comes to a pattern, they just cannot read patterns. Mm. Even when they can do the stitches, they cannot read patterns. And that's why I, I started by putting the, the full explanation in and the abbreviation, because normally you buy a pattern and it's just got the abbreviation. And if you don't know what it means, mm. you know, what does SS stand for? It could be anything. What does DC stand for? It could be anything. But, you know, I'll give you the words as well. And so you can, of course, get the help out there. I need to get much more in the way of tutorial on my own page. It has been exceptionally busy for me, and that is the problem for me, because I'm either here or I'm guesting doing other shows. It's so hard to fit everything in. But there is a list, as long as my arm, of tutorials that needs to go on there. Do you ever there. stop working? You need to I know. Take a break, Catherine. I'm, take I'm, a, take yeah, a break. I'm, Put I'm your here. feet up now. I'll do the next demo. You're fine. Just take a take a breather, <laughs> please. <laughs> um, I'm just I'm visualising your house now, and I'm just imagining it's just it's soft crochet uh, things everywhere. You can literally just throw yourself into the house and bounce around it because the walls are all like nothing's nothing's solid, nothing's hard. It's all like a bouncy world. Oh, yeah? I, I, you know, I turn my hand to all sorts. Yeah. I do, yeah, I do. I, I find the crochets fantastic for relaxing mm. because even if I put the TV on, I can't sit still. I've got to do something. So that is great because I can watch a film and do that at the same time. But when I've got a little bit of time, I do love my mitre saw, my uh, drill, my dremel. 
Okay. And all those power tools. Oh, really? I love a bit of DIY. It's a bit of yin and yang, that, isn't it? It's mm. two different worlds colliding. Yeah. I like it. Um, now, what are we looking at here? We're going to look at the crazy head here because the gnome has gone. Gnomey at the, at the front here has gone, but crazy head. The crazy head's gone as well. Oh, no. Bye. 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 What, what, what do I do? <laughs> I hope these weren't actually somebody's glasses, because I've just they, stepped on them. They were actually... Sorry, Janice, if you're watching. I borrowed them out of the door. Janice's? She'll be fine. She'll be fine. They're not expensive, are they, glasses, these days? Um, I'll uh, just pick those oh, up and... Do you need a stick in plaster? Stuff. Absolutely fine. Yeah, so those are gone right now. I'm off to the opticians uh, <laughs> to get some replacement glasses. What else have you got for us, okay, Catherine? Okay, right. We're going to work with the flowers next because the flowers are included in lots of kits, not only in the bags, but also the dolls that saw that earlier. There's different variations, so I'm going to go through one of them, but once you see this variation, it will kind of help you with all the others as well. So, this may not be exactly to the pattern that you've got or the one you're going for, but it will be relevant to the bags for sure. Um, yeah, we sold out of all the dolls, haven't we? But you can add flowers to whatever you want. I'm quite addicted with making flowers, actually. This is another flower. This is the yarn that's in one of the snail kits, the new snail kits. That's the earth. It's so pretty because you've got all those different colours running through. So that is a flower where you've got the... Um, the petals that li line up, you can see they kind of line up, they overlap each other in the sense that you, you get bigger to the outside. Um, there is this flower here, is the pico flower, so you can see where you've got the point on the petal. That one comes with the pico bag. And then there's another version where you've got the offset petals as well, so they, they don't line up together, they're offset. So we're going to kind of work with a layered one. Um, now, in the patterns, and you can do this if you wish, you don't have to do it, it does tell you in the instructions to use a pencil, it could be the end of your crochet hook, it could be your finger, but wrap around the yarn a number of times. I tend to go about 10, 12 times. I don't know how many I've done, I've not counted, but it doesn't really matter. I've used my finger for the demonstration, so it's given me quite a large hole there. So if you want a smaller hole and a smaller flower, use a smaller tool. So it could be a pencil, a paintbrush, the end of your crochet hook. Now all I'm going to do is put the crochet hook through the centre of the hole there. I'm going to put the yarn around my hand ready to go and I'm literally just going to pick that yarn up and I'm going to work double crochets into the centre of this flower. Or to the set. This is actually going to be the centre of the flower. Now a double crochet, I'll just get that latched on so I don't lose it and then we'll go. So a double crochet, you'll start with one hook, one loop on your hook, you go into the loop you pick up the yarn and pull it back through the loop, so you've got two loops on there. Yarn around again and you go through both loops. And we're going to do that 16 times. Now, I'd already done one, so we'll count that as one. That's number two. So I'm just going to work 16 of these stitches into the loop. Now, you can slide them along. If you find that it's getting a little bit full, just slide the stitches over a bit. I've lost count already because I'm talking. How many have I done? I've done one, two, three, four, five. So we'll count together, Richard. Six. Yeah, sorry, do you want me to back you up here with the counting? It's like, I, I just <laughs> sense that you were sort of just throwing something my way there, Eight. a bit like, can you pay attention and count <laughs> for me? Ten. I thought you were supposed to multitask, you, know, you ladies. Eleven. Oh, twelve. Well, I can multitask, can't you? No, not at all. Thirteen. I'm struggling with the counting on its own. <laughs> so I've got thirteen now. Let's do another three. One, two, three. Okay, now I'm going to slip stitch this together because that will just keep that nice and neat. Now you can see you've got quite a large hole in the centre and it gives a decorative element if you want that hole there as well. But as I say, you can change the size of that. Slip stitch, you just go back into your first stitch, pick up the yarn and you pull it through. If it's a little bit tight there, just give it... Oh, nearly pulled it right off. Give it a wiggle and pull it through and you go through the loop that's on your hook as well. So we've now got 16 stitches into the centre of our flower. So what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to do a chain stitch. That just gives me a little bit of room to manoeuvre. It gives me a little bit of stretch with the, the hook. You don't have to do it, but I find it helps. Now we're going to go into the same place with a double crochet. So we've just done double crochet. You just go into the stitch, you pick up the yarn, you pull it through, yarn around the hook, and you pull it through both loops. So that's a double crochet. We're then going to do a couple of chain stitches. 
I'm not sure if I've given you one or two chain stitches in the back pattern, but it doesn't matter. I'm using a bigger flower, so I'm going to go with two this time. I'm actually going to miss a stitch and go into the second stitch away from where I've just been, which will form a gap. We'll go with another double crochet. So you can see straight away, we've got a little loop there. Okay, and we're going to repeat that around the edge of the flower. So two chain, miss a stitch, go into the next one. The top of the stitch always looks like a little V. So we've now got two gaps, two chain, miss a stitch, which is there, into the next one, a double crochet, and so on. So we just keep working it around. So two chain, miss a stitch, into the next one. And just untangle a bit of yarn there. So two chain again, miss a stitch, into the loop. Let's just check how many we've got. One, two, three, four. We've got five, so we need another three. So hopefully I've done it right. Two chain, miss a stitch, into the stitch. Did I miss a stitch there? One, two, that one, yeah. Double crochet, two chain, miss a stitch again, into the stitch. So I should have seven there. So for number eight, you'll end with two chain stitches and you'll just bridge across to where you started and you'll do a slip stitch to join it together. So you go in and just pull it through the loop. So although it's quite hard to see at the moment, we have got a series of eight little gaps or eight little loops there. Now the next round is a little bit different. I'm going to do a chain again just to get going. We're now going to work into these gaps to form the first petals. Okay, so we're going to go into the gap, we're going to do a double crochet. So it's the same stitch we've just been doing. So there's that. Then we're going to go with two treble crochets. So you go with a treble, you go around the hook first, into the hole, pick up the yarn, round on through two and round through two again. We're going to do two trebles. Now you'll notice straight away, because a double crochet is a smaller stitch than a treble, can you see the difference there? Can you see the angle mm. that we're getting? And because it's a petal, we need to sort of balance it. So we're going to go back in with a double crochet now, which will bring that petal to match at the other side. The first round is only small. It's only a small petal. But you can see we've now got that, that round shape. When I go into the next loop, we're going to repeat the process. But I usually do a little slip stitch just to get me going. So we're into the next gap now. So it's another double crochet, then two trebles. So we'll do those. I'll just whiz round with this because I really want to get to the next round if I possibly can because it's very different to this one. So you can see there, I'm forming those petals and you work that petal into every single one of these little gaps that you've made. So always the same process, a double, two trebles, back to a double. And by the time we get around, we should have eight little petals going all around the center of this flower. So now, I'll do another one. If at any point, Richard, as I'm working around here, if you do need to do any sort of numbers, you can, but um, we'll just... I will, I've we'll got just, a question for you, you, though, have Catherine. You? Okay. So what happens if you're, you're saying, you know, you do specifically eight, eight stitches? Yep. What happens if I've done nine without realizing it and I carried on a little bit and then thought oh I did a bit too can you can you backtrack or is you it best can. to carry on and you sort of style it out by just kind of working around your if you like mistakes? Do you know it's crochet is very forgiving and if mm. you make mistakes sometimes well very often you can hide them or you can yeah. work it into your design and it is quite easy to do that if you yeah. really want to unpull it with regular crochet that we're doing here you end up with just one stitch on your hook mm. at all times okay. so all you need to do if you've gone wrong if i think oh i shouldn't have done that there you just pull undone uh, to the point that oh, you're it's at like a rewind button I yeah love it. and you just put your hook back into that's the brilliant. loop that's and that's brilliant. it so that's not actually that scary at all no. is it if you've made a mistake no. just pull it as long as you spot it in plenty of time, I guess. If you yeah. just spot it right at the end, then maybe that, not. But. That's the thing. And with knitting, you have lots and lots of um, stitches on your needles. And if you drop one and don't realise it, you can find you've got holes down the garment that you've mm. <laughs> way down where you've been. And you've got to unpull the whole lot. Right. Crochet is much more forgiving. That's good news. Yeah. Um, got a little bit of an update for you. Uh, here we go. Let's have a look at these crochet bags that uh, Catherine was showing you a little bit uh, earlier on. The kits for them here. 309852. Uh, these are 1999 uh, to get these. Now you've got different ones. So you've got boho textured bags here. You've got three different colour options, as you can see here. 
There you go. That's the, this one here. This is like a... Oh, this is the purple, I think, here, the marine purple. We have a... Uh, we also have a... There we go. This is the grey and black as well. That's the kit for that. And then we uh, also have a woodland version, which I assume is the one in the middle here. No, that's a different item number completely. Forget I just said that last bit. Um, so we have <laughs> three different options for you on the vintage chic textured bag. 309-852 for that, 19.99. Of course, if you're a Freedom member, you will get that postage and packing uh, completely free, of course. Now this one here, this is, of course, as we know, a completely different item number, as I pointed out a few moments ago. This uh, has three different colour options. This is 002789. Three different colour versions now. So we have uh, this one, the red and the cream. Denim and natural is your second option. And autumn and gold. Very topical. Look at that. Autumn and gold there. Three different options to choose from, three different colour schemes. 002789 for the vintage chic boho lace bag crochet kit. And once again, if you're a Freedom member, you wouldn't have to worry about that postage or packing. It is all on extended delivery though, but I believe it's from the 30th that it would be available, dispatched from, which is Thursday. So, day before Halloween. It's not that far, is it, at all? It's just end of the week. So, that's not an issue, is it? 002789. Now, where are we moving to now? The Halloween? Oh, the final bag. There we go. Uh, 032903 is the item number for this. It's our vintage chic boho pico bag crochet kit. 1999 is the price for this one. Again, if you're a Freedom member, you will get the postage and packing uh, completely free with this. Now, three different color versions here. Black and cream, as you can see on screen there. We also have natural brown as well. Natural slash brown, I should say. And amethyst and pearl is your final colorway option there for this chic boho pico bag crochet kit. 032903. Catherine, how's it going? Just to let you know of that as well, you might have spotted it in one of the pictures. You will probably find you've got, well, you'll have plenty of yarn, some of it left over, but the raffia, there's also the instructions to make a little pouch. Oh. So you can keep a key in there or a bit of change or maybe your earplugs or something like that. So there's no set size for that. It'll explain in the instructions because it depends again on people's tension. Uh, this is the colorway for the black and the gray. That's another one that I've started, so you can oh, see that's, nice. that's the raffia at the bottom. So we're up to the area where we start putting the frill on now. Mm. Uh, so that's another one that you can just see. But back to the flowers, because... Right, I've worked my way around. We've now got the eight petals. Now, you do want to sort of just finish off the petal round, or the first petal round, by going in with a slip stitch where you began. And that just kind of pulls it all together. Make sure that your petals are nicely shaped. Now the next round, if you look at the instructions on the bags or any of the instructions that you're getting where you're creating flowers like this, it will tell you the next thing you're going to do is work from the back of the flower. We're looking at the front of the flower at the moment. Now, the way I do it is the way I'm going to show you. Some people might do it in a different way, but the way I'm going to do it, I keep this so the face is facing me to a point rather than turning it right around. But we are going to sort of stitch into the back of it. So to do that, beginning with one chain because it just again gives a little bit of flexibility and it tells you that working from the back you want to double crochet around the double crochet post from the previous yarn and again that sounds very complicated but it's not so if you look in between the stitches where we've got the petals you can see that double crochet so it's it's kind of the center point in between those stitches can we see that on the camera quite clearly so it's this bit we're looking at here uh, yes. See so that. we're calling that the post. Now where you start, it looks almost like you've got two stitches. It's just because you start and finish there. So we'll just pretend it's one. It doesn't matter. You can go around them both or just go around one of them. So what you're doing from the back of your work, you're putting the hook around that stitch. So as you can see from the front, you can see the metal of the hook there. Okay pick up the yarn so you're basically just going to do a crochet stitch like you would normally do pulling through the yarn and creating a double crochet but it's at the back of the work so I've now just done a double crochet we're then going to do chain stitches 
Now, I only put two on that first row. I think in the pattern I've probably told you three, so I'd normally go with four, but because I've done two there, we'll just go with three on this one. So you increase the amount of chain every time you increase the rounds. So three chain stitch, and then you go back to the next post, so the next stitch that joins those two rounds, and you're going to double crochet there as well. That has now formed that loop at the back. We'll do another chain, three chains, and we're going to repeat that process all the way around. So we're working from the back of the flower. You're not seeing those stitches at the front at all. They're all at the back. So three chain, find the next little post. So it's there in between the petals and we'll work that as well. If you find it's easier for you to work by turning your work over, you can do, but you'll kind of go in the opposite direction because you're flipping your work over. So do what is comfortable to you but this is the way I've described it. So we'll just keep going. How much time we've got left, by the way? Ooh, four oh, minutes. we'll be all right. Yeah, we'll be fine then. I, because mm. it, the next bit's important, you see, um, because we're just making the loops at the moment ready for the next round. So I'll speed up just because I, it's exactly the same. You're repeating the process, working from the back, making the three chains, working a double crochet into that post. Interesting to see what you would have done if I'd said 30 seconds. I, just, I, might, I might do that next time, just, <laughs> just for the fun of it. What I'd have done, oh my Richard, God. <laughs> yeah. I would have stood up, spun around and turned into Wonder Woman. Oh, perfect. That's what I would have perfect. done. Perfect. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so now you can see we're almost back to where we started. So you end up with the three chain and that's going to bridge across. So you just do a slip stitch to where you began and that will close that round off. So if I turn it over from the back of the work, you can see we've now got a series of eight loops okay mm. now all we're going to do is more or less but increase the stitch more or less repeat what we did to form the petals on the first round but we're working into these loops we've just uh, made okay so because we want to make the petals larger we need to do more stitches so the first one will be a double crochet just the same as the previous round but instead of two treble we're actually going to do we're going to do three in this one so we'll do three treble so we're putting an extra stitch into it and then we'll go back to a double crochet again so you've got that nice rounded petal and when I lay that flat and it will become more obvious the more you do can you see now the first petal is shallower yes. yeah. because you've got the loop of the chain so as you work around you'll start to notice those petals forming again but they will show so it's exactly the same process now you double crochet then three trebles then back to a double crochet. So as Wonder Woman, I'll just try and speed this round a little bit. You know you've got to do it in the outfit next time, don't you, Kathleen? That's, so that's what you set yourself up for now. Can we get? Can we organise that, please? Can we get an outfit for? May as well. That's the next. That could be the next theme, couldn't it? Superheroes. It could be. Yeah. We've suggested that. Could be the next that. birthday theme. We all had superhero names, you know, recently. Janice uh, said uh, everybody needs a superhero name. Hmm. My, mine was, was easy, actually, what? because my maiden name, <laughs> this is funny. Go on. You'd never guess what my neighbor na maiden name was. You'd never guess it in a million years. We could, well, we could be here all day if I start guessing. Do you want yeah, to go through every name? You'd never get it. It was Storm. Storm? Storm as oh, in wow. the weather. That is actually the genuine name of, a, of an X-Men character, it, I think. Exactly. Yeah. So I don't need to think of a superhero name. I'd just be called Storm. Perfect. I'm trying to think why. <laughs> Because uh, a middle name is James, could we have a sort of James? Does that sound like a good superhero? Doesn't? <laughs> not really, does it? Uh, I think we need something a little bit better than that. Uh, need some work. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, James. Uh, oh dear. Yeah. We've got so 50 seconds left. <laughs> is that all we've got? Right. I'll it's just finish this got. petal, and then we will show you what I've done. So I'm just working my way around, and as you can see there. That is now beginning to come together. Now, if I bring in this one that I did earlier, you see, I made the hole in the centre a little bit smaller on that one. You can put beads oh, in the yeah. middle, but can you see, I've just continued in the same method, just increasing the stitches each time, and that's the effect that you will get. That's brilliant. Thank you very much indeed, Kathy. Once you get going, you, it's quite fast, isn't it? Yeah. When, when you're back, you off when to... When am I back? What day is it today? Monday. Yeah, Monday. I'm back Wednesday. Well, to present. And then working in the meantime, of course, as well. Friday, I'm in. Brilliant. <laughs> see you there. Well, I won't see you there. I'll see you on the next one. But thank you very much indeed, thank Catherine. Uh, and I'll see you a little bit later.
But up next, it's Pretty Gets Gritty with some mixed media. A little later on, it's Crafts 2 One Day Special. And then the Fabric Freedom, Fabric Street. Stamperia are an Italian company. Uh, they launched in 1995 with stamps, stencils, paints and an incredible product, the world famous rice paper. They were actually the first company to print on rice paper and they're now absolutely renowned for it. The product range that Stamperia offer is really diverse. They bring us incredible stamps, obviously uh, the world famous rice paper, but they're always trying to bring new techniques as well. So they'll bring different mediums, um, beautiful moulds, so there's always something for every type of crafter. They will definitely have something for you to craft with, and everything you craft with will be top quality and beautiful. So make sure you don't miss the Stamperia shows. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. Um, it's a family-run business up in Chesterfield. Pink Frog started to bring out their well-known Britannia dyes, and then we moved on to a wonderful range of card stocks. You'll probably know us for our super smooth card stock. And now we have moved into the world of stamping and we produce high quality polymer stamps for you all to enjoy. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dies and flower stamps. Make sure you don't miss the Pink Frog shows. Hi, I'm Jean and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. So do pull up a pew and join us on the shows. We can't wait to see you there. Literally, have a nice time. <laughs> um, it is lovely to have your company. Really looking forward to this hour. We have got so many super deals, and of course, we've got the fabulous Lynette in the building. I'm so pleased we've got another show together. I know. They keep coming and coming. Yeah. And coming don't they? Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it. Me too. I love it. And because I love your creations, I love seeing what you're coming up with and all your ideas. And I love seeing how your your company has just grown and grown and grown. Oh. I mean, it's magnificent. And I'm, we I were know. saying this before. Like, it's so exciting. Every time you get a new approach, you must be like, oh, that's so oh, yeah. cool. Yeah, I can't believe it. It's still like a pinch yourself sort of moment every single time the new products arrive and you're like, oh, it's mine. Mm -hmm. It's so cool. Yeah, it it's is. so cool. And I bet, and I think this is the thing, like every time it's like, oh, I love that, love that. And then the next one, oh, I love that even more. I know. And mm. it is, it really is like that because this was like my favourite, favourite collection. And then the vintage collection that I'd always wanted, all my crafting life, <laughs> yeah. I always wanted a vintage collection. Where it came and I'm like, oh, still love Indian summer though. <laughs> so I have two favourites now. Yeah, you're allowed that. I mean, yeah. let's face it, I've got a favourite, favourite every hour. Yeah. I'm horrendous. Well, yeah, that's true. Obviously. And that's because I can't. Uh, now, this is amazing and it's already really busy. The prices are ridiculous. Please get ahead of us. Once it's gone, it's gone. So if there's anything you want on everything on this show, you will need to check your baskets out. And Lynette, we've only got it for one hour, um, so make the most of it. Okay, let's start with the beautiful um, stamps. I do apologise. I've put my Maya piece in a safe place, which means I keep losing this one. And it's all echoey in my head for some reason. Okay, so first of all, we've got the gorgeous Indian Summer. Now, this is superb. Um, I love, love, love these stamps. If I spin that first one round for you, you can see the size of the stamps, the detail of the stamps. Uh, this is my favourite, the Raja's crown. This is gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, this is, a lot of people, they're either Raja or the Bengali Queen. Yeah, yeah. 
and do you know what? I, ca I can't pick a favourite between either of them two. Oh, I love this one. I love that. No, but I think my favourite is the one that I'm going to demo first. Mm. That's my favourite. Yeah, that's your favourite. But favorite. yeah, between between the two characters, can't yeah, can't yeah. pick. It'd it be it'd be rude. It'd be rude to it show. Would. It'd be rude to choose. Um, so the next one, yeah, this is beautiful though. Um, this is your Bengali queen, and just have a look. I mean, that is such a beautiful stamp. It is. It, it is, is really stunning. nice. It's got loads of cutability in there yes. as well. Decoupage elements. And it her is face is pressure. just exquisite. She is, isn't she? She's beautiful. Lovely. Beautiful. Um, uh, what I love about this as well, I mean, with the packaging, that's going to inspire you as to colouring in. Because sometimes you get a stamp, and I still do it, and I'll be like, oh, I don't even know where to start. You know, I'll look, I'll go, oh, yeah, OK. And yeah. it gives you a good starting point, doesn't it? It does, it does. But I'd just like to say we've got a lot of inspiration from the, the, the design team Amazing. on Facebook. And yeah. the way that you see them take their colouring... And when they sent photos in the first time, I'm like, oh, yeah. never even thought about doing that. Or I didn't think about doing it this colour. Or, yeah. Yeah. And it is, it's, it is inspiring. It's lovely seeing what yeah. other people do. It's so Love cool. It. Now, this is another absolutely beautiful one. Um, Flower of Akita. Um, and this, now, and I love it because obviously you've got some fabulous tattoos. When you look at this one, yeah. it's like... That's a cracking tattoo yeah. design so as well. Is, this is my favourite stamp. Is it? Yeah. It's yeah, your favourite well. favourite. Yeah, followed up by Rani's posy. Yeah. So the flower ones, yeah, definitely. I mean, there's so much you can do with that. Oh. Pattern building, that is a cracker, isn't it? It is. It's just, it's, it's st <coughs> even stamped in black. Yeah. It is a stunning stamp. You don't need yeah. to do a lot to it. Yeah. I like stamps like that. Yeah. They, they, just, they just work, don't they? Yeah, they do. Um, and the next one that we've got, and there's so many elements on this one. Um, this is the Art of Mende. And this is lovely because you've got, um, <clears throat> you've got the, the sentiments as well, if you will. You have. So you've got some Sanskrit on there, and then, you, again, you've got pattern building stamps mm. or finishing off edging corners, yeah. you know, borders, anything that you want to, you know, use them for. Yeah. I, do, I do love these, I especially in journaling. Yeah. They're fabulous. Yeah, they and that's the kind of thing, like you say, for, for those spaces, for the, the pattern building, they are essential. Now, the next one that we've got for you, uh, yeah, I can yeah. see why this is another. Uh, Ron is posing. I adored drawing this. Mm. This just really was my mind let loose, just creative, that's just lovely. doodle, and it grew and grew and grew. So it actually just started with the one flower up yeah. in there. I'm just trying to see which, which corner it up to the top. That's yeah. how it started, and then it just grew. Uh, it's beautiful. Absolutely okay. beautiful. I love it. The detail in that is phenomenal. And, yeah, it's funny. I'm all in my edge. I want to colour that in right away. Yeah. And it is that kind of one, isn't it? It is. But do you know what? Just with an explosion background or a yeah. spritz of a spray and that over the top of it, black embossed, yeah. again, you've got another stunning quick card. Yeah. Yeah. And I like that because it's another one that is yeah. a standalone, realistically. It is. Now, this is beautiful. Your cashmere quilt. And this is another one really cool for pattern building, really cool for creating gorgeous backgrounds. Um, and again, you can cut some of these elements out. You can. You can decoupage them, layer them up, create your scenes. You know, you could have them masked and tumbling down your card in, yeah. you know, ascending size. Love them. Absolutely love them. And the packaging again is going to inspire as to colouring in um, and how to how to create some gorgeous looks with that one. Um, oh. Ah, we think this one is actually the Beauté Princess. That's what she's saying in my head. Your Beauté Princess. No, no, that, no, 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 no. That one is Kashmiri no, Quilt. It is your yeah. Kashmiri Quilt. I was just looking at it there and I'm thinking, no, I'm sure that's not what they've just said. <laughs> it's your Kashmiri Quilt. <laughs> Made me doubt myself. <laughs> she, Kashmiri quilt, so we don't yeah. want it. Yeah, we're fine. You, you want so this is Bote Princess, but yeah, yeah, you can see the elements. Um, and again, they all work together beautifully. You know, I adore all these. You know, all these little extra elements. They're yeah. fabulous. They aren't are they? great, aren't they? Yeah, love yeah, the, that. The Paisley design, or as it is in Indian, it's Bote. Mm. So ah. it's, that's why it's Bote Princess. Yeah, I fancy But that. again, you know, you can snip elements out of this. You can you cut, cut that up quite easily. I love that. And Absolutely layer them up again. And I love that you've put the script, but the Sanskrit script. Yeah. I, I think that's marvellous. And then last but not least is, go on, say it again in my head. 
At Carrot App, she said. App Carrot App. <laughs> at at Carrot App. Yeah, it's it's like um, the translation. Let me clean it. It's like I'll do me if you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, you yeah. do you. Yeah, yeah. I'll do me. Yeah, yeah. Sort of you thing. stick to you, yeah. mate. Yeah, I'll sort myself out. Thanks very much. You leave me, yeah, leave me alone. <laughs> um, a positive mind finds opportunity in everything. Become a better version of yourself every day. Um, be your own. Um, hold on. Be your own real, imperfect, flawed, quirky, magical self. Once you choose up, anything is possible. There's some really good, strong sentiments on there that. There is, and I think with these designs, they yeah. just go so well with the strong sentiments, you yes. know, for reaffirming PL, uh, positivity in your journals or card making. Yeah. You want to uplift someone, send them a nice positive card. Yeah, I think that's really nice. And something like this, I mean, yeah, there is loads you can do. I mean, these don't have to just be for card making. And that's when your your sentiments like that really come into yeah, their own. They do. Now, it has been super busy. Um, your price. Now, your Bengali Queen, if I just spin that round, because they are, they're your Raja's crown, and your Bengali's Queen, they are super busy. In fact, 20% of the stock has gone. Uh, you're saving £12. This is better than half price. £11.98, and, and that's for two sets of stamps. So you are getting loads of stamps. I mean, obviously your bigger ones, and mind you, even with some of your bigger ones, you're getting loads of stamps, even on the bigger ones. The price is amazing. Isn't that just beautiful? It's absolutely beautiful. It's one of them that visually so, um, it, it, it looks like that has been cut out and mat and laid on top, yeah. but actually it's, far, it's it's one of them that's just striking, is that? Yeah, it is. It's, it is a beautiful stamp. It's absolutely stunning. Stunning. I love that. Now, and that one, there's not much else gone on. No, However, it's super simple, stunning. but it's, it's a big impact. Yeah. Yeah, it is. As is that. I really like that. Yeah, so this is what I was saying with the with the Rani's posy. All you need is a little bit of a water splash yeah. background, yeah. a hint of the stamp on there. That one's embossed in gold, isn't it? Yeah. And, you know, it looks, amazing. looks so classy. Yeah, it really yeah. does. I love things like that because you don't have to do much at no. all. That's beautiful. She is very decapageable. Yes, she isn't is. Isn't she? She is, yeah. You can you can build build her yeah. right up and especially fussy cutting all the little flowers and yeah. you've got the extra flower elements in the stamp set as well. And then building up your backgrounds, of course. Um, so easy to do. That's really interesting because obviously, you know, there's your flowers. Yeah. But easy to actually cut out and make a completely different look. Exactly. Yeah, these are so beautiful. Oh, just a couple more, because look at that one. On the acetate, Very don't they look amazing? And then, now, um, Tom, ah, now that's such a good idea if I need my love, Tom. Um, he's used these for shrink plastic earrings. Yes. What oh, a good idea. Do you know what? They hung up in my car. No. Yeah, I forgot to unhook them. I'm using them as like little charms in the car because they're so pretty. I don't oh, want to put fabulous. them away. We've got a photo. And I should have put them on. Oh, thanks, Tom. Um, let's have a look. Let's let's have a look at that there photo from oh, my great. Oh, they're fabulous. Yeah, so he, he did the... the uh, Raja's set and he did the Bengali set and I think the, when I launched them I had one of each uh, in each year so I, have, I do have them hung up in my car now. Oh they're brilliant, thank you so much for sharing. Thanks, okay so you're getting two sets here, <laughs> this is an amazing value money kit, you're saving £12, um, half price but remember when it's gone it's gone and all the net has only got one hour so please check your baskets out, that is 026623 your item number. Bengali Queen is approaching 40. So, wow. as an early sellout, it might be the Bengali Queen. Um, ooh, so many that mix and match beautifully together. Uh, Roger's Crown, also approaching 40 now. Um, so, there are two pipping the post at the moment. Um, do not miss out on any of those brilliant deals. Now, we've also got a stencil pick and mix, and this is already really busy. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful selection, is this. And I'll just get a little bit of black card so I can put them behind the stencil so you can see them properly. Um, ooh, this could be trickier than I thought, actually. Let me get the um, the thing instead. No, I don't want to do that either. <laughs> Sorry, I want a black card behind because I want you to see it proper. So, have a little, little look. 
It's, right, you are getting, you are getting the outside as well. I was trying to show you the outside as well, really, but that might be too tricky. Um, but you can see the designs. I mean, the designs are fantastic. They are, and as you say, you get the outie and the innie with the masks. Yeah. So you can use them alone like that, or um, the card that you did pick up to show the back just this way a bit with... Um, this one? No, next to it. That one? That one. That is just using the outy. Amazing. Outy bit of it. So you can use the outy, the inny, you can use them together. Yeah, that looks beautiful. Yeah. And that's, yeah, sorry, I was trying to show you the outy, but I couldn't yeah. pick that up at the same time. Um, and you can see, I mean, with these, see that one's, so they've got the, the outy and the inny. Yeah. This is your full one, so which these is what, these just what I call exquisite. stencils, and the other ones I call the masks. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, of yeah. course. I love the detail, absolutely exquisite. I mean, you can make the the most in incredible backgrounds with them. Look at that. That is absolutely divine. Every single one of them is like, wow, yes, isn't it? Yes, they are so, so pretty once you get spritzing through them or even drawing through them, which I'll be featuring in the demo. Beautiful, sorry. I'm really making a mess of this, aren't I? It's very quite difficult. There you go. Can you see that detail? Oh, yeah, that's wonderful. Very pretty indeed. Next. Oh, there you go. Beautiful. Sorry, I know I'm faffing, but it's so you can see them properly. And then, so this one will have an outie and an inny as well, yes. won't it? Yeah, so all the ones that are like that have got the outie and the inny. Amazing, which do look so effective. And then last but by no means least, oh, that might be my favourite, actually. I know, it is, oh, it is super exactly stunning, that. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that is ace. Right, let me show you the boards because this will give you some idea of um, the actual designs. I mean, stencils, it's one of those. They're a tool that you can use in so many different ways. Yeah. They're one of my favourites, the yeah. stencils and masks. Me too. I don't think I can craft without using a stencil or a mask in some way yeah. because they just are so usable. Yeah. I mean, look at that. We've inked through it and then with the waste that was left on, we've just spritzed the stencil yeah. and taken that, you know, um, yeah. impression off. I love it. Imagine just stamping, say, the Black Flower of Gita stamp yes. up the middle of your impression there yeah. and that's it job done you don't need to do anything else that's so pretty and that's just ink isn't it yeah and i i love it because they do look stunning they're they're very um i mean they they are um oh they're quite strong designs aren't yeah, they, they are. you know they are. they are they make an, an impact a visual impact every single one of them i mean look at that it just bursts doesn't it, it absolutely does. sensational every single one of them and this is our our favorite hold on a second i do believe i've got two poisons of card there you go look at that oh that's so lovely i know it is i, I love using the um the negative yes yes on me those too. more than mm. the positive yeah i must admit it's one of them isn't it when you're cleaning your start, uh, stencil sometimes yeah. it's like oh i like that print better. yeah i've created i've created yeah. a better page there yeah yeah yeah, I do it all the time. And it's oh, yeah. so satisfying because it means you're not wasting anything. No. I love that. Um, now, the price here is incredible. You are saving £6 on this, £9.98, and that's for two of these. I mean, this is such a good size. Um, please make sure you check your baskets out with these. Remember, once they're gone, they're gone. If you do want these, please make sure they're uh, winging the way home to you. Now, let's go through the names so you know what you're ordering. So, the first one, this is your Samsara which is just exquisite. We've then got the Sandflower. Oh, I love that one as well. The Tantric Rose. We've also got for you the Indian Summer. Oh, you need that. You need Entranced. That's marvellous. Uh, we've got the Enlightened, which is, again, beautiful. The Flower of Paradise. And then the Taj Mahal. Oh, I want to go to India. Um, now, you are saving £6, only 9 98 I mean, that is such a good price for two of those. Um, don't miss out on them, but last but by no means least. I mean, look at the colour. It just goes wow with these. And I remember these. These are just magnificent. Yeah. So these are your gels. So tell me about these, because these are a bit different, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, so these are um, primarily, primarily a yeah. stencil gel. 
So you take them through your stencils, you've got beautiful neon pops of colour. But you can also use them as a paint, you can use them as a watercolour. You know, just experiment with them, use them as a glue. Tip your, yeah. you know, put them through a stencil, tip your glitter into the top of it for extra sparkle and sass. Yeah, yeah, a cheeky bit of sass. A cheeky bit of we sass. We love a it? cheeky bit of sass. Um, and you can see, I mean, these colours are fabulous. If I can get some of these ones out, um, go on, man, because they do, I mean, let, when they're actually dry, that pop of colour is sensational. It is, it is. And they work equally on white as they do on black. And sometimes when you were using them on black, if you're using them thin enough, you yeah. actually get a colour change. Ah, nice. So I have, if we get round to that demo, I have got that, that so, to show you as well. That's ace. Yes. So I mean, on, yeah, on white, colours. it is very, very neon. Yeah, yeah. And in your face, whereas uh, when you then paint it onto black, it's a little more subtle. Yeah. I mean, some of the colours, I mean, oh, look at them. That green is amazing, isn't it? They are fabulous. Oh, they're so nice. And I mean, look at, again, the richness. You know, there's such a rich tone to these. Exactly, and they're super shiny as well. Yes, yeah, they really. I look at that yellow. It's great, isn't it? Yeah, that's strong. Yeah, that Neil, is so. Neil a... Naomi, that one. <laughs> Um, that was limited, actually. Limited stock on um, our uh, Neon Naomi. Um, I love it because, yeah, you've got some really cool names on these, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Um, so, running through. Shall we run through the names? Yeah. So, oh, we're going to... Yeah, we'll do it on my site. Shall I show you some finished samples then first? Um, because, again, the price of these, you're saving £4. For any two, it's only £9.98. And, and these are not small pots. I mean, that is a really good size. I really like that, just the one colour, but... Make that really, really, um, that takes a box. I love that, that, that mixing the colours. That is completely Indian summer, isn't it? All yes. those pops of yes. colour, the rich, the spiciness of the card. Yeah, that's fabulous. It's absolutely fabulous. I, I, I love that one. That's my favourite one. But that, I mean, that is beautiful. And with this, is that cleaning the stencil? Because I can feel so we're the texture. going to do that in the first demo. I this love is that. the first demo. And that's your favourite stamp as well, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> so pretty. But then, look at the colour. I mean, that is beautiful. Is that just creating a background then with yeah, them? Yeah, and it's stamp stamping and then putting them over the top because, of course, they are acrylic, so yeah. they are a little bit resistant. Beautiful. So stamp first because they're transparent as well. Beautiful. Stamp first, layer up over the top. And that looks so effective. Um, and I love that you can still see the stamp image underneath. And then, of course, using them with your stencils. Stunning. Now, let's run through those colours with these. Oh, I love these. Um, so, we have got um, good pictures on that their website. So, remember, two of these for £9.98. pence. So, you have got your shockingly shouty pants. Love it. Um, outrageously, Jojo. Um, we've also got our um, bossed. <laughs> Fabulous. Um, we've then got uh, Neon Naomi. Oh, that's a... Yeah, isn't it? Neon Naomi. Neon Naomi. Yeah, let's, let's move on from that. Oh, it's technically sold out, though, so you can't get it anywhere. Phew! Oh. Um, we've then got Debesk, <laughs> a tonic bomb. Um, we've also got Shaggy Chic. We've got K-pop. We've got Wipeout. Um, and then Dazed. Oh, I feel like that a lot. Um, brilliant, brilliant names, but... Yeah, really big pots. They'll go a long way, but the colours are amazing. Uh, check your baskets out. OK, if there's anything you want, you know what to do. Uh, you can order on the website. That is thecraftstore.com or give us a ring, uh, 01733602000. If you've got any photographs, because, of course, you might have already got this collection, uh, we would love to see what you've been created. In fact, you've already been sending them in, so thank oh, you. Oh, lovely. I know, it's always I love good. seeing pictures. I do. I'm very nosy. Studio at thecraftstore.com. If you want to send the photos in, very nosy indeed. I mean, if it's a photo of what you've done and then a bit of your living room, your craft room, amazing, even better. I love having a nose. <laughs> um, now then, what we're doing this hour then, Alan? No, I think because I've forgotten my stamps. Oh, you do. No, I've not forgotten my stamps, I've forgotten the ink pads. Oh. So we're going to have to improvise. Can't do it in black, going to have to do it in blue. <laughs> I just thought then, need... my dad went, have you got everything? Yeah. Yeah, of course. I didn't I get have. everything, Dad. I wish you didn't get the ink no. pad, Dad. No. Oh. No, my, the, yeah, my that, archival. That was... So if anyone's got one knocking around the studio. Do you want me to get you an ink pad? Yeah, I'll start. I'll start. Yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of stamping throughout, but I'll start this one in blue. Let's just pretend it's black. 
I will but be if, back. If you we chat, have keep one, chatting. I will keep chatting. I know exactly where it is. <laughs> right, so I'm going to do is pretend this is black archival. And we're just going to get a really good layer of ink on here. And I like to use my stamp press and then I know I've got perfect placement every time. So let's just get this stamped out and see if we need to apply any more. Now isn't that a pretty, pretty stamp? As I say, this is one of my, well, it is my favourite. I think Art of Mende is my other favourite. We only use Versafine, is that going to be alright? Yeah, yeah, it will do. I'll do this one in, uh, in this because we started, so we shall finish. <laughs> Start as well, finish. Yes. Right, so we've got that stamped up, and what we are going to do now is I've made a mask. And I've, all I've done is just stamped it onto card and cut it out. And it's on our Charmaine's mixed media card. Same as what I am using here. And I'm just going to place this over the top to protect it. Ah, oh, fabulous. So, I haven't gone all the way because I was thinking it was black and it would stand out. Might, now it might <laughs> melt into the background a little bit, but that's fine. We can, we can deal with that. Right, what so I'm going to do first... It does look dark, though. Oh, but then again, yeah, that's the mask. Yeah, that's the Ignore mask. Ignore me, it's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Leone. <laughs> It's right, do you know what? I've just found it. I've put it in. Oh, you are put organized. It in. I know. You're more organized. Because than you I was going to do it. this, it's my first demo. Oh, oh mate. <laughs> and then I changed my mind at the last minute. <laughs> See? I love it when you're more organized than you think. I know. I know. So, right, what we'll do, instead of using the blue now, I'll use the black. Okay. So, pretend these colors are reversed. And I'm going to use the Sanskrit stamp, the small one because we've got it in two sizes. Yeah. And so the different sizes are on different stamps. Yeah, well. so on like Boaty that. Princess and Kashmiri Quill. Beautiful. So what I'm going to do is, we're just going to bring it in. That's such a cool and stamp And just do a little bit of first, second, third, and fourth generation yeah. stamping. I really like it, because it's different. You know, we, we love script, but that is oh, different. I'm obsessed with script. Mm. I absolutely adore script, whether it's a stencil or a stamp. Yeah, yeah, me so, too. It, it's one of them, you, it's always useful. Yeah. But to have a Sanskrit, that makes it even better. Oh, it does, it does. Right, what we are going to do now is take some of the Debesque. And Beautiful. I don't want to get too much of it. And you can see the transparency there yeah, as well, you can. can't you? I love it because it's got that high sort of shine to it. It's, it's a got a bit... lovely pearlescent sort of finish to them. Yeah, that's so I'm just really adding nice. Adding a little bit of water and just mixing this in. So Beautiful. you could use this as a watercolour wash yeah. if you wanted to. Just get it all I always like a product down. that you can do loads of things yeah. with. And it is really nice even to pick it up on a brush and to paint with. So what I'm going to do now is try and not flick it over my card because I always do, mind you, I do, I do like adding splatters to things. Yeah, splatters are good. So we're just going to pick up. Beautiful. See, that looks with. so nice and messy. So and I'm going to go with this side first. Pop it down and then I'll just take a, a piece of kitchen roll. Marvellous. And we will just get that impression off oh, there. That's cool. It's and it's just nice really because nice. it's not perfect. No. You know, it's, I love yeah. perfectly imperfect, yeah. as I call it. And that I looks so that cool. Down. I even like it. You know when you get bubbles and things in it? Yes. It just looks really nice. Lovely bubbles. 
Let's just make sure that's down nicely. She's all right. She's got it. John, we're coming over with an ink pad as well. Oh, thank you, thank John. You. She's found it. Thank you. Bless him. It's so uh, sweet, isn't it? Yeah. Craft team C. I know. That looks good. Right. I like that. And it's a lovely way you're using the stencil as well, because it's it, a little bit different. It is. And like you say, it's that perfectly imperfect sort mm. of look. So I'm just going to lift this off. Gorgeous. Oh, and, and you see of that course, blue that's is a lovely. Still quite I know, it's, it's nice, but I would have liked it to have been black. Yeah, but it's not. So I'm just going to dry this off so we can. You need funny. Do you know when you you know when you do something, you've got it in your head what you want it to look yeah. like, and it and it's not, and it bugs you. But actually, like from my like looking at it, that looks really good. And but it's so funny because if it were the other way about, I'd be like, oh no, it irritates me. It's yeah. not in the colour I need it. It was so funny. We're so critical of our own stuff, aren't we? I know. Now I'm thinking I should have gone with the blue here to just have it all blue. Just have it instead of it. yeah blue. No, it looks good, because it is a really dark blue, is that one. It's beautiful. Uh, remember, if you do want that stamp, I mean, that is a magnificent stamp. It's a, a oh, it's such gorgeous, good stamp. It? Yeah, it's stunning. Uh, that was the Flower of Gita, and it's um, a £12 saving. A quarter of the stock has gone on that one. Wow. Um, all you need to do is decide Oops. which to go with it. It's a really hard choice. I mean, obviously, if you're going for a mall, you'll get all of that. Well, you'll get, if you're going for a mall... You'd be buying these four on the top, and you'd be getting those four free. I mean, that would be it's for nothing. It's a cracking saving, it's isn't it? It's a really good saving. You'd literally be only paying for four stamps. So, quite frankly, massive deal, and it is a massive saving if you did want the whole collection. 026-623 is your item number. Back to you. Right, all I am doing now is just edging around with the blue archival. Lovely. And then just bringing it in a little bit further to create a bit of a blush. You want it darker on the edges, fading into lighter on the inside. So we don't want it to just stop. Yeah. We just want to fade it. Fade it in, and it just brings it all in together. It sort of brings all your elements together, if you will. Yeah. yeah. Rather than them all standing apart. I'm talking of bringing them together. Our John, next hour, we've got daubers like that, don't <gasps> you know? Hello, Hi. Hi. Yeah. Fancy that. Everything just blends together. Hey, sheesh. The way it all falls into place. I love, um, yeah, that sounds great. I think that might be my favourite favourite. Yeah, it, is, it the, is a great little stamp. Both of them. I like, the, yeah. I like the fact you've got them in two different sizes as well, because I think that's a necessity. Yeah, well, yeah again, sometimes I just can't, I can't choose. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you know, I'll be there and I'll be designing the stamps and I'll be like... Phew. But if it was a little bit bigger, you could do such, such, and such, such, and such, yeah. and such. Yeah. So, yeah. so it let's, needs. let's just do it. Needs it. Yeah, that's right. Large. I'm moving it out of the way. I'm skipping a step. So all I would do to finish this off is I wouldn't colour my stamp. I'm just going to edge it right. very gently with a light grey. Ah, OK. And I just take it all the way around yeah so i'm using a watercolor brush my kurataki zig so if you were to use alcohol of course you would disturb yeah the ink that you've got in there and i only know that because that's what i did <laughs> that's a beautiful pen so just go all the way around and that is all you need to do. You've just outlined. You can see it just pops away yeah. a little bit more. Yeah, that's really And then really the nice. other thing I would do is with my jelly roll, yeah. I would just fill in these little areas. Oh, yeah, don't they look good? And then they sort of dry like an enamel. Yeah. And yeah, they they've got that really high luster, haven't they? Super pretty. So that's oh, all I would do nice. to finish it off. And then because I don't have coloured card that coordinates, yeah. I just take my pro marker, which almost matches, and create a border. Super. Quick and easy. And then I can mat and layer. Boom. And then I would do A light layer as well. So if I bring this one in, yeah. Oh, yeah, if it was stamped in black, 
<laughs> there. <laughs> It'll put it on the yeah. overhead. That looks see that really now. good. That looks so and, good. And it's so effective. Yeah, it is. Quick. Yeah. And but easy. Effective. You could mm. quite easily have a little production line yeah. of these going, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah, absolutely. That is such a beautiful stamp. I really love that. I know. Thank it you is so, so much. Pretty. There. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Thank you. Uh, let's remind you of your options. Um, so, and I will whip through these. So, you've got, first of all, your Bengali Queen. Um, half the stock has gone with Bengali Queen. We've then got for you um, the beautiful uh, Raja's Crown. You can see you've got so many different stamps in there. Um, Oh, sorry. Yeah, I did. Do you know what? Yeah, we're thinking. Um, so <laughs> it was the other way about. So that's Raja's crown. That should be. No, that's your Bengali coin. That's Raja's crown. Yes. Um, but half the stock has gone on both of those. Uh, we've then got for you, and this is the one that Lynette has just used, which is absolutely exquisite. Um, as your Saragita, is that? A shower of Gita. Um, a flower. <laughs> Flower. Uh, it's your flower agita. If I say it really northern, it sounds even worse. That's my flower agita. Um, and all you need is now. 40% uh, of stock has gone there. The next one that we've got for you, um, which is your Art of Mende, um, and that is approaching 40% of the stock has gone as well. Um, we've also got, and this is just beautiful, uh, Ronis Pose. That's such a good size stamp. But remember, you've got the other smaller one and the sentiment there as well. We love that one. We've then got the Kashmiri quilt. You've got so many stamps on there. Absolutely exquisite. And remember, that's the one that you've got the larger sand script. So when you see the full stamp, you have got the uh, the larger sand script there as well. The next one that we've got is a Bote Princess. And again, that's the smaller sand script, um, which, of course, we've just seen in action. Last but not least, you've got all the... Uh, at Kara at. <laughs> I just stay with that, that. Jack Carrack. Um, and that is beautiful. I'm going to show you finished samples. That one is a necessity because you've got some good sentiments and good sentiments you'll be able to use with everything. Remember with this collection, you're buying four. If you wanted to go for four, you'd be buying four and getting four for free. You know, the, it is a half price deal. It's one of those that if you haven't got this collection yet, it is too good to miss out on. The designs are stunning. And what I love about it, when you see something like that, it's like, this isn't in this design. Do you know what I mean? It's like, there isn't any wreaths. But because you've got so many smaller elements, it really allows you to, to build up and create your own look completely. I mean, again, that one, completely different. Um, that one, look at this one, that's absolutely beautiful. And do you know what? If you went for all eight stamps, it would actually be under £50 for all eight stamps. And you're not getting eight stamps, obviously. You're getting loads of stamps here because each one i mean the even the sort of the biggest i think's got three stamps on it you know you've got yeah it, i mean every single stamp has got multiple stamps on look at that i mean that is exquisite okay if you do want to get hold of this collection absolutely phenomenal uh, once it's gone it's gone <coughs> i do apologize got a crooked throat today um, check your baskets out. 026-623, your item number. Now, we've also got, of course, a massive deal on those stencils as well. There's another where you're buying two, but you are getting six pounds off the actual stencils. Um, you've got your mass and you've got your stencils. Yay, that looks nice. Thank you. So you've got your 80s and your innies on these and those two at the bottom and then you've got your your full imagery um, on the others i mean there's so much you can do with these the detail is sensational use them with ink use them with your spritzers use them with your gels of course um this kind of thing that use part of the stencil or just use the full thing every single one of them has got so many elements on it it really allows you to maximize those designs and although they, they work so well with these beautiful stencils that we're seeing today, they don't, you, they're independent, you know, you can use them with anything. It's one of those that, that they're just timeless, quite frankly. And I think that's the thing with the whole collection. Because it's so Indian inspired, it is timeless. It is timeless, absolutely. I completely agree with that. Because their I... artwork, like when you see the, the artwork in India, I mean, it's artwork that survived centuries. Exactly. And it's, it's been around forever. Yeah, yeah, and it's everywhere. And yeah. it's, oh man, it's it so is stunning, beautiful. isn't it? All the colours. Oh, I love it. Do 
don't you just want to go back? It's, it's like on my to-do list. Oh, man. Massively. It's, it's just, yeah, beautiful. Oh, look at that one. Bear with, bear with. Look at that. That is just a wow, isn't it? Um, if you want these, you have got two of these for 9 98 Again, that is such a good price. Uh, 915255, your item number. So, we have got our Samsara. Um, we've also got the Sandflower. Love that. We've then got the Tantric Rose. We've also got for you the Indian Sunflower. Um, we've got the Entrance. Um, we've also got Enlightened. And then we've got the Flower of Paradise. And then the Taj Mahal. And the Taj Mahal is actually in the lead. Fancy that. No, do you know, uh, that's Taylor's favourite. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, see everyone, you're going for Taylor's favourite. 915 255, your item number. And then we've got the gels. The colours are amazing. Oh, we've had a sellout. Oh. Shockingly shouty pants. Honestly, your name's a race. Where's she gone? Where's our shockingly shouty pants? Should be one there of the are. pinks. There you are. Right. Shockingly shouty pants. Not Bright using thing. that in the next demo then, am I? No, nope. she's gone. <laughs> Um, and this is it. You need, if you're going for your real brights, I mean, have a look at some of these brights. They are amazing. And I think that's the thing with this collection. It isn't, they aren't wallflower colours. No, they're not. They these are, are like, in your face. Wow. Yeah, really. And it, oh, they're divine. Um, and everything works beautifully. If I show you that again. Oh, oh, oh. Ne neon Naomi. Has that gone as well? Zinc gone as well. Okay. Oh. I'm just I'm trying to move mine away as you're saying so the I don't too bright bright. Um I tell you what though, I mean that that's a good bright bright. If you're loving your bright bright, you need that one. That's your bossed. Bossed. That one's really cool. It just screams 80s, doesn't it? The, yeah. the pink, the yeah. yellow and the green. It really does. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, it is like, oh, I've got me uh, leg warmers. <laughs> um, now, what's this one? Oh, yeah, pretty out there with my leg warmers on. Oh, no, that's the name of the thing. Outrageously um, Jojo, I think that one is. Jojo. See, you're really good. You know your names. <laughs> I never know names things. Outrageously Jojo. That's Atomic, Atomic Tina. Atomic Tina, that's so funny. That's named after our Tina Barnett, that. Is it? Yeah. Brilliant. Shaggy Shaggy. Who's that named after? Kasha Bigadge. Amazing. I love that they're named after people. Yeah. It really makes me giggle. Um, we've got Deb, Deb Debesque. Deme I can't say that. Debesque. Debesque. After Deb Ellis. Excellent. <laughs> I, why it messes with me at that one. And then we've got Dazed. Dazed. That's actually not. Dazed and Wipeout aren't named after any people. <laughs> so nobody's a Wipeout. I, could, I, I might rename it as, you know. Taz. Yeah. Like Taz is dazed. <laughs> <laughs> or if someone's just a wipeout. Well, yeah. um, but that sounds a bit. Um, you've then got K pop. K pop. And then wipeout. With the wipeout one. I mean, that one looks amazing. I bet that gives a shimmer, does it? To it everything. does. It gives a lovely pearlescent golden sort of shimmer without it being in your face. Yeah. You can also use the wipeout to let down any of the other colours as right. well. So if you so don't you, want them as sharp yeah, you can and bright. Bring, you can bring them down and make them a little bit paler and not yeah. as out there. So you can be a cheek a bit more subtle yeah. if you want. If, if you, you want, but be. why would you? Nah, you don't want to. I mean, oh, God, we've sold out of that. But yeah, look at those colours and the shine on these. Because remember, they are a gel. So you've got that consistency. You've got that incredible shimmer. That's the Dazed, which does look phenomenal. And it's the way they work on black as well, remember. You know, you're still getting that incredible colour. Is that one? So is that the Dazed on black? No, that looks like K-pop. Oh, you're completely right. It's on the thing, K-pop. Yeah. That looks really interesting, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it does. It does. Because I've got the uh, gold comes through with that. That one's beautiful on black. Um, yes, that's the best. Deb 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 <laughs> yes, it looks beautiful. even more electric, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. On black. And that, so that's your wipeout. Yeah. Wipeout. So on the black, it is stunning. You can really yeah. see that gold pushing through. Yeah, it really can. That's yeah. amazing. Absolutely amazing. I like using the wipeout. So say I've done a journal page and I want some stenciling over the top, but I don't want it to eclipse the page. I just want a hint yeah. of something. Yeah. That's what I like to use a wipeout for. Yeah. Yeah. And just... I've also added, when I've done that with the wipeout, added in, you know, the little crystal micro beads. Oh, yeah. Because that'll it, stick it to it, won't really it? really sticks oh. well. 
They're lovely. Uh, £9.98, that's all you're paying for these. And that's for two of them. So if you do want to get hold of those, please check your baskets out. 912-806 is your item number. Now, if you are spending £60 or more, um, and all this been shopping. So if you're spending £60 or more, obviously you could go for all the stamps. If you haven't got them already, literally you could be getting all of those. I mean, you are getting four stamp sets for free if you went for all of them. It is a deal. Um, we've all also got two of the stencils. She's got a couple of gels in that there basket, which pops a total over to 67.88. So all you need to do, press your flexi, it splits it up into two easy payments, interest free, of course. Uh, freedom member, so no postage which is amazing that's the way to shop here at the craft store if you do want to maximize on those easy to installments all you need to do is click the button spend over six pounds click that button and if you never want postage uh, freedom is the way to go um, if you have any questions email in if you want to send the photos we always love seeing what you've been doing but all in it what yes. are you up to next, my love? Right, we are going to do another card. Beautiful. Yeah. Right, yeah. what What's we're going to card? do is we're going to stamp in the archival using the Boaty Princess. Beautiful. So, let's pop it in the middle. So, I'm just going to show you how I created a step further along. So, I started off with a piece of white this is like a textured card stock like a linen okay um sometimes i do like to stamp on it it just gives another amount of texture it's so, one of them in it it's yes. nice to stamp on but some of them it's like it misses some of the detail it does but sometimes that is nice so especially mm. i liked using it with the vintage collection yeah. when you wanted it a little bit bitty yeah. a little bit bitty a little bit bitty Oh, that's so, come out beautiful. It has come out very, very pretty. Very nice detail. Um, so, can I just give yeah, everyone a bit absolutely. of a shout out? Because this is a bit of a warning. Um, okay, so Raja's crown now approaching 80% of the stock gone. Wow. So if you want that, approaching 80%. Um, our beautiful Bengali queen um approaching 70 so these two absolutely in the lead i mean look at them stunning uh, please check your baskets out if you haven't already done so because we'd hate you to miss out remember after 10 minutes we do refresh those baskets right back to you alanette right now we're going to do a little bit of schmooshing a bit of schmooshing a bit of schmooshing oh, marvelous right so i'm going to start off with the outrageously jojo and i'm just going to try i always put too much down i'm trying to just put a little bit because I'm not covering a big A4 that's got yeah. all these over now. That and orange then, is divine. It's great, isn't it? Yes. A little bit of water in. Mix it around. Beautiful. And just pick it up. Oh, look at that. And so even though you watered it down, that's really yeah, kept it's that still, colour. It's still very, very intense. And I tell you what, actually, from where I'm stood, that looks miles brighter orange than our overhead. Our overhead I know, camera is crazy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, um, what I don't know about at home, but what I'm seeing on the camera doesn't look as bright. No. Can you? No. Maybe, oh yeah, I'm just looking yeah. up at it now. Yeah. Just and give it's... it a little short up front camera. Let's see if that looks any different. Because at home, from my angle, it's like that is bright orange. You know, yeah, there's no it's, subtlety it's still about not, it. No, it's still, it's still not, not got as it. powerfully. It is really neon. Yeah, it basically. Is, yeah, it's neon. Yeah, it's a proper neon. It's proper, proper neon. Is that? It yeah, is. So the next one we're going for is Atomic Tina, which is like a coral pink. Yeah. So it's like yeah. a, a mix of pink and orange. It's a it's really, still, really pretty. Again, that's still got that brightness to oh, it. Oh yeah. And again, let's go over. Oh, that looks good. And the last one I'm going to finish off with is the Shaggy Chic. So this, I know the Shocking Shouty Pants yeah. sold out. This isn't that far removed from the Shocking Shouty Pants, but this has got a very much more pronounced gold fleck. Right, okay. Whereas the Shocking Shouty Pants was just pink. Just bright. Yeah, yeah, just bright and in your face. This one's got a very pronounced gold fleck when it's right. dry. I love your names. Shocking so. shouty pants. 
Good. Let's just pick that one up. So we've got oh, I like that. I don't, a that really easy well. way to colour. Yeah, yeah. So, and I think the pretty out, they just work so well yeah. with this collection. So all you do is dry it off. It is pretty quick drain. You don't need to dry for that long. When once, you've, um, sorry, Lynette, no, I'm right. interrupting you. When you've watered it down, would you be able to stamp over the top of it as well? Or because it's a gel, would it be a bit... Well, let's, we'll, we'll have a look, shall we? Let's have a look. You could absolutely stamp over and heat emboss over the top yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah. Just be aware that you need it to dry completely. Yes. And to cool down, because it will be a little bit sticky until it cools down. Yeah, of course. With it being a gel. But yeah, we'll try the, the stamping over the top of it. Let's make sure it's... That's drying off. Beautiful. So I'll just wait for it to cool down. And we'll get one of the little well. Picking it up like that, you get some... <clears throat> it, you get a really cool variation, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you do. Like, if you just slapped it on with paintbrush, it'd be a lot flatter. Oh, yeah. I just... I love, like, the squidge marks yeah. that you get yeah. with smooshing. It's Shmooshin. never perfect. And it is a very good word. Smoosh. 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 You kind of have to say it like that, Oops. don't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's very intense, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's just weather. We'll put it to the side. Remind me to come back to it because we will see if it dries. And cool. I have to put my finger on it now. It probably smudge. So we'll hang on. That, I a bet. Little yeah, minute. I bet using right ink pad, it absolutely will. Because that's, um, that's lovely. Right. Right. Ooh. So this card is, it's like a collaboration between two of my design team oh, members. I've pinched fabulous. ideas off. So. It's my Jane meets Mel <laughs> card. So Jane was the inspiration behind this. She's done a card that was very similar, but she'd very, very intricately coloured it in. Wow. And I got it out of the box and I looked at it and I thought, whoa. That is... That's talk. Ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, that... It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's stunning. Absolutely. The colouring in on that. <laughs> yes, that is... Um, amazing, because that looks 3D as well, and it is... Doesn't it? Wow. Wow. How crazy good is that? Beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. That is a strong card. Oh, it's our Jane. Yeah, Hiya, it's Jane, our Jane. Uh, she's good, isn't she? She's very good. Oh, I like that, Jane. Um, Raja's Crown, now limited in stamps. So if you want Raja's Crown, that is going to be the first one to sell out. You need to be checking your basket out. Um, that one now, uh, limited stock. So if you want Raja's Crown, you know what to do. Um, only eleven ninety eight, and that's for two sets of stamps. Um, basically, buy one, get one free. Zero two six six two three. Back to you, all of the next. So all I would do after I've cut them out is just to add a little bit of a highlight, especially if you if the, it's too bright for you. But as you can see, I've really washed some of them out, so you can see the softer sort of colours yeah. that you can get, and then I've used the really bright ones as well. So that looks so I'll just good. Add. A little bit of detail. Let's try it up now with my white gel pen. I so say just white gel pen off that looks ace. Yes. Yeah. Obviously, take your time and don't be scratty like I am. But you don't want to see me do this the whole way around. But that's all I would do is just then accentuate some of the areas, add some little dots in, colour in some of the stripes, and then a button. Beautiful. So for the background of the card. Our Mel is renowned for taking her stencils yeah. and then me opening a box and going, what's that she's used? <laughs> because she's used the stencil and made it look like she's not used the stencil. <laughs> so what she loves to do is to draw oh, yeah. through them. Yeah, yeah. So she'll draw through them and then doodle into them or... She's a patient woman. She is. The, uh, her, the way her head works... It absolutely boggles me. Yeah. The Is it one that of them you go? Sees. Yeah. I tell you what, though, that I love this technique because it looks so effective. It's one of them as well because you can see the other image. You can easily actually draw that in, but make it look like it's sat behind the other flower, yeah. can't you? You can get real perspective on this. You can. So you could, as you say, it's like using the mask as you can see through it. You could build up flower behind flower, behind flower. Yeah, that is really... It's a lovely idea. So all you would do is just draw through 
and create. I'm not going to go through all of it. What, how are we doing for time? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> Coming up for five minutes, love. Sorry, I was right. just right, chilling not, out watching you draw. I'm not going to carry on with this because I do want to try and squeeze in another demo to show okay, people okay. about the gels. Yes. But if you imagine I've carried that on and I've added this in the middle. Boom. We've glued got it all this. together. We've glued it all together. We've got that. Hooray! So and that's lovely. That is just another super simple yeah. way. Again, yeah. nothing about that was complica complicated, but you've taken it from card making yes. to mixed media. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I really like that. That is beautiful. And yeah, what a good collaboration, you know, between something like that and, and amazing. Oh, Jane. Okay, if you want these stamps, I'm going to show you loads of finished samples. You need to be checking out your baskets. I mean, the designs are magnificent. The amount of things you can do with these I'm going to show you some of these up front as well, because this is the thing. You're not just making cards. I mean, look at that jewellery. Isn't that necklace beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. You've got so many different things you can do with these. Uh, your mixed media pieces, that is incredible. Using these, obviously fussy cutting, there's so many different things you can do. Uh, we've got we've got a beautiful photo from Lisa as well, Ooh. actually, oh, um, oh, using oh. our Bengali Queen. Is that coming in? Oh, it is. It, it, there oh, you go. Oh, that is so lovely. Yeah, that's stunning. Yeah. Thank you so All much, that Lisa. All fussy cutting at the back with the leaves. Yeah, yeah and she used explosion powders as well. That is stunning. Oh. Uh, Lisa, thank you so, so much. Um, okay, if you want your stamps... Oh, I'm making a mess. I'm going to stop. Uh, you buy them. Buy them and get one free. Okay? Um, you, this is a good deal. It is a half price deal. Um, please do not miss out on these. If you've been looking at these, needing them, wanting them in your life, now is absolutely time to get in. You've got so much detail in these. You've got so many uh, builders, you know, builder uppers. You've got so many beautiful stamps that are your toppers. You've got worker stamps in this. You've got wonderful sentiments and the script. The, the Sanskrit script is amazing. Um, please do not miss out. Remember, you've only got a few minutes and then that's it. Our uh, lovely Lynette is going home, so check your baskets out. 026623. Now, I know Lynette wanted to try and get another demonstration in with those beautiful gels. So remember to get hold of your stencils. The stencils is a deal and, of course, the gels are a deal as well. Please look them all up on the website. But... Over to you, my love, because right. I know you want Just to get want this to show out quickly, very, didn't very you? quickly how different they look. So I had done, I'm not going to bother with that because we've seen it all on white. But if you just look, you see how that's just instantly gone gold. So that's the wipeout. So we'll just have a little look at each of them. Beautiful. On the black, used as a paint. So again, we've got a rose gold come uh, through there yeah. from that's the Atomic Tina. Oh, you have to give it a wiggle. I have to give it a wiggle. Yeah, yeah. So we've gone from a gold oh, yeah, to a rose it. gold. Yeah. And then dazed. Completely and different. And just trying to get the tiniest amount. Then yeah. we get like a, a dark gold, if you will. So you've still got a hint of purple. Oh, yeah, yeah. But you've got a real dark gold yeah. there. And the thicker you put it on then, obviously the yeah. more purple you're going to get, aren't Absolutely. you? Absolutely, but I like to use the tiniest amount that I can get away with. Yeah, yeah. So, let's get a little bit more. So as you say, you go a little bit thicker. As soon as you go a bit thicker, you've yeah. got the colour. So you've got the colour still coming through there. So that one was the shaggy sheet. Let's get uh -huh. a little bit of Debesque. Oh, wow, look at, look that. at that colour. That's amazing. It's great, isn't it? A minute but and no, a half. I think half. people just need, need to see how beautiful these are used on black. Wow. So that's the bust. I love that. And it's when it goes like into the texture of the, the bristles there. So it goes thick and you can see the green. But then when it fades out, you can really see the other the other colours coming through, yeah. can't you? So we'll just finish off with this one. So obviously if I was doing it seriously and not using it as a colour tester, yeah, I would have yeah. picked probably two or three colours yeah. and gone all over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then I probably would have taken the wipe out just on top very, very yeah. lightly. I tell you what, though, even like that, it, I know you're only sort of slapping the colours on, but it all works together. Yeah, because it does. Because when they're on black, 
they they look more subtle, but they blend. Yeah, that is well cool. Absolutely Let's fabulous. Try and get a bit of a yeah, love that. You can that see all the different different colours. Amazing. How different are they? Yeah, well cool. And especially with the three golds, we've got the very yeah. pale gold at the top, gold yeah. at the top, mm. rose gold, and then the deeper. That looks. And yet. Yeah, they're not gold in the pots. Yeah, they're really good, is that? You need to play. Um, the Raja's uh, crown, that's sold out. Technical sellout. Check your baskets out. Lynette, thank you ever so much. Um, make sure you check your baskets out. Don't miss out on the deal. Bye. Coming up next, Crafts 2, one day special that's sold out, but we've got a counter full of goodness. Uh, we've then got Fabric Freedom. It's Fabric Street, and it was beautiful over there. And then K Facet, it's gorgeous. Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest and a crafter. I got into crafting years ago, ever since I've been crafting since I was a child and I absolutely love it. I love my job, I love the presenting side because I get to meet loads of really inspirational people. I hope you can join me on my Let Leonie Lou shows every Wednesday, 11am and 2pm. Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. All of our MDF products are produced in Devon, in the UK, and we have a wide variety of products to inspire you. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Don't forget to join me on my Rowan Dean shows. Hi, I'm Jo and I have the pleasure of demonstrating for That's Crafty. That's Crafty are a family run business that started online in 2005. I hope I can inspire you by bringing along my experience together with the That's Crafty products. So make sure you don't miss the That's Crafty shows. Hello and welcome. I was just pressing the button and then you go, uh-oh. Right, before I even start, happy hour. It's amazing. Okay. Our John is in the building. Our John's had so many busy hours. I tell you what, our John, you've obviously sold out of everything. Well, so we've got a, a, an amazing counter of goodness. But we have. that happy hour is ridiculous, it, isn't it? It's crazy. It literally is crazy. You're talking, um, you know, 10 ink pads yeah. for less than a tenner, as I just wow. said to you before we went on air. Yeah. And they're high quality eyes ink ones. Um, and it's just in case we need some room. Wow. I mean, oh my gosh. That is such a deal. Do not miss out on this one. So you're going to get 10. Contents are going to vary. Who cares? I mean, when it says contents are going to vary, it won't be like 10 at the same colour. No. 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 No, because well, that would be a bit rubbish. It's Jane and Penny who are picking them, and you know Jane and Penny. They wouldn't yeah. do that. <laughs> they won't <laughs> do that to you. No. Unless, um, you know, you've they're, upset they're all... them in the past. Yeah. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah, they'll look at the name and go, well, I remember her. I remember Five. her. 
Five <laughs> black and two brown, please, Penny. No. <laughs> Ten brown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. It no. is going to be a variety. And they're beautiful colours. Because of dye ink, there's loads you can do with them as well, isn't there? There is. Dye inks are something I think we, we forget about. Mm. You've got that quick dry, you've got that translucency, so they layer beautifully. Yeah. They stamp precisely. Yeah. And if you've ever tried, I know a lot of people love to stamp in a pigment ink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You stamp in a pigment ink. I always call, people say to me, what's the difference? Pigment ink is a bit of a pig. Yeah. <laughs> because if you stamp in it, if you put some down, it will just smear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. will literally. And that's beautiful and that's what we want. But if you want clear and crisp yeah, and yeah. colour, you want a dye base. So that's your pigment. And look. Yeah, yeah. Pick, if I can steal one of the dye base Of course pads, you can, my dear. Because obviously I should be prepared and have brought some in, but, you know... Obviously, me being me. Might You're be a little bit the, the sealed. Brown. Got the brown for you. You know, because that's been... Because obviously I've annoyed Leonie in the past because <laughs> she's grabbed me the brown. I have opened it, I hope. Did I open no. it? No. It's all right. I'm used to it. Oh, it's really my, my go-to ink. Uh, yeah. But basically, OK, so let's just push that down. Right, that's your brown watch. It's mm. translucent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. dry almost immediately. Yeah, yeah. And if I come to stamp with it, this is the, the difference to me so if i stamp with that so i know everyone loves like the you know their versifying clairs and things yeah. Yeah. for actually techniques but for clear crisp stamping oh that's lovely yeah very it's clear yeah. very crisp yeah but that yeah won't smear if i do that not you know after a couple of seconds if i do it in the pink of the pigment great intense color yeah, because yeah, you've yeah, got yeah. pigment so it's opaque but yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're having to wait a you're lot You're having longer. to wait for it to dry. Mm -hmm. So, But it's different products for different purposes. Yeah, absolutely. And with dyes, I mean, you can create gorgeous backgrounds, you can do everything. Tell you what, with such a good colour variation, and when you've got a bargain like that, you experiment more because they're not, you don't keep them as your best best because it's such a bargain, even though they are quality ink pads, quality ink pads from Eyes Ink. Right, that is our happy hour. It's not going to last mm -hmm. an hour. Half the stock has gone already. It's literally going to last, what, what should we say, ten past? <laughs> um, OK, please check your baskets out there. Saving a tenner. That's 192-247 is your item number. Fantastic deal. OK, so we have got more goodies on the show for you. Um, as we said, the one-day special did sell out. Um, I mean, it was so, so busy, John. It was, it was crazy. And I I'm know... not surprised. I saw some of them finished samples and they're beautiful. I mean, Sam's pushing them past in a trolley now. Oh. And it, it's, it's like, I'm, I still don't mind the two hours I spent making that pile of boxes with all the samples because <laughs> I loved it. But we did yeah. say we couldn't get any more. We knew we couldn't. Yeah. We did expect it to last till now. Yeah. But it, it went and it, it is beautiful. So I'm really, you know, thank you if you bought it and I'm yeah. sorry if you missed it. Yeah. It, yeah. it won't be coming back. I'm, I'm, it's, it's, like it's, it's done. It's gone. It wow. is done. We do, you know, when we say that there's no more, we don't, we don't hold some back sometimes, you yeah, know, yeah, for yeah. next week, that's gone. That's done. You know, maybe a couple of the individuals, but I know at least five of those products, that's it. Wow. You've had them. But luckily what we did is we had, in with the pads, yeah. we had a delivery into the warehouse on Friday night. Oh, and, and luckily, um, Peter said to me, we've had everything back that people have been asking Amazing. for for nearly six months, some of them. Oh, my gosh. Been out of. So I actually brought the box with them all in. How lucky is that, To bring John? down so that you've got them to add on to the end of the shows as normal. Oh, oh my it's gosh. the only reason this show exists. Yeah, yeah. But literally I said, well, what we can do is we can do a back-in-stock show yeah, yeah. for people who've missed it or people who haven't seen it before yes. and I know people have been waiting desperately for the stamp cleaning pad for the press, the to, press to come back and the brushes crazy oh my god the brushes yeah yeah because they are fab hey I tell you what though happy hour limited start <laughs> it's gonna beat 10 past um, we've had an email can you use them on fabric they're a dye ink so they're not going to uh, they're not gonna set on fabric uh, but but obviously if you're using it and you're not gonna be washing it then they're gonna be all right yeah they'll find they will stamp I use them an awful lot to be honest mm. I make um, I wish I'd got one with me but again I wouldn't have thought to bring any samples for this show yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I stamp onto calico yeah and then I use a water brush and those to color yeah. it in it looks beautiful on fabric I can't I can't yeah. um, wash it, yeah, yeah, but I use yeah. it for book covers. Ah, I've got a few little book covers at home I've made with yeah. it. And you get a beautiful translucent look and it's lovely again on silk. Yeah. Or things yeah. Like, but again, it won't wash. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it's um, yeah, not going to be permanent no. there. Um, OK, it is so busy. 
Uh, phone lines are going a little bit mad, the creaking, so they are. Uh, so if you can get on the website or shop on the app, that is the best way to go. Uh, the single figures happy hour is, or I should say the happy hour is now single figures, not the other way around. Um, it is the next couple of people. I am so sorry. I know those of you waiting for that are going to be so annoyed, but it is first come, first served. Um, please, uh, I'm not going to say please checking out your baskets because you might be hanging on the phone to go, I'm trying. <laughs> uh, get on the website. It's so annoying, isn't it? It's so annoying when someone says that and you're on the phone going, yeah, right, thanks, Leona. Well helpful. Anyway, I'll move on. No, I'm going to move on so no one shouts at me. Technical seller. Sorry. Technical seller. <laughs> It was way before Ooh. 10 past. Um, yeah, well done. Um, and when you can check out, we know the owner. Okay, so what we're going to do for you is, I'm not saying that anymore. Um, we've got more deals now. Um, and you were saying, John, people have been waiting for this. And it's one of those things. It's obviously um, stamping, it, this makes stamping easier. I think um, platforms are just such a genius idea, they aren't are, they? But genuinely. this is a cracking bundle. This is a really good bundle. Because what we've done is we've put together... Well, what we don't, we say normally this is everything, yeah. but obviously we have done the base plate for stenciling in this now, which we don't right. have on this show. But this is everything you need for stencil, for stamping. Right, yeah. And it covers everything off. And through the show, I will show you what all the different bits do. Yeah. But the, the main things, you're going to get the stamp platform, which is, I'm going to say, arguably, it's the best. Yeah. And of course I am. Everyone at yeah. home would expect me to say that. Yeah, absolutely. However, my favourite thing is it. you remember Sharon? Yes. Sharon did yeah. an independent, yeah. before she was with any company, video on YouTube yeah. and compared all the stamp platforms on the market. Really? She bought them all, wow. so she wasn't sponsored by anyone. Wow, that were an expensive And one. ours came out the top. Wow, well done. And bizarrely, bah, bah, bah. ours is the best priced. Not really? Yeah. Well, yeah, when you look at that, and I was yeah. kicking myself yeah. because I, this was the last one I bought. Yeah. I bought it at a show. I bought the well-known branded one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know and what you mean. The day it came out for yeah. £45, yeah, yeah. it didn't work. Ooh, Not for me. Right. Because it was never designed for clear stamps. Yeah, yeah. Um, because it was more about rubber stamps and foam mounted. And something I've said for years is... If you are a really good stamper, you yeah. know I used to ask Julia Watts yeah. to do my stamp shows when I used to design yeah. stamps. Yeah, yeah. Even Julia laughs about that because um, I wasn't the best stamper. But if you've got a clear stamp, you've got a large one, uh, yeah. and you're going onto hard paper with a hard stamp yeah. on a hard surface, yeah. it doesn't connect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, with you, when you're using your blocks for your big yeah. ones, you're moving it. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're or I'll put paper underneath. Yeah. For you've a got bit to have of something sponge. soft. Mm. And this is the great thing: the press to impress has the foam in there, yeah. and it's not. Just just funky foam. Yeah, yeah. It's an actual proper foam mat that fits in and locks in because of this little key piece. Yeah. Yeah. So it locks in place. Yeah. And that is perfect for stamping a large stamp yeah. like that on. Yeah. But the other thing, so the other thing I love is, first of all, of course, that's A4 card. Mm. And that's a and it's game changer. held without a magnet mm. because of that little bit there. Well, it's also, you can use A4 card. Yeah. You have no idea how much that bugs me. I have, I have seen you mm. with shows, I'll be honest, folding it. tearing and folding mm. card to fit it into the stamp uh, platform really because that's... Yeah. And it, again, it's each to their own. Yeah, but yeah, the yeah. fact that, let's face it, at home, you don't have card no. cut to size. Yeah. No. And the last thing you want to be doing before you start a stamping project is going, right, let's cut some card to size, <laughs> shall we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. now you grab it. My, so my white card is there at home. Yeah, yeah. Is it behind me <laughs> in the tray there? I grab that, slap it in and go. But yeah. this is a big stamp, very, very detailed. Yeah. And the way I always say is, and this is strong enough, if you haven't got movement in your hands, yeah, yeah, yeah. grab a brayer. Yes. To run over, or, and yeah. I get shot for doing this. Stand on it. Yeah, it takes fine. it. I mean, yeah. I'm not going to say you should stand on it, and if you stand on it and break it, then it's not my responsibility. And don't use your, don't, don't have your stilettos on when you do it. No, <laughs> but you see, I've got every bit of detail. Yeah, 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 that's beautiful. And, and that if, is a super detailed stamp. And I can go, if I'm not sure, like yeah. that, that butterfly in the middle wasn't quite as dark. Yeah, yeah. So go and push. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. If I want to put another layer on, put it on. Yeah. But to me, it's that. And if I've got a rubber, rubber stamp. Yeah. 
I can um, that's mounted. I take the foam out. Yeah. And then I'm not that's switching it, around, that. yeah. and exactly the same, and then that will connect. Yeah, yeah, perfect. But the difference that I really like in this as well is these. Yeah, you've got measurements. Perfect. So you've actually got all the measurements in metric and in inches, if you like me, and Perfect. some reason old, working. Old school, well, thank you very old much. School, yeah. Uh, I wasn't. I would, inches didn't exist when I was at school. We were oh, never really? taught about them. Oh no, I were. But then actually, I went straight it was into and millimeters. Yeah, yeah same yeah. for me. But then I went straight into fabric and everything. Ah. Everyone still wanted it by the yard, and I had to real. Yes. And I went up to my boss and went, "What's a yard?" <laughs> Now I was 18. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so back but into it, Now I'm a crafter. I use inches more yeah. than ever centimetres. So yeah. you've got the measurements. So you know where things are and the size of things. You can place them right. But yeah. as we move on afterwards, I will show you why. Because in this bundle, you're going to get... Yeah. You get the two magnets that you normally use. Yes. You then get the two new Easy Lift magnets. Oh. Included as a separate pack. Amazing. So you don't have to cover them with tape anymore. Amazing. That's genius. Yes. And look, when they stick together, what? You can get them apart You can again. get them apart with no strain. That's so good. I have so many half magnets that yeah. are broke. Because everyone thinks they're metal and they're not. They're plastic in the middle, so yeah. they will break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get your platform. The other difference with this one, I feel like I'm like, you know, I just love it. I yeah. genuinely do. Well, it's a good product. But the thing is, if you watched product. earlier, that's what Lynette was using. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, when you see, and I will, I'll say now, if you've got, Charmaine uses them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lynette uses them. Loads of other demoers use yeah, them. Yeah. And every demonstrator that you see using one of these platforms has bought it. Yes. Yeah. Because crafts who don't give stuff away, they do don't. they? They don't. They don't. They don't. They I don't. can absolutely tell you that. They do I not. My machine. They do not give props. You bought your collider. I it doesn't happen. Machine. It yeah. doesn't happen. Yeah. So if you see someone using it, they've bought it with yeah. their own money. Yeah. But the other difference is from a lot of the others, there's also another layer of foam on the bottom. Right. So what you've got is first of all non-slip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. also you've got even with a even with a rubber stamp, you've got that extra padding. Yes. Which gives you that connection. That squidginess. And you've got extra squidginess in it. It's no in nowhere is it hard. Yeah, yeah. It's great. And of course, in this you get the inserts, but I'll show you later how to Amazing. use those. Amazing. Um, yeah, it's a cracking bundle, is this? Okay, so if you want this, you have, as John explained, um, we've got the platform, we've got the uh, positioners, which we'll talk about, the new magnets, uh, we've even got the carry case, and the carry case is fabulous. It'll open flat, it's got your little pockets at the side to fit everything in. Uh, this is super, super busy. Now, you're saving £10 at the, on the, uh, this at the moment. Forty-two ninety-five, two payments, twenty-one forty-eight. However, if you want to add more magnets in, I tell you what, I'm, I'm absolutely. It's one of them again, isn't it? When I have my dinner tonight, I'm going to be like, oh, well, be I'll be get getting on crafts too. <laughs> I need some of these. I will. Um, damn genius. Genius. I have loads of these because they're proper handy. It's when you put them in a safe place and don't know where you've put them. Um, six, oh, that can't just happen to me. 679 is your item number. Um, and they are your easy lift magnets. What a cracking idea. You can pop it into this. Obviously, you've got your flexes. Spread that payment. 980504 is your item number. Two payments, 2148 is your item number. Now, next, and this is your stamp cleaning mat. Um, again, one of those products that's just handy and easy to use um, it's only nine pounds and 99 pence and yeah it is one of those oh, that was being used it's one of those that's it's just handy isn't it you, you, look at that our job you that's can impressive. see this is mine but this bizarrely is clean Wow. I've not cleaned it, obviously, Sammy has. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't clean stamps. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you and Tim Holtz and Diana Wakeley. Yeah. A clean stamp never gives you a good impression. Yeah, yeah. A yeah. stamp to me needs to be mucky. Yeah. To give you a good impression. However, I've just used pigment ink yes. on that stamp and that stamp is now pink. Yeah. If I come to stamp that, that's, that ink will never dry yeah. on yeah. that stamp. Yeah, absolutely. Full stop, no matter what I do. So, and I'm hoping I have, yay. Yeah. So I need to clean that pink off before I use it yeah. again. Yeah. It's the only time you'll ever see me cleaning stamps. Yeah. Cause I, I, yeah, cause otherwise if you go on it re-ink, you're getting pink on your next I will ink get pad. pink on the black if mm. or the next color. Literally, this has got thousands and thousands of microfibers 
<laughs> in there. Yeah. yeah. And you wet one side with water. As I said, this doesn't look clean. I've used it with black and Kaleido. Yeah, yeah. And then the other side you literally dry on. Oh, what a good idea. And that stamp is now clean and dry and with simple. no chemicals. Yeah, yeah. Nothing. It's perfect for doing colours. All water. Yeah. Is anything else. But the other thing is that I love is this. Look. Uh, so take it that and that's comes how you out, wash it. That's how you wash it. It's on foam. The yeah. other lid, it's stuck in. Right, okay. But watch. Ah, uh, fabulous. Yeah, that yeah. That clicks off. Yeah. And this is clean, but it's not. But why would I want to buy a new one to look fresh? It, it's yeah, a tool. Absolutely. It's a tool to yeah, use. You saw the state of my yeah. press to impress. Yeah. So if you... I like that, John. I like that it's mucky. Because if you came on with a clean one, it'd be like, well, you don't use it. No, because I don't. No. And that's like, why would I trust you? You don't use it. Yeah. Uh, when it's mucky, it's like, yeah, use that. Yeah. Because that's what I'm meant to that's do. That's what it's there for, yeah. It's meant to be it, used. It's like, why would I have a pristine one? It yeah. makes no sense. So if you are cleaning your stamps, it is perfect. Because say. It's, Amazing. it's if thousands, if not millions, of little tiny microfibers, yeah, yeah, that stick up, right? And you clean it round. Now I know it basically gets into everything, yeah. And then that dries it off, and you get it clean. So even your most intricate ones, yeah, yeah. Um, I've used it for cleaning other bits as well. Yeah. To be honest, if I get something yeah. on my, I'm forever doing this. Yeah, that's a good idea. And cleaning my blocks on it. Yeah, that is a good idea. Because it's about as close as I'll get to cleaning yeah, my block, blocks to be are honest. Minging. You know, but yeah. so it works. It is yes, it's plastic. Yeah, yeah. But I won't, I'm going to say this is eco-friendly because yeah, it's been made. Yeah. yeah, it's been shipped over on a boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you buy one. Yeah, yeah. You and buy one and you clean it. Yeah. This is not, and I. It, Don't it's a personal it. thing. Mm. Keep it going. Please don't use baby wipes yeah. to clean your stamps. Yeah. Number one, it's a terrible thing for the for the planet. Yeah. Yeah. And I know it's a personal thing, but it is. Number two, even if they say they're pure water and they're perfect and they can be flushed, they're not. Yeah. And they and take forever to disintegrate. They do. And number three, no matter what they say, they've got some form of chemical on there. Mm -mm -mm. There is a mo these are for wiping babies' mm. bums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they've got some form of cleaner in there, some form of moisturizer, something. Yeah. And you are putting that onto your stamp and building up a coating on your stamp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clean it with water. You know, one off. Yeah. It's yeah. far safer. You imagine how many packets in your lifetime you'll go through. Exactly. And I literally, when I watch someone getting a baby one oh, clean the stamp, I cringe. And then put it in bin. When I know, yeah, okay, this is plastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a petrochemical yeah. thing. But, but this you're not is, binning it. You're not binning it. Well, you can see. Look. Yeah. Yeah, that's I'm not it. Being, I, know, I know I'm like I'm on the soapbox, but look at the state of it. That's brilliant. That's, that's how it love. should be. That's used, yeah. that love. Uh, whatever you do, though, don't put it in washing machine to wash it. You no. know, just, just be sensible. Sink of warm, was, warm, soapy water, that's it. And just leave I'm, it dry. I allegedly believe that's what Sam tells me he does. <laughs> Sam, so I'm not even going to lie and say we, I've cleaned my We all I need a Sam. We all need a Sam. <laughs> um, that is super busy. Nine pence and 99 pence. I'm obviously so with our John with the baby wax. Uh, 422161 is your item number. Now, these are for lying. We knew they would. Um, these are back in stock. I'm not going to lie. I just want to get them out and touch them. They feel beautiful. Uh, you've got your different sizes, of course. Uh, for Oh, he's such a hero. <laughs> Oh, like the ace, John. I love these. I could just sit and I can. Oh. I've actually sat yeah. thinking I've got to get something done. Yeah. Watching the telly in my craft cave and yeah. just been like this. Do you Literally. not do that thing where you just start as it got ink on it? Because I'll never do that sure. and then I, because it's one of them. You just want to do that and then it's got ink on. it. Yeah. No, I've never Charlotte done that. Charlotte in my head were hoping it did. Scott just sits there and does his head with one whenever he does it. <laughs> but does it? Get, yeah. Whereas I go straight to my nose. It's just so nice. Oh, it I is. <laughs> Oh, it is. Oh, I, oh, I like it. I've got a new habit, but it's not what they're yeah, for. Yeah, it's not what they're for. Don't do it when you put your ink on, especially not permanent. Um, and, and I haven't seen the little case. No. Ooh. The case, we kind of... This is actually called... When, if you get it, you'll find the little label will tell you it's a pen storage case. Oh, well, yes. And when I spotted this in the warehouse, I went, I'm not storing pens in there. I love his warehouse. Oh. Honestly, it's like Aladdin's cave. The stuff you come out with from that warehouse, it, it literally, it feels like you go in oh, there and it's never ending. On Thursday, I showed a sample when I was down there of some, with, they might still be on as an end of call, with some beautiful little bells. Yeah. So it's a shame we haven't got any. He's going, oh, we have. And he knows. Here you go. Well, can we put them on the show? Well, can you get them on for, for, for Sunday? I went, yeah. Oh, wow. Of course I can. How many you got? 
Oh, a couple of thousand, or... It wasn't that many, yeah. but you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, yeah. So we find all it, sorts, it, but and I... It, and he knows that. Yeah, just, and I anyway. found this, and he knows where everything is. Amazing. And I've seen so many people struggle with brush storage, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. keeping things. And these have been in here now for over a year. Oh, wow, okay. And these are washed and put back in. You can see, because look at the state of them. Yeah. What I love is, I've got more in my case, because I bought extras than yeah. just the five, but... You fold it over and you roll it round and it takes no room. Oh, that's such a good idea. And that's done and secure. Yeah, yeah. You know where they are. Yeah. You're not buying loads of extras. And when I come to use them, it's just a case of unrolling it. Yeah. And then not getting crushed. Because I've seen these fancy plastic mm. stands at 20, 30 pounds. And I haven't got room on my desk anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just keep no, it nicely rolled up. And when such... I want to use them, it comes out from the drawer that's here. Yeah, yeah. Because that's where the drawer <laughs> is that has these in at home. And I use them. And yeah. they're just so that's wonderful such to a use. Such idea. I mean, oh, they just feel... You will see so many people using these. I've got a couple. I need to get more of these because it is. Now, this is a ridiculously good price. Sorry, I'm using this as a pointy tool. Um, also good for that as well. And it's one of them, isn't it? You know when you've been baking, you see a little hand coming in. It's like, no, don't, don't do that, obviously. Uh, £14 a night of baking. Who am I? £14 a night, seven pence. You've got five brushes and one case here. That is 792366. This is super busy. I mean, like John said, these are things that are back in stock. Uh, we don't limit it to one per person. If you want to multiply, you absolutely can do. I would definitely, definitely uh, suggest you do because they are lovely. And oh my gosh, they're brilliant for blending. 792366 is your item number. Well, something I did. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Was I actually bought two sets. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm not encouraging anyone to do that. But the other spare case, so I put them all in one case. Oh, yeah. The other case holds all my water brushes. Oh, yeah, genius. Yeah, of course. Of course, because I a lose pen them holder. all the yeah, time. Because I've got wash brushes and normal water brushes in yeah. three sizes of each and sprays. Yeah, yeah. But again, now. All neat and tidy. All neat and tidy. Neat and tidy, tidy and neat. I know. I love storage. I'm love no storage. good when I get going, yeah. but you know. Yeah. This storage is only is tidy great. because Sam actually cleared it all down and stripped the whole set for me. Oh, it's such a good one. And then put all of this out for me. Oh. Otherwise, I'd still be doing it now. Yeah, yeah, crying. <laughs> yeah. And just in a told, corner. And just told no, I'd, your brush. No, I'd be sat in a corner like that, rocking, rubbing <laughs> a brush on me nose. <laughs> It's my new habit now. <laughs> it's a good one. I'm glad I shared. <laughs> yeah. However, if you do end up with a funny colour, not Let's my face fault. It. Not my fault, my friend. Um, next, we have got for you uh, the wonderful daubers. I'm keeping the brush um, in my hand. I will give it in back, I promise. Um, these you get in 40, 40, I nearly said 14, my math. Uh, 40 daubers. Now, this is a cracker. £19.99. £99. Um, obviously, you've got your little sponge on the end. Um, so, and if I just spin it, you you can see there you're going to be able to uh, I like these because they're easy to hold easy to blend with easy to store so you can actually see them I mean if you're anything like me I've got all my sponges all dumped in one I mean, you probably won't be like me but I've got them all dumped together whereas actually that you can see the colors thank you John and they're just really really handy aren't they and every job every tool has a different job and mm. it has to earn a place daubers I use all the time first of all for putting on things like mica magic yeah. Onto yeah. raised surfaces, and I've used it a lot because I've bought quite a few of the story molds <laughs> recently. You've sold me so much stuff. <laughs> to you and Catherine and Paola recently, honestly. <laughs> um, it's great for doing that. It's great for adding ink, but... If, you, if you've got a die cut or a flower, yeah. Yeah, and this is where I would normally de use it, if I want to tip the edge of the flower, yeah. if I use a brush, yeah. I completely coat it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, if, and I can't get a brush to do me the centre of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I do is I use a finger dauber in the <laughs> air. Thank you. Yeah, so let's let's say, for example, so I've got... Because, of course, I haven't got a flower dye now, because everything's... <laughs> so we'll do... I'll that tell went you then. Yeah, everything's been packed. It's, it's literally winged its way as we started, wasn't it? It was uh, going past in the yeah, car. Yeah, it was, literally. But if I want... Say this is a leaf dye. Yeah, I cut. Yeah. If I want it gently touched with colour... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do it in the air. Uh... And flick it round. OK. Yeah, yeah. I can't do that with a brush. Yes. Yeah. Because it literally, it, it yeah. just doesn't. Yeah. 
so it gives me so much more control yeah and i'm not good you know with the the blending sticks yes 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 i know i've seen you you can do it amazingly I've practiced. but if you give me one of those i can't even get my hand in the right yeah. place yeah it does take practice it, and it that's really the thing. does whereas this is stick it on your feet it doesn't even fit on mine because i got fat sausage fingers <laughs> and it goes look and it goes oh. not even halfway up. Uh, yeah. But yeah. if you struggle with that, you can hold it between finger yes. and thumb. But yeah. you've got, hold that like a pencil. Yeah. Yeah. And if I want to colour that. Yeah, dead easy. That to me is so much easier. Tell you what. And I can be directional. The colour, yeah, you've got a lot, a lot of ink on those sponges. This is the Isinc pigment ink. Ah. And I probably haven't opened this for six weeks. Wow. But again, so, but you can do that, and this yeah. is every job, every tool has its job. Yeah, yeah. And again, I find that with that, I'm holding it like a pencil, so I'm far more. That's lush. I can control that. Yeah. Whereas yeah. if you gave yeah. me the ones you use, yes, I would have a circular blob <laughs> and a streak. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they're so much easier. Yeah. And, um, and that's it. I mean, and let's face it. Look at your storage. You know, you're 40 in there. That could be 40 different colours. It's going to be 40 different colours. And you can see them. It's really easy to find. Yeah, it's a really good deal, is that? Only uh, £19.99. 826142 is your item number. Now, please have a look on the website. There's so many goodies on the website. Um, remember, this is a really good um, show. It's a stocking up show. It's a back in stock show. It's one of those shows where things you might have been waiting for for months months we have now got and there's some deals i mean the brushes are flying um so please make sure you get hold of them they are so so busy the little vacuums this is when i, I press the button and i didn't know what it were um you've got and i haven't said this um you've also got um no i haven't Paula has a pink one does she i have a blue i have a blue one i have a pink one at home as well oh I've very both. good but that Paula has the pink one oh. but they're great for um they're brilliant for cleaning your plates of your die cutting machines. Ah, that's a good they've got, idea. Apart from picking up all the bits, because yeah, yeah, yeah. they've got the brushes on them, yeah. the brushes get all the little fibres out of your die plates. Ah. So you basically give it a really good... You give your plates mm. a really good vacuum because scrub. of the brushes. Ah, so you're scrubbing it and vacuuming it at you're the same vacuuming time. It and you're getting all of the... You see all those in there? Oh, uh, yeah? That's all the little bits, but once it's been going for a while, if you get this brand new... Yeah, yeah. yeah and it only takes two normal remote control batteries, so you yeah. do what I do when the first prototype arrived. Run in the living room, take the batteries out of the Sky Remote, because you know they're in there, and <laughs> put them in here. <laughs> yeah. And let whoever's next on the telly sort it, you know. Um, it's not going to pick up things like glitter and stuff, because it's, right. it's, it's, the, the, it's too fine. Yes. But... Once you've used it for a week or so, yeah. you start to block the filters a little bit and it'll pick up all your glitter. Because you see all that? <laughs> that's all iridescent, uh, super fine glitter yes. in there I've picked up. Yes, but it is. Brilliant. I, 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 I thought you would have been perfect I for a desk hoover. How fun. I didn't even know desk hoovers was a thing. How funny is that? Um, <laughs> How oh, fabulous. Uh, £9.99 is your price there if you want to get hold of that. Um, oh, and again, you've got your, your choice of colour, I presume. Um, that is your blue one, £9.99. That's 197021. Or your pink one, which is at the bottom there, um, 755659, your item number. And the original I expect it to move as well, yeah, then, for some no, reason. It's not a robot. But the original idea was the blue was going to have the John next door on it. Yeah. And the pink was going to have Crafts too on it uh, and when we start having them manufactured <laughs> there was going to be a cost to change it yeah the name from one to the other yeah yeah and that meant they would be more expensive so you, no. you know how you know yeah, both yeah. P, peter and jane are all exactly yeah. the same we solved that for game of soldiers yeah we're not right. doing that stick my john friend. next door on both of them yeah because we're not going to make it a pound more expensive for the customers just so we can have a different name on it yeah yeah because that'd be ridiculous yeah, it's crazy yeah yeah um fabulous if you do want them only 9.99 perfect um one nine seven zero two one or seven five five six five nine i just want to keep pressing buttons i'm going <laughs> to put them there so i can't harass them uh what we're doing now john right okay so i've gone through the basics of the stamp platform yes. but i wanted to explain really what these are yes so you get a pack of 50 paper inserts okay now 
These have got another use as well. Okay. Um, you'll have to go and check out on my YouTube and on my Facebook. But I use these for nesting dies to get frames straight. Oh, really? Oh, because so all of our properly. nesting dies are mathematically correct, so it lines right. up exactly to it. Yeah, perfect. Because I've never been able to do that. But yeah. the main idea of yeah. them is, first of all, when you're over stamping, I know Julia uses these a lot. Yeah. Last time she was in, I nipped over and gave her another sort of 10 off my pad. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, first of all, when you're over stamping, you've got something underneath and you get a pack of 50. So, you're not marking your foam because the number of times I've marked my foam, put of something course. into stamp. Yes, like yes. Exact size, taken it out, and the back's covered in black. So, it's like that. But what you've got is, <laughs> yeah, if you notice, we've got the grid lines. Uh, yeah. Okay. Of course. So, right. let's say. Um, so you've got, and the grid lines are on the paper as well. Right, okay. Okay. So, and these are all correct uh, mathematically. Look, yeah, yeah. So and you can up. line up your stamps or line up your designs yeah. or, let's say for example, you find a design that you like or you're doing some wedding invitations. Yes. Or you something. need it to all be exactly all be the, the same. same. You stamp what you want on there, you then run that through your laminator and there is uh, your, your pattern or your template for how yeah, to do yeah. it. But I'm going to take a piece of card. And I'm going to do what I say you don't have to do, but you don't. But this is useful. So let's say I'm going to have... I'm going to cut a square and I'll do it in metric for you. Um, we have got the guillotine on the show, if you do want your guillotine. I like it, actually, because we've got the guillotine and we've got the paper trimmers. So it depends what you are. If you're a guillotine girl or a paper trimmer, pal. <laughs> um, then you have got that choice. I'm a guillotine girl, I'm sorry. I'm a, pa I'm, I'm, I'm a paper, you're a paper trimmer, pal. trimmer pal, I know I that am one. indeed, I love my paper trimmer. Uh, but you've got that choice, so do have a little look on there. Um, if you want, if you are a, indeed a guillotine girl, um, then it's 19 pence and 99 pence, 773 If you like me, paper trim pals, um, now, we've got the large, we've got the, and a little un, oh, um, 21 .98, that's all you're paying for those, uh, saving three pounds, which is a cracking deal, uh, 073224, and we've got one more option, we've got the baby, and the baby is a proper little un, um, and that has got your little craft knife in there as well, nine pounds and 99 pence is your price, handy that, so, uh, 320, oh, look at it, and the baby one, because I know you've got the big one, but you I don't have a baby. One. I ain't got no baby one. The baby one. one takes the same blades as the big one. Oh, that's handy. And the blades are always on an end of call on the craft store. Amazing. Even though we have been may have been out of stock of the trimmers at some point, yeah. we have kept the blades on the end of call that's a very good idea. on all our shows. Yeah. So, because the biggest thing about a paper trimmer, how many times have we oh, discussed this? Drives me nuts. Drives me nuts. You can get the trimmer and then your blade goes and you can't get that yeah. blade anymore. It's a universal blade we use for this that fits both of them. Yeah, and it's good. a pack of two yeah. are always on the end of call. That's really good because it drives me nuts when you can't get a blade. Um, now that's another thing I need to get sorted as well. Um, if you do want your blades, um, that is, I do need to, I'll be shopping after. Um, please make sure you get your blades. But if you do want your trimmers, you've got all those choices. Trimmers or, of course, the guillotine. Check all of those out on the website. Go back to playing with me brush. Um, our John. Right, so let's say I've cut that square 15 yep. by 15. Okay. And I want whatever stamp I'm using exactly in the middle. Right. So how would you do it? Oh, I wouldn't. No. <laughs> I guess. No, John. I wouldn't. You would guess. John, I yeah. would absolutely But there are guess, people who want and then it cut a bit exactly. off. Yeah. And That's trim it I'm down doing. your paper trimmer. And it's 15 centimetres square, if you're anything like me. Yeah. It would end up being 7 centimetres yeah. with it slightly off still. Absolutely. What you it, do is use chance. the base. So, what is half of 15? Seven and a half. There you go. So pleased you so asked me a number that were easy. Seven and a half. So there is the seven and a half line. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just using a pen so you can see it. Okay. And there is the seven and a half line. So no, there is the centre. Yes. Okay. So if I want to put this flower bang oh, in the centre. Yeah. Now I see what you're going to do. I Oops. get it on the back. I get it on the centre of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course you Pick do. Pick it up. Take my thing. Yeah. Magnet down. Make sure it's pushed in the corner. Ink. Stamp. Boom. Okay. Bang on it, centre. If Oops. I... Yeah, yeah, I didn't even think of that. But let's say I wanted to do a repeating pattern. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's a nightmare. That's if a nightmare. you want it even. Yeah. So we go. Right. That was seven and a half. So let's just have a look because I'll make a template of this, shall I? So that's there. So the next one 
there needs to be on this line, but I want it even, don't I? So, mm. what's half of, of what's half of, of seven and a half? Mm. Well, uh, it's three, three and three and quarters, bit. isn't it? Yeah. So, well, three I'm going to bring it in and a bit. This is why I'm. So I'm going to go bit. on the three and a half line. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Three and a half line. Super. Yeah. yeah. So that would be that's the half. One, two, three. So I can make a little grid and go right. So I want one. In the middle there, don't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this. I like doing the grid as well because as soon it's as you've done your pattern, it means that yeah, you're using that again and again and again. That's such a good idea. So all I'm doing is rotating the stamp a little bit each time in the middle of each of those little grid lines. Yeah. Pick it up. What a good move idea. Move it on. So if you do like to be precise. Yeah. Yeah. It's there for you. And it's lovely for pattern building, like you say. It's yeah. a cracking idea. Because then it goes there. Yeah. Pick it up. And I like it because when you pick it up, that's you actually creating your pattern. Yeah. Because you don't need it stamped really heavy. You do, you only need that, that cleaning the stamp off. You yeah. can see where it's going. So the next one would be there. Let's just pick that up. I so know. I won't do, you know, the whole thing. You see how quick you can genuinely yeah. be. Yeah. And of course, you've got that grid then that you've just made. Yeah. But yeah, they're you'll all use that again and again. even. Yeah, and that's really good. it would be really the good. same down there. Yeah. So but, yeah, that is such a genius idea because mine would not be even at all. It's good when you're stamping out alphabets, when you're stamping out words, when you're stamping when out you're letters. When you're doing sentiments, mm. what you do is you put them on that line yeah yeah so if i want to make sure that i get the sentiment straight on there yeah what i would tend to do is and i have to grab one or very if you've got quickly. the um you know because there's loads of alphabet stamps where yes. you've got oh, all the right. single Killer. and that is cracking for that let's say i want that there yeah okay so it looks kind of straight yeah yeah right so i'm going to pick that up i'm going to take my card away and let's look how straight it actually is it's not yeah so I know where I want it. I want it about there. So I pick a straight line and get one of the words there against that straight line. Yeah, yeah. Pick so that up. you can actually see it properly. So you can actually get it in exactly the right place. But there is another thing with the other piece in here. Yeah. I could carry on this show for like two hours, yeah. to be honest. Isn't it mad? And it's but only now, your, your little extras, isn't it? Yeah. It's just... It's the bits we forget that yeah, we need. But yeah. look, that is straight. Yeah, that's perfect. I never get sentiments oh, man. straight. The amount of times there, it's like, mm, I'll be right. Yeah, And then you chop me. your card down. And I'm trimming constantly yeah, yeah, yeah. in my guillotine, because yeah. I'm a guillotine girl. <laughs> um, guillotine so that's, girl. that's your paper. You could keep that yeah. as it is. Yeah. You can laminate it if you want to. But yeah. you, I know now, if I want to repeat that card, all I have to do is put my stamp back on that impression yeah. where it is and I can keep going. And yet. to be fair, once you've actually drawn your grid, it doesn't need to be that specific nope. stamp. You know, let's face it, if you didn't have that stamp on, it could be any stamp you're picking up because you know your yeah. grid. It's the, it's the grid that well, you're you keeping. Well, you could go, I want a little stamp every centimetre. Yeah. I mean, I'm, again, I'm just doing this so you can see it, but there, that's, if yeah. you put it in that space, that centimetre square each time, yeah. you can build up your borders and things, yeah. you know, the things that we all struggle yeah. to do. Yeah. You could, unless for you're an pattern expert. building, it's a cracker, is but, that? It's really good. The, and it's when you've got your head round it. Like, at first it's like, mm, but when you've got your head round it, it's like, oh, yeah, that's easy. Yeah. And then it's, then it's, oh, I can do this and I can do this. It's so simple. And it's just, it's funny, isn't it? it it's a piece of paper. Yeah. It's a gridded piece of paper, but it is one of those that's a well, game changer. It is, and because it's also sized yes, to fit, yeah. it's exactly the same size, so it clicks in. Yeah, so it's you not know, faff. Um, graph paper's not going to do that. No, no. It's not going to match the measurements yes. everywhere. It's not going to fit into your press and yeah. click in at the bottom like that. But um, the other one, of course, you get 50 of those. Amazing. And we can stock up on them when we run yeah. out, can't we? Yeah, we, we've, always, we've always got them. We're always doing them. Amazing. Um, and but we're 50 will last a little while. Oh, well, I think I'm only on my second pack. Really? But the acetate ones come in a 10, and you get these as well. Now, right. this is... Now, I'm using this as one of my... Um, this is a Dolly Dimple stamp. Oh. Um, from the lovely, oh no, sorry, this is a clever prince from the lovely Charmaine. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, and Emma. And basically, um, she said, she, she basically sold me this set because she said you can make 
a dragonfly from the pieces. Yeah. When I saw that, actually, I did think dragonfly. Yeah. Oh, I were going but, dragonfly. Okay. But yeah, it could be a butterfly. So there's the body. Or a chrysalis. But, is that what the called? Yeah, chrysalis, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing that is. But I need to put the wing on. Yeah. Okay, and again, my stamp main my stamp won't be clean at first. So at first it's not a problem. Yeah. So I can put that stamp there. Right? Oh I see. No yep, problem. Yeah. Yep. And I can pick that up. Yeah, yeah. Okay? And ink it. Once I've done that, mm. I can't position that stamp again. No, you can't. And yeah. I'm sorry, life's too short for cleaning it. Yeah. It really, really is. You're hundred percent right. So in comes my acetate. That is uh, such a good idea. So now I can mess about. Yeah. Yeah, and you can position it properly, you can decide, and you're not worried about the ink. And I can make sure that I, mm. I can even get it on a line. Look, that wing is on that dotted line there, so if yeah. I just move that one out, that means they're exactly even yeah, yeah, yeah. now. That's so good. Pick that up. Flick that off. It's the other reason why I have extra magnets, apart from losing <laughs> everything. Yeah. But then just ink it. But again, look, no inky marks. No, and that is something I do a lot. Perfect. But I want to now mirror it, so I want to do the other side. But yeah. thankfully, this stamp set has the same. But again, because of the grid line, yeah. if we look, I can make sure that that, so I'm on just about touching that line. Yeah. yeah. So my point needs to be just about touching that line, and it's going just over that one. Perfect. Up to a dotted, yeah? yeah? So, yeah. that's exactly right. Yeah. And I know we can get away with it being roughly, yeah. but if you like things even... Yeah, yeah. You like things even... And a even, lot of people do. Yeah. A lot of people do. It annoys me if things it. are just that little yeah. bit off. It's all right if it's like the finger stamps yeah, and yeah. building something or yeah. pattern building. I adore that, but... But when it's a proper image and you want it spot on... So, again, we yeah, just fabulous. move that on... And obviously, when you put your acetate on, remember to put it on the right side, not the side that you've gone and got the black ink on. Well, you can't because it's cut to size. Oh, so you, you can't, can't put mess, it in wrong. So you can't put it in upside no, down. Because that's what I would do, John. Because it's cut to the exact size. Oh. You can't because it won't fit, will it? Oh, You'll see straight away. Amazing. That's why we're not using a piece of acetate. You could do this with a piece of acetate, oh, yeah, but yeah. in a way, why would you? Yeah. When you've got the, you've got ten of these, yeah. and you've included, and you get the grid lines. Yeah. Yeah, so the grid absolutely. lines make all the difference because that one is now even against yeah. that one. Yeah. Okay. That is such a and good idea. And I'm just going to. And because the card's fixed, it doesn't matter when I start moving. Yeah. Thing as long as you go always to the top. In the corner. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Yeah. So I put that on. And look, no blobs. Yay! John's doing Bob with no free. blobs. It's even, so it lines up. I'm going to add a couple no more blobs. bits if you want to play. Oh, if you, you have to. a little play. Um, genius, isn't it? It's one of those, and it is very, very busy. It's one of those that it's your tool. So you're going to use this again and again and again and again, so it has to be super functional, which it is. Lightweight, which is really important. Um, it doesn't take up much space. I love the fact that with it, you've got the grids on the outside. They have been scored into that plastic. They're not going to wipe off. Um, I really, really, really love the fact that you can put an A4 piece of card in there. For me, that is an absolute game changer you've got your two magnets but remember you are getting two of the brand new magnets you've got the uh, the foam in there to help get that that crisp even stamping um, and it's also got it's not just the platform you're getting as I say you're getting the brand new easy lift magnets you're getting um, the the fantastic gridded paper and that is going to allow you to do so many techniques and then of course you've got your acetates as well and then you've actually got the case and the case it's going to keep it safe it's going to keep it tidy um, when you're not using it obviously um, pop it in the case so you know where you've put it don't do what I do and can't find my uh, um, but uh, yeah easy if you're going to a workshop or whatever fabulous but it's brilliant for storing everything now if you've actually created
created loads of templates, you don't want to lose them. This, if you've created those templates, this is where you're going to keep them. Because then at least you know where you've kept them. You know they're safe, you know they're protected. Because otherwise, you'll have spent all that time planning it all out. Can you imagine the kind of pattern building you can create with this? Um, but you don't want to then lose them. That would be proper annoying. Um, okay, if you do want this, it is a fantastic deal. Saving 10 Pounds. That is a good saving. Uh, two payments, £21.48, pence. Nine eight zero five zero four. If you do want extra of those magnets, genius idea. Easy lift, such a good idea. You are getting six of those for 9 99 Definitely get hold of those. Uh, 679310 is your item number. Now, the cleaning mat. This has been really busy as well. I love seeing John's cleaning mat because it's mucky. And that's what it should be. Uh, because obviously this is there for you to use. I like the fact that it's a decent size as well, so it's going to cover uh, your big stamps. Then, yeah, spritz water, give it a scrub, have a dry one, and that's going to allow you to actually clean the stamp and dry the stamp. I like the fact that that lid will come off, so it does allow for cleaning. Um, this is such a good idea, and it's one of those that's just so versatile. And again, it isn't, it isn't, isn't, not ain't, it isn't taking up much space <laughs> i fit mine mm. is inside my case in the it the fits platform, in the case yes. along with the platform yeah. along with some stamps yeah, yeah. along with two sets of each of the templates and with the metal insert bar for it and there's still room wow so that case will fit all of that you can get everything together yeah that's um, good. And it's the safest place then when i'm stamping yeah. it's basically it's that drawer <laughs> it's pull out the case open it when everything's in there yeah, and as long as i good. remember to put it back it's done <laughs> yeah that's the one <laughs> um it so makes sense to keep it with the the platform obviously nine pounds and 99 pounds four two two one six one and then the brushes i haven't put this down yet i don't think <laughs> Um, these are so nice. Uh, so you've got your brushes. These are super, super busy. Um, you've got your different sizes, different sizes for different jobs. And then, of course, you have got your storage as well. Um, it's such a good idea using your pen storage. It makes sense. Uh, saving £4.1497. Uh, of course, we don't limit it to one per person. You have on the website got other choices. So you can buy different bundles. The choice is yours. But if you do want this one for saving £4 um, and making the most out of that storage case, that is 792366. Remember, the storage case will fit more brushes than um, just these, however, so you can really fill it up. Um, that is 792366. Check the website out. We've got loads more goodies uh, for you, some cracking prices, but we are going back to our John. Our John. Right. Next. So I was talking about the right tool for the right job. Yes, indeed. And I've been very lucky. I've been, <laughs> so I've been using some Dolly Dimple stamps because, of course, uh, this show wasn't planned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I didn't bring my big case of all my stamps with me yeah, all you and I thought I'm gonna have to go and see if I can borrow some of the um, art inspirations off Leone but <laughs> I, I, my order actually came in for these, these are mine oh wow my order was actually here oh my gosh that's well <laughs> so exciting so it was really lucky and then Lynette basically has lent me but you're not getting them back Lynette <laughs> two of her stencils from the last show yes to do this but I want to show the right tool for the right job yeah. so I showed yeah. you before using a finger dauber yes um, and how it's good for shading, colouring, for the background, for edging. Yeah. It's not great for stencils. Right, so okay. So I don't want to pretend. Yeah. So I, I, I thought I'd take a new one and show you. Yeah. So if you... Can you hear it scratching? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And what it starts to do is... I don't see it, but I'll show you. I'm probably not yeah. going to... They, oh, there we go. It'll, it'll make the form. Yeah, yeah. It's one gone through a stencil. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. I don't want, you know... Especially your metal stencils. Oh, yeah, that's probably... They that. just eat them, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do. So that is the perfect job. I would not be without these. Yes. But the blending brush is worse their job. Yes. And this is their job. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I'll take it from this one, but I'll... Well, what I want to do, I want to show you an, a, one done. So you see here... Mm. It's worked. It looks lovely. But yeah, eventually you're gonna your your sponges you're gonna, are, you're gonna, you're gonna deteriorate gonna them. your product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to. So this time using the blending brushes, because of all the thousands of bristles and yeah. smooth, if you listen to this nothing there. But look how I can fade yeah. Yeah. that. It's yeah. so smooth. It's just it? and I can go and take another one. So I'm gonna go to blue. Uh, are you using and your pigment the here, off by using the way. my pigment ink, yeah. Right. So just, and it's so easy to take it off. Yeah. yeah. 
just so. lifting it off easy. And I mean, it's that blend as well. It, it's ridiculously easy, isn't it? it anyone. I mean, you know me, I'm a lazy crafter. Anyone, anyone. in the world can do this. But... And I love that because blending is one of those that for a long time, it, it has been a little bit of, a, of, a, of an it's annoyance. It's an job. Yeah, it can it can be difficult for yeah. blending, and I do think yeah the brushes have been a game changer. Um, one of the things we've done, if you notice, I hold mine here a lot. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm not going to. We haven't reinvented the wheel. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to stand here and go. And we developed these yeah. with. You know, these were nicked from the makeup industry. Yeah, absolutely. You know, they that's were. where we got them from. Yeah. What absolutely. did we do? We had them change the plastic slightly. Yeah. Yeah. So you notice. We right, chose yeah. our own colour and our own plastic, right. so we got them nice and flexible. Right, OK. But that bit's no different. Yeah. It's yeah. just not as rigid there. Yes, yes. Um, you know, and we've brought them in for the best price that we possibly can. Yeah, um, yeah. But, yeah, I've, I've never understood. Don't pretend you've reinvented know, the wheel. Know, the wheel exists. <laughs> it existed. It was just in a different It industry. was in a different format. If I can find something that's in a different industry that will work for us and make life for crafters yeah. easier, I'll do Let's it. Let's have it. Yeah, I'm sorry. And if yeah. we can't do it at a decent price, we don't do it. Yeah, yeah. It's the... I mean, again, you've known Crafts 2 for so many years. You know that's their ethos. All oh, right. You know, you, you know Peter of old. You know, if it's Indeed. not going to be good price for people, we're not doing yeah. it. What's yeah. the point? But how easy yeah. is that? I'm not an expert at blending, but... There you go. I mean, spot. it's perfect, quite frankly, isn't it? And that's a lovely thing. The other thing as well, um, I mean, you can pick up a fair bit of ink, you're not forcing it under the stencil. No, if I you mean, actually, you probably can't see this, but can you see the glisten? <coughs> yes. Of all the excess ink I've picked up, but it's <coughs> not making it go under like it would do normally. Yeah. And yeah. My, the one I did earlier, I'm gonna, I'll just grab a scrap piece of paper. This is, um, I don't know why I didn't use my guillotine, because that's what I use at home. This is a, one I did earlier on one of the earlier shows, just with, with um, power, and I wanted to show that I am in awe of when I watch your shows and Paula's shows, of your ability to pick up a couple of brushes or those... You know, the, the silly things. My sponges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That I, I can't get on. Hey, I, I can't. Yeah, I still I'm sorry, use I really can't. Sponges. I know. I'm, I'm so old school. I just can't get on with it. Um, but, and they make these wonderful inky backgrounds, and I don't mm. have that skill level. Mm -mm -mm. I can't. But we should be able to do it, and we can, because look, literally, with a brush, when I go straight down, can you see? I don't get that yeah, yeah. circle print. You yeah. know the one I mean? Yes, I know. And exactly if you don't know what you're what doing. You <laughs> and these are, you know, so all I'm doing is making a mess, okay? <laughs> oh, but look at the colour. Yeah, I just, it's just beautiful. And then, I'm using the eyes ink because they, because they're not felt, they're foam. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. They don't contaminate. Oh, yeah. So I've gone blue, I've gone pink on blue and look, that's still blue. That's, yeah, that's amazing. And even if I get pink on top, it won't soak in. But literally. Ooh. Look at that. That looks and so And these delicious. are three colours. I asked Paula to choose me three colours that didn't match. Right, OK. That were random. Yep, yeah. Because I said, because that'll give me the best yep. effect. Yeah, they look so cool together. But they shouldn't. Shouldn't. This shouldn't work. Well, that shouldn't work. Because they're not, they're not tonally right yeah. or anything. But it's the way the colours blend as well, which looks phenomenal. But there you've got a stormy sky. Yeah, that can looks I hold that one up? You can do, anyone can do that. I mean, I can actually see now, in that, a nebula. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah? Yeah. Completely, and what I'm yeah. going to do is... I and, love that. You know, but you know, I mean, Leonie knows, and the people at home know, you're watching, you know I'm no expert in inking and... The, you know, tank, I, I'm no inky finger zone like Julia and stuff. It yeah, yeah, yeah. still scares me, but I can do that without getting loads on my hands. And again, yeah. let's just grab some. And it does look super cool. And I'm just going to now take a little bit of Ah, uh, because white. you've used pigment, of course. Because I've used pigment ink, I can put a little bit of white embossing powder on this. Earlier I was using... Um, I was using glitter embossing powder, but A, I've run out. <laughs> Have you run out? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I've never run out of an embossing powder. Well done, I know. you. You Hey, been... me, I've run out of sprays. I've got to the bottom of my bottle of spray. Wow, I literally. John. Hey, um, now where are we? Uh, we've got some embossing powders on the show as well, so please check those out. There you go. Woo, 
he's Let's... absolutely Oh, I have so had nearly cold. every penny out of that, haven't I? Well done. Boom. Nearly empty. But, so I've got good. this on the heat resistant mat, which we've got right. on the show. We've oh, also, yes, I've got that on the show as well. We've also got the clips and the anti-static bag. We've got a minute and a half um, left. So I would normally hold it up with the clip. Um, and I don't know where have I put mine. Honestly, I'm an idiot. Yeah. I got it out to use, didn't I? But if you watch here, look, because I'm using pigment ink, this should all be yeah. running away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not, because I've got the heat mat, I'm not worried. I love this when it turns. But all I've used is some pigment ink that we've had on as happy hours through, through these shows. Beautiful. A little bit of white embossing powder. Yeah, you can't go wrong with white and, embossing powder. But to me, when this is done, this will look like a... I'm yeah, hoping it say. might have a look of a, of a Leone or a Paola background. <laughs> because I don't have that skill level, but I've got the, to the right tools yeah, will to work for us. Gonna look 45 you know, seconds. I'm always going to be, I might be a guillotine girl, but I'll also be a tool head. A <laughs> tool head. So you can see there, now I've created it's a, a nebula, a night sky. Oh, that's fabulous, isn't it? How gorgeous. And you can just imagine like a die cut or something over the top of that. It just wants the winter marvelous. trees from the, yes. the forest framed winter trees from the yes, last. Yes, that from would the look that fantastic, out, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, oh, thank you, Ever John. You need to check your baskets out, everyone. Uh, when you're back, love? Um, 6th of December. 6th of, 6th of October, sorry. I was going to say, whoa, what? Um, right, OK. I'm, I'm here for my birthday. Oh. Oh, fabulous. Is it your birthday? Day after, day after seven. Oh, yeah. fabulous. Cake. Uh, thank you, our lovely John. <laughs> that were marvellous. Uh, check your baskets out, everyone. Bye. Coming up next, it's Fabric Freedom, Fabric Street. We've then got, oh, I'm so excited for this. Uh, the K-Facet Fabrics One Day Special. It's beautiful. And then Jewelry Box. Stay children to Crystal. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. William Morris is best known as the 19th century's most celebrated designer and a key figure in the arts and crafts movement. I will be bringing you a wide selection of printed fabrics from the archives of William Morris at fantastic prices. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Branche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves, for your jars, glasses, we have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us and crafting with La Blanche. Hello! <laughs> 
welcome back to the craft store. Hello, it's Richard here. Hello, hello, hello. Um, I'm here till late today, and I believe my guest is as well, because uh, this is the first of two hours I'm going to be doing with someone that I haven't met before, but boy, have I got to know her in the last few minutes. Whew. Wow, a lot of stories, a lot of action. <laughs> it's, uh, it's Sasha. Hello, <laughs> Sasha. How are you? Hello. Hello. They'll, they'll stop moaning about me again and say, you know, They'll I get in trouble. They'll be moaning about you all day, what are you talking about? I They're get just... in trouble with Adam and now yeah. after this show you'll be like, I'm not working with her at Literally, the day I started they went, just just be careful, when Sasha comes in, just... That's Sasha fancy. Yeah. Just, not fancy. Yeah. Funny you mention the fact you're not fancy because... No, I'm not. <laughs> no, but you've <laughs> literally, you've recently got married, right? Yeah. And, go on, you say, you say, the guy you've, you've married, is his name is... James Not. Not. Yes. Okay, so now you are, if you double barrel it, I Sasha... Am, I have double barreled it. I yeah. am Sasha Not Fancy. Yes. <laughs> and so is he. That's brilliant. So That's he is brilliant. as well. It's a good job he wasn't called Fondant, isn't it? Because, <laughs> I mean, well, whatever takes you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it could have, like, it could have... It, it could have got a lot worse. It could have, but could it's have got spiraled better. out of control. It's got better. So you're not fancy anymore? I'm not fancy. That's a bit of a shame, isn't it? It's very sad. Aww. And it's the only way that I yeah. could stay fancy. No. By being not fancy. Oh. We could go on like that for ages. Yeah. But yeah, it's good. Do you know what I would have done? Just not married him. It would have been a lot oh. easier on your whole name thing, wouldn't it? Just stayed it, fancy. But it was the question of how do I make the name better? Yeah. Not fancy. Right. Okay. Yeah, in a weird way, it's kind of cool, isn't All it? Saying, you know, not. no frills, get straight down to business. Yep, I'm not shall fancy. We, shall we do that? Shall we not be not fancy and get, get down, down to business? Get down to business. Literally. Let's reword that slightly. <laughs> uh, let's get down to this business, at least, anyway. Uh, it's Fabric free Freedom, and we're going to be doing this the whole hour, okay? So, um, have a look. Here's the full range that we have to look at uh, today. And we're going to start off here with the Poplin Spots 10 metre mega bundle. 197307 is the item number for this. Now you're getting 20 half metres, 44 inches wide, a huge array of colours as well, and you're getting every single one that you can see here in this bundle. Now normally it is £87 and 90p, we have £20 off this today. What a massive saving this is. It is £67.90 and you could flexi buy this. So you could switch it into two payments of £33.95p. So let's have a little look at this, shall we, Sasha? What uh, immediately jumps out at you here? It's the colour. Mm. You know, I mean, I, I love everything that I do with Fabric Freedom, um, but these are so special. Everyone loves polka dots. You know, we all, when we talk about our stash at home, it's really good to have a mix of blenders, spots, some stripes, little flecks, just those things that we can do so much with, but our stash busters. So, mm. you know, you can do masses of applique with this. You could do dressmaking, you could do patchwork, you could do home wares. I mean, there literally is so many things that you can do. They okay. are beautifully soft. Yeah, that's the first I can feel thing. That. Really beautifully soft. Hundred percent cotton. Hundred percent cotton, but they are a poplin, which is made slightly different to our craft cottons. What's, what's poplin then? Go on. So poplin, poplin is the way that the cotton is mercerized and the way that it's made. So it's a lot softer than craft cotton. Which Such is... a very fancy by the sounds of it. There's a lot of fancy <laughs> words coming out. Mercerise. What, what's uh, mercerise? So it's the technique of when the cotton threads are actually weaved together. Okay. And it's how it's weaved. Yep. This is quite a close weave, but really soft, really beautiful. And the colours are so vibrant. They, it is just like an absolute rainbow. Isn't Absolutely stunning. Favourite bit is trying to pull this out about everything. Without Ooh. everything. Oh, nearly. Yes. Oh, look Get at that. In. Mr. Oh, Magician. no, hang on. I'm sure when we cut away from that, someone will magically make that look all better again. Okay, here we go. This is the full uh, extent of what you're getting there. We've got a little label. Let me just take a little label so on It's a really a... nice spot to it, and I'm quite fussy with my spots. Yeah. Because sometimes if you've got too big a spot, they can be like snowballs and it can just be too much of a large polka dot. Yeah. If they're too small, they can distort and it doesn't look great and it can play with your eyes a little bit. 
but this is what I would call a classic polka dot print. It's just a beautiful print. And it feels really nice as well. You've got so many colours to choose from here, and you get every single one of them. That's 20. 20. Look at that underneath. Look. Look how many you're getting. 20 different colours. Oh dear, I should have tidied it up before <laughs> I just did that reveal, shouldn't I? Forget that. Just pretend that bit's not happening, okay? But just look at everything else. Look, look, at, the, look at the wide array of colours you have. Pretty much something for everybody there as well. £67 and 90p. Yeah, just cover over the mistake. That's it. 197 307. 197 307. Right. Now, moving on. We have three different options here. This is the Fabric Freedom Poplin Spots Colour uh, Block. This is a four metre fabric bundle here. Now you're going to get eight half metres in total here and there's three different options. We've got darks uh, here which go up to, now let me see, I think they go up to Just here. Yes, that's, it. that's right. So we've got the dark. Now you get, what you do get is you get um, plain colours here as you can see. So we start off with uh, the black there, we've got a, a dark blue, we've got a, a dark uh, purple as well. And then you get the, the, the polka dot designs as well. So all of those, there's eight of them in total, that's the darks. Then we have brights, if we go into the middle there. Same again, these really pop out, don't they? Same again, uh, you've got a, a three uh, plain uh, bright colours and then we've got five uh, polka dot uh, colours here or patterns and they all really coordinate together, they go really nicely, don't they? You could, you could actually put the, uh, the plane with the polka dot. And then finally we've got the uh, pastels, once so again, pretty. Uh, yeah very nice, 100% cotton. 100% cotton poplin, yeah. Yeah, and uh, we have planes here again. So again, on everything is there. When the these come through the door, yeah. you can make a quilt top straight away. You, you can just go straight into it because you've got your planes, which are your blender, so they work well, so it will break up your polka dots. So again, you know, you can get straight to whatever project you're, you're doing. Mm. Um, and if you're starting out, which is the one you would just go for because you think that's going to cover the most options there, that's it, the most versatile? It sounds bizarre, but if I was starting out, I would actually go for the three sets and put them in a flexi basket. Okay. Only because you, it is such a good stash builder. Mm. It really is, you know, it's got your planes, it's got your polka dots there. But if I was starting out, I think I'd go for the pastel. If I could only have one, I would definitely go for the pastels. Ah, it's so yeah. pretty. It really is, and it's, um, look, it's... Well, you'd be making a saving if you started out today, Sasha, because normally these are £32.31, but we have a saving of £4, and you can get this today from the craft store for £28.31p, and that order number there, item number is 514870. Marvellous. Now, we're going to go wide. We're going to go... We're going to go real wide here because these are, what are these standards here? They're 44 inches? 44 inches, yeah. How would you like another 20 inches? I, I would never refuse. Okay, well you've, that's <laughs> exactly what you've got, Sasha, here because we have the wide tumbling uh, leaves uh, here. Now, the two options and these, we've got the, uh, this is off-white and teal. Now, is that, and grey and pale grey as well. So, two different options. So. That's the one, and that's the other, two half metres each, and the normal price of that would be £14.99, but we're giving you a saving of £3.11.99, that's it's, reasonable, isn't it? It's and they're bargain. extra wide. They are, so you're getting 63 inches wide, so if you were to get more than one of any of these, they will come in a continuous cut. So, for me, what comes to mind here are quilt backings, definitely because we spend so much on quilt backings and it can be a real pain trying to join quilt backings but also curtains i think these would make some beautiful curtains um, they are just so pretty but also your dressmaking so again you know your shirts um, loose trousers jackets shift dresses anything like that but you're just making the most of that extra width you're getting and and it is an absolute bargain Okay, it, really so it seems bargain. rude not to uh, get one out here and um, show it in its full glory because when I said why, Sasha, I wasn't joking because look at that bad boy. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Could have done that a lot uh, more professionally, but there you go. How about that? It's really good, isn't it? It's really nice to get, to get that extra um, and not have to pay as wow. well because, you know, the price is amazing. So, Absolutely you know, again, nice. this with some of the... Um, 
planes that we've got coming up later you could do a really beautiful quilt top with this and a matching back as well so again you know if you do get more than one it will come in a continuous cut with the majority of them it's like a, it's like a proper arm's length for me that is i was going to say it's nearly one paula because we normally measure things with oh, you're doing my height, do you? yeah normally one paula or that's a or bit taller than a paula three or three leones <laughs> I don't know. Careful, or, Leone's or still or two here. Derricks. <laughs> there's like <laughs> there's like there's so many options, isn't there? Um, there you go. Um, so a that three is quarter Richard. Three quarters me. Yeah, that's very true actually. Yeah, blimey. Too tall on I? I need to shall I get a little that's better. That's I just need to sit down for this. Um, now moving on. We have the floral fiesta fabric and you get one metre uh, times sixty-three inches. So it's again, it's another wide one. Uh, three different options here. Now you've got, uh, this is normally £14.99 by the way, so this is £3 off this. So we have yellow, rose and sky. There you go. Same pattern, different colours, extra wide these ones once again. What sort of thing could you see this being used? Oh, these are what I would call a ditzy print. So these are those little florals that just make a, a difference, but make fantastic little girls' dresses, hmm. dungarees, um, anything like that, really. I mean, Roman blinds because of the extra width. But these are so pretty. And, you know, I, I hate saying goodbye to the summer. I really do, and I love the colour. <laughs> it is still summer here, isn't it, in, it with these colours? Yeah. yeah, exactly. And so, again, this would work really, really well with, if you are planning on doing a quilt and maybe either the pink or the blue with the pastel range from the um, polka dots from earlier. Yeah. They would look really pretty. Um, but, again, it's, it's almost like a 1950s sort of ditzy print floral, but with a bit of a modern take. Hmm. Um, that's how I'd describe it, but very cute, very Let's, cute. The uh, item number for that is 492461, 11.99 for that. It's funny you mentioned that that's summer, because it feels like our next one's a little bit more autumn. Uh, because this is floral brush strokes, you've got uh, two options here. Now, once again, these are 63 inches, so it's super wide. This is a bundle of two lots of uh, half meters. And this is option one here. Burnt orange and maroon. There we go. And then we have red and emerald. That's option two. So option two, option one. Uh, at the moment, the burnt orange is in the lead. Burnt orange and maroon is in the lead, but uh, the red and emerald, you these know, are really still popular. to play for really popular yeah. these ones um i i like the burnt orange but i also like the um bluey green one as well i think that's quite nice with the more subtle um floral fabric with it as well um not necessarily what you would put together but it works so well together um but yeah the burnt orange is really really pretty yeah i really like that um this is, is this the burnt orange here yes yeah i, I really so. like that it's almost like a brickwork design isn't it it's um yeah Loving that. Okay, so um, that's very popular at the moment. Two options there. Normally, fourteen ninety nine, you get three pounds off that. It's eleven ninety nine uh, with your postage and packing. But of course, if you're a Freedom member, no postage and packing. Now, let's take a little uh, trip to the back of the studio. So, some limited edition fabrics right now. This is now. Did we decide this is Romy or Romy? It was a bit of a debate. We're going with Romy. Yeah, I I thought it was Romy, but. I would have said Romy, but then... Yeah, I might, I might be wrong. There was thoughts about, there was a movie with Lisa I'd Kudrow thought, in it who played a character called Romy. Yeah, I thought was, Romy was an I on the end, not a Y. Yeah. But we could deliberate this for quite a while. Yeah, you'd think it's off the back of Rome, wouldn't you? It sounds like it's come from the, 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 the city of Rome. So let's go. We're, we're going to go with Romy until, until otherwise proven. Um, so here we go. It's the, um, it's the Romy, and it's uh, one metre by 160 centimetres, it's 63 inches wide, very, very big fabric, normally 14.99, today 11.99, we've got seven options, we've got yellow, turquoise, raspberry, navy, what's this one then, what should we call this one, blue, let's go blue, calypso, Ooh. Oh. oh, what a guess. <laughs> you said, you started off as a statement and you just raised your, your, your voice at the end, you went, Calypso. <laughs> okay, um, pink? Gotta be. And uh, I don't know, wild stab in the dark. Red? 
Raspberry. No, this is, ra is that no, one? this is raspberry. Was that one? Is that one raspberry? No, this is calypso. Okay, yeah. I'm getting. <laughs> it's, it's not my fault. Don't shoot the messenger. Uh, have a look at the website. I think is the best place to look for, and then we get to see all of the different uh, colours. There we go. So and the five star reviews. Eleven ninety nine. This is. So There's the calypso. That's what this, calypso looks like. Obviously. Obviously. Yeah. How would you not know? Yeah. And um, this range is my favourite of everything tonight. Okay. I love this range. And I've used it for the quilt behind me yeah. as well. Um, beautiful quality, extra wide, which really makes the most. But I've really had fun with this. And I just need to do a really quick shout out. So at the weekend, I was on a retreat um, with our wonderful Jenny Raymond, obviously. And um, I had some helpers helping me. Um, do cutting and some sewing and some pressing. So Lynn, my surrogate mother, um, Natalie, my surrogate sister, and Marion, they were all superstars. So big thank you for helping. Thank you to, to the surrogate family there. Yeah, um, so they were amazing. But honestly, they're beautiful fabrics. Talk about that court work behind, because you couldn't see it when you first mentioned it. So this one um, we did at the weekend, and yeah, I just love the colours. I love the pop of colour. I just think it works so well. Um, and it's so easy as well. We're going to look at that at nine o'clock tonight. Um, we're going to have it's a look a at that one. Oh, second date. Looking forward date. to that. Second day at nine o'clock. Second day. Is this what you show me your quilt? I wow. will. I'll show you That's, my quilt. Things are moving very fast. It, it, they do in the craft wow. world. Wow. I mean, we literally just met, but I can't second get to see date. your quilt. Yeah. Wait till the right. third one. Thank you very much, Sasha. Now, that, the item on that was, uh, code number I should say on that, was 482486. It's 1199. There's all your colour options there. Get onto the website. We have another pick and mix for you on the end here. Fabric Freedom Plain Dyed. This one is 100% cotton. You can pick any four you like, half a metre, and it's 9.99 to pick any one of these four. I believe we have 23 options here. 23 options to choose from. Look at that. Just... Do we even go down all the colours here? It'd take a long time, wouldn't a it? A total bargain. A total bargain, though, for any four for nine ninety nine. So you're getting two metres of fabric for under a tenner. That's really good, isn't so it? this is, you know, a, again, this is where you can really stock up on those colours, on those planes, and that, that where you've used your stash through lockdowns. You know, we all have depleted stock, so we're allowed at the moment to... Um, panic by fabric mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, there might be a shortage only, only fabric only not fabric fuel. no yeah. only fabric yeah um, but yeah build up on those colors that you use most of all yeah um, you know like your navies your grays your whites the sort of things that I tend to use a lot but I just love the pop of color in the middle there the turquoise and the pink and the orange Beautiful. So what would you do um, here, Sasha? Would you get uh, something you know, for really different colours or would you actually go for something that kind of just grades into them, you know, like in a the similar sort of colour range, if you like? Well, I was going to say, so if you wanted to do something like an ombre quilt, then please go for your different shades of that colour. Yeah. Um, if you are somebody that just likes to have some planes in stock for things like different appliques, so things like eyes or outlines or... Um, I don't know, buildings or trees or landscapes, then mm. go for the colours you use most of all. But okay. definitely stock up on this one. And it's of course, a real let's bargain. have a look at the website because all of the different colour options are on there. As you can see, you can pick any four, nine ninety nine. There you go. Tons of them yellows, lemons, ivories, light greys, mints, emeralds, royal blues, purples. Got the lot there. You've got pretty much. Uh, the whole spectrum and of course you could just pick more you know you don't have to pick four different ones do you, you could go oh, I really really like the sky blue you can get four of those yeah exactly and they yeah. come in that continuous cut yeah so again you know it works out such oh, a good oh so it wouldn't even get cut, cut up it would be one continuous one continuous work. piece wow. so it makes life and this is what I was saying earlier yeah. about those extra wide fabrics yeah so when we're quilting and to get the most out of our backings Obviously, because most fabrics are 44 inches wide, we have to have a join mm. in our quilt backs. Yeah. But by going for the two meters, a meter for, or two yeah. meters of the extra wide, Get it all. you can just put it down in one piece and then lay your quilt up, not having to worry about those joints. Loving it. 128412 is the item code on that. It's 999. I've got some tidying up to do. Whilst I do that, I believe you're going to do something more constructive. 
<laughs> I will I will try, yeah. We're gonna look at the um polka dots. And I've cut a lot of my polka dots into a pre-cut roll, which a lot of you know as a jelly roll or a fabric roll. Now, obviously, with um, Jelly Roll is a licensed name um, by Moda. So, obviously, there are lots of other um, names out there of fabric rolls. Um, but I've cut mine into two and a half inch strips. And the reason I've done that is so I can make two or three um, pre-cut rolls. And it's all cut, it's all ready, and then I roll them up. Um, but for this one, we are going to actually be looking at this large table piece that I've got here, um, which is what I've done. Now, you could actually put four of these together and make a really nice double bed size quilt to go on the top of your bed. Um, but I've only done the one for this one. It's come out at a really nice size um, and it's all using two and a half inch pre-cut strips. Well, they're not pre-cut because, well, they are pre-cut, I suppose, because I've cut them previously. So, yeah, that takes one to think about. So, we're going to look. I've, obviously, we've got 20, and I'm going to split them into a 10 and a 10, okay? And it's however works for you, what way you want your colours, but this is the way that I chose that I wanted them to run through. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. And then you're going to start joining your strips together. Let's just move Larry out of the way. So we're going to start joining our strips together. Now, what you have to remember when joining strips is A, not to pull them um, because they will stretch. And let's move that out because it's going to be a nightmare for me. And um, we're going to use quarter of an inch seam. And you're not pulling them when you go through because you don't want them to stretch. We want, we're going to trim them down after we've joined them all together. But what we're going to join is we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to join 10 strips together. And then we're going to join the second lot of 10 strips together. So you will have two large pieces of strippy fabric that we're going to cut down to a size which I'm going to show you after but what I wanted to show you is the best way to join strips together because if we were to keep joining a strip to a strip to a strip what actually happens is it starts to curve right it goes a little bit like a banana and Ooh. we don't want that no um, and we don't know why it does it it's just you know the way that we pull the fabric or the way the fabrics going through the machine hmm. um, but if hard, I, isn't it? It does yeah hard. if I was just to keep putting a strip next to um, as I'm going along it would start to curve and you can't get it back again it doesn't matter how much pressing you do hmm. you just can't get it back while she's just doing that I should just quickly mention that the, you remember that mega bundle that we showed you at the beginning um, We've got, oh, you can see it all at the bottom of the, the mega bundle, where you can actually uh, dive into that and pick any three, if you like, as well. So what you're seeing here, where you get all 20 of them, that's £67.90, uh, uh, or 33.95 on flexi payments. You could actually just pick any three of those, and that would just be 12 99 normally 14 99 just 12 99 So if you didn't fancy having the whole lot, if you just wanted to go a little bit easy on the budget, then pick your favourite three. Lovely. 428742, that one. It's a handy one, that, actually, to yeah. be able, if you've got a couple of favourite colours and yeah. you just wanted to add. So I've joined this strip to this strip, and I've gone from the top to the bottom, OK? OK. Now, the next strip that I'm going to add on, I'm going to place it on, but I'm actually going to start stitching it from the bottom and go to the top. Sounds bizarre. I know, but it works and it stops it curving. It, um, it just stops that whole tension and it just stops going a bit like a banana. Um, so, you're, so you're doing it in the opposite direction, if you like. To, exactly. So it's, it's almost like balancing it up. Yeah. yeah. So the first one went top to bottom. Yeah. This one's going bottom to top. Okay. And then I will just keep going, joining my... 10 strips together, just let me get to the bottom of this one. 
And what you will notice with um, a poplin is it's got a little bit more give in it um, than normal craft cotton, which is why we don't want to be pulling it. Okay? We don't we want don't, to... Hang on, if something's got, it's got give in it, but you don't want to be pulling it. If it has give in it, surely it's, it's able to be pulled then, right? No, because if we pull it, yeah. we're going to stretch that fabric out. Okay. But... The give in it works for things like when you're pressing your seams, if you are doing something like triangles and you've got to jiggle that point so it's a point, that's where they come into their own. Right, okay. Um, and also they are so, such an affordable cotton, you know, because a lot of cottons out there now, you know, you're sort of looking at about 16, 18 pounds upwards for cottons. Oh, it's, it? it's gone. Yeah. Prices are going up and up and up. There'll be queues down the, down the motorway. There will be. So let's Angry get people. panic buying, please. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's... Um, I know, I nearly want hair. I nearly had to do the shows by via video. Because you couldn't cause you could get any petrol. No, and yeah. then I got shouted at by a horrible man at a mm. petrol station. Sorry about that. I was just in a bit and of a then, bad mood. And then when I walked into the yeah. craft store, you were like, oh dear. Yeah. I shouted at her and she only went to buy some pigs. Yeah. <laughs> well, as I said, I had been warned about you, Sasha, so <laughs> to be honest, it was it was pretty part of the course. I wasn't... They'll know what pigs I'm on about from a supermarket garage. Right. That's, that's, what, that's what you stopped for, was for some petrol and these little sweet no, pigs I didn't, that you can I'd, get from the... Um, I'd already got no. my fuel. Right. As I told the nice gentleman... Oh, you went, you went to go to the toilet? I went to go to the toilet. Right. And he shouted at me because he said I was queuing this... Queue, I was skipping the queue. Right. And I politely told him I was going for a, a toilet. Number, a number one. And um, some pigs. Right. And he didn't believe me until I come back out. Anyway. With, with the proof. With, oh, hopefully with, not. With the proof. <laughs> Just the pigs. <laughs> Just the pigs. Yeah, good. So, we digress. I do a we lot do. of that. What's I, been going on I as we've been talking about that? Have you, you, finished, you right. finished that section? So, yeah. I have one of my strip sets already sewn together. Given it a really, really nice press. And as you can see, I have done a really nice pressing on the back as well to make sure that my seams are backwards and forwards. Okay, so one of my seams will be coming to the outside, then to the inside, then to the outside, like so. And they should, they should come out it about enough to do two 21 inches. You okay. should come out with... 42 inches and then I cut it in half so yeah. I would have enough definitely to be able to do another set but as I say you know if you were to do um, four of these you'd get an amazing size quilt it'd be really good. How long would it take you to put together a, a full-size quilt with this process? <laughs> this way you'd get it you'd get the quilt top done in a day really? easily yeah Not yeah quick. yeah easily it's quite, quite quick, quick if you don't yeah. talk. <laughs> All right, I'll shut up then. <laughs> Thanks, Sasha. I'll get, I'll get, I'll get you getting, a sewing machine. I'm getting the hints. Are you in tomorrow? No. Oh, uh, I could have taken you a set home and you could have got it done. For overnight, brought homework. it in. Could live my life. Oh, uh, then you'd have shown me your quilt. I could have shown, shown you mine, mine and we'd be moving along. And uh, oh, third so, next thing you know, we'd have been sharing double names. You wouldn't have been not fancy <laughs> anymore. Uh, 197307 <laughs> is the item number. Uh, Sixty-seven pounds and ninety for the mega bundle here. Um, we've also got the pick and mix, of course, as well. You can pick any four of these, any three, I should say, any three. But, but the one behind you, you can pick any four. Yeah, we're going to go over here. That one. Yes. There you go. The plain dyed. So there's 23 options here that you can choose from. 23 colour options, and you can pick any four of those. This is amazing value, really, when you think about it. Nine ninety nine, normally twelve ninety nine. Nine ninety nine to pick any four. I think I'm immediately drawn myself, if I'm honest, towards. I've always liked the colour red and anything rustic looking. The kind of reds and the browns here. And it's autumn, isn't it, right now? So you want to feel sort of warm and cosy. I, yeah, something, something around this area, I think, is where I'd be. It's where I'm drawn to. But maybe if you want to just hold on to summer, <laughs> you're back. You're back over here. 
But uh, yeah, we've got a little bit of everything really. It goes from uh, right the way across the rainbow there. So let's have a little look at the website and see what else you can get colorways wise from this. Uh, there you go, cotton poplin, half a meter. Um, and uh, they're all very popular. We've got things like turquoise there, orange, there's the autumn colors. Yeah, I'm gonna pop those into the... Back in lockdowns? Yeah. We couldn't get them. There were so many plain fabrics that we couldn't get through lockdown because obviously we were all sewing and we were doing masks or scrubs or that sort of thing. Yeah. And so a lot of these we couldn't get. So this, again, is, is your time to stock up on them, definitely. Molly has just said she's going to get me all those red colours. And I, does that count as a verbal contract? Is she now committed to buying us? You put them into the basket. Well, I, yeah. I think so. So, so yeah, when I, I come out, when I leave the studio now, she'll be so. handing me like a I load th of think, fabrics. I think so. Lovely. You know. I wonder what else I can mention like that. Maybe like a Blu-ray player or something or a sports car. Chocolate. I'll see what else I can get. A what? Chocolate. Chocolate? What's a Blu-ray player? Uh, do, do you know, this is the age group we're at now, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's awful, isn't it? <sighs> being, yeah. being 23 is terrible. Do you remember I we used to it. use videotapes, cassettes? And <laughs> yeah, I used to record you. Yeah. <laughs> God, my, when you were a kid. Yeah, all right, all right. Um, now, let's have a little look now at our tumbling leaves fabric here. This is our 63-inch. Uh, it's a super wide tumbling leaves. As you can see, you have two different options here. You've got teal and off-white here, and we've got grey and pale grey here. They'd make Those a great shirt, wouldn't they? Yes, they would, actually. They'd make um, a really sort of nice paisley shirt. Paisley kind of, uh, what well, is paisley shirts that they used to wear uh, back in the day, isn't it? That kind of colour? School disco. School disco, yeah. Taking me back now. You're making me feel very old today, <laughs> Sasha. <laughs> You can't stay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to pick somebody who makes me feel young. Um, so there you go. <laughs> Wide tumbling leaves, one metre fabric bundle there, includes two lots of half metres. It's £14.99. You'll be saving £3. It's £11.99 plus the poaching packing, which you would get free if you were a Freedom member. Make sure you get onto the website to look at all the options that we're showing you today in all the different colours. And uh, well, let's go back now to Sasha and see what else is happening. So I've measured our um, strip sets and they should be about 21-ish inches square. We are going to put one set horizontally and one set vertically, right sides together. Okay? So I've got some strips going this way and then I've got some strips going up and down. And we're going to place them right sides together. And then what we're going to do is I'm just going to pin all the way around. Because I just want to make sure that I hold it all in place. I don't want it moving um, as I'm sewing it. I want to keep it all really nice and flat. So I'm just going to continue a lot and keep pinning. And it, it's just really, again, so I'm not moving it around too much. I'm not um, manipulating the fabric, so to speak. I'm just letting it lay there and do its thing. I'm not stretching it because when we come to sewing it later, that's when it can become um, a bit of a pain, so to mm. speak, because it's, thing, it's on the bias and it's the way that we cut it. So the le less I do to it now, the better. So we're going to do a quarter of an inch stitch all the way round. We're not going to leave any gap. We are just going to go all the way round and we're not pulling that through. Just move Larry out the way. And we're just going to keep going. So I've had to take my foot pedal off because um, it's not working. So I'm using my start stop button and I keep forgetting that I haven't so, got my foot pedal there. So what does the foot pedal do compared to the start stop button then? Is it just an extra... So my foot pedal is obviously here and normally that's what I press to get going. Yeah. And when I take my foot off of it, it stops. Okay. Um, but for some reason it's not working, so I'm using... But you can still operate it without the foot pedal? Yeah, because I've got a start-stop... Nope, I've got a start-stop uh, button well, on I the see. machine. Yeah. But it's that thing where you forget that you've got the start-stop button and you go too far because you're thinking, why is your foot pedal not working, but it's not plugged in. So I'm just going to make sure... 
that I hold that seam down as I'm going down three. And we are going to keep on going all the way around. Um, normally I would use um, a light thread for this, like a light grey or something like that. Um, but obviously I want you to see what I'm doing, hence why I've got the navy thread on here. And just another side in a bit to go. And as you can see, you know, this, this cuts so nicely when you think, you know, that I've cut all of this myself. It really doesn't thread that much. Um, you know, you can really see, you get such a nice clean cut from it that it's, it's really nice to work with, to be honest. And so I'm going to keep going. And every so often, I'm just making sure that it's really, really nice and flat as well. For when I get up to this pin stage. What would you do if they banned all sewing machine session? Would you cry or would it be okay? Would you, would, oh, how, my life would be over. Would it, how long would this kind of thing take you? Absolutely ages. Do you know, when I started sewing, I mean, I've been sewing for 20 odd years. Mm. Bearing in mind, you know, I'm only... 23. Obviously 25, yeah. So, oh, thanks. Yeah. I was going to say 23. Yeah. Um, oh, need more well, Botox, well, obviously. I blew it there, didn't I? <laughs> okay, sorry. Carry on. <laughs> but quite seriously, I was yeah. scared. I was scared of the sewing machine because I actually caught my hand in my Nan's yeah, sewing machine. Quite, they are quite scary looking things. I yeah. Mum had one and I used to look oh. at it and think, oh, I've got my finger trapped in that. I suppose it's, they're pretty safe actually if you know what you're doing. No. Oh, right. no, no, they're really dangerous. Sure. Okay, that's all. But, I mean, that's what we've, you know, we've got to remember, you know, they are um, a tool. Mm. Um, and I, I can remember going on my Nan's treadle machine and I caught my fingers and I sewed through my finger. Ooh. Um, yeah, really. Did you need stitches or had you already got them? <laughs> I'd already got them. Hey, thank you. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> um, it frightened me. And so when I went back to sewing and things in my teenage years, yeah. I did everything by hand. Okay, but that's so time consuming, isn't it? You know, I mean, think how long. I mean, I do like hand sewing. I do like, um, you know, hand piecing and things like that and mm. embroidery. But yeah, I, I just didn't want to use the machine. I was just really, really scared of it. So I but didn't. But this, this one long side time. you're doing now, just this one line, it would take presumably like 10, 15 minutes to do with it? To... Probably half an hour, I'd really? say, by hand, yeah. And that wouldn't be a particularly small stitch either. It would be more like a tacking stitch. Um, it would be more like a tacking stitch, right. really. And would you get a better, regardless of the time, would you get a better finish doing it by hand, or is it actually better with a machine because it's very uniform and it does it in the right? Totally better by machine because really? what would actually happen is as you are hand stitching, without realising it, you're pulling it and you're distorting uh, the weave okay. and yep. everything else. So you would be, it would be very distorted. Mm. It wouldn't be particularly flat. Okay. Um, yeah, it, it's much easier, much, much easier to actually... As long as you don't run your thumb underneath it. Yeah, yeah. there's some... Um, and, you know, it's like rotary cutters as well. When you're brave enough, we'll get you... Mm. In the good old days, you know, years ago, when we were allowed to actually be on the counter together. <laughs> Fine. OK. <laughs> that sounds completely <laughs> that wrong. That came out wrong. It does. Carry on. I know what I meant. Yeah, I know what you meant. I know what I meant. I know what you meant. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> But yeah. we could actually, you would normally be yeah. sat here oh, going back right a couple to you, of doing, years yeah, doing. and you could be doing as I'm doing. Oh, <laughs> and so, yeah. Missed out. It, I'd love to do that. It's it's really sad because, you know. Well, it's things... not how much longer of this whole COVID thing have you I got? Know. Yeah, just a few I know. years? Oh. About another 10 years, 15 years? And then, but, and then you know, it, it's, it's changed. Everybody is. It's changed everybody's way of working mm. and... Well, this yeah. is all I've known since I've come here, so I just think that everyone's just avoiding me. Oh, like, everyone's like 20 metres away from me. In the old I, days. I, re I reckon whenever I leave the building, everyone just like <laughs> kind of bear hugs each other and just hangs out and all in a little tight group. <laughs> Apparently I've nailed it. Apparently that is the situation. It's so all the rooms. Everyone just puts on face masks when I'm here. Yeah. That, is, that's it my, is it me? Wait. It's me, isn't it? It's me! Oh, never. I've just worked it out. I've just worked it out. But, 
yeah, so obviously, you know, it used to be really, really nice because we'd, yeah. we'd be around the table and then, you know, you could have a go at cutting and, yeah. you know, we could say, well, have you had a go on a rotary cutter? No, well, let's throw you in and, you, you know? Yeah. So you've got a reprieve, really. Yeah, but I'd, I'd quite like to do that. <laughs> One day. <laughs> One day. I've got a lot to answer for. One day. Yeah. Don't worry. One day soon, I would have thought. Now, what, what are we doing here? Are you cutting it up? So, I am cutting it diagonally. And, yes, before anybody says, I am so sorry, I didn't bring my big ruler. It's been a manic few days. That and looks I like a pretty big, big ruler to me. Well, well how big is this big ruler? Normally, our big ruler that we use is about 24 and a half inch wow. square. So, you can actually... It's, it's not a good thing to have a ruler smaller than the piece of work that you're working with. Right. So, oh, so because you go to, off the sides. To be moving it. So it's always easier to have a large ruler. Yeah. And then I could just lay this diagonal and it won't corner shift. to corner. Yeah. I'm with you. And am I, am I, is this invading your personal space if I just touch this? No, you can touch is that. that. Is that some... It's not felt, then. No, okay, this is a um, self-healing cutting mat. Self-healing cutting... Uh, yeah, like is it like a dartboard when you and you throw darts at the dartboard and then you don't see the holes in the dartboard because it actually pushes back up together again? Yeah, yeah, I suppose it is yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like a good game of darts. Hmm. Um, yeah, that sort of that sort of thing. And obviously, we always we don't normally use cutting mats as big as this, or we do at home. But then we'd have maybe like a. 28, 30 inch cutting mat at home, and then we always say that whatever size your mm. cutting mat is, your ruler should be bigger than the width of your cutting mat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's it's just a safety thing. Yeah, makes sense. So as you can see from here, I have slit diagonally. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what happens is when you open this up. Oh, I like that. If I've caught it. And then we play around at the pattern. Do you know what that reminds me of? You know those things you had at school where you, you folded the paper over and you could just, you did a little, you counted the numbers out, and then you fortune telling, you'd say, oh, number eight, please. Yeah, and then you open it up and you say, what? You're that? a poo poo head and things like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that's what I was always told, but you, you might have had so -so. nicer ones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, there's, there's a name for those and I forgot what it is now. I, I was never able to make them. Never it's not ever fortune able. It's something that's got a special name. Yeah, I was, I was never able to make them, and I mm. just couldn't do it. So. Well, you made one now. I lit. Yeah. Just write a few words in that, and we're sorted. Good to go. So, all we do is we just turn around. <laughs> Obviously, we're going to give them a press, or I'm going to give them a press in a second. But it depends how you want it. So we can keep on playing with this pattern. Um, and so I might think, right, I actually want to go that one there. And this one there. There hmm. are no rules. Okay. You know, there are no rules. And when you look at this one, I've just done it. I quite like the two longer edges coming out so then I could swap this one for this one and again it's there isn't anything wrong it, it's your own imagination it's how you want it to go I yeah. quite like this effect of yeah the two that are the same yeah you know I quite like other. that effect so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start pressing this then I will show you how we're going to join up because unfortunately with this block yeah. you have got a lot of seams okay. to meet and if you don't meet them what's going to happen? It's going to shift down, it's not going to map, yeah. It's That's not so bad if you do it purposely but you will see when I press it that everything will start to line up a little bit better. Yeah. So I'm going to get on and press. You do that. You do a recap. I love it. Quilting is just like Fight Club, isn't it? It's, there are no rules. I love that. It's just, that's the way it has in common with Fight Club. Uh, I'm going to go um, down the counter here and show you what we do have um, for you in this hour here on the craft store. We're looking at Fabric Freedom Fabrics. Um, we are looking here specifically at the Poplin Spots 10 meter mega bundle. Now this is 20 20 half meters here. Now you're not just picking, you know, a few here, or you get this bit, or you get that bit. You get all of it, 
all of it right the way up to here everything up to here so all all up to here so every single one of those you can see now normally that would be 87 pounds 90 uh, to purchase all of that we're giving you a 20 pound saving that's 67 pounds 90 of your postage packing which you can split into two flexi payments of 33 pounds and 95 p 197307 is the price for the mega bundle but if you would rather just take your pick Oh, you're not thinking, oh, I don't want to spend that much money, I'd rather, you know, actually I've got my eye on, say, three colours here. I've got a project in mind, I would really, really like a couple of blues and maybe a little green in there. Well, there you go, you could just pick those two blues and a, and a green, you know, you could go for any of these things. Or you could even go for three of one colour or two of one colour and one of the other. Any three half metres here you can pick, uh, doesn't matter which one, we've got them all. 428742 and if you pick the three that is just 12.99 so another saving on that as well it's a two pound saving on that 12.99 to pick three or you could go for the mega bundle and have the lot and make that huge saving of 20 pounds now into the middle we go here this is our fabric freedom uh, poplin spots color block this is four meters uh, these particular items here, eight times uh, 0.5 meters here, so half meters, uh, we've got eight of them, we have three colorway options for you as well, we've got darks here on the end, I'm just uh, just going to pull out which is the darks, yeah, I must start with that black one there, there we go, those are the darks, lovely jubbly, then we've got the brights which come up to the green here, so everything starting from the orange to the bright. And notice we've got plain brights and then we've got polka dot uh, designs as well, they all mix and match. And then on the end here we have pastel colours which start with this white and go to this white, is that right, there's two whites here, yeah. Oh the last one's a polka dot white, oh wow. wow. Yes, it's very subtle, but I can actually see it now. If I get in close, yes. So, so that's a pretty. plain white, and that's a polka dot white. And then we've got the other polka dots there as well. So that is £28.31, normal price £32.31. So you're saving four quid. Four quid on that, 514-870-514-870. Now, how about some tumbling leaves? We've got two options for you here. Uh, these are two lots of half metres uh, rolls as well. So normally fourteen ninety nine, but this is eleven ninety nine uh, here, and you've got two options. We have uh, teal and off white, which is down here, and then we've got grey and pale grey, which is just there. All of them go together. You could get both sets, and they all really match quite nicely as well. So you have that, which is normally fourteen ninety nine. This is eleven ninety nine. It's your uh, fabric freedom. Uh, extra wide as well, I should say, this is. This is 63 inches, so this is super duper wide, and it's 881-829, your item code for that. Moving on to the Floral Fiesta fabric now. Three different options for this. We have yellow, down on the your left here. We have rose in the middle, and then we have sky just here. Which one do you think is in the lead? Sasha, any thoughts? The blue one. Are you on talkback? I'm not today. Oh, that's impressive then, because it is the blue one. Is it? The sky one. Yeah, that is impressive. What made you say that then? Because I, I would be torn up between the blue and the pink, mm -hmm. um, because they are such pretty yeah. colourways, and I like the bit of burgundy that's in both of them as yes. well. Yes. Um, so it's quite different to have that bit of burgundy in with the pink. Um, but they also work so well together. Hmm. But I don't know, it's just something about the blue one that... Um... It's, it's, it's very universal, that colour, isn't yes. it? You could use that on a lot of things. I think the yellow's a, a little bit more specific, but very vivid and very distinctive. Uh, so you have the yellow, you have the pink, you have the sky blue as well. 492461 is the item code. Uh, 1199 for one of those. Just pick one of your three options. And now we're moving on to the Fabric Freedom... Uh, Plain pick and mix we're going to have a little look at. There you go. It's, oh yes, because you can pick any four. Now remember I mentioned earlier the Mega Bundle. Well, this is where you can pick any four for $9.99. Any four that you like for $9.99. Plain dyed 100% cotton, poplin, half a meter pick and mix. Now have a look at this seven day savers uh, offer we have here. We have a cross stitch book bundle here. 
You can get all four of these books. Wow, look at the saving on this. This is new today. So this is normally just under 40 quid, £39.96. This is four different cross-stitch books. Put it all together. The price of that is £10.96. So what is that, two, two or three pounds a book? Wow, two seventy four. That's isn't good, isn't it? It's I've got really the books good. here in my hand. I think these are the books, are they not? Yeah, I've got them here. Show me a little flick. Look at this. It's a big. That's a that's a very thick, big book. That isn't it? Look at that. That's just one of the books that you're going to get for ten ninety six seven day save. Twenty nine pounds saving. This feels like they've have they made the mistake here. This. <laughs> This, and they haven't told us. If they have, if we Quick. have, we have to honour it apparently. Yeah. But that Quick. feels like that should be more like twenty pounds, and that would still be a twenty pound. That'd be half price, wouldn't it? This is very, very low. Um, there's another one: uh, cross stitch and felt purse ensembles here. Uh, lots of patterns, lots of um, oh. different designs. That's good. What else have we got here? So that's the best of Terry Lee uh, Steinmeier, and we've got Christmas stockings as well. Oh, that's a good one. And then retro, retro Christmas. So lots of Christmas. Yeah, for, that's for us apparently, uh, says Molly. Everyone over 30. But who to Molly is just old people. Actually, yeah. I'm going to put it out there. Yeah. So do you know what I noticed today? I bought these shoes when I was on honeymoon last week. Yeah. And I was like, I think I might be a little bit old for them. But do you know what? I'm going to go with them and put them yeah. out there. Yeah. I've got the same shoes as Molly. But doesn't that make you feel better that it you're does. wearing something I that the, the younger with generation it. is? I feel with it. I bet you she's never going to wear them again now. Yeah, as soon as she gets home, she'll be like, oh, that's, what, that's what old people over the age of 30 wear. I'm not <laughs> wearing those again. No way. She's um, going to go home and she's going to say to Jack, I'm going to burn them. Do you know what? Sasha's come in. She's got the same you, you shoes. You want to do what I do, which is just wear the same pair of trainers like for like five years in a row, and that's just you can't. There's no issues with like what's oh, trendy I'm, or not. I'm with it. Yeah, I'm oh, with you it. are with it. That is. I'm quite, with it. With I've got to kids. say that's pretty impressive. All right. Crocs I'm with are it. apparently coming back in. I was told the other day. <laughs> that's, what, that's all I know. That's about as with it as I am. Yeah, well, I won't be going that with it. <laughs> no, I won't be either. Uh, right. So there you go. That's six seven eight six zero oh, four for that cross stitch bundle uh, there. Ten ninety six. That is really good value. Right, Sasha. Have you managed to right. get it all together? So, not quite yet. <laughs> I'm just going to show you. I don't mean in life you. generally. I just meant what I'm you were doing. I'm just going to show you how. I would then start putting these together. So obviously we can look again at the nine o'clock show this evening. So come back, get a cuppa, join us at nine o'clock and I'll show you the rest. But it's quite important when we go to actually join these together that our seams are going in the right direction. And what I mean by that is I want our seams to have a little hug. Okay? Aww. I want them to have a little hug. Now we've got wonderful cameraman on, so he'll be able to get in here. So this seam is going to the left. <laughs> Okay, and this seam is going to the right. Now, what this actually means is that when I butt them up to each other, it's almost like they are having a little hug. You've got to be very careful how you do this, though, because you might end up with little baby, baby, uh, little baby quilts, blocks, baby ah. poplin squares. So you just got to be. So can you see it safely. in there how beautifully that is lining up? Now, by having these two seams touching mm -hmm. that means that your corners your seams are going to be precise okay your points you're not going to be crossing yeah so if i was to line this up and have it up here yeah what would happen is when we sew it and open it up it's actually going to be way out okay so the seams you can see the seams here but because i haven't lined it up properly it's way out whereas by making sure these two seams are having a little hug, they're having a little kutch. Nice. And then we're just going to put a pin in them. And, and what the heck is a kutch? Get kutchy. Get kutchy, no. Is, Get that kutchy? A, is that an over 30s old expression that I. Because you know well, I'm quite with just, it. Maybe it's just a Dorset thing then. A Dor I think it is just a Dorset thing. Is it a Dorset thing? Oh, let us know if you've heard of kutch. Right. Little kutch is a little snuggle. Right. Have a little kutch. So Ash Ashton Not Kutcher. You for a little kutch. Ashton Kutcher is Ashton Schnuggle. Aww. Look, boy. Aww. So. <laughs> Molly wishes. Yeah. Sorry, James. Kutch. So again, I've got my seam here going to the right, and I've got my top seam coming to the left, 
and as you can see I'm just butting them up together okay and making sure that they're just touching they're just because it's all about the precision and some people say you know they don't get quilting they can't get it we take these beautiful fabrics we cut them all up to sew them back together to cut them up and to sew them back together again and they can't get anything to match hmm. it's all about the precision when you're cutting make sure you're using the lines on your mat you're using your ruler and then when you're joining them together it should come together really really well like on here hmm. and you can see and as we go down we won't look at this top one because this is exactly what I mean by I missed and this one is like an ex-husband and ex-wife had a little bit of a falling out and he's now going on to his next girlfriend and they're starting to match and you're painting a real fun. picture here I've got to say <laughs> wow so yeah so then the yeah. next thing that you're going to do is you're going to sew all the way down quarter of an inch to join this one together you're then going to sew your next one together your next block exactly the same way and then you're going to join them through the center which again you're going to have to line those seams up but the effect is worth it I like lining seams up I mm. I get quite a bit of satisfaction from it yeah so but we'll be back at nine o'clock and I will show you the finished results we will thank you very much Sasha really nicely done I like the way you just led out there and just basically handed it over to me and said I'm doing your job Richard yeah. so thank you for that I appreciate that um, apparently C Kutch is um, Welsh for hug it's Welsh yes. Rachel thank you for emailing oh, about that, that it's, Rachel, it's not thank Dorset you. it's, it's oh, Welsh I don't know where I've picked it up from then Wales? I've always loved a Kutch mine is just a, probably I love Wales um, <laughs> Thank you very much, Sasha. Uh, 197307, of course, for that mega bundle if you're interested in that, which I know a lot of you are. And as Sasha says, we're going to be back at 9 o'clock. We're going to see out this uh, this live day. We're we going to be the ones that turn the lights off at the end, Sasha. We are. Under a quilt. Ooh, blimey. That's, I'm going to have to have a lie down now. That's a, well, that's an offer I can't refuse. I will see you at 8 o'clock, though, for the one-day special. Plenty more to come. Because in a moment, we have our one-day special just kicking off. You'll get to see it, and I'll be there a little bit later on doing it as well. And in between, we will have Jewelry Box. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue, and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue. Catherine and I'm the guest presenter for Zuri Designs. Zuri Designs are based in America and they bring to us their exceptional quality silicon moulds. Zuri Design moulds are used in all areas of crafting, not just for your clays and your resins, but also their food grade silicon as well, so used for your cake decorating designs. Zuri excel on the detail in their moulds and the designs range from animals through to fantasy and much further beyond. If you watch the Zuri shows, I will share with you lots of hints and tips. I will show you how to use different mediums, ranging from your clays and your resins through to things like even your hot glue. So make sure you don't miss the Zuri shows. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque, and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. 
Join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Hello and welcome. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Um, the colour that we've got here, the variation in pattern and design, it's just phenomenal. Not going to lie, when I saw this counter, when I saw all these amazing colours and, um, and beautiful fabrics from K Facet, I got really excited. It makes me happy. Um, this is the kind of thing I would love my house absolutely covered in. Um, I'd love to wear, I'd love bags out of this, literally love every single piece of fabric fabric that you can see. Now, you've got lots of choices. You can either go for um, the separate 10 piece or you can go for the, the big one. Look at all this. Colour, 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 colour. If you want to go for all of this, all of this, you can. And that, that's the biggie. That's the biggie. I mean, I shouldn't even be talking about that yet because we've got plenty to go for and we have to say hello to Susan. We need to tell you about prices, but if you want to go for all of this, you can. Oh, doesn't that just make you happy? Um, oh, lovely, lovely, lovely Susie. Oh, I'm so pleased I've got this hour. I oh, know, so um, nice. You're a massive fan of K Facet, oh, aren't absolutely, you? Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. I love your jacket. Oh, Thank you. By the way. Thank you. And that, so that's K Facet. You made that. This I is from the collective. Yes. Amazing. That's so, so it's beautiful. All new, all pieced. Oh, so cool. And, then, and I think this is it, isn't it? Putting. I think K Facet has this. Um, He's, he feels, it feels like he's brave. It feels like it, it puts all these colours together and yeah. it works. Yeah, I mean, when, when you are taught colour theory, mm. you're taught, you know, what goes with what and how you can mix and match. You can do your triads and you can do your complementaries and you think, OK, I've got this. Yeah, yeah. And then Kay Facet comes along and literally tears all that up, throws it out the window and puts everything together Amazing. and it looks awesome. I mean, mm -hmm. you can't help but smile. No. It's just amazing. Oh. The intensity of the colours as well. Yes, yes. It's beautiful, stunning. Yeah. Oh, it's just, yeah, joyous. Yeah. It's one of those that just lights up a room. It lights, oh, amazing. Happy fabric. Happy fabrics. But, I mean, happy fabrics, but the quality. Oh, you know, we're talking phenomenal. about quality fabric. Yeah. We're talking about practical fabrics. You know, yes. you can still make homework. You can yeah. still make clothing out of yeah. this. So, although it's, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. But of course, I mean, it's functional. It is, yes. You can do pretty much any soft craft that you are into. So if you want to do your home decor, as you said, mm. if you want to cover a notebook just because you yes. love the fabric, yes. do that. Or cut one of the big blooms out and applique yeah. onto yeah. the side of your favourite shopping bag that happens to be calico. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be a full-scale project. You don't have to do quilt making. You don't have to make cushions. Yeah. Use it how you want. Just stretch it over a piece of fabric and you've yes. got instant fabulous wall art. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, literally, that uh, this I would absolutely put yeah. all over my wall. I want um, it in every room in my house, yeah, but apparently I'm not allowed. <laughs> I'm dull. <laughs> if, I, if I get a narrowbot, I'll be able to afford to do it. Well, let me know well, it'd be great. There's a race going on because that's my next project. <laughs> um, right, I'm going to take you through. So, you've got choices. So, I'm going to take you through the one day special first. However, before I even do that, I'm telling, I'm tell, I'm telling you now, um, with the one day special, you've got eight pounds saving on each 10 pieces of fabric, okay? So, if you were going for your biggie, the biggie's there. Now, if you're going for your biggie, all those savings are carried forward. So that's £42 that's carried forward, and then you get an extra £10, oh no, £42 in total. So it's £32, I should have known that, I'm really not good at maths. Um, £32 is carried forward, and then an extra £10 is added to it, so it's a £42 saving. Look at your payments, three payments, £42.65, that means your fourth month is free basically that's what you get in here a free month um and the fabrics are beautiful now these are all um fat quarters there's so much you can do with these um you have got choices obviously if you are a huge k facet fan and you want to go for this brand new collection um then please make sure if you can 
the biggie is the one. You're getting everything. If you want to be breaking it down, we can do that for you, and that is your one-day special. So I will break it down for you, and then you can see what you're going to get. Now, um, we were talking, obviously, with this, um, it's August um, uh, 2021. I don't even know what year it is. 2021. <laughs> but it, it's all been affected, hasn't it? Because yes. of everything's um, been everything. delayed, yeah. yeah. So some yeah. of what's on the show, um, so the, the collection's in two parts this year and it's all just got delayed so although we've called it august 21 it didn't actually hit the deck in august right. yeah yeah <laughs> it's all everything as we know is all up in the air over isn't it yeah, yeah. it's all very interesting yeah. and exciting so christmas is actually going to be in february next year for those of you who are interested <laughs> <laughs> oh well uh. <laughs> i love that yeah christmas february next year we're delaying it um right are you ready these are your options so your first option um this is your blue option straight away wow i mean it's got that color and when we get out a bit further you'll be able to see the pattern if we go too close we won't be able to see pattern um, and you can see because we've got these big flowers we've got that beautiful beautiful blast of color in there the next one oh look at that on the black I mean that color those big beautiful blooms on that black just absolutely pop and it's like Susie says you might be fussy cutting some of these out using them for applique the next one that we've got the same flower but because it's on this lighter blue background it's just a softer look but it's still got that incredible color to it i love the leaves the leaves are sensational um, and you can see again i mean this has just got so much detail on you can see the texture of the leaves you know that's um it's it's absolutely beautiful i mean that is magical you've got it and it looks i mean we know it's botanical we know it's leaves but it could be you know it's got that fire look to it it's got a lava look to it it does look alive it's got so much movement in that the next one oh man i love that that is so bold and so beautiful i like the fact that you've got some that have this superb detail and then some that are just this bold fabulous striking look absolutely stunning see there's not one that you don't like yet surely then the, again absolutely beautiful florals there's so many different florals um, and you can see there's all these different flowers in here and um, again when we look at it that you know when we can see the full piece it does look sensational the way everything um, layers together uh, the next one now boom bold again look at that superb it's bold it's in your face no no apologies here um, <laughs> um, and that is just exquisite look if you fussy cut those out again you can do so much with this but oh love it um, now you see what I love about this that looks so different to that doesn't it uh, same design but again that black in the background just changes the look of that beautiful oh I love the fish the fish are amazing I love this I think that is just fun it's cool it's happy and it's just so different now that's your first one so if you wanted to go for that set and i won't faff too much we're getting it perfect but that is your blue set okay I'm, i know it looks messy we'll sort that out in a minute i need to get through the the options the next option that we've got is this one so this is your purple option now First of all, first of all, I'll show you the actual size. So that's the actual size of your fat quarter. Now, again, look at that. How cool. Look at the colours on that black. That is absolutely sensational. Now, let me start going through these for you. Um, because So that's your first one in the purple, the next one. I mean, oh, I love that. I love that too. Or right, Kim's like, oh, that's a favourite. I love that. It's so bright. It's just, oh, joy, joy. Okay, so you've got the leaves. Now, as we said with the leaves, different again. Um, that is sensational. It's the detail. Amazing. You've then got, oh, look, the bold flowers again on that incredible background. The use of that incredible vibrant pink and then that beautiful blue. Oh, that's ace. This is one of my favourites, you know. I love that. I like these bold prints. I think they're magnificent. Now, we recognise that. Different again. Look at that. 
That is sensational. The pink in there is so bright. The, the detail, the green in there is so bright. It looks absolutely phenomenal. Next, look at that. That is wonderful. And they just don't, don't they look, yeah, they look backlit or something. And it's the, it's, and the quality of the fabric. You know, these beautiful colours are so vibrant because of the quality. You know, if this was inferior, you wouldn't get this. The complete over 10% of the collection has gone. Wow. I love that. I love, love, love that. That, that is so striking. It's the ones on black, isn't it? That just, the print is incredible. And then, yeah, the black, absolutely. And this is it. This is why we use it in um, in papercraft. You know, it works. And then last but by no means least, on that beautiful purple background, the purple and the green. Look how they work together. So striking. Okay. So again, I'm not going to tidy. I'm sorry. I know it's against all our what's its but. So that's your second option. However, however, the full option is the busiest currently. Now let's move on to our next one. Bear with me, I'm going to move my step. <laughs> yeah. Doopy doopy doo. Oops, I moved the whole count. <laughs> do do do. Talk amongst yourselves, everybody. I'm going. I'm here. I'm here. There! <laughs> I should have. Um, when I move the step, there, we should have hold music, shouldn't we? You know, a little like do 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 do. Where we look at the fabrics. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, me beatboxing, maybe not. I'll be just like, shh, 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 shh. I sound more like some stank engine. Um, okay, next. Which is this one, pink? Okay. Oh, the happiest fish in the whole wide world. We're free. So, you've got the gorgeous little fish. Oh, look at those sunflowers. Beautiful. And I love it because in the background, funnily enough, that's something I haven't noticed in the background, like another print in the background on that one. Pow, you notice it. Oh, that again on the black, that looks sensational. Look at that. I love that. That is just happy days, isn't it? Just well well, cool. And then, oh, I love that as well. Remember, these are folded over. So I'm not obviously not going to unfold it, but these are folded over. So of course you're getting, um, we're, we're only showing you this little bit, but wow, imagine when you see it in the full piece. Um, next, those beautiful, beautiful little flowers again. Again, the leaves, every time they look different because of the different colours that are in there. When I look at these, it's like, you know, when you think, is it this, this many colours? Do that many colours exist that you can get so many variations? Do you know what I mean? Um, that again looks superb and so different and it's that colour variation that he uses on one piece of fabric that makes it so, so sublime. Love this. That's absolutely sensational. And then last but not least, oh my gosh, I love that. That is just, again, that looks like it's on fire. It's that bright. Okay, so that's your pink again. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But, you know, we're getting through. Do, 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 do. And then last but by no means least, all of these you've seen so far are in that complete bundle. Everything is in that complete bundle. The next one now, look at this. So what's, what's this one called? Our Kim. This is orange. So that's, again, the size. Oh, and look at that. Just magnificent. That yellow is just sunshine, isn't it? And it almost feels warm and it's that beautiful. So that's your first one. Oh, look. Look at your oranges on that one. Beautiful. Um, oh, wow. That is so bright and phenomenal. That green on that, um, that sort of red orange looks sensational. The flowers again, so much print on there. That one, one of my favourite favourites. And I love that green running through it. Oh, I love this as well. There isn't, there isn't one piece of fabric in this that I think, meh, they're all incredible. I mean, more happy fish. And look, look at that background on the happy fish. It's, it's, Fabulous. It's just fabulous. Those flowers. And this again, I, I love that. It's got that kind of na naive look to it, but super cool. Um, you've then got your beautiful florals. Um, now that is your last set. So your one day special, you're saving £8 on each one of those collections. If 
you want to go for your one day special you have got that choice you have got a lot of fabric it's all absolutely exquisite and you're saving eight pounds you've got a choice five seven two five three two however if you like us and you looked at it and you went oh gosh that's amazing i want it all that's when you can get your complete remember those eight pounds are all carried forward and then another ten pounds is taken off that price which means you are saving 40 40 pounds isn't it it's 42 pounds bad math uh 42 pounds bad math and bad memory um so with that saving, that should have been an extra month. That is a huge saving. This is quality fabric. This is Kef Facet, who's just inspirational. 450-185. Now, please check out the website. The website, you'll see the other uh, collection that we've got. You'll also see the grid wall. And the grid wall is, um, well, we'll talk about that a little bit more, but apparently you can put things, it doesn't feel like it's sticky. Well, it isn't sticky, but um, things attached to it, fabric attached to it. So you can lay out your quilt pattern um, and then start sewing it together. We've obviously got the books and oh my gosh, the books are just a glorious. Lord, please do have a look on the website. Um, I tell you what, I Susie, I mean, we have so many beautiful pieces of fabric. It's one of those collections where everything is so strong, isn't it? that sort of stands out amongst the crowd, but put everything else with it and you can make them all dance, can't yeah. you? Yes. It's just yes. phenomenal. Yeah. There's, some, there's a colour and a design in there that will appeal to everybody. Yes, there is. Yeah, and I, I feel that using Cave's fabric, it does make you look a bit more, uh, it makes you braver. It makes you look at colour a bit different. It, it maybe makes you think, yes. you know what? I, I want something bright and vibrant yes. and in your face. Yes, and it's in a good face. way to showcase quilt block designs. If you are into quilting and home decor and you like doing um, cushion covers and upgrading your, your home decor that way, then using the bright, vibrant designs is a great way to showcase and draw attention to those just, you know, just a 16-inch cushion yeah. on yes. a settee. Oh, my gosh, that Done amazing. in these fabrics. Everyone's yeah. going to look at it and think, wow. Yeah. Where's yeah. that come from? They really are. Exactly. I mean, oh yeah. my gosh, there's there's nothing here that's that's dull. There's nothing here that won't get noticed. I mean, all of this is sensational. And like you said, Susie, and I'm sorry, I'm turning me back on Susie for a second just so I can show these. But like you said, there'll be something for absolutely everybody here. Now, what you've got in this collection, um, you have got um, a pick and mix in this one. So you're choosing. Um, any two for fifteen pounds and ninety eight pence. Um, absolutely fabulous, and I like these at the end as well because they're different again. But again, you've got that wonderful sort of blocky design. Now there's fifty one options. I am so sorry. There's fifty one options. You've got so much choice that must make your head spin. Um, only fifteen pounds and ninety eight pence. Now once it's gone, it's gone. So if you do want any of these, please check your baskets out. Let me show you the other rail as well. So. With these are, Susie, and yes. I do apologise. No, I hate turning fine. my back, that's but it's fine. the only way I can show them. I do apologise. That's fine. Don't worry. Um, so with these, yes. the, these have got the new collection in as well, haven't they? Yes, so this is this year's collection, but we've added in the one, some of the ones that were released a bit earlier as well. Beautiful. So you've got access to the whole lot. Wow. So if you've got a favourite colourway, so if you want reds, if you want the cooler tones, you can pick those from the pick and mix yes. to coordinate and or to do your quilt or perhaps you want a mix of two so you'll go for one warm color one cool color and do a, um, a quilt that's a contrast or a cushion cover that's a co contrast or just want it to because it color matches with something in your room so you just want yes. a piece of um, decor or yeah. you just want to cut a you know, one of those fantastic yeah, flowers those out. those big flowers, oh, eh? <laughs> they are magnificent. They are I mean, stunning. That, that, that's just, wow. Yeah, you could literally, like you were saying before, just covering a, a journal with Absolutely. it. Absolutely, You know, yes. it's yep. just one of those that has got such a wild You factor. might want to upgrade your face mask, you know. Yeah, just to yeah. bring in the new year and make it awesome. Yeah. Or make yourself a kimono. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
because that everyone needs a kimono. Absolutely. We all want Susie's kimono. Yeah. I mean, if yeah, if she takes that off, she's lost it. I know, um, it is actually stitched to me to <laughs> stop them nicking it. <laughs> Honestly, you'll be like, oh, well, <laughs> don't fall asleep. No, that yeah, sounds awful, doesn't it? Yeah. Sorry, Susie. No, that sounds fine. quite threatening and weird. I fully understand. <laughs> <laughs> but you know it's a strong corner. Um, let me show you the next, um, the last one on this one. I do have to come back here again. Um, I'm going to show you a full piece on this one as well, just so you can get an idea of the. Because you know me, I have no idea um, how much that means. So there you go. That's the the full size, which is a beautiful size. And something like this, I mean, obviously a half meter piece, you can do a lot out oh, of that. You can do a phenomenal amount with a half meter. Definitely. Yeah, Even if you work, I mean, if you imagine you wanted to fussy cut each of those flowers it, out of there, look how many yeah. you'd be fussy cutting. Yeah, and absolutely. then you could applique them to the, make the most glorious oh, yeah. bouquet, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah, absolutely. It would be stunning. Or, I mean, it'd be a stretch as a dress, it'd be really short. Yeah, you but... may need a little bit more than a half metre for a dress, <laughs> even <laughs> given your petite size. I get to, but, I get to, know, yeah. No, I've, a I've couple put of them and you've got your kimono. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> You can make so many kimonos out of all these. Um, okay, let me show you this this reel as well. Um, oh, that one. It, and I, I do love, you know, we've been chatting about the different yeah. colours. I love how the background, sometimes you don't notice the background, but then other times it's like, wow. And it really makes a difference what yes. you put it alongside as well, because the koi paloi, you know, the, the, um, the dancing fabulous, fish, fish. Yeah. yeah, those, you don't, the, the zigzag in the background yeah. doesn't yeah. really pop until you put something that brings the fish to the fore. Yes. And then all of a sudden, all you can see is zigzag. It's, yeah. 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 Amazing. Yeah. Love it's it. Funny. I, it's amazing. It is amazing how, yeah, how it all... Um, how it all works really yeah. the the colors so and the different the, the different colors that you put next to it how it will make things pop um now as we say this is your pick and mix you've got so much choice it is including the brand new collection but of course um this is all from this year, so if there's anything you want, you know what to do. Now, it is going to be sent out for you um, on the 14th of October. Um, so you haven't got too long to wait. It is worth it. I mean, let's face it, you've got an amazing saving. So shall I? I'll just stand here. Um, so if you do want to go for it, please check your baskets out. 411 677 is your item number. Once it's gone, it's gone. So please make sure if there's anything you fancy, you do not wait. Uh, don't sit on your hands. Go for it. Oh, lovely Susie. Are you making me a kimono? <laughs> Do you know, it's tem <laughs> tempting though it is. <laughs> it's not uh, the most what you started thrilling. on. So I thought we'd um, have a look, because you've got some of the books on the website as well. I thought we'd have a look at a few easy blocks or blocks that you can then turn into bags or cushion covers or whatever you want to do or even journal covers but they're really simple things to do but they're not going to take up loads of fabric so you can make the most of your fat quarter that you buy or your half meter whichever it is you go for um, and I've mixed in two different designs in different colorways so this first one really is stunningly beautiful and really easy to fussy cut as well if you wanted to fussy cut. This is called Lucy, this one. Um, so I've got it in three different colourways here. Beautiful. And these are all two and a half inch strips that I've just cut across um, out of the fat quarter. Some of them are bits I had left over from when I did the facings on the kimono. So they're not full pieces, but all you do literally is sew them together end to end. So I'm just going to stitch this one in now. So it's a straight stitch on your sewing machine. So if you haven't got a sewing machine, you can even do this by hand as well. It's only a straight stitch. If you are stitching, beautiful. I would advise, and I always say this, and I know I was laughed at the first time I said it, but I always change my sewing machine needle before I start projects uh, yeah. because I want to make sure that I get the best result, yeah. especially when you've got such beautiful fabrics to work with. Yeah. So make sure you've got a good needle in here. Mine really makes sense. It does make a difference. And the other thing to do is don't forget that in here 
you congregate a heck of a lot of debris. Yeah, so yeah. go in with that. That little brush that's in your kit box is in there for a reason. Go yeah. in and give it a clean every so yeah, often. Yeah. You'd be surprised how much fluff you get. Yeah. But um, all I'm doing is stitching these down with a quarter inch seam. Okay. Um, and you do it at whatever speed you're comfortable sewing. I love that. See, this is why um, projects like this are so satisfying. Because using scraps, using leftovers, yeah. I mean, every single leftover of this fabric is going to look gorgeous and you want to use yeah. it, don't you? You want to use every, every little inch of it. Absolutely. And Eve, as you said, you can make even just a key fob yes. out of literally an inch square if you wanted to. Yeah, of so course. I don't, none of this has gone in my scrap bin. It's Good. all gone in the file. How to exciting. Be used. Oh, I know. So exciting. I, I must admit, I bet when you get it, it's like, oh, that's so nice. I know. It, it took me, well, it arrived in the box and then I, I went away for oh, four no. days. So you had to leave it for so, a while. Well, it was good and bad because it meant that I had that thinking time as well. Yes. Yes. And I got rid of that. I can't touch it because it's too nice. Yes. Because yeah. by the time I came back, I was like, I have to touch this because I'm on TV in two days. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's um, yeah, you, you th plan your projects carefully yeah. so you're not just going straight in and cutting. Yes. Think about what you're doing. What's the best way to cut it? Do I need to cut the full length or can I get away with yeah. just cutting a little bit? So you preserve your fabric yes. um, because then you get the most from it, don't you? Yeah, and absolutely. You, you, know, you get more enjoyment. So. I've got three strips um, from the Lucy, and I've also done the same with the Caladon, Caladium sorry, um, print as well, which I absolutely love this. Yeah, Considering yeah. it's a leafy you know, plant, yeah. no flowers, the detail in it is just phenomenal, and the colours. Yeah. So what I want to do now is to cut this into um, six and a half inch strips, actually. Okay, and then we're okay. going to piece it all back together. <laughs> I know that um, in the previous hour, <laughs> they, quilting has often been described as taking a big piece of fabric, cutting it into little bits and putting it all back together again <laughs> in a different order. And my dad can't get his head around it either, and he's an engineer. But it's... <laughs> It yeah. is, when you do think about it like that, it is complete nutter nonsense, it isn't is, it? It is, it's madness. But, do you know what? It looks fantastic. And, and it's when you've our got, madness. You know, is. like, as a paper, craft, paper crafter, I'm exactly the same. You get a beautiful piece of paper and you cut it up. Absolutely, yeah. And, and, and that's it. So we are the same, same. Well, and you do, you, whatever you do, cooking, everything, you're yeah. taking. And the better your ingredients, the yeah. better your resources, the better your results, whether yes. you're a beginner or an advanced person. Yes. You know, it's always worth investing in the best. So all I'm doing is, because I've got two and a half inch squares, I'm going to go for a six and a half inch. Well, my ruler happens to be six and a half inches. So I haven't even got to measure anything. Just make Yay. sure I'm butting up straight. The other Jeez. thing that I, I know I harp on about changing your sewing machine needle is don't forget to say, change your rotary cutter blade as yeah. well every so often. Yeah. That's also needed. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, you, you can't don't want... just wing that one. Right, I'm not going to get a third one out. That's not a problem because I only needed two. <laughs> <laughs> it's as if I planned it. <laughs> Hooray! Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to do the same. So all I'm doing at this point with the ruler on the left is just squaring off the ends by eyeballing either along the seam or the bottom edge of my fabric is as my straight edge. Beautiful. Then whizzing it round and then I can cut my six and a half inch and I want two of them out of this one and this is going to make me a really easy uh, block or I'm going to turn it into a pillow cover amazing um, because it's it's actually quite you can't always have the time yes. to change an entire bedroom yeah. or an entire room coloring around so with once you've got these strips you can piece them back together as strips that, yeah works as well but what I'm actually going to do is to offset them and I'm going to, I'm going to do it this way oh, so that. that my I'm going to have them that way 
Amazing. like that. So you've got some horizontal and some vertical and by doing that this is great for a beginner because there are no seams to match at yeah. this stage yeah. which is even better I, I feel I could do that I, I think mean you obviously could. I can't even sew in a straight line I definitely but, think you could Leonie and it, knowing what I you love... for as long as I have I think <laughs> even you can manage it <laughs> um, I think with something like that as well you know we were chatting about the making you brave and everything yeah. with the colour because with those now, it's like, it just works. Yeah, the, just all works. All those colours together, yeah. but it works. All that pattern. Because yeah. like you said, the leaf pattern is incredible. Oh, the, the veining detail is phenomenal yeah. in it. it now, normally I wouldn't use a black thread, but because we're we're on you know tv i would to make sure people can see what i'm stitching yeah i've used black thread but i would normally use a thread that coordinates and so well, again it's that many colors you could choose oh i tell color. you what i've used a lot of the projects that i've sewn for this the show i've done with variegated threads ah uh, yeah and it really works, works phenomenally well yeah. especially when you start doing quilt detail or yeah. top stitching that yeah. looks really cool. What a good idea. But it um, also means if you want to add embroidery detail, if you oh, like yes. adding that sort of detail and, and beading, use some of your um, vibrant embroidery yeah. threads. Yeah. Go completely off scale yeah. and do really good bright colours. These are kind of fabrics you can just, you can imagine, um, you know, doing creative stitching on. You can imagine doing, Absolutely. yeah, loads of beautiful embroidery and all French knots and sequins yep. and, oh, oh. Um, I'm just going to give a quick stock update okay. because it is super busy. Now, 20%, I'm holding on to the book, 20% uh, of the complete collection has gone. You are getting 40 pieces of the incredible Kef Facet fabrics. These are stunning. This is your August 2021 collection. Um, and oh wow, what a collection. I mean, they are just so vibrant, so fun, so joyful. Um, they just bring so much colour into your life. And they do, I think, even a tiny little bit of this fabric, it just shouts Kef, doesn't it? I mean, he's, he's so immediately recognisable. And I love that. I love that uh, straight away you know exactly who um, has brought this fabric to us. Beautiful quality. That's why you've got such vibrancy in those colours. And, yeah, they just work together so well. Um, three payments, 42.65. If you're going for the bigger, because remember, it's not just that like £10 that you're getting off. It's the £8 saving that you get on each collection. That is carried forward and then the extra £10. And you can see every single collection has that £8 saving. Meaning you can, if you wish, get your 10 pieces for £34.49. pence. Brilliant value for money. Of course, if you are a mega fan or you've just fallen, you've fallen in love with all of this, then the big it is absolutely the one people are going for. Now, that's your gorgeous fabric. I'm going to quickly mention the book uh, because Susie did mention this book. And, it, oh, man, this is another one, I, Susie. When you look at this, it's oh, the colours again. It's just even the book's ridiculously vibrant, isn't it? Oh, the, the book. I mean, it's a real coffee table book. book. Mine has been well-worn and loved, whatever you want to call it. But it, the inspiration you get from the book is so worth the investment in yeah. it yeah and there is there are i think it, in that particular one is it 10 different quilt designs and remember you don't have to do them as quilts you can scale them down just do one block and it becomes a cushion cover yeah. you can scale it down in size and it becomes a cover for your notebook or a piece of wall art or even just a tote bag, put two box back to back and it yeah. becomes a tote bag. But the colours in there, the instructions are really clear. So if you are new to quilting, it's really easy. Yeah. There are templates in the back of the book that you use for some of them. Oh, but if you are an established quilter, you won't need to necessarily use the templates. You can use your rulers that you have um, acquired through the years. But it's the inspiration in there that absolutely is second to none oh do you know what makes a great present if you've got a friend yeah. who's a quilter yeah or just likes color 
that book this would be one. a fabulous present yeah if anybody's listening from the family <laughs> <laughs> and wants to buy a new yeah, one i'll tell you which one's on my wish list <laughs> <laughs> um, if you do want this one then please check your baskets out. oh my gosh oh that one you've just passed yeah yeah um hang on let me I, sun and sea this one was designed by um Liza Lucy, uh, Prior Lucy. Now this one, I've been teaching my eldest daughter to quilt. Oh, fabulous. Um, and this one, she looked through the book when she was staying with me once and she said, I want to, I want to make that one. Wow. I was like, okay. Uh, that's so, ambitious, but yeah. well done. But so we've, we did scale it down because it is a huge quilt um, and we scaled it all down and we've been making it together. I have to say oh. she's about four million light years ahead of me in <laughs> prep because I've got I thought you were going to say she was four then. <laughs> no, but she but it's been brilliant because it's not an onerous pattern yeah. to choose yeah. but it's been a great bit of fun for us during covid How on our like. whatsapp video calls and zooms and what have you yeah. because we couldn't meet together but it was something that we could do oh, together and so she's nice. learned a new skill now there's no stopping her she's doing loads of stuff oh fantastic and we've already planned which one we're doing next oh as well. that's fantastic yeah. i love it again if you need me to pop some mind that i'd like yeah okay <laughs> Um, oh, I love this book. Um, if you would like to get hold of that, bob it into your flexi basket. Remember, you've got a flexi basket that's got three payments, so you can actually stretch this over three months. Um, beautiful. 363207 is your item number. Uh, back to you, my love. Okay. So, what I, I haven't done any more other than stitch the two together because I wanted to show you if you are new um, to making your own home decor or quilting then pressing is something that you'll need to be doing a lot of and even i mean dressmakers will know the more you press the better the outcome mm -hmm. so pressing is important now we all have our own way to press when i pressed the um, strips i press them in one direction um, when you come to press this you'll find that it's going to the fabric will naturally fall in one direction because you've got seams here already yeah it wants to go away from those seams so I that's the way I'm going to press now we do what we call a set the seam by heating the seam you've just sewn with an iron and what that does is it lays that um, those threads within the fabric layers that you've just sewn and right. make sure that they're gonna stay in put and makes them lie flatter as well and then because I want to press towards this way yeah. rather than towards my seams, I have this fabric, this block on top. Right. Press and then lift up and away. Okay. And that way I get a nice flat finish oh, yeah. with my seam. So this one, because it's going the other way, I'm just going to do the same again. So set my seam, lift it up and press it over. Now you can, or equally, I could have opened all those seams if I wanted to, but just look at what's happening with your fabric and what it wants to do. Right, yeah, yeah. And I go, suppose with, go with the flow. It's something you learn as well, isn't yes. it? As you, as you pick up more, as you get more experience, you pick up these, Yeah. it, it becomes second nature, I suppose, doesn't it? It does, and the other thing that you learn to, to look at is and to think one step ahead is a bit like driving, isn't it? Where you've yeah. got to think ahead all the time. With quilting and with any seam matching, you need to think, well, if I put those two together, am I going to end up with everything on one side? And then, A, that's going to be tricky to, to sew over, but it will also be bumpy, mm. and you'll get one side slightly higher than the other, right. which long-term may not be a problem but initially it's going to be quite obvious yeah yeah so what you want to do is to make sure they go in opposite directions so here and i don't know if the camera can pick this up we will indeed we're on it i've not helped have i because it's all pinks i <laughs> know oh, it's god we're there so there you go can you see that i've got one set of seams going this way yeah and one set going that way so when i want to bring these two together and this is another trick that I've got for you as well if you want to match seams I always work on a wall pressing mat right. I push my pin through the seams into the wall pressing mat 
and then I know I can line them up exactly and get uh, crisp matched seams for no little for no effort really yeah yeah um, which for this that is the only one I've got to match and obviously you just make sure your ends meet as well <clears throat> and then you're going to stitch down that with a quarter inch seam that's Super. all that block is and then that is that block done so How marvelous it, it's such it's, an easy one to that do. That is a lovely easy one. It's it not too time consuming. It feels really achievable. And I think because of the fact, again, the, the fabrics, they make it, because of the designs, they make a nice simple block look phenomenal, yes. don't they? Absolutely. And um, a lot of the books, a lot of the projects in the books are, when you break them down, they are really simplistic blocks. Yeah. But because of what's going on in the fabric, the blocks yes. themselves look amazing and super complex. Yeah, yeah. But they're not. So there we go. We've got our four joined together. Oh, that looks so good. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, it just looks like a garden. It's so pretty. Yeah, it does. And then to... To actually finish this, you're going to press. Now, this time, I've got seams going everywhere. Yeah. Um, and thread ends. I am rubbish at cutting my thread ends. <laughs> and then I am going to press this middle one open. And the reason for that is because they all want to go in different directions. This way, I'm going to get the best lay of my seam. And you'll see that the middle here, it's, it neatly opens. And I haven't got a bumpy middle. Ah, fabulous. No My bumpy fabric's middles. fabric's not bumpy, but uh, another part. So. <laughs> <laughs> but it's always remember perfect. to press the top as well as the back. Yeah. Because yeah. then you get a really good finish. And doing a wall pressing mat is perfect for that. Yeah. That so looks. that I can then use as the basis of either I can make more of them. Yeah. Or what I would do, what I'm going to do now is start putting borders on. Beautiful. So we're going to add to this throughout yeah. the five hours. Amazing. And we're going to end up with something rather good at the end of it. <laughs> It'll be rather fabulous at the end of, of it. Course. It's going to be something fabulous. Um, oh, Susie, thank you. That's it right. is funny, yeah, when you said you're a, a what did she say? She's a bit rubbish at summer. It was like, no, nothing. <laughs> yeah, that, that, no, no, we were not accepting that. I'm just going to show you because you keep, they were chatting about books. Have you got these two as well then, Susie? They're on my wish list, guys. Okay, so anybody at home who's uh, maybe having to buy, having to buy Susie, that sounds terrible. <laughs> Anybody at home who's buying Susie Christmas presents this year, these two. Oh, no, Your we're item not numbers 207302, <laughs> both of them. Yes, she Yeah, I haven't both got either of those two. She needs both. I them. think they're the only two I don't have. Right, there you go. So if you're watching, love, there you go. That's your gift. Um, you're saving eight pounds as well. Uh, so that one's the America. And then the, let's show you this one because um, the, the details are coming up. So let's have a little look, see. Um, the the really good thick size books as well and yeah it's that it's that oh look the inspiration the photography is obviously beautiful it has to be oh the photography is absolutely stunning oh, it's just ace isn't it yeah i love it what what are we doing today love we're gonna go and hang my quills in the garden i, know. I mean and look at that i mean that almost looks like um a it's, thingy window doesn't it a or a mosaic a, yeah, yeah yes a mosaic yeah. especially with that statue behind yes. in front of it it looks yeah it looks like it actually should be there which but is incredible oh look at if that if ever you're stuck for ideas then just leafing through this you suddenly get so much inspiration you literally are oh. bouncing off the walls with i've got to yeah. do this i want to do that yeah. i want to do this i will say have a post-it note pile past it other notes are available <laughs> but have a notepad next to you when you do leave through it yeah. because you will be jotting down ideas and what what you actually want to do what colors you want to use which fabrics you want to use because yes. you might not necessarily have or want to do it in the ones that are in the sample but yeah. they will work with literally any yes. fabrics from yeah. the cave collections you, you, or indeed you know any it. collections but in cave in particular you can literally pick up anything and it will work yeah. it's 
They're just brilliant ideas. Oh, they're absolutely magnificent. I, I, I love looking at these. I, I mean, I'm terrible. I love looking at pictures. Yeah. But this just, oh my gosh, I want every single one of these in my home. Yeah, How I do. How <laughs> beautiful. That's going to take me. Me longer than possibly got. Uh, that sounds yeah. A bit how depressing. many lockdowns do you think we can have? <laughs> <laughs> Harshly on it. Um, oh, I love these. Sixteen pounds and ninety-nine pounds. Wow. Um, now then, okay. That's your box. This is your fabric. This is obviously the be, to make all those beautiful quilts absolutely sing. It's the fabric. The fabric is doing the work. Obviously, the designs are incredible, but but it's the fabric that makes this um, all come together so beautifully. Now you have got choices. So if you want to go for the first option that you're seeing, that is your blue. Um, Thirty-four pounds and forty-nine pence is your price. That's your first option. Then there's so many different patterns and colours. And and, oh, it's so vivid and fabulous. Uh, so that's the blue option, if you want to go for that. The next option that we've got for you is the purple option. And again, you can see, yes, you've predominantly got purples in here, but it's a it's a vari variation of purples. You know, obviously there's extra colours uh, being brought in here. Love, love, love that one. So that's your purple option if you want to go for that. Remember, they're both in the big collection. The next one that we've got for you is the pink. And with the pink, you will see, like... Um, the, the leaves again, the leaves are there, but they look different again, you know, the beautiful, again, look at the leaves in this one, yeah, it's got the pink, but predominantly those purples, married in uh, there, you have got the, the beautiful brown, you've even got, it's like a top in there, the, the amount of colours that are in these fabrics is incredible, and then of course, love, love, love that one, so that's your pink, last but by no means least, you've got your orange, and this is just, again, ridiculously vibrant, and fabulous um, and you can see I mean yes there is orange in there but there's so many colors going on um, just so striking now all of these fabrics if you wanted to go for an individual you can do that so an individual and color option you've got that choice you are saving eight pounds just 34 49 and it is a just these are beautiful um, that's five seven two five three two However, the busiest has been the full collection. With the full collection, you get in the orange, you get the pink, you get the purple, you get the blue, you get in 40 incredible pieces of brand new fabric uh, for the autumn, to, uh, the August 2021 collection. You're also getting a huge saving. It says £10, it's actually £42 that you're saving because the other savings are carried forward. It's a £42 saving. You should have another month to pay. You haven't. You've got three months with this um, and this is one of those when you get it home it's like Susie said you'll get this home and go oh, I don't know what to where to start what to do I don't want to cut it up but also like Susie said you have to cut it up not because you're on telly but unless you are but because it's beautiful and imagine what you can create 450185 that's your item number uh, that is your huge collection now we've also got the pick and mix so I'll go to this one first of all now, with your pick and mix, you're choosing, these are half meter pieces, once they're gone, they're gone. Um, so you're choosing any two of these. Ah, same with the collection as well. Now, £15.98. and This includes um, the fabrics we've seen today, but these are all the new ones for 2021. And just have a look at these. Uh, the lovely thing is with this, it is your choice you know you are going for whatever you fancy so if there's something in the new collection today that you want a bigger piece of maybe you're going to back it maybe uh, you want a, a bigger piece maybe this is going to be around uh, the edge of your quilt you know that the binding around the edge thing um then you can think um then you can do that or or if you are thinking yep i want a dress i want you know i want a Fabulous kimono. Um, that's maybe when you're wanting bigger pieces. I love that one. I really love, love, love that one. Oh, isn't it hard to choose? I mean, when you look at that, it looks like it shouldn't work. It works. I mean, it's just incredible. You've got the beautiful fishes again. And I do love, I love these. Because these pieces, when you look how well they go across some of the other ones, 
absolutely amazing um that's your first set let me go to the the next set for you remember you are choosing two there's 51 options uh, you can see them all on the website because i know that is a lot of choice um so and let me show you this one as a full piece this time because it's always nice actually seeing it when it's opened up as well obviously we can't do that with all of them because i'd be here for about a year uh, but have a little look at that how beautiful is that? That's one of the leaf ones. Remember, um, brand new um, design and, of course, those wonderful colours. So, you've got the leaf one. I'll put it back in a minute. You've got the beautiful florals here. And have a little look. The leaf again. Oh, I love that one. Fussy cutting. So much fussy cutting you can do with this one if you wanted to. Um, I'm dying to see some of the beautiful things our Susie's made with this. It's one of those that, yeah, as Susie says, get your projects ready. You know, get ready. Plan what you're going to make with this and then just enjoy the process. Whether it's a beautiful quilt out of Kev's book, whether it is um, a gorgeous bag. I mean, this is the kind of thing, imagine that in the, just as lining. I, I know it seems a shame, but imagine when you open your bag, how cool that would be. You know, a bit, oh, lining in a coat would be phenomenal. I mean, this is it, isn't it? It's one of those, when it is a lining, it's almost a, a, a secret, a surprise. When you open it, it's like, oh, that's amazing. Like, when if it was a coat, when you take your coat off and just hang it up, or, you know, if you're in a restaurant, you take it off and everyone goes, Oh, look at that. Do you know what I mean? And everyone will see it. I mean, if it's one of these, everyone's going to see it, either on the other side and they haven't got the glasses on. Um, and then, <laughs> true story. And then, see, I love that. Love it. Love every single piece. Um, again, you've got those bright, beautiful colours. You've got some of these incredible backgrounds. And it is, it's funny, actually, because over the, the other side, We've got the planes, and there's so many blenders that you'll be able to fit in with this, you know, if you wanted to use plane. I mean, when you look at Cave's book, you don't see much plane in there. However, however, that might be what you want to do, and that's the beautiful thing about this. Maybe you don't want to put them all together. You use a blender with that, it completely changes the look of it, you know? And that, I love that about taking our fabrics to pieces and putting them back together again. We are really creating our own piece. I mean, it's, it's artwork, isn't it, that we create at the end of the day. Yep, they're beautiful. Now, please check the website out. The website is where you'll see all of the fabrics that we've got on today's show and, of course, the books and, of course, um, the wonderful one-day special. So much choice. I would love to hear from you. What are you doing with yours? Have you got a plan? You know, are you looking at these and thinking, oh, this is it, they're my new cushions. That's my, you know, maybe um, your table runners. Oh, Oh, I've got something from Susan. Um, this is this is something that you absolutely might have already fallen in love with and already uh, decided what you're making with it. Look, look, look what we've got here from our Susie. Oh, these are lovely, so Susie. In that basket or around that basket, you've got one of every one of the purple set. Wow. Just squares put together on the diagonal. And then just simple quilting at quarter of an inch. That looks so good. And then good. lined it with the Lucy in purple. That looks so good. Great little basket to have in yeah. any room in the house for anything. I mean, you can put your remote controls in there yes. so you don't lose yeah. them. And it or just... your TV snacks. Yes, TV snacks. Can fit a good, good bag of popcorn scraps. in that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and look at that. See, look at that. Oh, those fabrics all together just look so beautiful don't they and that's a block that i'll show you how to construct tomorrow amazing um i'll show yeah we'll go through that one another sort of strip but different uh, yeah <laughs> but putting that on the back you see i could actually have it's that so cushion good. any way around yeah you really could because it doesn't matter that there is a that oh. Um, join across no, the two that looks because amazing. the flowers just sing. just amazing the other thing i thought with those flowers it, two things actually sorry mm -hmm. um, first thing is cut those big ones out and applique it onto the back of a denim jacket yeah yeah yeah, yeah would yeah. you not stand out in a crowd yes. in that one yeah it looks fabulous second one the lucy flowers and the flower net flowers the slightly smaller ones yes 
cut those out yeah. and applique them onto little dresses for bridesmaids. Oh, oh wow, that looks Wouldn't so Wouldn't they pretty. look stunning yeah. as a flower fall on a dress? Yes, that would look amazing. Oh, there's so much you can do, isn't there? Oh, um, our lovely Susie, I know we haven't got tons of time. No, Three minutes, in fact, Susie. We'll start a project and then oh. carry it on in the next one. Marvellous. So I thought it'd be really fun to use some of the um, fat quarters for um, a quick grocery bag. We all need bags at the yep. moment, don't we? And I am on a massive anti-plastic campaign. Hooray! Um, <laughs> so I object to having to buy my, my fruit and veg mm -hmm. in plastic. So Me I too. want a bag that I can just put it in and it can take it to the till and they can wear it and what have you. So I thought it'd be good fun to do, because I'm a big um, fruit and veg fan, I'm going to do fruit and fish <laughs> fruit and fish and it's a reversible one beautiful so i'm going to have fish on the inside or you can mix and match but that's my plan anyway. oh i love that i like it, it being reversible exactly because you if you you know if you're feeling a bit fishy one day you can switch Absolutely. it around or you can do mix and match the two but it's really simple and there's no massive things to remember Basically, you want four pieces of fabric if you're going to line it. You don't have to line it. Okay. I'm going to line it just because I want to make it reversible. But if you don't want to make it reversible, don't line it, in which case you only need two pieces. But they need to be the same size, all four exactly the same size. So I've cut two in um, the oranges in the red and the oranges in the purple and the green, which I looked at and said, well, they're lines, aren't they? Yeah, it could be. But they're not. They are oranges. Yeah, apples, oranges, and lines. And all you do, I know it's dead simple, all you do is make sure you know which is your top. Now, it's very easy to get carried away when you're just stitching round something and go straight round the whole four. Not a good plan. So my tip is put a clip in the top end ah, and to then you'll you. know that that's the end you're going to keep open. <laughs> to um, stop your sewing. <laughs> if you want to, then you can take your pins and you can just pin your round the edges. But remember, as you get there, take the pins out because mm -hmm. if you don't, your poor sewing machine is going to go ouch. And think about where you're putting the pins in so you know which direction they are. And you're going to do, whether you do quarter inch, half an inch, whatever you want, you do the same to all the, the two. So you're going to marry these two up as well. I just love these fish. They're I do. just so cool. The happiest fish Again, in the whole wide world. These would be really cool to fussy cat. So if you've yeah. got somebody who's really into fish. Yeah, they're just happy. Um, we've only got seconds left. Oh, oh, lovely, right. lovely okay. Susie. So I'm going to stitch around these between shows and Super. then I'm going to show you how to put them together with handles. Amazing. Oh, see, you cannot miss that. That will be coming up at 8 o'clock. Uh, what you can't miss is your one-day special. Now, we are... How much has gone? I love... A quarter. Sorry, I went blank then, didn't I? <laughs> I was listening to Hakim then. It was like, um, a quarter of the complete has gone. If you do want to get hold of this, remember, once it's gone, it's gone. That saving is amazing. It's K Facet. What's the not to love? Do not miss out on this. Thank you, our lovely Susie. Bye-bye. Coming up next, uh, we've got the jewellery box. I'm really excited. Um, we've then got another chance to get that beautiful K Facet collection. And then it's your Fabric Freedom Fabric Street. Stay tuned. Stamperia are an Italian company. Uh, they launched in 1995 with stamps, stencils, paints and an incredible product. They're world famous rice paper. They were actually the first company to print on rice paper and they're now absolutely renowned for it. The product range that Stamperia offer is really diverse. They bring us incredible stamps, obviously uh, the world famous rice paper, but they're always trying to bring new techniques as well. So they'll bring different mediums, um, beautiful moulds, so there's always something for every type of crafter. They will definitely have something for you to craft with, and everything you craft with will be top quality and beautiful. So make sure you don't miss the Stamperia shows.
Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Our products are all hand drawn, that makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. We have decoupage, backing papers, we have templates for 3D objects, stencils in the mix, we have dies and lots of other things are coming to you soon. Make sure you tune in for the Dolly Dimple shows and have some fun. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. So do pull up a pew and join us on the shows. We can't wait to see you there. Hello and welcome. Ooh, I'm so excited about this show. Um, it is so nice to have your company. I love it because I am absolutely surrounded by incredible finished pieces. Um, the, the detail, the elegance of these pieces is just phenomenal. Behind me, oh my gosh. I mean, yeah, the work that's gone into these um, is sensational. When I look at these, I think I'm never going to be able to do that. And that's why, again, I love my job, because we get incredible guests in who can share, share the passion, but also share those skills so we can actually create something like this. Uh, let me say a warm hello to our lovely Abby. Um, Abby, it's lovely to have your company. I'm so pleased we're working together. So am I. You've been to, to the craft store before and I've yes. never had a show with you. We've never actually met before, have we? Yeah, so it's lovely to finally meet you. It really is, Abby. <laughs> Abby, I adore your work. How Thank long you. have you been doing this, first of all? I've been making jewellery since I was a child. Really? Yeah. I launched my business about ten years ago now. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I've been working full time on it then. But oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, that's superb. So, I mean, it, it obviously came from a passion. Yes, yeah, absolutely. It was passion-driven. Yeah. Um, I, I got fed up working in an office and thought, let's, let's do what let's I enjoy to earn a mm, living. Yeah. And, and it's worked. It's survived a recession and a pandemic. So. Well done, you. <laughs> bow, bow, bow. <laughs> Boom, nailed it. <laughs> That's really good. That's really good. Yeah. Your, your work is absolutely phenomenal, though. I mean, obviously, we've got a book. You've got these beautiful kits. So because we've got kits, this is obviously something you're confident people can learn. Absolutely. The, the kits we've got today, beginners can can get to grips wow. with and learn how to make jewellery. Yeah, that must admit as well. I mean, your kits are beautiful. The tools, because uh, I've done a teeny, teeny, teeny bit of jewellery make, and I've said jewellery making it. We're putting beads on things. You know what I mean? Putting beads on a bit. Of, but the, your tools look very good quality. Yes, I try. Yeah, is it's always best to buy the best that you can afford. Yeah, these are sort of a good starter kit. Yeah. That, but they will see you through. Yeah, yeah, which is really important. Exactly. Um, oh, I tell you, wait till you see the finished results. Right, first of all, the crisscross presser. As soon as I saw this, <laughs> it was, I fell in love with it. The detail, it's when you see, can you see inside? I might just spin it a tiny bit so you can see the inside of that. Can you see that detail? They are beautiful. It's such a subtle detail, isn't yeah. it? But it yeah. really, really brings the stones to life. And that's what I've tried to do, just to harness the natural beauty. Because yeah. you've got amethyst and turquoise there. And my favourite is that turquoise. It's beautiful, With, oh isn't my it? Gosh. Who doesn't love turquoise? Without a shadow of a doubt, I looked at that and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> that goes so well with your dress as well. <laughs> um, so you've got, first of all, as, um, as you said, our oh, lovely Abby, you've, oh, I did this last time. <laughs> 
laugh literally every time. I learn no lessons. <laughs> um, so we've got the amethyst there, which has got that beautiful silver plated wire. Then you can see, you can see that incredible detail holding those beautiful amethyst in, which does, yeah, it looks absolutely sensational. So you're getting that and, so you get this, do you get both of these to get? No, 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 no. Two options. I was going to say, because it's only 11 99 and that is your copper and turquoise, which, yeah, oh my gosh, that is my favourite favourite. That is beautiful. Only 11 99 So, with this kit, everything we need, all we need is the, the tweezers. That's um, amazing. You need, the tools you need are yeah. ideally flat nose pliers, wire cutters, round nose pliers. Beautiful. And something to shape it around. Ideally a bracelet mandrel, but I started off using a tin of baked beans. <laughs> <laughs> We've all got them in cupboard. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Probably quite a few. Um, that's brilliant. I mean, it does, I love that you've got your digital download as well. So your digital download, that's your instruction, so that's going to take you through step by step. Absolutely step by step. It walks you through these close-up colour photography. Perfect. You're not left guessing anything. And you make everything yourself, including the clasp. Wow. Because the clasp is beautiful. Yeah, which obviously you can use in anything that you yeah. make, not just yeah. for that bracelet. Have you seen? Have you seen the clasp? The clasp in its own right. How gorgeous is that? It looks so good. I mean, obviously we're talking uh, quality materials because it, it, you know the the wire has to be that good wire to yeah. This to is do the this is scientific grade metal. So wonderful. Yeah, I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's put and obviously genuine gemstones as well. So. Perfect. For eleven ninety nine. I know, it's crazy. Wow, isn't it? <laughs> that's such a good price. Right, so we're approaching third. See yours yours is the favourite favourite is my favourite favourite, same as yours. Yeah. Um we're approaching a third of the stock gone there already. Literally just launched, approaching a third of the stock gone. And of course, and this is this is what I love seeing as well, because yep, yeah, that's what you're making, but you're learning a skill. Once you've learned a skill set, look how different it's beautiful seeing the variations, isn't it? What I've done there, I've given you a copper that I've oxidised, so you can see oh, the difference yeah. with it shiny, and then when I've darkened it, and then just polished back the raised areas, you can see it really brings that detail to life in the metal. That's so interesting. And I love it because this is, yeah, you're learning your skill set, but then there's so much more to learn, isn't there? Yes. There really is. And, oh, yeah, stunning. Now, that's only £11.99. Obviously, I'm just showing you variations uh, that you can achieve. Uh, please check your baskets out. Those prices are ridiculous. Now, next. And the earrings will match perfectly. Um, you've got, with the, that, that, wonderful, um, that wonderful finishing again, so your crisscross earrings. So your choice here, um, you have got your, um, your beautiful um, copper and turquoise twice and then we've got the silver plates and the amethyst again i am going to pick these up because i want you to see that detail and these i mean they look really expensive they do don't they and yes. i think particularly the amethyst because they're faceted yes um it just it it does make them look more expensive uh, they will look beautiful because when they're actually in your in your in your ear i nearly give it a h yeah when they're in your ear <laughs> i'll say it that way <laughs> here when they're anyway um you're gonna see the sparkle but at the side you're gonna see that wonderful sort of wire detail and that is just sensational. It's, oh, the wire detail is, because obviously that is so beautiful in its own right, that it, it doesn't take away from the, the wonderful colour of the beads or the beads itself. But, but it, it really adds to it, it doesn't really it? It really adds a detail, doesn't it? That's amazing. Just look at those. Those are pretty. That's my favourite again. <laughs> uh, a £3 saving here. Um, just such good prices. Um, do we get the digital download with these Absolutely, as well? Absolutely, yeah. Each, each kit comes with a digital download. Beautiful. And look at these. I'm showing you the, the variations as well that you can achieve just because they're ridiculously beautiful. 11 99 so cost effective. 261-678 is your item number. Now we've also got the ring. So it's the same option. So you've got that beautiful amethyst with the silver and then you've got the turquoise um, as well. That, and again, I am going to be picking up that turquoise. Oh my gosh. I mean, that is, again, sensational. And with the ring, I mean, you're making all of it, aren't you? Absolutely, yep. That is beautiful. 
and it just looks and obviously the lovely thing about making your own um jewelry is you're going to make a ring and it'll actually fit you yes you we can make it to your exact faff. requirements and because of the design of these rings they're actually stackable ah lovely yeah so if you want to do a few of them indeed yep yeah you could really match your outfit and that is uh, our molly says that's on trend at the moment as well <laughs> molly's got lots have you have you got have you stacked your rings our molly Molly's there, stacking her rings <laughs> as we speak. Um, now, if you do want to get hold of this, only nine ninety nine. The color, the the price is amazing. Okay, so that's all your three kits. If you wanted to get all three kits, you can go for that option. Um, so, and it's got a carry forward saving as well. So six pounds is carry forward. You've then got your extra four pounds. So 10 pounds saving um, and you're getting all these beautiful kits. Um, obviously your choice. So you're, you know, that's a lovely thing, isn't it? You're either going for your tur copper and turquoise or of course your silver and your, your silver plated and your amethyst. That's your options, 29.97. Just imagine making these. And once you've learnt those skills, um, these are gonna be gifts that you make again and again and again. Maybe you'll be starting your own business, making jewelry and selling jewelry. This is the thing, it's where, it's where it starts and then where it goes to. It's so exciting. Now, next we've got for you, equally beautiful and it matches of course matches in color but you've got a different design as well with this one so again you've got your amethyst and self, uh, silver plated and your copper and your turquoise and look at that now this is really clever because can you see the the beautiful star in the center there that is a wonderful wonderful design these are yours designs as well yeah. though aren't they yeah aren't they? That's perfect. Yeah, so it creates a star in the centre, as you've said, but it is just a variation on that kiss cross technique. Amazing. And it, it, it is incredible, isn't it? You know, just one variation, the yep. difference that you can achieve. Exactly. Because that just looks so effective. Really, really beautiful. Um, so with this one, you're making for £14.99, you're going to get enough for two pendants. Yep. Wow. And a pair of earrings as well. Which again, let me just show you the pair of earrings, which again, the prices are incredible um, for this one. That is just £14.99. pence. So, uh, yeah, sensational. Imagine making these for Christmas presents. They won't believe you've made them. Um, if you do want that kit, that's 132647, your item number absolutely gorgeous and you we were saying before about beginners kits um i bet is this one um brilliant for beginners as well absolutely uh, that kit is actually i launched that um during the pandemic for families really? to sit down and do together so older children yeah. could sit yeah. with you know their parents and, and everybody could make Beautiful. make some jewelry together isn't that nice that's yeah. lovely and it is yeah learning those skills I had together quite a few grandparents doing it with their grandkids yeah yeah that'd be really yeah. nice yeah <laughs> and especially because yeah over you know over zoom and things yeah, like that exactly. i bet you had people you can doing still it. do it yeah, yeah. how cool <laughs> um now if you do want to get a hold of that one three two six four seven next are you ready uh because this this <laughs> is amazing so again look at that straight away that is just incredible now you've got two options here so you've got either copper or your silver plated and this is the viking knit chain um, this is incredible so you've got you're making your necklace you've also got your bracelet in this one um absolutely sensational so tell me about this kit abby because that that is such a, a, a beautiful piece of jewellery. It's incredible, that chain, isn't it? It's a technique the Vikings developed. Really? Yeah. Uh, from a fabric technique called nail binding, which is like French knitting. Yeah, yeah. Um, but instead, with the wire, instead of working in, inwards, you work around a mandrel, which I'll show you in a bit, um, and it produces this stunning chain. Wow. Um, that and is... the kit as you've said before, comes with a downloadable tutorial, enough materials to make the bracelet and necklace in their entirety, including the end caps and, and the clasps. Wow. Um, wow. And the draw plate and the mandrels. 
That's amazing. So the draw plate and the mandrels, they, this is this bit in the centre, the wooden isn't it? Thing, yeah, the wood, wooden paddle thing yeah. and the four sticks. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so your wooden paddle thing, um, which is, I'll show you that here, we are taking it out. So you get within the, so this kit, 7499, you get enough wire to make the necklace, to make the bracelet. Can I swap those around? Because that makes more sense. Um, and then, and then you get, so your paddle thing. The, the draw plate, yeah, the draw paddle. Plate. <laughs> Some people think it's a spaghetti measure. <laughs> 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 Tell you what, whoever's on that serving, <laughs> bad diet. <laughs> so, you draw plate, and then, so, I'm going to take these out so you can see these. You're going to be showing us what we do with these. Yes, I am. Amazing, because at the minute, yeah, it's like, what are they? Yeah, it's not very clear at all, is it? Well, no, <laughs> that's why well, the downloadable <laughs> tutorial is really exciting. I just want to say, I mean, these feel beautiful. They you know, are. we were chatting about this earlier on and, and saying uh, they look beautiful, they feel beautiful. This is quality material. This, yes. this is going to last you, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that draw plate will last you. I'm still using the same draw plate I started with. Really? And I've probably made enough chain to wrap around the planet. <laughs> <laughs> Twice. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that is a real piece of kit. If you do want to get hold of that now, uh, two payments, £37.50. That is absolutely beautiful. Um, now, don't forget, um, you've also, so with, do we, we don't get all of this in this kit, do we? Do we? Oh, I thought it was just that and that. Oh my gosh. So we're getting all the, the pliers as well. In the ultimate kit, yep. Yeah. Wow, okay. It's everything you need to start, Amazing. Literally. So it is the ultimate kit, $74.99. So you're literally getting everything you need to start. So you've got your round nose there. You've got your plain nose. We've got um, the flat nose there as well. We've got the nylon jaw um, and then the side cutters as well. So all of this, that is such an incredible kit. Plus, of course, you've got the case. I'm going to pop that there for now. Plus, of course, you've got the case. Enough to make the necklace and the, uh, the bracelet. And, of course, your wonderful little paddle. Now, that is a big kit. These, this is all going to last you. These are all your tools. And then you're going to make an incredible piece, well, two pieces of jewellery with this. But it's the skills that you're going to learn as well. Because remember, you have got that downloadable tutorial. Uh, 972648. Wow. Absolutely amazing. Now, if you've already got your pliers, we have got uh, the kit so you can get the other elements. So... If you want to get hold of this one, so this is making you the Viking knit chain, of course, £39.99. Again, you've got the two options, so the silver plated or the copper. Uh, do remember with that one, you're getting your beautiful paddle. I uh, will learn the proper name, I promise. Um, a droplet. And then, of course, the... Um, the other bits, mandrels, thank you, uh, the mandrels, and of course you will get your downloadable instructions as well. I need to put the draw plate down, but it feels lovely. Um, now, speaking of the draw plate, if you just want that on its own, you've got that option as well. That is really beautiful. It's rosewood and it's such gorgeous quality. £17.99, pounds 659258 Now, if you do want the pliers, we've got a set of five pliers for you for 46.95. Um, and they are, I mean, obviously essential. You will need your jewellery making tools. Uh, 135229 is your item number there. Um, we've also got for you, and we were chatting about the um, the bracelet mandrel, because obviously we're talking about size in here. Um, and again, that is really, it's a beautiful piece of kit. It feels lovely. Um, and that's only £39.99, 731162. And we've also got for you um, two size, your, your wonderful rings, uh, your ring, oh, I can't say that. <laughs> Ring triblet. It didn't want to come out properly. Uh, Fourteen pounds and fifty pence. Again, all of these are going to last. Um, one eight three zero one nine. Now then, if there's anything you want, please check your basket out. Uh, but we're going to go to our lovely Abby for a demonstration. So, starting with the bracelet. Is that we right? are. Yeah, we're starting with the kiss cross bracelet. Beautiful. Which we start by making the frame. Okay. So we start with a 10 inch length of 16 gauge wire. You measure two inches from one end 
and using your flat nose pliers, you grasp at that point and make a 45 degree bend, oh, okay. or slightly more. And then do the same in the other end of the wire. So you've got almost a zigzag. Okay. And then all we do is form a round loop in either end using your round nose pliers. So you grasp at the bend with your round nose pliers about halfway along the jaw. Yeah. So you get a good sized loop and just shape the wire around to give you a nice round loop. Beautiful. Repeat in the other end. I bet you're so used to teaching, aren't you now, Abby? I am, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I've done a few demos in my time. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a round loop in either end. Super. So now we need to close that loop to make it good and strong. So we grasp the round loop flat in our flat nose pliers and then just bring that straight tail around the frame wire and we wrap that three times because okay. that makes it nice and strong yeah. but it also adds a nice little detail. Yeah, they look really, really lovely. I just think they? it finishes it really nicely. Yeah. yeah. So I'll just repeat that in the other end. As you can see, it doesn't take that long. And the, the wire, I mean, it's strong wire, but it's, it's malleable enough, isn't it? Yes, it is. This is dead, it's classed as dead soft, so you get different hardnesses in metal. Yeah. Um, mainly in sterling silver. Um, so you get um, dead soft, half hard and hard. I yeah. would recommend always using dead soft. I love that it's called dead soft. Well, dead, dead soft. soft dead soft. <laughs> 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 once, you, really once you've wrapped it round, you just snip the ends off with your wire cutters. Okay. And then, I don't know if you can see on the camera, it, where you've snipped it, it's sticking up slightly. Ah, uh, yes. And that would catch on your yeah. clothes and on your skin. So we just take our chain nose pliers and push that end against the frame just to close that gap up and make it nice and smooth oh, so cool. it doesn't catch on anything all your pliers they all have um different like yeah you've got a different use for every plier yes. haven't you yeah yeah which the, is why you you give us such a good collection such, yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, the flat nose are great for grasping and holding things firmly. Your chain nose or um, needle nose are good for getting into little gaps and yeah. finishing off the ends. Round nose are obviously important to form anything round. Yeah. The nylon jaw pliers are brilliant for straightening the wire. If you make a mistake, you can correct it. Uh, and yeah. when you're finished, you can give it all a squeeze with it and it hardens it all up and pushes it into uh, place. Fabulous. So they're very useful. Yeah, yeah. So now we've got a straight frame. Okay. We make it a, a suitable for a bracelet by shaping it around our bracelet mandrel. Okay. Which gives us a shape like this. I'm going to show that bracelet mandrel. Yeah. So this is your. Oh wow! It's heavier than it I is. thought. Is yeah. that? It's a bit of a lump. Isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So oh. all you do is push it around the mandrel to, right. to get your shape. Yeah, yeah. Um, and obviously, again, um, you, you can change the size of it depending who you're making the bracelet exactly. for. Exactly. You can see it tapers. So, yes. yep, you can make tiny little bracelets yeah. or larger ones or even anklets down the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is, again, really good quality. Um, if you would like to get hold of this, these are the tools. If you, These are the tools you'll be using again and again and again and again. These are the tools that are going to last, but they'll also make sure you get the perfect sizing. Um, and you don't want it, I mean, you don't want it to be doing it with your hand, trying to size it with your hand, because that's when you're going to get the, the creases you and will, you're going to bend it wrong. It won't be a smooth and, shape, yeah. 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 Um, if you want a good result, this is the kind of thing you need to be investing in. 731162 is your item number. £39.99 pence is your price. Two payments, £20. Great Christmas presents as yes. well. Perfect Christmas mm. presents. If anybody's interested in jewellery making, they'd really, yeah. really be grateful for that. So now we've made our frame, we're ready to start decorating. So we cut a 45 inch length of 24 gauge wire okay. and thread on 24 6 millimeter beads Beautiful. onto the wire. And I just fold the end of the wire over just to stop the, we the weeds. 
the beads coming off the other end because yes. that's really annoying when that happens. <laughs> yeah, I bet that happens. <laughs> yes, it does happen. <laughs> Lots of swearing also happens. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just going to say live tell it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so once you've got your beads in place, we then attach another length of 24 gauge wire this time 35 inches long and this is the wire we will use to start to create the kiss cross pattern Beautiful. now we attach it to the frame by leaving a one inch tail which we can use to hold on to okay. as we stabilize everything and then we wrap that 24 gauge wire around the frame three times three is the magic number with mm -hmm. wire that's the one that works. It's the one that works. It provides a good, strong connection because obviously everything we're doing is cold connections. We're not using glue or solder. Yeah. So we have to make sure that they're good and strong. Otherwise, it's all just going to fall apart on us. Yeah. yeah. So I've attached the wrapping wire now. I slide up some beads along the bead wire and okay. use that to, for my spacing. And then I begin... Oh, got it caught on my mat. I begin the kiss cross wrap. So I take the wire under the frame and then over the wire between bead one and two. Okay. And then back underneath the frame again. You can see there already we've got oh, one yeah. line of wire around the beads. And you keep working like that all the way around your bracelet taking the wire between the next two beads round and under the frame. Oh, okay. That's it's achievable, completely achievable. Exactly. Yeah. It's very, very easy. Yeah. Um, all you've got to do is take your time, consider each placement of wire, yeah. keep your wire straight, yeah. and if it does get bent, just run it through your nylon jaw pliers and oh. that will straighten it up again. And I suppose it's keeping the tension as well, isn't You've it? You've got to keep the tension, that's right. Um, you need the bees to be sitting against the frame wire, but not so much that they're pulling against it. Right, Because yeah. they'll pull round on the frame. Right, of course. So you don't want it too tight. You don't want it too tight. It's moving. just getting it just right, which yeah. is, with wire work, that's the trick. It's getting used to the tension you need to apply to the wire. Yeah in order to achieve, oh, achieve the finish that you want. Beautiful. So you keep working like that yeah. until you've worked your way all the way around. Oh, oh, look at that. That's, I've gone back again. Hold. <laughs> <laughs> Best laid plans and all that. <laughs> It's when you're proper organised and then you go, oh, I don't know. Oh, no, I wasn't as organised as I thought I was. <laughs> Do you want me to um, come back to you in a second? Because we're going to show you book. Oh, OK. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I quickly... Um, I'm dying to show you, but I'm dying to look at the book. <laughs> um, because I love... I, I love books. Um, and this just looks sensational. So, yeah, coffee table, but wire, jewellery, masterclass. Um, so... <clears throat> Obviously, loads of incredible... I mean, as soon as you look at that, it's like, wow, what a beautiful piece. Beautiful, beautiful ideas, beautiful inspiration. Um, and, of course, all the things that you need, so all the details that you need. So you're going to find out all about their tools, um, all about the, the different wires uh, that you're going to be using. And then, of course, it's going to take you through step by step. So things like, of course, the fastenings, which are really important. Um, the beautiful just your chain links. Again, I mean, that in its own right looks absolutely...